our new cardstock busy for this. Uh, we are talking true blue and true green. Traditionally in the past, these have never been seen together. Uh, it's just the way it's worked out. One's been out of stock while we brought you another one. So here, red and green on the screen at the same time, uh, and you're getting 20 sheets of each for $10.99. Uh, they're colored to the core, and they are such a beautiful cardstock. 290 GSM, so uh, they're perfect for your construction, for your die cutting, for your matting, for your layering. Uh, I will just give you a little bit, I'll, I'll take this one. I'm going to give you a, a little bit of a flick. This is asked for by Ka Katie, likes to just hear that. Oh yes, you hear that, 290 GSM, and this is for Holly, she prefers the wobble. Yes, and all we're trying to illustrate here, random, I know if you are just channel hopping, like what is this, what is this channel, who's this Greek guy? Um, but what we're trying to show here is the weight of the cardstock, so it's fantastic for your construction, actually illustrated with the frame, because uh, I know Claire made this frame with the larger uh, variant, so because it can come in sort of uh, large sizes, here we're offering the A4 size, but good size to play around with. Uh, 072256, uh, item number there. Okay, now, that, is, I'm just, is the A4, yeah? Is it A4? No, it's 21 not. by 30. Okay, sorry, that's, I've got to correct myself, so it's not A4, it's 21 by 30, uh, that offering. Thank you. Uh, okay, now, we are going to look for... Uh, I'll look at our 15 by 30. So 18 at 99 is your price here. Unscored, and it does give you possibilities. So there's different, uh, there's different folds that you want to create. For instance, you might want to do something like this, which you can see, whoop, whoop, lovely. Or equally, how about something like this, which you can see. I'll open that up. So possibilities, and that is, I think, uh, a description that sums up Pink Frog very nicely. It's those possibilities you're given. $18.99 is your price here. You're getting 50 sheets of each. Such a nice working size. True green, true red, colored to the core. 735088 item number. Low shed for you, glitter card now. I've got to point out this is on extended delivery. You're only waiting four days, so it's going to be dispatched on the 6th of August. Let's have a little look. Because, I mean, it is a beautiful low shed glitter card. Die cuts wonderfully. You've got both the red and green. I mean, perfect working with. And I would imagine if you wanted to use this in conjunction with the true, uh, true red and true green, that would work wonderfully too. I will give it just a little rub. And you can see hardly anything on my hands. If actually that time, nothing. So it is a low shed. You will get a, a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of shed, but it's practically nothing. Eleven ninety nine is your price. Eight six nine three nine one. Your item number there. Uh, now we're going to move on to another new today. This is speciality cardstock, and you are getting a best of uh, all working off of uh, a beautiful green tones. And we like this. Let me just show you because within the collection. You are getting the low shed glitter. You've got your beautiful Miri. Then you have your satin, which you're seeing here. And then finally, you've got your holographic. All four speciality card stocks in one bundle for $12.99. 16 sheets in total. So you're getting four of each. 276769, your item number there. Uh, same with the red. I've got to point out the red again is on extended delivery. So the green's immediate dispatch, uh, the low shed glitter and the red are the only two items on extended delivery. It's going to be the 6th of August and I will just pick that up and show you what we're getting here as well. So I mean that, I mean the deep red tones, this is beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. The glitter, the satin, the holographic, and your mirror for twelve ninety nine. Six three nine nine eight nine. Your item number there. Beautiful. Okay, now something that is always popular. We're talking oh, oh, over how much? Thirty percent. Wow, thirty percent for your red velvet cardstock. There is. And this, that's 
stock that's meant to last two hours, can I just tell you, there is something so luxurious and decadent about the red velvet. It's a card stock that is always popular. When it sells out, and this is speciality, uh, speciality card stock in the very best sense of the word. Beautiful card stock, embosses like a dream, uh, die cuts beautifully, matte layers, construction, you can do whatever you like with it. You can even heat emboss with it, but it is such a decadent card stock. So this is for your special makes. Busy for this, and I can imagine a lot of viewers uh, are repeat customers, but equally a lot of viewers, maybe you've never used the um, red velvet before, you're seeing it for the first time, you're like, I need a piece of this. All I will say is traditionally in the past, when we've had the red velvet and it's sold out, it's, um, it's taken a while to get it back into stock. So do not miss out on your red velvet. $9.99 your price, you're getting 10 sheets, 610, uh, 625 your item number there. Okay, now uh, I'm going to be really quick with the dies because I know we want to get back to Claire. Let's start with our large Christmas tree. You're seeing it here and I will just hold it up and show you. It's uh, the design that we were working with just a few moments ago in our previous inspiration. So that is your large tree, but see it as a whole or equally we can just deconstruct and take out individual snowflakes if we want. $14.99 is your price there, 075950. If you prefer to go for a, a slightly smaller option, of the same design we have got that for you as well just having a look 9.99 your price 493 389 your item number and i will just hold the two side by side so you've got a comparison there right then we have the robin and the post box now we've got to talk about this because over half the stock has gone uh, and it's once it's gone it's gone we cannot bring any back on extended delivery look at that beautiful robin and you're getting the post box as well do you know what i like about the robin is the detail and it's that wonderful uh embossed detail that you are getting but also the fact that the wings can be opposed as well so you can lift those wings up and spread those wings to fly for uh, 12.49 your price 648183 your item number there then we have as we move on our lamp post and our carolers iconic this to me really sums up classic, classic Christmas. $13.49 is your price. Again, you get beautiful detail from the die, not just the cut work, but the, I think that's important. That perforation detail really gives a sense of character to the characters, uh, to the uh, carolers rather, and also that beautiful Victorian lamppost. $13.49 your price, 513132 your item number. Then we have our pine cones, both large and small. Just going to show it here. Such a pine cones. Love these little ferns. Are really handy. And then you've got your uh, pine cones. Uh, Eleven forty nine is your price there. One three three five six six. Your item number. Then we got our heart snowflakes and our leaded snow. Let's have a little look here. So another really nice, nice font. Uh, Let it snow with the white winter. And you've got that beautiful snowflakes there too. Twelve ninety nine your price. Seven five zero six six two your item number. Now we've got our reindeer and our sleigh. Uh, beauty with the reindeer is that we can obviously make as many reindeer as we like. You can cut out as many as you like. So if you wanted to have, imagine like four or five, six reindeer pulling the sleigh. You could absolutely do in that. Uh, Fourteen forty nine your price. Two two six two zero six your item number there. Then we have our holly and our ivy. Once again, just classic Christmas designs. But equally, that ivy, if you wanted to trellis that up for a summer make, you absolutely could. Imagine that on the front of a house. Uh, $13.49 your price, 718-194, one your item number. Last but not least, we got the main man himself. We are talking Santa Claus. So Santa Claus there with that large stocking, beautiful detail that you'd expect from Pink Frog. Uh, $14.99 your price, $495-736 your item and number. Uh, now, just one more we're going to show you a picture of that's proving popular. This is uh, Christmas Flight and Seasons Greetings. So we'll just show you this. $9.99 is your price there. And uh, that's a nice, that is actually a really nice little duo. So you've got the sleigh with all the reindeer. Uh, and another image that's coming soon. Uh, 298655, your item number. Uh, don't forget the Penguin Family 2, which is going to share that with you. This is very cute. There is a cutie warning coming up. 
Oh, look at the little baby penguin. I'm like, give me some food. Uh, $9.99 is your price. 160148 item number. Okay, we're going to head back to Claire for our next demonstration. What are we going to do, Claire? We're going to do an inverted stepper. Mm, okay. So I think it's one of those things that yeah. people look at and go, hmm. But we give you the instructions. Okay. So I thought we'd just talk through it as well. So here comes the hot stepper. There you go. So, as per the instructions, I'm mm -hmm. going to put it at 2 on my board and 17. So this is uh, obviously my trimmer and I'm going to go down to 2 centimetres. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to flip it over because it's actually easier. And again, 17 to 2. Hello. Let's just get that. There we go. 17 to 2. So that's probably the hardest bit to do. Okay. Um, if you haven't got a trimmer, you can do it with a knife. Okay. Uh, we have got a trimmer, actually. If you, if you don't have a trimmer, uh, we do have one, and it's a seven-day saver as well. So take a look at this. Saving four pounds, fifty-three ninety-nine is your price, and you're getting the uh, Fiskars A4 paper rotary trimmer. Uh, there, nine zero three one eight nine. Your item number. So now I'm going to score between the lines, and I'm going to score at two centimeters, so that joins up the two cut lines at the bottom. I'm going to score at four so across there, and then at seventeen. And then at 15, I want to go from the edge to my cut line and from my cut line to the edge. So it's just scoring on those outer bits on that bit. And then we are just going to fold that in. I'm going to bring my fingers in. This is the bit I always really struggle with. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't struggle with it. I'm just a bit awkward. There you go. But once you've got the bend in it, you're fine. Mm -hmm. And that one, and that one, and the one at the top. And then you have got your inverted stepper. Oh, that looks awesome. So you have already, so whatever you do to that card now, your card is already like one step. Yeah. Like, you know, that, that bit better than, you know, it was just being a general Flat, yeah. fold. I've cut a little panel. So I have cut this to 11 by 15, maybe just slightly under 15. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put this in and then that gives it a nice, a nice base for me to work on. That's going in there. And we'll just pop that okay. in there. Now, just while we're sticking that in, I'm going to let you know about our Robin die set. So it comes with the post box. Here's the die and then the die cut next to it. Uh, really busy for this. So $12.49 your price and we are approaching two thirds of the stock. Uh, I do want to mention that when it sells out, we cannot get hold of any more stock. And remember, Claire has got another show coming up a bit later on at one o'clock. Whether it's still here or not, we'll find out. So I'm going to change this a little bit from the original that I did. So one of the things, so this is our red velvet. Yeah. I've cut this to, uh, in fact, I'm going to cut it first, actually, okay. and then we'll spray it, because if not, it'll be wet. So I've cut this to 14 and a half by 14 and a half. So that already kind of fits in yeah. there. But obviously, I need to cut this little bit out. Okay. And again, super easy. So this time I want to go to one and a half and all the way down to one and a half. Hello. Same on this side. Let's make sure that's nicely lined up. So we go all the way down to one and a half and then just join those two lines up from one edge to the other. Okay. One and a half. And that bit will just pop out. Oh, and perfect. you've got that. Um, I'm just going to trim this to go in the middle. So I'm going to take... I should know what these measurements are. I do. There you go. No, I've written trim middle panel. There That's you good. go. Uh, let's go ten by... 13, that's about right. So that will that one will go in the middle and that'll go around the outside. But what I want to do is I was like, let's see if we can add right. a little bit of snow to it. Oh nice. 
So. Well, just before we do this, if you can lift up the red velvet and maybe show to camera one, just, yeah, because when it's flat, it looks quite dark, but then you see why the red velvet is such yeah. a good colour. And then we'll do the same once we sprayed it so we can cool. see the difference. Thanks, Claire. So I'm going to take a step back because I only mm. want a quite a fine mist. Yeah. Lovely. There you go. I'll probably put a bit much on that. But you can see, you can still see, you can see the shine oh, it through, yeah. through when it. When it catches the light. Yeah. That's incredible. But how cool is that? That actually accentuates the nature of the red velvet because you got when it the light does come through it really does pop through it does um, i'm going to use a dry piece just mm -hmm. because if not i will end up with a mess everywhere because it's no secret i'm not the tidiest well i don't know you haven't listen work with leone you're very tidy <laughs> compared to leone nothing so, wrong there would be i am gonna again uh mm -hmm. that one will do so again, our EVA, um, you could use uh, red liner tape on this as well, that would work. Um, but the EVA will be fine. I just want a nice light coating of that. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about using the EVA is it gives me that little bit of wiggle room just to make sure that I've lined this up. Pop that in here. I really do like the red velvet with that uh, little pop of, uh, of white. Um, I will. I will confess. It was because I'd left a piece on my desk while I was spraying something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then went. Oh, Happy accident. Doesn't that yeah. look lovely? Yeah, I love things like that. It's so the universe what we're gonna... telling you. Definitely. So remember, always clean your nozzle. Mm -hmm. Put that back in. So, what I want to do now is I want to use one of our dies, but I've used it to make my own embossing folder. Oh, that's interesting. So, if you've got any kind of embossing mat that goes with your die cutting, yeah. so, um, like, there's an easy embossing mat, but different ones, you basically an embossing mat. Um, all I've done is this is just white, and I've cut, you probably, yeah, you can see, um, I've cut our snowflake die and just stuck them on. Yeah. I've used this a few times so it will flatten out so I've now put another layer on top. Uh, okay. So there is two snowflakes on but you know won't last forever. No. But what a great way to make your dies go that little That's bit clever. further. Very clever. So I've cut a piece of our red card. Um, I'm going to use our embossing mat and then obviously just depending uh, which machine you're using, you're just, there's normally instructions for it somewhere. Yeah. Lovely. This is, this is clever, creating your own embossing folder effectively. Yeah. And you can see. Now if we can lift that up and show that to one, is that okay, camera one? It is. There we go. Perfect. But what I'm going to do to make that stand out a little tiny bit more, uh -huh. I'm going to grab some gesso. It's a good demo. Love this. And I'm going to grab a brayer. Mm -hmm. As always, we've put too much out, so we'll just spread it all around the mat and get it everywhere. Um, always start off your page, um, just because you'll get less lines. Yeah, good tip. Oh, yeah. And just build up that that colour. Sometimes you'll get you'll get the lines, and you'll think, "Oh, it's ruined." But just keep going with it. Uh, just keep building those layers up. Clever, really clever. And you'll pick the detail so, up. Claire, that looks great. Isn't it fab? Yeah. So just another way to get that little bit more out of all of your dies. And all of your dies you can do that with. Basically make your own embossing folders with mm. them. There you go. I'm going to give that a wipe. 
that will do for now. I will get gesso okay. everywhere, but never mind. Just before we continue, I've got to give you an update. The Robin, it, it really looks like the Robin now will not be joining us later on. I mean, we'll see what happens. I will keep you updated, but we are approaching 80% of the stocks. You are getting, that's the Robin die with the post box, and that is it cut out. Love the little detail that you get with all the Pink Frog's um, dies, but isn't that beautiful? Robin, and you've got the post box. Once it's gone, we are not, and I've got to stress, we are not bringing it back on extended delivery. So there's a very real possibility if you do tune back in at one o'clock, this might not be around. You have been warned. So I have cut our little um, stocking, and again, I've cut that out of red velvet to bring it in to match everything on the card. Um, and that's just another piece of uh, pearl card that I got out of my, my grab bag. Yeah. Um, but anything you've got, glitter card, all of those kind of things. I am just going to make a hole in this. There we go. I have already put a foam pad on, but it will fit through. There we go. Because I want, I want it to have a little bit of movement. Mm. So I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of ribbon and pop those through there. There we go. And then I want to ribbon something that, if I'm at home, I faff with for ages. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm going to grab some other red liner tape on the thicker one. There we go. So this is the, the thicker one. This is the 12 mil. Okay. Pop that. So that'll just hold it in place, but we can use it to stick it down as well, or we can use, we might pop some foam pads on it actually. Got a minute. That'll be fine. Won't get everything quite done, but we'll get this panel on, and it helps if you actually stick the ribbon down. There we go. Snip that off. I'm going to grab some foam pads because they're nice and quick. So, yeah, these are the ones that come on the big roll. I just, because I carry them about, I just cut mine yeah. up into small strips. Yeah. And let's pop you on the front of our card. Lovely. And it's the joy of the larger strips. They're very easy to get that carrier sheet off, protective sheet. Yeah. And that will go. Oh, that's pretty. In there. Yeah, that's a lovely card. Really nice. And then I would add some more snowflakes and, and bits and pieces. Where's the other one? That, that is your inverted stepper. Finished. Time has beaten us. Thank you so much, though, it's Claire. It's a pleasure. Really nice demonstrations. Claire's going to be back at uh, 1 o'clock, so I hope you can join in. Because I know, or oh, join us, I should say, because I know that Claire's got lots more demonstrations to share with you. Uh, speaking of sharing with you, I just need to let you all know that the Robin die, uh, we are approaching limited stocks. So you're getting the Robin die with the uh, post box approaching limited stock there uh, and once it's gone it's gone clear thank you so thank much. you so much that was lovely yeah i'll do it again at one let's okay i hope you can join us then but plenty more coming up here at the craft store Oh, we are talking William Morris fabrics. After that, uh, Janice is going to be here with another fabulous hour with her DIY essentials. And then Couture Creations will return showcasing those fabulous alcohol pens. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make 
heartfelt, unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Of course, it is a held of summer festival of quilting, and you know what that means. That means, of course, that we during the live shows that are so about quilting, about sewing, we are building a massive bundle, and that massive bundle is kind of getting get it bigger this hour. Now, this is what we are adding: more beautiful fabrics in here, absolutely glorious reds and whites, and of course, blues, navies in there. And that is going to be added to the massive bundle, which is, of course, this is it. Look how much. I mean, I'll tell you, the producer said, well, can you stand next to it? Actually, no, because they won't be able to see you because there's so much stuff in there. And I have to say, there is even one more row at the bottom. There is, of course, the patchwork um, quilt, the matchbook books. It's just incredible. There's so much there. Now you're thinking, oh, that's all very good, well and good, but how do I get all that? Well, to get it, to be eligible to enter the giveaway, what you need to do is to check out your baskets, of course, to during the live shows that are the Summer Festival of Quilting, including this one. And next time you see that big bundle, it will contain these beautiful fabrics. Right, all that said, let's welcome the amazing, the one and only, Jenny Raymond. How are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. I'm here. You are here. Having done, what, four? Four days at the wow. festival, not quite the summer festival of quilting, but you know, uh, oh, another festival. festival, yeah. So fabulous. Uh, lovely to see everybody there, and thank you so much for coming. And those who didn't come, boy, did you miss such a super time! They're great quilts, great oh. show. Tutors, you come and see me, yeah. uh, classes, workshops. It was just so lovely to be back doing it again. And thank you all for those who came and attended, for those who all supported it. Cheers. Well done, everybody. Well done, everyone, indeed. And now, of course, we have got William Morris. And how? Oh, I mean, it's the Granada, Granada collection as well. It is such a lovely, lovely collection of fabrics. And we've also got some blenders to go with them. We've got some fat quarters that have been specifically chosen with a blender so you can do a variety of techniques with it. So if you're worried about sort of getting what do you put with what, then go for the fat quarter bundles because you've got five fabrics there. Or you might want to go and indulge yourself and have 15 fat quarters. Or you might want to have a pick and mix. The world is yours. Indeed. Well, the Granada world is your uh, I just love it I can pronounce a word properly uh, right uh, this is the set of 15 beautiful fat quarters in here 
we were talking, of course, Morris, uh, you know, William Morris, the amazing kind of designer, well, or kind of, well, he was just such a personality, wasn't he? He was, because he was a poet, he was an author, he was a designer. Um, and also kind of a, a visionary, yes, kind of a political yes, kind of... Totally, I guess a complete visionary. And so he really made a mark at, in, his, in his lifetime. And indeed, still does to this very day. Yeah. I mean, you can go and visit his houses. You can see his wallpapers everywhere. And Morrison Company, his original founded company, are still producing the designs, which is what we have today in the Granada Indeed. collection. Uh, now, of course, they are, we are talking about U.S. Uh, fat quarters, so they are based on a yard rather than a meter. They are indeed. And let's have a look at a couple of the five quarters because, uh, of course, taking the name from Granada, which in Spanish means, um, oh, what I can, uh, what, what, now I not, don't know the name in English of the fruit. What do you call it? You can, uh, Granada? Um, green gauge? No, it can't no, be a green the, gauge. Oh, now I kind of think. Come on, what color is it? Huh? Well, it's the one that you kind of take it out and it's little tiny little, little red things with oh. it. Come on, pomegranate, some, pomegranate, pomegranate. <laughs> that is pomegranate. That's Granada, but also, of course, the kingdom of Granada. Oh, is but it really? Yeah, yeah pomegranate, so, so Granada. Yeah. Oh. So that is how that all this kind of is inspired. Oh, I see. By right, the that. pomegranate and the seeds. Oh, how brilliant, Paula! I hadn't appreciated that at all. Oh well. It, Sometimes it's useful, and my your Spanishness it comes in a little bit useful. I think that is in yeah, both. Great, just... your Spanishness comes in useful. <laughs> uh, but I love the fabrics. I love also how some of the designs are very decorative. Yes. A storytelling almost. Correct, and you can fussy cut that. Uh, use the middle of it there as an applique. You could put it, I mean, if you're into paper, why not put it in the window <gasps> of a oh, card yeah. section? Um, I mean, that would make a fabulous sort of a feature fabric. There are many quilt designs where you use a feature fabric. So cut that one carefully. And then you can use all the scraps up in something completely different. Absolutely. I mean, kind of. Uh, then we have also, I love that we have got some patterns that are more like, let me open that one up because I love this. It's almost like much subtler. Obviously, this is not a fat quarter, but you would know what I mean by the opening. You will get uh, American fat quarters of each uh, of the yeah, That's my fault. Oh. Yes. Well. I, I needed a bit, so I'm afraid I pinched a bit. <laughs> no, I just wanted to <laughs> make sure you yeah. don't open that one. <laughs> well, you can see in here the absolute beautiful tiny detail that you are getting with those smaller uh, and those beautiful colours. And I also love the, the you know, the, the whole ethos of William Morris' style of bringing nature into the home. Yes, yes. And every single one of these fabrics. I mean, shall I open maybe this one as well? Like kind of, I you can don't see think I've been at that one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Look at that. I and, love and just that. the detail on it, it is just so pretty that. And you can, you, you, every time you look at it, you see a different bit. You've got the blackberries, you've got the little flowers, the leaves intertwining with everything, tiny weeny blossoms, and just the range of colors. And it would make such a wonderful patchwork quilt, just putting yeah. all of those together. I mean, you've just cut them into large squares and stitched the whole lot together, and what a glorious cacophony of colour you're going to have upon the bed. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. I mean, like, we are 10% already gone. If you want yours, uh, £55.80 for 15 American fat quarters, you are £7.95. Seven you can also split the cost into interest-free payments, uh, just paying £27.90 plus PMP to day. Uh, now, of course, uh, they, uh, they are uh, going to be this part from the 19th of August. So if you want your, your it's just a little bit away to, uh, not a bit uh, to wait, but however, they are well worth it. 346289 and of course, is the G Morris & Co. Granada collection. Now, if you want, you prefer uh, half meter pieces, we have got a p uh, pick and mix. You're choosing any two for just £14.99. Well, here, Jenny. Well, there you go. I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you bought the bundle and one particular fabric you like in the Fat Quarter bundle, well, why not buy another two pieces of it? You'll get half meters in your pick and mix. Uh, you could have two different ones. You could have two the same. They all come as half meters. But it's such a fabulous range of those wonderful soft colors. And with half a meter, I mean, you can do an awful lot more with that. I mean, just think, half meter, just sew it down the side. You've got a cushion. You could have very quick cushions there, so perhaps you're going to be having a sale soon, summer sale, maybe. Why not make quick cushions? And they're going to suit anybody's home. It is absolutely stunning. I love, I mean, 
I, I would do like you're saying. Go for the if you can. Go for the of course the uh, the fat quarters, and then that has got a flexi. So then you can add the half yes. meters and flexi by those ones as well. So it makes it a little bit easier. Shall we look at some of the one that we have? Like for instance, shall I look? Oh, at the this honeysuckle one. one. Ooh, that look is at that. such a superb one. I mean, if you're going to go and buy the fat quarter bundle, why not have a half meter of this as a border or the backing? Because then you're going to keep that design. You're not going to have to cut it up if it's a back. I must admit, the one problem I have with these fabrics is they arrive. I thought, oh, I can't cut them up. <laughs> I know. But, you know, also I was thinking that um, as a complete beginner, um, because the, there is some of the designs that are bigger like this, I, I, you don't need to cut them that much because you can have them bigger. You can. Right? You can have you big know? ones. And the, the nice thing about using a fabric that's got a, a heavy pattern on it, yeah. if you miss piece, it actually True. doesn't notice. I mean, for real beginners, you want to start off with a pattern of fabric because one piece will blend into the other and no one's going to notice that your points aren't perhaps as perfect as they did ought to be. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. Also. I mean, and I look, I look at the kind of more subtly, uh, subtly vines in here that we have. And again, we have got tiny pomegranates in here. Can you see the tiny pomegranates in there? I'm there. so glad you explained that. Yeah, I think it's absolutely super. Why, why didn't we know this before? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, I, it's, it's funny because sometimes uh, I assume people can read my, well, like they know Spanish, like kind of is the easiest thing in the world for me, right? So well, that I you assume everybody it's not the easiest thing in the world for no, me. But it's just such a beautiful thing. And then this one as well, I kind of look at the details. I love also the graduation between the darkness in yes, here. The, yes. the, you, the attention of detail. Very, very much so. I mean, that, that is sort of elegance, it's charm, yeah. it's your drawing room, uh, it's your morning room. Uh, oh, indeed. It's just um, the bedroom, the boudoir. Imagine that on the bed. Hey, if someone's got a golden wedding, how about using that for a golden wedding pillow? Mm. Um, or ring pillow of some sort. You know, it really yeah, is. It's yes, just, absolutely. it's a lovely design, nice. lovely fabric. Uh, and then, of course, we have got the larger patterns in here as well that we kind of, again, we can see the pomegranate in there coming through. But I love that it's actually something that is not as strong. Like, it's kind of almost like, now that you know that it's a pomegranate, we can see it, yes. but, you know, but without. But then we have, of course, this is very William, well, very reminiscent of the very, traditional. Well, this, this is the oak apple, so you've got yeah. the oak apple there and the oak leaves. Um, so here we have English countryside, the oak apple, and it's sort of an autumnal colored that. And there's a great blender that goes with that one as well. So a subtly different color scheme. I think the nice thing about all these fabrics is they suit anybody. There is somebody somewhere is going to like that particular fabric. Yeah, indeed. Of course, the blenders, I will give, give you a sneak peek, but we will come to them in a second. I absolutely do as well the greys. They're very elegant. Yes. That's yes. very elegant. It's, it's a soft, in fact, that's probably one of my favourite ones, with that sagey green colour yeah. um, on that one. And indeed, on the green honeysuckle, it is just lovely. It is it's indeed. quiet, peaceful. Um, beautiful fabric. And I, and I love how there is even within that kind of family of colors, you have got three different choices, even four if you can do as one. So you can say, well, I want more of the grayish, gray, yes. sagey green, but then I want that that the yeah, pinky tones as well that will work really nice across it or just having those two together yes. I mean, you know there are so many possibilities and of course one of my favorites has to be I mean this is immediately I'm thinking of does rich tapestry yes. in the manor yes, houses. It is. Oh, you know. totally. Very, very much so. There's the deer by the stream. I think it's called Brook, that particular uh, fabric. And oh. there they are, wandering happily, and the trees. Mm -hmm. And it's, you want to look at the exquisite details. You really home in on it. And the fabrics are printed beautifully. They are really lovely, top quality, and obviously 100% cotton um, fabrics. They've got sufficient body to them. They don't fray. They're nice to work with. I, I have enjoyed working with those fabrics. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I love that kind of weeping willow as well in there. That absolutely beautiful. And now, whichever two you go for, £14.99 pence is your price. You're saving one pound in each. So, go for a couple of ones. And remember, if you go for the fat quarters, you can add your two half meters and then flexi by those ones as well. 0441561 uh, is your item number. Just walking backwards so to make sure that there's no wall suddenly here. We have got, of course, the um, Moda Bella solids and here. So these ones have been selected beautifully, haven't they? Uh, yes, and Jenny? they do mix and match very well. So you've got the soft dusky tones there. You've got the extremely useful black, 
black is always so very necessary. It goes with absolute, yes, and it really. makes the colours pop. Um, but you've got the soft minty shades there. You've got a soft dusky whitey pink. Uh, you've got a deeper red there that goes very well with the oak apple pink one. Uh, you've got the cream. There's a beige. Um, they're just a nice range of blenders that will make the colours on the William Morris really pop out. And I believe the word is you can audition it. I, Ooh, I audition, audition it. Such, I such, like such a that. wonderful word. You can audition the blender to the fabric. In other words, put it together. Put it together, <laughs> yeah, and see which one makes it sing better. Correct. Uh, the colours. And uh, 929 uh, 316 is your item number. You are picking any two of them for £12.99 and, and you are, of course you are going to get a half metres of each of those choices. They work beautifully and you can see the colours there across the William Morris in front of in the foreground so you can see that they are absolutely perfect match and as well the quality as well. We have got more fun quarters as well and now of course these ones have been very 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 busy now we are talking about four options so you can see we are going to talk about the navy uh, now I love a Jenny that comes with one blender yes they have they they have put together five fat quarters I've made two projects using two packs of the five fat quarters I'm going to demonstrate with a third one you actually you actually have got a bundle there that's going to go together so if you're worried about oh I don't know what to put you have got your lights your darks your mediums they're in the navies the aquas the pink and the sort of the sagey green shades um, I think it's a great bundle. It's also actually looking at the price, an extremely good price. It is. I love this one. So, of course, the navy is one of the options. Then we have got, is it the aqua option here? Uh, you can see, oh, look, I'm going to open this one just because I want you to see. This one is the comst. Cuts, I think it is called it, but look at that, the strawberry kind of thing there in, in absolutely stunning. Isn't that just beautiful? Uh, and then, of course, we have the red option as well, which is a, a stunning, uh, which uh, you can see it here. Oh, I did, didn't fold it very well. Shocker. Um, and then you, I love that also we have got the spots in yes, here as yes. well. That, that worked. I, I did a blazing star with that, which I'm going to demonstrate and talk about the blazing star afterwards. And those were absolutely superb. And I was able to get the blazing star I've done out of that, and there's enough fabric left over to bind it and add a small border. I'm also thinking, I mean, maybe I'm just getting too carried away with. But um, the center for a lock cabin? Absolutely. That could be totally. any of these reds. Yes. Yes, it would work really well because you've got light shades there. You've got two light scale one side. You've got a centerpiece and two dark scale the other side. Log cabin. Yes, that would work beautifully. And then, of course, you have uh, the sage option as well. But I love that you are getting also the lemons in here and a little bit of a, a big green. Shall I open this one or the bottom one? Shall I open the bottom one? Because the bottom one has beautiful flowers as well, honeysuckles. And I think they are honeysuckles. And beautiful. I don't know which ones they are. These ones are roses. Or yeah. what I liked is that the pattern, although it's quite a large pattern, is still effective even when cut up into much smaller pieces. Yeah, yes. and I was thinking also English paper piecing because of course you can then oh, fussy cut. cut. Absolutely. Fussy cut. Yes, if you can bear it. Or oh yeah, yes. even. Uh, if you have got like tiny pieces left over, even you could do a little bit of ap applique. You could indeed. You could even do stack and whack, but stack and whack does doesn't half use up your fabric, but it does leave you with lots of little bits which you Ooh. could use. And of course, I, there I is a vogue exactly. for doing miniature patchwork. Oh yeah. Well, there's so many possibilities. Uh, now, of course, we have a, an update: the red and the sage approaching 20% and we just mentioned them 13 pounds and 30 pence is your price the aqua approaching 30% of the stock do check out your baskets and the navy one over half the stock you know what I I'm between the navy and the aqua that they're, they're my two favorite ones I, think. I like the green on the end Ooh, Best. the sage the sage mm -hmm. one you know what I would do for thirteen pounds and thirty pounds? I would buy the lot. Buy the lot. Now, uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So grab them and check out the baskets. And uh, you are saving six pounds seventy-five pence for William Morris beautiful fat quarters in there. With that, of course, that plane that is being selected to make uh, those patterns. Seeing. 
479072 is your item number. You will find them, of course, on the website alongside much more, including Jenny's books. I'm going to try to reset for the Rolly Patchwork Pizzazz. Well done. Yes, it does. <laughs> and Fans and Fabrications with Jenny Raymond. That's another one. Material Magic. That's an easy one to pronounce. And you can see it as well. They are amazing books because they have got five star reviews, all of them. And of course, <laughs> including saw pieces and of course, creative tucks and textures, which that one features all sorts of beautiful kind of textures, of, as the name indicates. And I remember that you create so many things that you, I didn't think that fabric could create those textures. Well, this, this is what I do, you see. I'm the world's only twiddler, fiddler, nipper, tucker, manipulator and maneuver of material. Wow. Yes. I mean, I'm yes. glad I, can't, I don't have to say that <laughs> because if I had to say that, we would be here all day long. We would indeed. Can I show everybody yes. what I did? Of course. Okay, let's go to the Blazing Star. First of all, we go to the Blazing Star, which is here. Oh, now, this that. particular design is came from the red fat quarter pack. Right. And it's sometimes called, it's a lone star, blazing star, eight-pointed star. These stars all work on the same principle. It's all on 45 degrees. And I'm going to explain right. this and show you that. So that's your red fat quarter bundle in action. And the colors really do go very well together. The pale blender I've used as the background. We've got the spotty one in the middle and on the tips of the stars. You could rearrange the colors in a different way. And there's still enough fabric left over to border it. Moving on to the next panel, and this came from the Sage design, and this actually is a stretched trip round the world, okay. which I will do on the two o'clock show. Trip round the world can be elongated, so I have stretched it out and to make it more of a panel that would be suitable as a small cot quilt or something of that nature. If I turn around, we look at the other samples. Here oh, okay. again, we have the, some of the um, half meter pieces just used to make a bag on this side. And again, this happens to be the five point, uh, sorry, 5440 fight or flight design. And then on the back, I've just got simple squares. Moving on to this one, where again, we've got some of the fabrics that are in the um, half meter selection, you have attic windows. And then finally on the stand, again, just to show you the potential of these William Morris fabrics, there's a cushion in the lovely shades of blue. And then we have a cushion where I've just used the Granada piece, with now I know it's pomegranates on it, as a cushion, just literally cut a piece out and piped it. There's a little bag in the other variation, or there was a little bag in the other variation of the Granada fabrics. And this is the little bag that actually comes from the Sew Pieces book. It has lots of different pockets in it. There's a pocket here and a pocket at the back, there, and one round the back. So that's nice little bag to make and then further down we have one of my designs which is called crossing over the tucks which is a big fat tuck and that's done in the black blender with the other fabrics get inserted inside and it's got some pooky bits in the middle if i return to the table just to show you a couple of little bits first of all this is the world's fastest spectacle case um, I think I made it on one of the shows in about five minutes flat. It's great as a gift and it's really classy in the scraps left over when you've used the other fabrics and you want to make a gift, one of those. It's pretty useless for glasses like mine because they're a bit springy, but regular glasses fit in there a treat. Now I have to put them on my nose or else I won't be able to see anything. I have to show you this. This comes from the Foldy Roldy book. And this is the design called Catherine Wheel. Oh. And I was going to make up Scrappy Zappy Doo, but I ran out of time. Festival takes up a lot of time. So there is the larger version of this particular design, the Catherine Wheel. But had I had more time, I could have gone on to perhaps make table mats or indeed do Scrappy Zappy Doo, which is the design we have here. Let's move the book over, you can see it a bit more clearly. There we go. Yeah, if you hold it. And then, yesterday at festival, I had a play. I was helped by the lady on my stand, and thank you to both ladies, both Pauline and Jenny Batten. So Pauline Carr and Jenny Batten who helped me on, because I had to do all these workshops. So my stand booth had to be looked after, and those two girls, sterling job. But oh. in between, Jenny Batten helped me make this. Now, isn't that super? And it comes from the Material Magic Book, and it literally is six 
circles and you get the circles it's a petal you could use it as a table mat you could make it bigger you could make it smaller you can put it on a cushion and you get the inner flower and indeed the further flower in the center and had I wanted to and I didn't get around doing it I could even have opened up these little bits in the middle here and made them into yet another little petal if you really 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 wanted to but I felt that was pushing the boat out a bit too much. So you see the fabrics have great potential. It can be used for so many different things. Right, back to the materials. The one bundle I have yet to use is oh, the blues. Well, sorry to interrupt. I just kind of went like this because blue, the navy bundle. What? It's gone. It's gone? It's gone. Huh? Well, I've got one. <laughs> oh, you oh, did. I've Lucky got you. One. Yay. Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, now, the fact quarter bundle, if you have it and your bask heads are technical <laughs> sellout. Uh, yeah, we are not jealous. You are not jealous at all. You know that you got it. But if you have it, if you have it in baskets, uh, of course, do check out uh, your baskets. We still have got the sage. Very busy for that one. So make sure to check out your baskets. We also have uh, the uh, the aqua and uh, um, and the red as well. Right. Okay. Well, I, I need to now use the aqua. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to explain how the Blazing Star, Lone Star, call it what you like, works. It works on a series of 45 degree diamonds. And when you start off with, because we're going to be cutting our strips at an angle, I have sewn, I'm only working with two colors, because I'm just going to make a Blazing Star made up out of diamonds that look like this. Made up out of four strips, two of which will be the same color and two of which will be a different color. The technique I'm going to show you will work with any number of strips and it will be up to you as to how you arrange the colors. But it's understanding how the design works that will help you get it to lie flatter and behave better when you iron it, quilt it, etc, etc. So one of the huge problems with this particular design is people get the pieces in the wrong place. And it was interesting at festival, looking around at some of the quilts thinking, mm, people are not considering the grain of the material. Ah. So I've made up two strips, and I'm using two and a half inch strips of fabric. And I just had one fat quarter set, and I'll easily get it out. I have sewn together two of the colors, cut literally straight across the fat quarter. One pair I've offset with this color sticking out on the top there. Then I mirror imaged it. So this is a mirror image in the offsetting. And the reason for offsetting is I'm going to cut this at an angle. Right. Had I had it cut straight, when I cut it at an angle, I waste fabric. Right. But if you offset them, I can cut the angle straight ah, through there and I don't I waste that bit of fabric. Alrighty? So, working on this end, because it doesn't really matter, the either end will work. There will be on the five o'clock show a 45 degree diamond, which does help if you are concerned about cutting it at the right angle. So, let me turn the strip over, it would actually work better. Bringing the diamond right to the very end, let me just jiggle my fabric so they really truly line up because you don't want to waste a thing. And I can bring the fabric right to here. Clearing the selvage, I'm going to cut up the edge of the diamond. And that's going to give me my 45 degree angle. When you cut up the edge of the diamond, the technique then, and I'm right handed, is to switch the fabric over. Okay. So the fabric is technically now on my right. Okay. From this band, I am going to cut two and a half inch strips. It'll be the same width as these strips. So we're going to cut two and a half inch strips. I happen to have a two and a half inch ruler. You could cut it with any ruler you liked. So place the ruler on the fabric at an angle, and we're going to cut two and a half inches. You're measuring the two and a half inches that way. Not along the edge, but okay. this way. Can you see? That is the two and a half inches goes there. And you'll want four sets. Now, please be aware, I've got my fabrics right sides together and they are mirror images. That is the key, all right? One set, two That's sets, clever. three sets, and stop at four, and four sets. There we go. Right, having got that, I've in fact done exactly the same thing with another band of colors where I sewed together one more of the lighter pattern strip and one of the further colors. And here again, I cut it at 45 degree angles and I have cut out four sets. What happens now, and you want to keep them in their little packets, do not split them up out of their little packets. 
because you've got to keep the mirror images together because the one thing about the blazing star is the sections of the blazing star have to be a mirror image of each other. So I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to take one of these and put them together so they make a diamond. Of course. And when I put them together and they make a diamond, I will have a straight edge here and a straight edge there. That's on the bias, that's on the bias, that's on the bias. If I take the other set, that's the other half, and I put those together to make a diamond, this actually, grain-wise, will be the mirror image of ah, this one. So that's a straight edge, that's a straight edge, mm -hmm. those are all stretchy. And the trick to the blazing star is that each of the sets of the diamonds that make up the star need to be mirror images of each other because all the straight grains will go together and all the biases will go together. Right. So this is what happens and you make up four of those and four of those. So I'm just going to make up a set of each because the next thing you need to learn is the piecing technique of this particular junction. Okay. When teaching this as a class, what we tend to do is make up one of each, then we take the other pieces and lay them on top and repeat, repeat, repeat the exercise. And it's well worth labelling them, say, left or right or right and left, so you know which are the mirror images. Because if you get it the wrong way round, you then find you've got a bias edge to a straight grain and the bias will stretch and the straight grain won't. So I will gradually, I'm going to build this up sort of through this demonstration and a bit on the next show. Taking the pieces and putting them right sides together, when you line them up, a little bit will stick out one end of the underside piece and hang out the other end of the top section. You do not have them leveled up like that. You offset them. And the problem with all these star designs is the center seam, because the center seam has to be lined up where the needle goes through, not on the edge of the fabric. So what we're looking at is that these seams are lined up where the seam goes through. The easiest way to do it that I have found is either to pin it, and some people like pinning it. If I can find where I've left my pins, which are here. Uh, pinning it can be done in a variety of ways. Pinning it I find a little slow, and I'll show you how I do it in a moment. But if you're going to pin it, you put a pin through the seam at your quarter of an inch, and you line it up with the seam underneath at the quarter of an inch. So we line up on the quarter of an inch. Leave the pin sticking up, don't bend it over, because if you bend it over, you'll move the points. And then you can put one pin one side and one pin the other side and remove the center pin. So that's one way of doing it. I tend to go for the cross my fingers and hope a bit method, which means I will line them up, look at it, line it up in the seam on the quarter of an inch. Sometimes I'll finger press the seam allowance so that I can just get a crease to follow. Get them lined up, make sure I've got a bit sticking out one end and a bit sticking out the other end. Underneath the sewing machine, press the foot. Remembering you're sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and you'll be allowed to sit down, I only stand up. Sew down to almost where the, let's put my stitch length back to normal, it's not a long one, to almost where the crossover junction is. I open it up, check that it's all matched up together, and put my scissors, little scissors, pair of top of my glasses, make sure I've got it exactly right, little scissors on the junction to hold the junction still. Sew down, going fairly slowly, over the junction, remove your scissors, and finish off to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, you will want a donkey. Someone's nicked me donkey. Oh, there's a donkey. A donkey? A donkey. What? How do you know about a donkey, Paula? Ooh. Oh, no. just know about donkeys. Right, a donkey is a scrap that you sew onto. And the reason why it's called a donkey is way back in the mills uh, many, oh, many years yeah, ago. That yes, one. you yes, remember yes, a yes, donkey. The donkey? Yes, of course I do. Of course you remember a donkey. I don't know what, how, what I call it. I, oh, yeah, it's because we, in Spanish we call them burros. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just go joking. I don't know when, when we would... Oh, yeah, okay. And Crack. then 
Oh, you silly Watson, I've sewn them together the wrong way round. Uh, right, this is what you don't do, is you check which way round you've got the colours, because it should look like that. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> well, you know what, you make, a, make everybody feel so much better. If Jenny Raymond makes mistakes, we can make as many as we want, because, you know, Absolutely. we have seen it here. Totally. So, so, dear viewers, um, if you should get a mistake like this, you need to unpick. Now, can I offer you a top tip for unpicking? If you right. unpick about every fourth yeah. stitch, the design will just fall apart. Okay. So I unpick about every fourth stitch, and then it will literally fall apart. And I have to peer it over the top of my glasses because I refuse to wear to have very focals. So I spend most of my time looking over the top of my glasses, which of course is great because it quells any student uprising. So if you literally do every and the nice thing about doing every fourth stitch is you get one long piece one side and half the number of little bits right Paula oh back to you back to me right back to me and thank you so much Jenny we are very very busy for the five quarters that you can see here now the aqua is limited the stock uh, you know this probably will be the next one to go and I have to say they are absolutely stunning I'm gonna open this one because look at that I love the beautiful I don't know cappuccino color uh, that you can see underneath it, the softer latte, and then of course that gorgeous aqua. It's such an elegant combination, uh, such beautiful florals and vines, and of course you can see in here that kind of bringing nature into the home, that kind of elements in there. Absolutely love this color combination. I just think it's absolutely extraordinary. I love the way that, of course, they have got the colors in here as well, so you can see all the colors that match in here. So the darker blur browns in there, as well as the softer aquas in there. I'm going to leave it there, more or less kind of folded. This is as good as it gets from me, folding fabric. Uh, then, um, yeah, surprise. No, I'm just rubbish with fabric and folding and clothes. Anyway, so we have got then the red and then the beautiful two thirds of the, uh, the stock has gone. This is my second, well, actually, you know what? I would now put all three in my basket because they are 13 pounds and 30 pence each of these options in which you are getting five uh, quarters. So one of them is a plane that matches beautifully the four William Morris, um, you know, patterns in there. Red, beautifully, uh, the, the beautiful kind of uh, flowers as well as those dots in there. And then we have got, of course, the sage one. I love the sage one because in this one is the one that has the most variation of color. You are getting, of course, that sage kind of beautiful greeny blue in there, but a gray greeny blue. Then you have got the lemon fabric in here, which of course kind of means that you have got some zestiness coming from the yellows. And then you have got the plain, which is an off, I would say it's a chalky white cream sort of color. Then we have got, I would say this is a grass green. This is a, you know, first leaves of the spring green. And then we have got again the gray sage in here a little bit more intense than the previous one now this is also very popular the sage one two-thirds of the stock has gone remember the limited stock uh, approaching no is it it's gone the uh, other will, will anybody notice if I put them in my basket nah well they do I mean let's put that here it don't worry I'm a bit but then, of course, make sure that you go for the ones that you want. Uh, now, £6.75, pence, that's a saving. Four seven nine zero seven two. 072 uh, We have got more from William Morris. Uh, we have got two meter pieces uh, as well here. And, of course, this is the 108 inches wide. And this is the quilt backing. I mean, it could be the backing or it could be actually the front if you wanted to do it. I mean, it's absolutely stunning in here. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, now you are getting two meters um, of that. <laughs> Amazing. We have got three different options for you here. We have, of course, the one that you can see in there, which is the chrysanthemum in, I think, a uh, toil top. Then we have got chrysanthemum toil in red. And then, of course, we have got the chrysanthemum in a sky there. Now, whichever option you are going to go for, it's a fabulous fabric, perfect if you want to finish a, uh, of course, a quilt, but also if you want to create a bigger project or you want to just kind of, maybe you just want to change the, the cover of your quilt. Uh, £47.98 is your price. Uh, not a quilt, duvet, that's what I was, duvet cover, that's what I was trying to find out in my brain, my brain. Uh, 273931, and of course you have got a flexi by option to spread the cost into interest-free payments of £23.99. Of course, Jenny is an author, a very reputable author, funny author, and as well as inspirational author, and all her books with five-star reviews, you will find them on the website. The 
craftstore.com. And of course, those ones they are there include material magic. She, uh, of course, Jenny was referring to that one. And if you go for the duo of material magic and creative tucks and textures, you have a six pound saving. 18 reviews or five star reviews. You know that uh, Jenny is. Is that not? Yeah, and then of course you have got the foldy rolly patchwork designs um, as well there if you want, and, and also it has a saving. Of, I think it is a five pounds, uh, five cents seventy-five uh, pence, or no, actually a four seventy-six saving. I think that's the saving. Anyway, uh, the foldy rolly uh, four seventy-six, yeah. <laughs> I got there at the end. <laughs> you, I mean, did, you did amazingly no, I did, well. Uh, I mean, I just, uh, I always try numbers and I should give up by now. But anyway, uh, of course, don't forget the William Morris, the 15 piece of the Granada collection. Also, whatever you check out during these hours from this show, it has to be from this show during the one huge, you will be entered to the giveaway. Um, of course, the, the amazing summer festival of quilting, that massive bundle. Uh, we will be announcing the winner for that tomorrow at 4 p.m. So make sure to check out your baskets during the live shows <gasps> right okay, so I have laid out my star with all the pieces in the right place now oh. so all these diamonds are so we have straight 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 all that they actually all work all the way around and you've got your stretchy edge to your stretchy edge this means now that my star when I sew it together all the grains going to be in the right way so at some point between now and the two o'clock show I'm going to sew all these pieces together but you might be wondering how I'm going to finish it off. Well, very often when you're doing one of these designs, at the junctions of here, let me turn it round a bit more so it's a bit straighter because you'll see better. There we go. The junctions that are here and indeed here and all of these, you very often have to do a Y seam. But I'm going to show you the cheats method where what we actually do is we take half square triangles and place a half square triangle so that you finish off each shape as a larger triangle. Now, I use two and a half inch strips for this. I'm going to have four and a half inch cut half square triangles because I'm going to use the Simplicity Easy ruler because this particular easy angle does include a seam allowance. If you haven't got one of those, then you would need to cut four and seven eighth inch squares. This just makes life considerably easier. And these pieces are going to be inserted in the correct place. Now notice that's got a stretchy edge. Yeah. So you will have stretchy edge, move the mat of the triangle, is going to go to stretchy edge yeah, with a stretchy edge. Well, stretchy edge is all going to go together as a stretchy edge. If I'm going to get this the wrong way around, just talk. Why, just, why don't you go back to a parlour for a minute while I sort myself out, please? Okay, well, yeah, perfect timing because actually we have got some updates here. Oh, the red option has a technical sellout, so it means that if you have it in your baskets and you check out right now, you will get them. Otherwise, you will miss out. Absolutely glorious uh, set of five fat quarters. Now, the only ones that is left, of course, is now the sage, which is glorious in itself. It's a favorite of many, actually, because, of course, it has got the, the lightness of the green. I mean, I just kind of, I mean, but look at this. Shall we? I'm going to put them like this so you can see them a little bit more, the bigger patterns, because they are absolutely gorgeous. Love the larger ones. I love, oh, look at this. Let's leave the plane in here and let's do show you. Because even the ones that, oh, look at this. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, they're beautiful. Sorry, I'm kind of ruining it, but I'm kind of just love the way that all the fabrics just work together or on their own, just beautifully. Yeah, I think I made it worse than it was, but... But just kind of look at that. Uh, the lemon, oh, the lemon is here. Kind of, they're hiding the lemons. They're, they're there. Uh, 479072 is your item number. And of course, that is the Sage option that is uh, only available now because all the others have gone already. Grab yours, check out your baskets. Even if it's just that that you're getting, you will be eligible to win the full giveaway that we are to celebrate the Summer Festival of Quilting. Right, also another item very popular is the pick and mix of half meters of the Granada uh, Morris & Cuff um, beautiful collection. You're picking and choosing any two. And I was thinking if you wanted to do something like um, Jenny was doing with the beautiful aquas and blues, the beautiful star, these two could work really well together and then you can add, or these three actually. And that would be a three beautiful combination of blues in aquas there as well. So you have got a 
possibilities to replicate that sort of a start with the glorious Granada collection. 041561 is your item number. Also, can I just mention the, 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 the Plains Moda because they are beautiful uh, colors in here. You can see how they will work so well with these beautiful colors in there that you have in there. So it's a pick and mix, so you can choose any two, and of course that means that you can have the planes that uh, uh, Jenny was using as well for that start. So have a look on the website for those ones, 12 99 for two half meter pieces. Back to you, Jenny. Right, okie dokie. So it, you will need to cut four to finish off the design, having now cut the right pieces and put them in the right place and just straighten this out again. Then you I can know. see. Yeah. Right, the cheats version will have triangles and it will be composed of how we're doing on that yes you can all see that so if we look at this section here here is my diamond this part has a stretchy edge a bias edge this half square triangle has a bias edge so those two are going to go and flow well together if we look at this side of this diamond that is straight so my half square also has a straight edge and it means that when I stitch all of that together and I sew this piece together, this down here will all be on the bias or on the stretch and it'll all flow together properly and the design will lie flat. And I think one of the big problems is that we don't always look at which way the grain goes and how can I help my fabrics lie flat and how can I make my work better. And the Blazing Star is actually an interesting piece because it does have to be cut out so that this piece is technically a mirror image of that piece insofar as the grain goes, right? They are identical if I put them on top, but they're not identical grain-wise because that's got a straight edge and that's got a stretchy edge. So you've got to get them lying out like that. And then we simply sew one small half square triangle onto there. And if you want the measurements, it's either using a four and a half inch strip if you've got this tool, or it'll be a four and seven eighths inch square which you bisect. The other half square triangle that goes on the end here is using the six inch measurement on the easy angle or you will cut a six and seven eighth inch square, uh, sorry, six and a half inch square and divide it up the middle. Uh, this You can work this out, but it involves square roots if you change the size, but just take my word for it. So that gets stitched to that, that gets stitched to that. You make up eight of those, and then we join these sections together to make a square, those sections together to make a square, those sections, those sections, and then this to this, that to that, and the two halves together. And hey presto, you will have an eight-pointed star. If we go to the one that I did over here, that will actually lie nice and flat and also when you pull it will behave itself oh. like a piece of material it doesn't do strange things because all the straight been. grains are going that way and oh. all the biases are going mm. on the diagonal and it really does pay so there you are that's a little bit about it i will get this sewn together and then show you the final stages on the two o'clock show um, but that's a little bit of how you do the blazing lone eight-pointed star mirror images and if you want the cheats version it's the addition of two half square triangles one there one there but check you get them in the right place so take a screenshot of this now and you've got the idea thank you so much i mean that is just it's so clever when you and, and that's the sort, of, sort of thing that we like as beginners we don't think so or even maybe as an expert kind of kind of sometimes it's a little bit difficult but having it explained by a master like jenny makes a lot of sense maybe is the sage option that uh, well the only option we have got left it is now limited to sog you could create it something like that as well could you imagine the beautiful greens and the sage and of course you have got the planes as well everything you need of course to do that top uh, 13 pounds and 30 pence is your price you have got a six pounds 75 pence saving which is phenomenal uh, 479072 of course it will be dispatched from the 19th of August I know as long as well as the, uh, the rest of the William Morris collections now 
the pick and mix and here you're choosing any two half meter pieces from the Granada collection from William Morris it is a beautiful collection there yes some of the patterns featured pomegranate but they are so elegantly incorporated that it does take a little bit to understand that they are hidden in there with the beautiful golden colors in there the rich uh, merlots and wine colors burgundies on the sage colors or really look at that this honeysuckle on those corally pinks the vine when kind of like smaller patterns and then that beautiful pattern. I love that I mean look at the whipping willow as well yesterday I was underneath a whipping willow and it was that kind of the feeling of being embraced by the falling leaf, the branches it's just so beautiful isn't it and kind of over the running water and the gorgeous deer and of course you have that brook design that is of course that the option in there absolutely stunning with the I love as well the kind of elements can you see they're here as well the kind of redness in here which means that if you wanted to accentuate with um, a plane that is red as well you could do that or embellish it even further but you don't have to this is the beauty of William Morris that you are the designer in terms of incorporating the bigger patterns or the smaller one a pick and mix also has that beauty whether you are thinking I actually want a you know kind of a very decorative storytelling fabric but then I want a plainer one maybe maybe bring in the blues look at that when you bring in the blue in here I like that I like that it brings a little bit of the blue in the coming coming kind of a border in here right if you want your uh, for half meter pieces remember you're choosing any two uh, for 14 pounds and 99 pence saving one pound zero four one five six one that is your item number now Jenny we have got about eight minutes right, left we're going to do something completely different now because I'm going to sort that out that was all designed to hopefully teach and make some one or two things a little clearer but for those of you who think they oh dear can't cope with that what am I going to do with all my scraps why not use this really simple technique a square of any old fabric you like as a backing square you could use a thick interfacing you can use calico you could use anything you liked all those scraps that are left over from that fabulous William Morris fabric you just can't bear to throw away let's take a scrap and put one diagonally across the center of our backing square take another scrap and as long as it sort of fits one end to the other that's all you need your seam allowances can be what you like so you can forget about doing a quarter of an inch if you do half an inch seam allowance you can have to do more strips if you do less than a quarter of an inch seam allowance you do run the risk of the pieces um, perhaps fraying a little on the edge because then you might get holes so I've got these two strips right sides together and I'm just going to sew down onto my backing fabric right the way down from one end to the other rescue dear little donkey from the other end or a burrow, burrow? Uh -oh. burrow? Is it a burrow? Burrow, burrow. 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 Burrow sections of fabric and from that section of fabric you could then cut something out so you don't have to use this as a square you could actually cut it out as any shape you like so let's rescue the animal and stick the animal off at the end here so then what this does for those who are watching for the first time is it carries the thread from one piece of work to the other yeah, yeah. open that out and I probably give it a quick iron I have an iron to hand here we are iron and then I'm just going to add some corner pieces. What can I bear to fit on the corner? That fits on the corner quite nicely there. So it's always right side down. Check it fits. If you really, really, really wanted to, you could always draw in two scraps together. Why not? Does it matter? Round to there. It's just lovely fabric. And it doesn't really matter. Because they all go together and they're such soft tones, it doesn't really matter which bit you put where. Right, open it out. That fills that corner nicely. One last corner to do. What shall I have there? A bit of that. Mm, I've got a bigger bit of that somewhere. What shall I finish it with? Well, oh, I'm not going to waste that bit. Let's have a bit of that. Oh, that's a bit too good. See, this is a trouble. You, you look yeah, so... Yeah, mm, you're kind of thinking... Uh, mm, I've already used that bit. Oh, go on, Jennifer, make your mind up. Let's use this piece. Will it fit? Yes, just. Oh, just... Dear, dear, dear. Yeah. I love that. 
Oh, I know. See, this is kind of very, really appeals to me because it's a bag that is kind of free and it's kind of your, you just, and you are not wasting anything, you're just using leftovers or, you know, elements there and whatever yep. you create is going to be beautiful. And it doesn't really matter wonderful. the fact you're sewing them on the diagonal because although we're going to cut it back, there's a backing fabric underneath which will actually, ah. um, you know, keep it solid. Right, quick press. Under there, quick press. Will it, it elect as a little bit of a stabilizer, basically? Underneath? Yes, yes. You, you need something un underneath. Otherwise, because you're stitching them all oh. um, like on the di diagonal, then when I cut it out, all the edges will have a bias edge and they will stretch. Right, turn it over. Working on the back, because that's a nice, neat square, you simply trim it. Now, you can either trim it using your ruler, you could use a square. I'm just going to use this little ruler. And then, of course, you've got the dilemma, what do you do with those really little pieces? Some of them, you they could are use monkeys. Again. Yes, they could be monkeys or donkeys. Or, or could you do, I think you did once where you were kind of sewing them together and, you know, doing... You can use them for miniature patchwork, you can use them as applique. You could actually uh, adopt another technique where you call, do something called snippets. Oh! And snippets is where you take little bits of fabric no. and you want to have a material underneath that's got some form of fusible glue yeah. on it and you just literally cut little snippets wow like this really? you allow them to fall and so you get all the blues in one area and then you put a piece of baking parchment on top remember you've got a fusible yeah. glue web underneath baking parchment on the top if you don't do that you'll get nasty things happening at the bottom of the iron and you iron it on and you can literally use up these little bits so some form of fuse web, yeah. do it up, press it in place, and then you free motion over the whole lot of it. The other thing you can do, so she's yeah. thinking on her feet, is um, cling film. Uh, yeah. You can actually take cling film, two layers of cling film, put tiny weeny bits of fabric inside the cling film, and iron it. And when you iron it, the cling film shrinks. You've got to have, I'm afraid, the proper cling film, the, the cling film that actually clings. It shrinks, trapping inside whatever you've put. Yeah. And you get a washable fibre, because when did you last see cling film vanish when you put water on it, that you can machine through, cut up using cards. Oh. But word of warning, you need baking parchment or grease through paper on the ironing board. You need cling film. You need all your little bits. You need cling film. You need another piece of baking parchment. And then you simply iron it slowly, let it cool down, peel the baking parchment part, and you will have a fibre that has um, sort of slightly shiny on the outside with all the threads trapped inside. And you can cut it into any shape you like. That is amazing. That's cool. I mean, I, I was like, I, can't, I mean, those ideas are incredible. They're just so different. So, but of course, from bigger pieces, if you want to cut star big, making a beautiful star, or maybe making smaller projects. Uh, of course, William Morris, they are absolutely amazing. And of course, this is the thing, isn't it, Jenny, that we get start with the bigger pieces, we start doing bigger yes. projects, and then we can even use the tiniest of flags yes. that we have yes. up on the back. Absolutely. And waste we, not. Waste not. And, and you don't want to waste not, not only because of the beautiful patterns, but also the quality of the, yes. the fabric yes. is being printed on. It is nice fabric. It is. Like we were talking about how, uh, you know, like, when, as soon as you start touching, it's like, this is, this is really top quality beautiful quilting cotton now of course you're choosing any two of the half meter granada william morris co um, company you know, collection so you're choosing whichever two you want it could be two kind of matching in tones it could be two very complementary remember that we have got uh, the uh, moda bella solids because then for instance you can see that they are obviously colors in here that will match beautifully those colors in there so you can see that for instance you could go for bella solids in this two and then of course go for the william morris in the other ones there's so many possibilities of course and you have also the taupe, which also will work with many of them. And of course, the colors is one of those things that I kind of, I have got, my eye tells me one thing, Jenny will have another one. This is why the Pekka necks are so good, because then you can choose whichever ones work for you. Twelve ninety nine is your price, Nine two nine three one six. And of course, the fat quarter with the 15 uh, beautiful fabrics from the Granada collection from Morris, 100% of course, cotton um, quilting white. 
white and you are getting all 15 for 55 pounds and 80 pence with a saving of seven pounds and 95 pence and remember you can flexify it to interest-free payments of 27 pounds and 90 pence now Jenny you will be back at I'm two o'clock with you Leone. yes and then I will have sorted out my star and put all the pieces that are all wonderfully muddled up here and sorted them all out again. I will make the start and then I will also explain how the trip around the world goes. Well, I'll be looking, far, looking forward to that one. It's just incredible, isn't it? But of course, all this starts with beautiful fabric. So if you want your Williams William Morris beautiful collection of Granada, details on the screen. Don't forget, of course, on the marvelous books from Jenny are on the website and including, of course, uh, bundles that are, you have got savings. And of course, they all have five star reviews. So grab yours. And remember, if you check out your baskets for that, you will be entered as long alongside of anything in the show that has been featured into that giveaway that we will announce the winner tomorrow at four o'clock. Jenny, a pleasure as always. As ever, Paula. See you too. Well, stay tuned because Janice is back with DIY Essentials with Janice, then Couture Creations Alcohol Pens One Day Special with John, and then Pink for Crafts at One. Fancy some textile therapy? Join us on Tuesday the 27th of July at 6 p.m to Tuesday the 3rd of August at 6 p.m. as we bring you our week-long summer festival of quilting. Tune in to all of your favorites from the world of sewing and quilting as they showcase and demonstrate an array of exciting and inspirational products for you to enjoy. This year we will be bringing back the amazing quilting mega prize draw. Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our summer festival of quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4 p.m. final call show on the 3rd of August. Good luck. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company what we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognize businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honored to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Well, hello everyone and a warm welcome. So we've got a DIY essential show for you this hour. If you missed it earlier on, because uh, we were on a little early, well, I say early, seven o'clock. So I, you'll be forgiven if you had missed that. I am joined by the extremely talented and multi-versatile Janice. Hello. Oh, was that me? Sorry. Well. <laughs> Did you think you were talking about me then, Janice? Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Janice. How are you? Very well. Can I just say, and uh, Paula said it, the whole team said it, you were excellent earlier. You really, I think, you what really about showed the show? us. Uh, no, you were really, really good. Oh, and thank you. You, yeah, you nice. showed us. Um, it's a compliment to you and also the product. How many of the team were like, "Yeah, we need this in our life." We're going to start with the one coat. This 
is such a clever product. It really is, yeah. And it's all to do with the ingredients that's inside the product. So if you've got anything in your garden that's lustring, maybe something that's rusty, it looks old, it looks tired, it could be garden furniture, mm -hmm. it could be UVPC, it could be wood in your garden, it could be those rusty hinges on your gate and your fences that you're thinking of throwing away and getting something new, don't. Because the active ingredients in this paint is going to bring everything back to life and I have enjoyed using this paint on pretty much everything around the outside of my mm. home because I think it's really important to upkeep what you've invested a lot of, of money in. We all have something in our lives that we could use this on genuinely and have a little think of this and the whole team we're all having uh, ideas Janice brought in so many examples to showcase the point but I've got to tell you something uh, we are approaching two-thirds of the stock now it's called one coat uh, let me just show you here so there you can see uh, one coat it is black you're getting a liter of it we say one coat because there's a primer in there and I know Janice you're very keen to get across to everyone there might be the odd occasion the odd occasion where you need to go back over just certain uh, it depends on your brush it depends on the surface yes it does but as yeah. a rule we were seeing it with you the coverage is exceptional yeah it certainly is and I've got lots of things to paint on today to show you and we've got some before and after photographs as well uh, right let's start with the paint itself when it comes to you this is really interesting because you know I look at everything so when it comes in the post you've got these two what uh, are protectors. So one goes on the top, one goes on the bottom. Don't throw these away. Don't throw them away. You don't need to paint them either. But when you turn them over, you can actually pop a bit of paint in there and you can use it as a little palette. Or because you've got that raised area, you can clean your brush in there as well if you want. It will clean with water. Uh, there's no solvents in here, which is brilliant. So it's water-based and it's odourless as well and it gives a great satin finish. Something that's very, very important when you open this up for mm -hmm. the first time, when you're using it, Yanis, mm -hmm. is to stir it. But don't don't get um, like an old screwdriver yeah. because that's not going to stir it enough. Um, get something like this, you know, a, an old stick or something like that's quite sturdy. And you need to give it a good stir, not just, oh, there you go, that's done, it looks all right, because it is, it's fine when you open it. Give it a stir. We're not stirring it to make yeah. it more usable, we're stirring the ingredients, and the active that ingredients inside. Active ingredient mm -hmm. that tackles the rust. You gave such a good analogy earlier on with the sugar. Yes, okay, so when you put yeah. uh, sugar in your tea and coffee, uh, you don't really see it and you need to start to drink it. But if you get clear water and you put sugar in there, it takes a while to disappear, doesn't it? So you have to keep stirring. Stirring it and stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring, and then it finally disappears. So then you can yeah. drink it, enjoy it, or do whatever you want with it. Um, so think of that with the paint. So keep giving it a really, really good stir. Now, when you're using this outdoors, you might be painting a fence, you might be painting a gate. It's great for fences. I would give it a really good stir, perhaps every half an hour, something like that. You'll get a feel for it. And it's really important to do that, to keep the active ingredients working mm -hmm. for you, because it will consume the rust. Now, this is the important bit because uh, and throughout this hour we're going to show you a picture because you're telling us you had a table yes okay. you and jane walked miles with a table on your back yeah we did you know we found this wrought iron table in a skip we asked permission and um the person that owned the table said yeah you can have it but it was really heavy and we couldn't get anyone to get a van so we actually walked in the village it must it must have been half a mile with Millie. Can you imagine that? So anyway, we finally got it home. So it was a labour of love and we wanted to look after it. So I went out, before I knew this paint was here, this was last year, you might have seen some pictures on my Facebook. So I went out and I bought another rust style protecting paint. So I painted that and I thought, that's it, job done. This year, I took a look at it and I could see that the rust was coming back through. I think we've got a picture of it here. So this okay. was actually painted and you can see there, can you see the little pockets of rust coming back? Yeah. Because Wait, the is rust... this after you'd painted it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh. is because the rust is still active. And this, can we stress, this is not with the one coat, no. this was with another brand. So I got the one coat and I went over it yeah. again oh, to yeah. get rid of that rust, but not just to get rid of it, to consume it. That's really important with the active ingredients. That's yeah. what it's all about. The rust could come back because it stays active you need the ingredients in here to make sure it doesn't so it's and it's tacking, really really easy to put rather on. than just covering up the problem we're dealing with the problem yeah we are yeah so we it's are. like like a, 
a mold or fungus than that. Right, if you cut paint over it, it comes yeah. back. But if you deal with it, yeah. Why walk past a bakery where you can go in and eat all the cakes? Yeah. That's what I say, and that's exactly what this paint's going to do. Um, shall I show you um, how yeah. it works? Because Please, this is so easy. Okay, there's quite a bit of rust on there. You, you can say the rustier there. the better. Do you know what? Yeah, the rustier the better. Now, if you've got anything um, like big chunks of rust, you can get a wire brush, but. I'm not going to do that. This is really rusty. Let's just dip the paint in, uh, the brush in. You don't need a lot. We won't put a lot on the brush like so. Okay, so there's the rust. Yeah. It's a case of now you see it, now you don't. And that's it. I mean, there's hardly any paint on that brush end. And you can put it on a little bit thicker if you want to. But you can see here that is going on an absolute treat and it spreads perfectly and you can even get into the little rust hole there and poke it back through if you want to so uh, let's just pop that down there there you go just pop, and it doesn't take i mean how long has that taken we've not put a primer on there because the primer's already in there mm -hmm. um i didn't take a wire brush to it i didn't need to in this occasion i would only recommend that if it's plastic that you're painting onto you just make sure that it's you know grease free for example but if you're anything like me i just go straight in and just start painting because yeah, i'm very impatient coverage. look at that that is incredible but the most i i think striking part <laughs> of the one coat is yes you've got the coverage on there and it's a beautiful satin finish but ultimately it's what's happening underneath it's what you don't see the fact that it's dealing with the rust i keep on saying that in our lives we've all got uh, something that we could use the one coat on for instance and Jan um, janice has brought in actually you found something here at the craft store yeah uh, a you, seat that we're going to give a go to. do you know what i love a challenge yeah. um and just over here i'll walk over here to show mm -hmm. you i love a challenge and i saw this chair outside and i get very attached to things i'm a, I'm a bit daft like that one would say um <coughs> so i think this has got a little bit of a personality and i felt really yeah. sorry for it being out there on its own and all the rust gathering and i've noticed this over the past week or so and i thought to myself today this would be a great project to do live so if you look at the bottom there you can see how rusty that is so yeah. completely just devoured by that rust and that's going to continue um, that's going to continue being devoured shall I pick it up a little bit there you go um, and that's going to be devoured by that rust now some people would say they like the look of that and it looks great you know as a crafter yeah. um, and you know that's very much the case however we want to preserve it because we want to keep it. We don't want to throw it away. And then it will lose its integrity and it will fall over. Yeah, and we don't want that to happen. Yeah. So we're going to paint that live in the show. In fact, whilst you're there, should we put a little um, layer on it right now? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. But before we do, can you just tell us about the chimney? Uh, oh, chim yeah. Chimney, is it? Now, this is a chimney. This is a neighbour's. This is, this is Carl and Lisa's chimney, although I want it to be my chimney now. Um, they sent me a picture. Let me just turn this around to show you. OK, they sent me a picture and it, it looked awful. Um, and they, they said, you know, we're thinking about throwing this away. We no. sometimes put some wood in there. And I was like, hang on a minute. I've got just the paint for you. Right. So uh, it doesn't, it's not very heavy, actually. It's fantastic. Yeah. So I've painted half of it that you can see there. Um, and we've got the other half. So stay there. I'm going to bring the paint over. What because do you the use proof the chimney for? Well, you put wood in, like, you sit outside, and you keep like, nice and warm. Oh, it's just very hit, hit, uh, heater. Yeah, and if you want to, you could put some jacket yeah. potatoes in there as well. Why not? Oh, Wrap them up okay. in silver foil, eh? Get a That's, pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll be lovely. That'll be lovely. So here's the paint. There's the rust. Yeah. I'm sure you'll agree at home. That is very, very that rusty. That is rusty. So I'm not going to uh, get a wire brush. If there's anything really nasty mm -hmm. that's big on there, you know, that needs just knocking off, like then I would do. Off, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm, j I'm impatient. I just want to go straight right. in. So you can see there, just getting a little bit on the end of the brush, okay. how that is covering the rust. Yeah, that coverage is so good. It's brilliant, what, isn't what it? What about, Janice, because this is obviously going to get hot. Yeah, is that going to be an issue? Yeah, no, no, no issue whatsoever. In fact, I've even used this indoors, because you can use it indoors, and I've used it um, in my fireplace, because I needed heat-resistant paint, Clear. and it's difficult to find. Yeah. So I do I believe we've got a picture of that. This is clever, clever yeah, stuff. It really is. I mean, look at this. Think about getting chimneys like this, maybe, you know, like on the uh, car boot sales yeah. or maybe on the marketplaces, and getting a tin of paint like this. I'm hardly using any, and then transforming it and reselling it. Genuinely, and you mentioned that last hour, and I was having a think about this because if you, you might have something like this at home. 
that you See, want to upcycle. See, I don't want to stop now. You know when you start, yeah. I don't want or to stop. Or equally, you would get this off a neighbour, yep. and once you've painted it as good as new, sell that. Imagine how much you get for that chimney. Right, OK, I'll tell you, because I've been looking for one okay. um, of this size. Yeah. So I was looking for one to actually bring on the show. Right. Um, and I'm not saying I didn't want to invest my own money, but they were going, in a rusty condition of this size, for about £60. Mm. Then, painted up, they were on there on this particular area that I was looking online. They're about 150 quid. So a bit of paint. They're a expensive. Lick of paint. Yeah, of Chimney is a very very expensive. Uh, and this one, I mean, it's just a beauty, isn't it? Mm. So yeah, with an investment of the paint, it's back to new. So I will finish painting this, yeah. and yes, I'm going to give it back to Lisa and Carl. Well, you never know. They might gift it to you. Yeah, they, hey, or they might invite me round to maybe. sit round it. Yes. Now we uh, actually mentioned the fireplace. It's worth seeing, and Janice has uh, kindly sent us a lot of pictures. So this is a before and after. And what Janice has cleverly done, she's actually used the paint. Uh, I think just on the flume at the top of the fire, but on the surround. So you see all that brickwork uh, surround with the grey, mm. and it was dulling. You've used that, and because it's heat resistant... Yep, and it's just brought it back to life, and it looks very absolutely fantastic. And it went on a dream, yeah. and you've got that satin finish to it as well. So yes, you can use it indoors. It is a rust converter, but I've used that on a project inside my home. And because it's low odour, in fact, there's no odour, um, you know, hot... Mm -hmm. No, no odour. Um, it was great. You can paint it and then you can just carry on sitting in there and in, enjoying your home. So that was absolutely fantastic to do. Janice, we're busy uh, for our one coat. So if you want to get hold of this, and this is what I love being a presenter here at the craft store, the uh, fact that we can bring you products that you wouldn't necessarily stumble, or, uh, stumble across, we are approaching 70% of the stock. Think about what you would be using this on. Actually, we, we um, had a little scowl of uh, the craft store, the craft store towers, to find the rustiest thing here. Do you know what it was? Go on. We ended up finding it. Wasn't it wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. It was the hinge on Katie, our producer's wallet. There we go. Very oh. rusty. That you know, I can fix that. That hadn't been opened in a while. I, do you know what? I there can fix go. that with one coat of paint and in two hours it'll be perfectly dry. We can all go out for lunch. Okay, there we go. Responsibly, socially distancing, of Rounds course. on you, Katie. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if you want to get a hold of this, twenty-seven ninety-nine is your price for something that is truly innovative. Uh, 962-286, your item number there. It is clever, clever stuff. And I've got to stress, this is not just a paint. Uh, the fact that it's heat resistant and also has the active agent that uh, allows it to deal with the rust so it's actually treating the rust it's Janice describes it so well she says it devours that rust so it's not going to come back through uh, and it dries really quickly as well great coverage and it's got the primer already in it just make sure uh, watch the uh, if, I hope you, you've been watching the hours but you have to stir it I mean give it a very good stir uh, and Janice will be showing that throughout the hour again uh, 962 286 your item number now we've just got a couple of more items on the show so we'll be quick here uh, we've got now this is your weather out I'm just gonna move these across You've got options. You don't get the two. You either get your black or your grey, which you can see. Oh, there you go. Black or grey. Very clever product. It's your emergency seal, whether it is a roof repair or guttering. If you've got, um, in those instances, and we've had so much rain recently. Oh, my so goodness, then yeah. You've got a little leak in a roof. Getting someone round, mm. it's how quickly will they get round? I know a lot of, uh, like, roofmen coming in. Is it roofmen? Roof just, people. Roofers. Yes. Roofers. Do you know, once upon a time, everyone was a man that came to your house. Roof TV man, man milk man, gas man, rent man. And roof We've changed man. all that now. No, but the roofer. Uh, it's getting around. How quickly can they yeah, get around? Yeah, it's true. And yeah. there's a premium price to pay. What this is going to do, it's going to do those emergency repairs for you. Now, one tin will cover approximately one to two square metres. Um, and also with your guttering as well. I'm sure if you look outside somewhere, there's some form of guttering that's joining together that's got that leak that just keeps coming down. Yeah. And it can ruin any stonework underneath or your garden. You don't want that to happen. So you want something that's going to be quick and immediate because when it's raining, that's when we see we have a problem. So we don't want to wait until it's dry to fix that problem. Otherwise, it's just going to keep dripping and cause more damage. You can use this 
In wet conditions, Yanis. Oh, OK. You can use these in wet conditions. So wait, even, even if the surface is wet, moist, we can still we can still put it on. We don't have to dry it completely. Yeah, yeah, we can. If you just stay there, I'm just going to grab uh, my brush because okay. this is um, solvent-based. Right. So, so this, just, we say, we need to, in a well-ventilated area. Well, yeah, because it will be outside. Yeah. You're be not careful. going to use this paint indoors. No. So, yes, it is um, solvent-based, which is important because you need it to adhere to the guttering or the area that you're going to fix. So I'll show you the paint in a moment's time, but okay. this is a sieve. Now, we all know what a sieve will do. Yeah. Um, it sieves your flour, but if you were to pour water through the sieve, it's going to go all the way through. A lot of holes in there. There's a lot of holes in yeah. there. I wonder how many. Um, but I've painted half of the yeah. sieve with the um, weather out, so let's mm -hmm. try it. So yeah. let's pour it into that part of the sieve. And you'll see that it's not going through at all. Oh, that's but if we tip it that way, it all comes through. So if it can seal a sieve with all of those holes, I'm sure it can seal your cracks and your holes in your um, team, in your guttering. The team are impressed by that demo. Yeah, it's Could good. Could you show it? us the cardboard box? Are you yeah, impressed yeah, by that? You're going to be really impressed by this. Okay, so uh, cardboard box, cardboard box. Yeah. Sound like Tommy Cooper? Oh, cardboard box, cardboard Just box. Like that. Just, Just like that. that. Oh. Um, normally, you put water in a cardboard box, it's going to go all the way through, yeah? Of course. Okay, so let's put it on there just in case it does go all the way through. And let's pour some water into the cardboard box that I've lined with the weather out. And I think you'll find... Nothing. Nothing's coming through. Nada. Nothing is coming through. Now, it will stay... I, I painted this, must be a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. It stays slightly tacky, mm -hmm. but that's fine. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Just the um, nature of the problem. And it's very fibrous as well. So yeah. it, it, those let fibers sort of help to fill any, any holes and blockages. Um, holes, I'll tell you sorry, what, let me trainable. grab... This, let me grab this one. I've got a couple of things to show you. So, uh, right, so I've got this little food container here. I do have some like roof tiles and everything, but mm. I want to show you this. And knowing me, I need to pull that it's water. It's another back good, out. good demo. So, water goes through. So there it is. That's what it looks like when your guttering's leaky. Right. Oh, so need the loo now. Right, OK. <laughs> I'm, I'm regretting that coffee. Yeah, right, OK. So I've just put the paintbrush in some white spirits because yeah. that's the way to clean your brushes Because obviously with this it is solvent-based, yeah, as opposed to the one coat, which is water-based. Which water -based. is water-based, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And even though the one coat is water-based, it's still waterproof when you put it outside. So let's have a look at the paint. Uh, you'll see it's, it's quite globby. I like that word. Gloopy, yeah. globby. Um, fibrous. It's fibrous, yeah. It's not going to move around a lot. Mm. And you'll see that when I just put the brush in, you can see, you see the fibres, oh, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. So there's ingredients in there with the fibres that will bring them together for you. So let's get that container here. It's still wet, right. that's fine, because, you know, <laughs> we go out to the guttering, when it's wet, we want to fix it when it's yeah. wet, don't we? Because, you know, know that's leakage. when we can see where it's leaking. Yeah. Especially if you've got the connections in the guttering that you can't really see, but you only see when it's leaking. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. So there's the paint on there. Let's get some more water back out of there. And let's pour that in. A little bit there, so that's fine. Okay. So what we need to do is go back on there. Nice. But it's wet. That's fine. You can just keep putting it on when it's wet because yeah. that's how it works and it remains tacky. So you can find those places and you'll see there, hopefully, let's get a bit more water in there mm -hmm. and keep testing as you go along until that water has completely stopped. You can see a little bit there, so we'll yeah. just put a more, little bit more on. And that's the advantage of being able to use this. When it's wet, yeah. you can find out exactly where it's leaking and go to that precision place. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm smiling because we did this earlier on, and literally the first time with the jazz pour the water, that was it. But it's absolutely right that obviously you can see where the leak is and you've got that ability to uh, patch it up. Thinking about flat roofs, and my parents, every time I do a DIY show, I tend to talk to my parents a lot. My parents have got a flat roof and uh, just a small flat roof in part of their house. And they've had issues with that in the past. So being able to fix it uh, in just a small area, go mm. up and have that control to get up and fix it, I think it's invaluable. How much would you pay for a workman to come around and do that job when you can quite simply allow the weather out to do it for you? Yeah, it certainly does. Um, we've just placed this over, you can see there's water in there now. Um, Nothing's coming give it a, out. Give it a pour again, Jan. There you so go. Everyone so, can see yeah. it so, uh, water in uh, and no leakage, which is brilliant. There you go. So, that is totally secure. 
Mm -hmm. No water coming out of there, and that's what we've done. Now, if you've got a larger area that you need to go over, you could see there, we just put a, a few pieces on there because it was quite a large hole at the back. Just get a piece of uh, gauze that you can buy from a DIY store. Very easily, just put that over the crack and then start painting over and let those fibres take over. And you can use it in damp conditions, which I think is, is brilliant. Because that's the only time you see when you've got a leak. Yeah. You don't want to wait till it's dry, then go up and then wait till it rains again to see if you've got it covered. You need it right. to be wet, you need it to be raining, you need to see the leak to get that covered. So that is invaluable and a great price as well, Yanis. It's a very, look, for 19 .99 and just keep boiling back to the point, if you do have a leak, if you have an issue, if you have a gutter that has been leaking for a long time and you just think, oh, I'm just going to tolerate it. And actually, some of the point, with a gutter leaking, it can actually ingress into the brickwork and cause even more damage. So uh, being able to deal with that and not have to replace the guttering, not have to get someone around to do it, because all you're doing is quite simply painting the weather out onto the spot and you're, you're uh, spot proofing that area done. Uh, flat roofs, if you've got an issue, and they are notorious for having leaks, uh, especially if you've noticed in the weather. Or, I tell you something, have a look. If you've got any um, within the home, maybe you're noticing a small little patch and you're thinking, oh, it could be the roof, and you're kind of putting it off, leaving it. Being able to treat that area, seal that area up for $19.99, game changer. It really is a game changer. Uh, 497 121, your item number. We just got a couple more things we're going to share with you and then we're going to get back to our one coat, which is busy. Weather out. Busy. Uh, now, we're going to move on. This is our Roots Out. So, Roots Out, it targets your moss and your algae, uh, which is something, especially in driveway, uh, can be really awkward. So, if you've got in your home, Having a look around, say any uh, algae or moss, it could be on decking, it could be in the patio, and you just want to deal with it. Very easy to use. Um, it's a concentrate, so you are diluting this down, and then just, I would imagine, Janice, are we watering it? Water yeah, can? Yeah. It's a 1 to 10 ratio, but don't, just in front of don't you, worry too much about that if it's a 1 to 10 ratio. If you get a little bit more than 1 to 10, it's absolutely fine. So put that in a um, watering can. Don't use that watering can again for your gardens because remember, this is going to get rid of moss and algae. So don't mix them up. Go out and you can get them quite easily, very, very cost effectively. And just use that for roots out. And then all you do is simply water over your driveway. It could be your patio, it could be your driveway and leave it and walk away. Just make sure that it's not going to rain for 12 hours. So I know we're going to get some more dry days. We will. We will. Uh, so just water that and then leave it. It's pet safe. Don't let your pets walk on it instantly when it's wet, but it's not dramatically damaging to them. Um, but just let it dry. Just corner off the area. Um, and that's it. Leave it. And it will do its work. It will start to work on that moss. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I've got one of those wire brushes, one of the tall stand-up wire brushes, and that will get rid of the moss. But how many times do you do that. I bet you've done that about three times this year because the moss keeps coming back because you're only yeah. getting rid of the top. It's like cutting your hair. The roots will still hopefully carry on growing, <laughs> but it's, you need to kill that moss. You need to get rid of it completely, especially as I've just done. If you need to repoint any of your patio, you need to get that moss gone and that's what that's going to do for you. You're a professional. I'm you do, you're really good. I yeah, like, I Janice hates spiders. Don't even like the name of the word. And there was one here, and no, seriously, you've got a real phobia with it. So yes. carrying on like that, with the, we got it out of the studio. Very proud of you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, so eighteen ninety nine is your price. Three uh, eight three five six eight four. Your item number. I wasn't being patronised now. I know no, how much no, you hate them. No, no, it's because we were going to go to yeah. the chair that has been outside. So that just goes to prove it's been outside yeah. for a long time. Had it. Anyway, it's dealt with, it's been put out, okay? okay so it's not in the studio. Easy. It's not in the <laughs> studio. Okay, we're just going to move on. We've got this to share with you. Now, quite clever. So this is your Blue Fix surface repair pens. Uh, and the way they work, you've got the gel and the LED light. So the, the, pen, the LED lights already have the batteries. And what happens, the lights, um, they activate the gel, mm. and that's what creates that bond. Yeah, it certainly does. Now, don't mistake this for a glue because you need the UV light to let it set. So if you're putting two items together, it's not going to be able to see through unless you're using the one we have for glass and you want to put maybe um, a handle on the glass, then of course the UV light will see through the glass. Yeah. So it's not a glue, but it's a fixant. So for example, here's a remote control that you can see there. 
and at the end it was cracked it's going to crack even more it's going to break we don't want that because these can be mm -hmm. quite costly as well to replace so you put the right adhesive on there for plastic and then you get the UV light and it sets it so you do yes. need to use this in thin layers in order for it to set it's also good for wood flooring this is just some you can see there that's just raised up so that's set really nice and hard so if you've got a chip in a tile or a chip on a wood floor for example um, they can be very annoying and then they can start that's to gather clever. dust and dirt yeah. and start to look messy so what this actually does if you imagine there's a piece missing so say from the remote control or from a tile rather than a glue where you're trying to s stick something back if you do not have that piece to put back it's um, it's filling that void mm. and then you're activating it with the actual light 15.99 is your price and you've got three options so we'll go through the options You've got your low voltage cables. So that's just for your chargers, and that, for your phones, the low voltage. They are yep. absolutely notorious for but breaking. But only use that for that, which yep. is great. Then we have our metal and glass and stone. Mm -hmm. So if you've got, let's say, something out in the garden that's chipped, one of your favourite uh, ornaments, you can actually use that. You can sand it afterwards and paint over it as well. So once you've layered that up and it's set solid, you can sand it down mm -hmm. and then you can paint over it so you can make that smooth surface again. Perfect. And then finally, over here, you can see we've got our plastic and our wood. Fifteen ninety nine is your price. You uh, you just pick the one that you feel is going to work best for you. Two hundred three nine eight uh, three nine zero your item number. Okay. Now we have had a question okay. from the lovely Mary. Mary, thank you so much. And um, by the way, if you've got any questions for any of the products that we're featuring this hour, please get in touch. We will do our best to try and get you uh, an answer this hour. If not, I'm sure Janice will post something uh, on her Facebook page, and please follow Janice on Facebook. Okay, so the question from Mary. Can we paint over the black if we want another finishing colour? So let's say, Mary, this is a really good question. I know we did ask it earlier on, yep. but a lot of viewers went, went around at 7 this morning. So let's say we put our one coat on, yes. and then we wanted to put another paint a different colour. Are we yeah. able to do that? Or maybe paint some flowers on if you've yeah. got... Um uh, like Chimia. a plant or something like that. Absolutely. It's got a nice satin finish, so it's not gloss. So if you've got some outdoor acrylic paint or paint that will adhere, then absolutely. And then that would look really, really nice. This, incidentally, this plant pot, um, this was down my allotment. They were going to throw it away. You don't want to be throwing it. It's just going to end up in the, in the mm. landfill. Yeah. So that's how it looked. And, it, and you wouldn't really want to have that in your garden, would you? No. But sometimes you've got your favourite plants in there and it just weathers down. If we turn this around, this is after painting it, look at the detail that's now come back out and that lovely satin, almost factory finish, because you can't see uh, the paint, the brush marks in there. It's almost like it's sprayed on. I wouldn't use this with a sprayer. Um, just use it with a paintbrush, but you can see there it just changes it completely and it brings back that plastic uh, nice. pot to life. I love that. that. Looks, and it looks so yeah, classy. With, you, go into, you go to a department store or, or a garden centre rather and see that kind of plant there, you'd pay serious money for that. Oh, you certainly would, but you wouldn't pay serious money for that, would you? Fair you point. Wouldn't. You uh, would not. We've had a, another question. Yep. This is from Jude. Another good one, Jude. So would we be able to use this paint to cover uh, a metal trellis that's already been painted? Yep. Again, it's a very good question. It was one we, um, we discussed earlier on, but I think it's worth revisiting. So let's say we've got, as Jude was mentioning, a trellis. It's got some paint on it, but rust coming through. Would we need to strip the paint down? Can we go back over it? Not necessarily, no. It depends on how... Um how much rust is flaking away. If you've just got a bit of rust on there, for example, let's grab this, okay? Uh, so this could be part of that trellis. You can see just there, it's lots of rust, but nothing really flaking away. You can just get the paint and you can paint straight on it like that and it covers it perfectly. Yeah. Now, if you've got um, a lot of paint that you need to chip off, let's bring in my little friend here from the side. Mm -hmm. And this has been in my garden for, must be like eight years, but oh, you can kiwi. see around here, it's stuck. See that it's starting to flake off. Yeah. Those little bits there. So you can just you can either just flick those off like that. You can get a wire brush if you mm -hmm. want to, but you don't have to. You don't have to. The larger bits I would always say remove, but if you've got tiny bits that you can't really get to, if you're anything like me, I'm just impatient. So I just go straight in and start to paint that, mm -hmm. and you can see that that is just taking all of that rust, lovely converting it. And it looks fabulous. And you've still got the texture underneath, 
and I can paint it on the smooth part as well. So even though we've got that textured finish, if I turn it this way, you can still see that lovely hammered effect underneath, but it'll also work on the smooth areas as well. So finish. yes, it's, it's perfect for your fences, your gates, your trellis, but you don't have to take the paint that's on there. Yeah. If you've got rust coming through in pockets, you don't need to. You can just paint directly over it. Just do it. And yeah. thinking about any ironworks that you do have, sort of gates or fences around your home, if they are looking shabby, if they're looking well rusted. We had a uh, question actually for earlier on, someone saying about a gate, they had an iron gate um, that had rusted, would it be used on there? Good point, because yeah. replacing a gate, think how much that would cost you, but here with the paint, not only can you fix the gate with the paint, and it goes a very long way, and Jan is showing you, you only use a sparing amount, Think about what other projects, what else you'd be using this on. Got to give you a little update, though. <laughs> With three quarters of the stock, we are busy for our one coat. And I'm so pleased because, and again, I'm going to compliment Janice here. And I'm not just saying that because we're friends and we work together. But Janice and before the show, if she comes on, if she's going to be endorsing something, she genuinely tests it and tests it and tests it. So she's happy to stand here and say to you, look, it works. And it really does work. And uh, I think it's a compliment to you, Janice, because mm. you you, you're, you're, you've got a lot of integrity in anything yes, you endorse. Yes, and that's important. It's yeah. important because I love to do DIY uh, around my home and I like everything to look nice and bring it back to life. I don't like to throw anything away. So it's really important to get the right product. Um, and I truly, truly believe in this. And I've spent the past two weeks, if not three weeks, just painting everything and also getting in touch with the neighbours. What do you got? What can I paint? Yeah. Uh, I've even painted this... Um, uh, uh, apron as well so I did a yeah. half and half as well so it will go onto fabric I've not yeah. washed it yet so um, that's something I can try but if I just scrumple that up you'll see that it's not flaking or coming apart um, so that looks great so if you do have anything sort of like towel pauling or fabric the, you want to paint you can yeah. do the bottle was interesting yes. you just show the bottle because yeah. and the, the premise of this is when you're working with something Janice wanted to highlight there are certain mediums that will expand yep. and contract, and obviously that can crack paint. But with the one coat, you don't have that problem. No, you don't. So we've got this on a bottle. You can see there we can just scrunch that up, and uh, it's not going to crack. And that means it's going to expand perfectly with um, guttering or anything outside like plastic that will expand. A bit of silver foil as well. You can scrunch that up, and then you can just unfold that, and you'll see that it's not cracked or dissipated in any way. It's stayed adhered to that silver foil which is mm -hmm. brilliant and that's always handy to know because yeah. we can put this on all kinds of different surfaces I've got a stone here so that's not really going to expand in the heat mm -hmm. but it goes on beautifully and why would you want to paint stone well it might be a rockery it might be a feature stone for example or it might be a stone that you've got around your pond uh, around the water and it's just discolouring and it's getting all rusty or it might be that you are um, maybe painting a number on there because yeah. uh, lots of people do that as well so you well, know it goes on perfectly there you go now you can use a tiny bit on there which is great. great I mean that's great coverage considering it's an une uneven surface the amount you can do with it we have got more pictures and I'm conscious I think Janice took a lot of time Obviously, everything I'm going to show you here, this is Janice upcycling so see if you've got anything like this in your home for instance now, this is a good one. Yes. Because guttering. Yeah, well, this is the pipe that comes um, yeah. out of the kitchen. And it just looks awful because in, on my house, it's out the front. So, mm. you know, anyone walking up to the front door, because the kitchen's on the front of the house, it just looked awful. Mm. So I thought, well, I, t I can't really fix another one and go and buy a new one. Because, uh, you know, you know what happens when you start a job like that. So I painted it. Now it looks brand new. It looks brilliant. Absolutely brand new. Or how about, uh, now, this, this is a good point because there might be something in your home that has weathered but has a lot of significance and this is a special thing in your life. Yeah, this this holds a solar light for uh, Dee Dee, my dog that we lost about five years ago, bless her. So I've always had a light hmm. since she left and uh, it started to get rusty. And you know, you have that panic, it's like, oh no, it's starting to rust, it's, it's going to fall apart and you don't want that to happen because it's like a little remembrance for yeah, me. So, took the one coat, painted it, now it's good as new. I mean, it does look great. It does, yeah, it really does. And what? it was really easy to paint as well. What really impresses me, and we'll carry on showing, because I know there's chairs and there's locks. Okay, this is functional now. Not only does that look like a new lock, mm. thinking about um, just curb appeal of your home, yes, if you've got definitely. a rusty lock on there, yeah. it, just, 
It doesn't look very nice, does it? Well, do you know what? You, you see a lock like that and you think, right, I need a new lock. Do you mm. know what? Not a new lock. I'll get a new gate. And that can put you back like 200, 300 quid for a, a really decent uh, gate when the mm. one you've got is all right. It's OK. So just paint the ironmongery around your house, whether mm. it be uh, the handle to the door, your letter boxes, whether it be lights outside your home. Remember, this works on plastic. It'll work on uh, all kinds of metals, on wood and on stone as well. So it's going to work on pretty much everything you take it to. And it just looks brand new. Here's that dirty, filthy, disgusting chair from the allotment. They were throwing it out. And I was like, wait. And they were like, really? And I was like, yes. Did you wash it? No. You no, just no, literally no. I just, painted just it wiped over. it down a little yeah. bit. You know what I'm like. I'm very impatient. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we, I just painted that. And do you know what, Yanis? You could put that inside your home. It looks, it looks that good. Yeah. Just add a cushion. It could be one of those spare chairs or occasional chairs um, that you have. So, yeah, absolutely perfect. And I know that that's going to last me for years and years to come now instead of throwing it away. So oh, that was good. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. when you consider the amount that you're going to save on replacing items, whether it is a chimney, uh, we've got another great example here if we just show you this. Now, this is interesting. This was the before and after for the moss. Oh, um, okay. Yes. Not that one, okay. So, uh, I was going to say to you. But it's still nice, still a nice picture, still yeah. a nice picture. So uh, your house, might, look, your house looks great? It, that's not my house. <laughs> Oh, she was, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's not my house. Um, but we did have some more pictures of yeah. the um, umbrella holder yes. for your garden um, and the water butt as well, because this paint is fantastic for oh, water tell butts. Everyone the, the water butt story is really good. Mm. So, Janice, we're looking for a water butt. And you found one, yep. very reasonably priced. Yeah, it was only ten pounds, but it was a, it was a huge one. Normally, it was second hand. It right? was second hand. Yeah, yeah, it would have cost me about ninety odd pounds to buy brand new. But I've got that money. But I want to conserve water, so here it is. It doesn't look great, but it's in a part of the garden that not many people see. But I see it, and I want it to last a bit longer, so I painted it. Now look at this. And look at that. Looks brand new. And I also painted the piping in the background as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm painting. Ev Even Jane nearly got painted the other day. <laughs> She did, she <laughs> did. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I've got to tell you, uh, just before we move on, uh, we have a question about the weather out okay. for you. And this is actually a really good question. Could we use it, ah, could we use it on shoes? Mm. Well, I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't. Because it stays tacky and um, because it has quite a solvent smell to it, it's not, it's not designed, for shoes. designed for shoes. It's a very good point maybe Wellington boots, for example, but I wouldn't use it on any kind of clothing. I wouldn't use it on shoes. It is primarily and especially for leaks in roofs and gutterings. Okay, yeah. that's good. But the thing is, it's a good question. If you're thinking it, odds are uh, other viewers at home will be thinking that as well. So thank you. So who's that question from? Carol, thank you for that, Carol. Okay, so this is a chair that Janice found here at the craft store. It's outside. Yes. Is it in Smokers Corner? Yes, it yeah, is. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, do, yeah, I just I feel sorry for the chair, not the smokers. I feel sorry for the chair. <laughs> no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought I'm just going to I'm just going to get down these. Okay. I thought I'd give it a paint. So I'm not I'm not going to. You know what? I don't think I need to really prep it. There's a bit of dust on there. You could uh, you could wipe that down, but for the purposes of TV, let's just uh, mm -hmm. get that on. So you, you can see there, it's just going on beautifully i'm not getting God, the a lot coverage from the is brush. so good yeah it's great because that is now devouring all of that rust so we don't have to worry about that again we've given it a really good stir at yeah. the uh, at the top it's beautiful to 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 go on and you know when you get a product that is so easy to paint on you can it see it that yeah. it does make it a joy and you get those instant results because we don't have to prime it mm -hmm. I'm terrible and I'm so impatient. So I wouldn't want to prime this mm -hmm. and then wait for it to dry. I want instant results and that's why I love this paint and because get we're getting instant well. results. Yeah, sorry Anne Janice, I talked over you there, but you get um you get a wonderful satin finish too. Yeah, yeah, and it dries. You can put another coat on it after about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh we'll go over the other type of uh, metal that's. I think that's that's like a plastic metal. Okay. That's, you see the plastic or metal, isn't it? Uh, but that's like a plastic. So we'll go over that. Uh, so that's probably needing another coat. But going on to the rust, because the rust is just devouring the paint, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? And that is going to dry 
touch dry in 15 minutes so we can add another coat if we want to i don't think we're going to need another coat on this no way so this is primer and the main paint with the rust converter all going on at the same time wow. if you imagine getting one of these from a car boot sale or maybe you've got one in your home you're thinking of throwing away you've got one in the garage maybe you're just using that in the garage to sit on whilst you're doing your work paint it and then use it com for something completely different. You could even take it back in your home. And it dries beautifully. And the brush marks, they, they di almost disappear. Um, I mean, yeah, do be careful how you put it on. But the brush marks almost disappear as it dries. So you can see yes. how well that goes on. And that just was just looks, I'm minutes. looking here from an angle, and this is incredible. The, the coverage that you're getting, and Janice will have this whole chair done in a matter of a few minutes. Can I also say... If you've got any ironworks at home, especially there are some, we've been going for, my wife and I have been going for a lot of walks uh, during lockdown and after, and you see, you start to notice the homes around you and there are some beautiful sort of ironwork gates, but they are prone to obviously rusting. Imagine if you have a gate or a fence uh, that's starting to rust outside your home, how much would that be to replace? If you paint it, and this is the important part, uh, and the difference with one coat as opposed to just normal paint. Normal paint does not deal with the rust. So, okay, you could just try and cover it with normal paint, but uh, in time, that rust is gonna come back through. You've not done anything. With one coat, you're treating the rust. It's got an active ingredient in there that will act actively tackle and devour the rust. It's weatherproof, and imagine the money you will save and how good you're seeing the results, whether it is the chair, the chimney, uh, all the other things that we've painted on the show and demonstrated on the show. Once you've painted it with the one coat, and I'm sure you all agree with me because you can see it at home, they look like new. So your gates are gonna look like new. If you've got any uh, planters at home, if you've got an old barbecue, and that's a thing, you know, like say a barbecue, and they, they really do rust. In the British weather, we get a lot of rain, barbecues, stuff like that, in, in time after a year or two, suddenly it's rusted and you're thinking about chucking it out. Do not chuck it out. I mean, just a barbecue alone, that's something that I can definitely relate to, because I've had lots of barbecues over the years that have rusted and you've come kind of like, oh, I'm gonna get rid of it now because it, it looks old. You do not have to do it. You don't paint the inside though, we just, uh, the outside you're saying, Janice. Yeah, we just paint the outside. See, you've got me started now. I'm thinking okay. of all sorts I could do with this. Go on. Um, I might put another, uh, coat on this because I didn't I didn't take all the grease off that but that's fine yeah. that's fine um, and it's called one coat because you've got the primer in there so you don't need to prime it and then add another coat on there but you can see it's already starting to look brand new and that will dry beautifully it really really will and uh, those brush marks will just dissipate and disappear so you won't see those and, uh, just and with the black that's things. looking that's looking really good. Does it does look good, doesn't it? Um, yeah. We could try painting it on the uh, the leather as well, but I think that it's looks okay. all right. We yeah, don't really we need, don't to need to do that. It, yeah. But it changes it completely, doesn't it? It really, yeah. really does. So when you consider where we were before this and the base, the actual base, it was so rusted. Oh, it I looked mean, awful, really didn't it? Pitted, and, you know, truly rusted. All of a sudden now, with it, and obviously when it dries, it, there's a slight gloss to it now because. It's, oh, yeah, um, we should have got a picture of it beforehand. Oh, Sorry, okay. everyone. Um, just, I, I was so we eager. Can, we can rewind. Yeah. But um, there's, a, there's a gloss to it now, but when it dries, it dries with yeah. a, a matte it, satin. It, it dries, yeah, it dries beautiful. It really, really mm -hmm. does. So we'll leave that um, to dry. But that's changed completely, and that means I could put that back outside, and it's not going to rust any further. In fact, we might even have it inside because it looks so good, I doesn't think. it? Let's reclaim it from the smokers. Let's reclaim it, there yeah. It looks fabulous, um, doesn't it? Can we just show you something? Because I know we didn't take a grab of the chair before and after, but what we have got is a brolly base. Something else a lot of us can relate to. I'm thinking like my parents have got a, a trolley base just like that. So all of a sudden now, watch what happens. Now this will continue to rust. Yeah. And it's not something you want to get out when you've got people coming round, or you don't want to get it out either when you're sitting there in the sunshine, you've got a beautiful umbrella and that just looks awful. So again, you think to yourself, I'll go and buy a new one. But that's going to put you back 25, 30 pounds, isn't it, to buy yeah. a brand new one, when the one you've got is perfectly all right mm -hmm. and probably better than the ones that are out there for sale at the moment. Yeah. So all you need to do is take the one coat and paint okay. it. James, that, that is done. crazy. That looks so good. It looks great, doesn't it? It really it does. It really does. Is that your one? That's mine, yeah.
We so I have right. repointed my patio, everyone. Okay. That was that was <laughs> during the repointing off. Um, <laughs> but yes, it it just works perfectly yeah. on tables, on garden furniture, on chimneys, anything that needs that heat resistant like barbecues is absolutely perfect for it really is. We're very busy for our one coat and it's just finding, and I said this earlier on, but it's such a joy being a presenter here at the craft store that we really do try and scour and find you products that you wouldn't necessarily uh, be aware exist. I never knew something like this existed out there. So uh, we're now at 80% of the stock. For our one coat, it is black, and what it does, it's already got the primer, that's why it's called one coat. Certain surfaces, you might need to go back over it. Not all, just some occasions, but what makes this special is that uh, it is water-based, but it will create that weatherproof uh, finish and seal to it. It's also got the active ingredient, and by that, I mean, when you go over the rust, and Janice was saying, the rustier the better. I mean, the chimney, if you saw how rusty that chimney is, and how well the coverage of the uh, paint goes over at the one coat, but most importantly, what it's doing, so you can see just to the far right, um, the little, uh, the difference, the slightly glossy one is what we painted earlier on, um, just give it all just now, rather. So that will obviously dry matte, and you can see to the left, uh, to the left of your screen, you can see there that that's, um, that's how it will dry, that satin matte finish. But it's dealing with the rust. You're not just covering up, you're not sweeping it under the carpet, you're actually actively tackling that rust so that will not be an issue, it will not bubble through because it's something that Janice has experienced and you were saying Janice, and we won't mention the brand, but you bought a paint because you that table. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was a, a, an antique table. Let's show the picture. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a wrought iron. I think it was from the 1930s that we've actually found out. So well, it's a beautiful. A from a oh, it's skip. a beautiful piece uh, from of furniture. A skip yeah, yeah. Uh, but I painted over it, but the rust has started to come through again because rust is always active. It is. So once it's and there, unless you deal with it, unless it you will deal come with back. it, yeah, it's it's like roots of weeds. Unless yeah. you pull out the roots, they're going to come back time oh, okay. and time again. So you need to deal with that rust, and that's what the rust converter in one coat will do for you. Remember to give it a really good stir. I've repainted that table. That rust isn't coming back. Nice. Shall we just show that? I'm just conscious we get new viewers joining us all the time. Yes. Should we just show the stirring because it's really yeah, important? Let's do that. Yeah. And when we stir. say stir it, yeah, get don't something. Don't just give it a quick stir. Get something quite substantial. Yeah. I mean, this is I think it's a back scrubber. Um, the scrubber isn't on the end. So that's it's a stick or anything like that. Don't just get a screwdriver. It's not going to be good enough. You need to give it a good stir. Let me bring that in there. Mm -hmm. um, the paint itself looks good to go instantly, but give it a good stir because there's ingredients inside there and it's those ingredients you want to have working for you. So give it a good stir, you know, be a bit vigorous with it. You can give it a shake before you use it, but you know, a nice stir this way, a little stir that way. And then that's that done. If you want to re-stir it after about 20 or half an hour, that would be a really good idea as well. Okay. Uh, I had two really good questions yep. in. So first one's from... Oh, okay, sorry, these are from call centre, so we don't have names. Uh, but one question asking, could you use this to do lettering on uh, gravestone? Do you know what? Yes, that actually, that's a really good idea. Because it obviously goes yeah, on stone beautifully. It, it, yeah, it does. And I've actually used, I don't have it with me now, but I've used this with a, a smaller paintbrush mm -hmm. um, when I was doing some finer detailing. And it, it does it does flow beautifully. So, yeah, give it a go. That's a good idea, good actually. Yeah, yeah, on stone. Uh, also, another one uh, is from Jude. Yeah. Now, she's had a new barbecue. Yes. If she painted this, would it prevent rusting? That's a really well, good idea. Yeah. So rather than waiting for it to rust... Yeah, it's a good idea, ahead. actually, yeah, because it will it will um, provide that protective layer for yeah. you so the rust can't get in because mm. the rust activates with the metal, doesn't it? If you've covered that, then you should be all right. It's like wearing a coat. If you wear a coat, your skin doesn't get wet. Yeah, so good question, Jude. Uh, now, Carol's uh, messaged in about the weather out. So remember, we have got the weather out, so different product here. Uh, you can either get it in the black or the grey. I'll just show you there. So these are options. You either go for black or grey. Um, this is actually a very good question. So Jude's asking now, is this a temporary fix or is it more of, of a permanent solution? It's a little bit of both. It's a great question. I'll always say if your roof is leaking really, really badly, yes, get up there and use the roof fix and fix it. If it doesn't continue leaking after that, 
then fine. But always make sure that there's no underlining problem as to why that roof is leaking. That's good. But if it's a flat roof, for example, with your, your roof tiles, then that would be a case of just going over it. If it's your guttering as well, then you're not going to really need to replace your guttering because it will be absolutely fine. So we say always take advice mm -hmm. if if it's a huge leak in your roof. This is going to help you with those smaller leaks in the guttering, those smaller holes that come um, that come over time and, and the joints that come apart as well. It's going to be absolutely perfect for that. Can I say one of the biggest endorsements for our weather out is the fact that one of the main honchos, the big wig here at the uh, craft store, has actually purchased some of this uh, for their flat roof. I oh, will say no, uh, no names, but Adam's saying he's really looking forward uh, to using <laughs> this on his flat roof. But no, genuinely, the point we're trying to say is uh, a lot of us here at the craft store, we all shop from the craft store, but something like this, when the crew and the team are buying it, you know it's good. And we would never, and I sp Janice would never stand here and be selling or endorsing something if she didn't believe in it as well. So whether it's the weather out or the one coat, they do the job. But it's, you, I think you phrased it beautifully. Just going back very quickly to Carol's question, with the weather out, use it and hopefully it will stop uh, any issues you're having. But always check to make sure there's no underlying problems as well, because you never know. Yeah, you never know. You absolutely mm -hmm. don't. Um, if you want to go for the weather out, when it's raining, it's absolutely fine to use. Let's face it, that's when you know you've got a leak. And that's the beauty of using the weather out. So you can put it on the wet. Yep, you can. You can use it when okay. it's wet. Um, with your one coach, you can use this for your cars as well. So if you've got uh, a bumper on your car that oh, needs exhaust. painting. Yep. And if you've got an exhaust, for example, that's very, very rusty. Now, this is genius. Let's face it, most of us do. Yeah. Um, and this was donated to me by a garage. I've not been out and got it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, this just goes goes on perfectly onto your exhaust pipes so it keeps it nice and protected from the rust. I wouldn't paint on the inside, you don't no. need to, but on the outside that's really important because that's where your exhaust starts rusting the most and maybe just like on the body of it. It's absolutely fine to use it on those car parts that are underneath. Um, your bumpers, I think it's perfect for those as well. Um, so you can really bring those back to life underneath if you want to. Underneath the car is typically where you will get corrosion because obviously in the UK as well we get a lot of wet rain, uh, well, wet weather, yeah, or salt coming yeah. through. And what happens with your exhaust uh, there is it will develop corrosion. That's when sometimes you hear uh, the noise coming through, your exhaust is blowing, is because the corrosion, and, ev and eventually what will happen is when that corrosion gets worse, it will create a hole in there. So have a look underneath, and or if, if you've got any issues with the, um, the exhaust starting to corrode, Get in there as a preventative, and then you don't have to replace it. Yeah, I mean, do be careful if you, if, you know, don't just go under your car willy nilly. Mm -hmm. um, do get somebody that knows what they're doing to sort that out. I just want to pop that there. Hopefully, that's not going to mark the table. Yeah, right, lovely. Um, if you've got any tools as well, garden tools, again, rather than throwing it out, don't do that. Just don't throw it out, just get it out, start painting it, and it's going to look like new. And if you do want to go over that, maybe paint some flowers on there or make it decorative, um, then you can do. And you can even paint the actual fork part of your handheld fork, or uh -huh. it could be uh, your garden fork, that is, not your fork that you eat with. Um, or you could be, nice. you know, using this for your spades and things like that. It just It just neatens everything up. Rather than going and buying something brand new, yeah. just paint what you've got, protect it, and bring it back I think to you, life. I think you've come up with a new tagline for one coat. Don't throw it out. Get your one coat out. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Don't throw it out. Get your one coat out. Uh, right, let's have a look at this. Now, this is very, very rusty, as you can see. Yeah. Um, if we wanted to get rid of the extra rust, we can do. But for the purpose of here now, uh, mm -hmm. let's just paint this. No primer required. So we can go directly over that really, really quickly. Um, this could actually be on your gate. You don't need to take it off because you could just mask off the areas you don't want to get your one coat onto. Yeah. And then you can just simply start to paint around that. And that will dry with a satin finish and look absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not wearing any gloves. You can wear yeah. gloves if you want to. It's water-based, so it's not solvent, but with anything, with non anything. Toxic, no toxic, no Yeah, with anything, I'd it. always recommend. Yeah. If you want to wear gloves, pop some gloves on, just so you're not washing your hands all the time. But what makes this so special, Janice, is the fact that we get a beautiful finish. So aesthetically, once it's dried, you've got a wonderful, soft, satin matte finish. But where the one coat really excels, it's the fact that it's got that uh, ability to deal with the rust 
and also it's weatherproof and it's water-based. So you're not dealing with any uh, toxic odors or any bad smells there. It's water-based, so it's not going to destroy your brushes. You're just washing it out. But then it will create that weather seal, so it will become uh, waterproof. But also, it's dealing with the rust. It looks good. You're able to... Upside. Janice has brought in so many examples uh, of how you can transform, whether it is a chair, a chimney, a plant pot holder, a kiwi ornament in there, a fire grate. So think about, in your life, the kind of things that do rust. Plant holders is a good one because yeah. that, they're stuck to the wall. You might change the basket, but you're not going to be changing the actual holder. No, and they rust predominantly. They really so that's the one thing that you go to to buy something new. You might have a hanging basket that's all rusty. Just take the mm -hmm. plant out, take the inner parts out, and start to paint that. The one you're looking at there with planting, the bottom half isn't painted. I need to finish that off for Colin and Anita. It's not mine, unfortunately. I have to give it back to the neighbours. Um, and also the chimney as well, which is absolutely beautiful. And that just brings that back to life. Mm -hmm. If you've got terracotta, uh, terracotta cots, that's not right, is mm -hmm. it? Terracotta pots. There you go. Um, easy for me to say. Look at the finish on that. Uh, we painted this in the earlier show. But oh, wow. Look how smooth. You don't see the brush marks there, do you? And that looks gorgeous. And again, you can paint over that. Um, it could be a decorative paint that you go over. But it's about the ease of use. You're doing that this so quickly. It's beautiful, Janet. Yeah. It finishes it beautiful, lovely satin finish. Mm -hmm. You know that everything is getting protected. And for me, it's a joy to use because when you have a product like this that's easy to use, that will go on all different surfaces, like your terracotta, like your rusty hinges, mm -hmm. um, wood in the garden as well. You might have some old wood that, right. that is just going around your flower bed that you want to bring back to life, but also protect it because, again, yeah. It's something you don't want to have to go and buy, uh, which is weather important. Sealing it. What yeah, about, weather have you, sealing it. Have you got a fireplace at home? Have I got a yeah. fireplace? I've got a log burner. Okay. I've got a log burner, so I've painted the fireplace. Oh, of course, because we saw, we saw the picture. But the fire grid that I've got here, yeah. uh, there you go, that's, that's mine at home. But this is um, a fire grid that, again, I got off a neighbour. I get everything off my neighbours, bless well, look, them. I mean, that's well rusted. Yeah, it certainly is. But, again, it's really easy to paint on that. You can see there, I'm just going over this, just to the side. It's very, very easy, and that finish... It's flawless. It's beautiful. Yeah. And again, it's so going to keep look it protected. Like new. Once yeah. you finish with that, you, you're protecting it, you're yes. dealing with the rust, yes. and you're upcycling. Yeah. Time has beaten us, but can I just say a huge thank you to Janice. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's always a pleasure to be here. Okay. So uh, Janice will be back on shift. Uh, when are you next back in? Um, back on Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay, but I'll so. be painting some more in the garden in between. Good. Uh, if you have, and I know so many of you have bought the one coat and weather out, but specifically with the one coat, Please follow Janice on uh, social media. You can find her on Facebook because I know she would love to see what you're upcycling. Yeah, I would. I really would. And uh, just check out all the projects that I'll be getting up yeah. to as well. So thanks, Janice. Good. Absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you for your company as well. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. And that's the point of the craft store. Uh, we bring something for everybody. Uh, we've got a great hour coming up, though. It's going to be Paula and our John Lockwood. So don't go anywhere. We're talking Couture Creations with the fantastic alcohol pens. After that, Pink Frog Return, uh, and then we have some William Morris fabrics. What an afternoon here at the craft store. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. On 
the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orange Create shows. Well, good afternoon, right? Yeah, 12, 12 o'clock. Ooh, sorry. Why, why is it? This is, this is, yeah, 12 o'clock, afternoon. Afternoon, if you're just joining us, it's great to have your company. If uh, you have been uh, kind of thinking about color and how to apply color and how to color your images, this is the right hour to tune in because we are talking about the one day special alcohol markers, a full spectrum of colors and brilliant quality. And of course, we will have amazing savings as well because it is the one day special. Now, if you are um, thinking about having a full collection of alcohol pens, you are kind of thinking, well, you have to have all those grays, those beautiful yellows, and so, on, so much more. You can go under the website and go for the pick and mix, and there are sets of four pens, and you pick and choose any three. Now, that would cost you around 21 pounds and a few pennies bottoms of the screen so 21 pounds and 97 pence it has got each of those uh, kind of uh, pick a mix you will have a, a pound saving now if you went for all nine of those color options then you will you would have a 72 pound saving eight, eight pounds multiply for those options however if you go for the full, the one day special, not only those 72 pounds are carried forward, but additionally you have got a 10 pound savings. So that would be 82 pounds if you are not a Freedom member. If you are a Freedom member, that saving then increases to over a hundred pounds because of course as a freedom member it's not a 10 pound saving that you have in the one day special but at, at 28 pounds and 77 pence on top of that you are getting 10 free colorless blending pens and of course you have uh, the as a freedom member uh, you would can flexibly it three in through three payments of 56 pounds and 32 pence and then that of course is the deliver cost now that is all the numbers done how However, we want to see what they can do, and there is no better way than to have the amazing John Lowe to explain it all about it. Hello. I, got, I got through it all in Yay. Indiana, so I don't know what I don't know what you mean about the amazing, but you know, I, well, I, I'm kind of... what I like about you, and that is something that I have, you know, way before I started working, even before I knew you, I would watch. And of course, that was kind of an incredible way that you break down uh, what, uh, you know, like what we have, you know, how yeah. we crafters want to do it. You need to understand it, don't you? To me, you have to understand why something works. You have to get the best, you have to get the best quality, I think, that you can afford for the job you're doing. That is That's exactly That's the difference. I have struggled with colouring. People know I've been doing stamp shows. I designed my own stamps yep. for years, for sort of six, seven years. I've never been happy with my colouring. I had a one-day course and I was thinking, is it me? Because we always say a bad workman blames his tools. Yes. And I was blaming my pens. And I've got lots of pens. And the, the one thing I want to extend, express on this is... There isn't a pen here from this collection I've got, and I've got to say, I have every single one of where these, I have the sets of them, yeah? Every single one I bought, 
none of them were given to me for being in the industry or, yeah. you know, for, for doing shows yeah. or anything like that. None of them, I've bought all of these, so I've invested that money. And I thought these were not, and it was me. Okay. Yeah. Then I was asked to test these, and I was actually genuinely looking at buying and investing and starting the journey in Copics. Yeah. To the best. I remember you talked yeah. to it. To me yeah, we talked it. about it because you told yeah. me the lack of greens yeah. in there. This was genuinely what we were going on. This is a conversation Paola and I had what, six, seven months ago. Yeah, at least. we did. Also must have been. Then these came out, and I was testing these, and what I found is that I can colour. And that is the big difference, and it's because I've got the right products. I'm going to put here, this is the very first image that I coloured with these when I got them. This so gorgeous. this is the very first one I did. And basically, I got the charts that comes with it, because these all come in colour blend families. So I went, I like... Where are we? 218. Let's find it. 218. Do you know my eyesight is getting far, far worse? There we go. So, yeah, I went that one. So that's what I want. I got the colours and I just coloured them and blended it absolutely beautiful. perfectly. And what I discovered was that these are the best that I have used in either the cheap, the mid price, or the sort of, you know, that upper mid yeah, price that yeah, you go absolutely. to. I won't go to now yeah. the ridiculous price exactly, of £6 yeah. a pen. I don't do enough. I'm a crafter. Yeah. I'm not an artist. Yeah. If you are an artist, I wouldn't knock it and you want to go down that road. But I know I spoke to my friend Leslie, who is a Copic instructor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and she trained on everything. And she uses about, I think she said it's about 60 or 70 of her pens. Wow. She's got like the 300 yeah, yeah. or the yeah. 500 job. Yeah. She's got all wow. of them. Yeah. And what I found is with this, I've got a beautiful colour intensity. They work, and as you said to me, because you were colouring before the show, because yes, you I couldn't was. stop yourself, you said to me, you were right, these are really good quality. You so know, now that's done, I love the colours. It, it is. Well, for me, what it sells a, any colouring range is the colour. Uh, now, also, I kind of say, well, this is literally in two minutes before, like when we get the mics in, but this is like literally two minutes, the first time that I've really used them. Yes, the, you can see that uh, there's a little bit of bleed. That's because I use the blenders, because one of the reasons I wanted to use the blenders, and I used it a lot more than I would, is because you are getting 10 of them, right? And there is a lot of techniques that we kind of shy away from them. And there's a lot of things you can do with them. So it's great that you get them because, of course, uh, John was showing how you can put a little bit of color into from directly the other, other colors. And, of course, you put it onto the blender. And, of course, then you brand it in together as well. Now, if you want to go for the one day special, over 40% of the stock has gone. Now, if you want to go for it, um, and you have got the details there, 339. 520 and of course remember we the flexi buy as a freedom member is of course 56 pence and 32 pence you will find them on the website and of course the craftstore.com you will find them alongside of course the alcohol inks as well there they are everything is in there including those uh, scoring boards which I'd rather look the look of that and now of course you have got them in there as well as the stays in place um, pick a mix you have got three different options and you're choosing any two as well as those beautiful full of stamps and you can see the blooming branch with the magnolia and flower those ones are the ones that John was using and of course you have as well the blank ink pads that you can use your stays in place or the alcohol ink into there to oh this had an idea yes you know the blank ones Yes. So because you are going for two alcohol um, ones so for instance the Arctic white and the sparkly black you could do an ombre you could do an ombre with them yeah, you could do that with your pens. Are you going to do the pen pens as well, you could well, actually yeah? use the pens to load up your alcohol ink. Ooh. So your 10 blenders can actually turn into 10 or 20 new colours for you oh. by pulling alcohol inks you've yeah. existing got all the glitter ones. Wow. I'll have to try that one and see if we can get it to do Maybe. it. Maybe. It's going to show you something really quickly with the blenders. Yes. Because I love this. And we, we were talking about this. And we were talking about this with Kirsty, our producer, who, to be fair, doesn't know alcohol colouring. No. You know, a lot of us don't. And she heard the word blender and said, does that blend the colours? And yeah. it doesn't. What it does is, if you look how intense this flower is, yeah. yeah? So this is being done using the guide, number one. Okay. Yeah. So that told me what to do, and that resulted in that flower. Can, can we stop a, little, a second there? 
Can we appreciate how gorgeous that red is? It's, how, it's, it's so you, stunning. You said to me before the show starts, it's really strange, you should be able to have five minutes of the show. Yeah. Before the show, you should see yeah. us talking before the show. You said to me, you've never seen a collection of pens that has that sort of bright carmine red shading shades Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. And you don't. And I thought I straight away it matches your lipstick. Um, well, that's why I, this is what I use in the alcohol. That's <laughs> the finished card with it. Yeah. Oh. That looks really, that to me, I'm really proud of. It's beautiful. And it's been a long time since I've been proud of some of my colouring. What but it's so easy. But again, that's on the way to there. But if I want to lighten it, this is where your blender comes in. Yeah. So what I can do is, can you see where these, I know that there'll be light here where it's yeah. lighter. So if I just go with the blender, what it does is it pushes the ink through. So can you see that gradually I'm getting a light reflection on those areas? So yeah. as I go through, can you see it lightening up? And that's why we're talking about blenders. Oh, wow. Yeah? So you can see there. Okay? Yeah. So that's where you can go in and start to actually yeah. lighten it up. There we go, you see? Okay. Can you see yeah. the difference between that side and that side? by using the blender. But I think the thing that you want to know to me is, how do you get that and how, the biggest thing I want to learn is, how do you choose the colours? And that's a lot of the time you go on the courses for. And it really is, you don't need to, because this chart, these colours were all selected based on what blends. Not what's pretty, not having a massive collection, but what blends. So what I've actually done is, I've actually gone for, I think it's this one here. Yeah, because I thought people might get bored of watching me choose them out. So I like that pink blend there. Yeah? So I want to do a pink flower. Okay. Really simple, and I'm going to do this so... I'm going to do this massively quick, just to show you. So I'm actually going to use... Check my thing. 230 is my first one. And all I'm going to do is go... Literally, very quick. You see how... I would yeah. use the bullet tip to get into here properly. But I want people to really feel confident about the fact that it's not, it's not that we always blame our tools, but sometimes we've been yeah. right in doing it. And it is the tools that are doing it wrong. So this is really quick and really, so what we'd say, quick and dirty, yeah? Mm. So I'm going in, just going from the middle out, flicking out with, there we go, okay. with the next colour, okay? I'm getting the darkest shade and I'm doing the same thing again, following the little lines on the stamp almost. Okay. okay? That's it. Yeah? Really simple. Yeah? yeah. Then I'm going to go back to my original colour and I'm going to take this time the and bullet tip. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is colour out to the edge and just in that really quick doing it, you'll see how those colours start to blend. I'm making this really yeah. messy. But I wanted to be quick for people because I've done a lot of, sl of slower ones. But you see... Yeah, so... Suddenly, the colour starts to burst out. Yeah. And all I do is take the darker pen, take the bullet tip, okay. and go around the outside. Yeah. But as it goes for a quick one, and then quick achievement. Let's put some more dark in. And the great thing about alcohol markers is that it won't be, uh, it won't um, wrinkle the card. Like, the fibers don't come undone, do they? No, the fibers don't. We've got a really quick, simple flower done. Really easy, yes. but I'm going to. I just wanted to show you that you can achieve something very, very quickly, very quickly. and get yeah. that shine. Absolutely. Now, of course, if you want to go for the full collection, not only you're getting the massive saving as a Freedom member, it works out at over a hundred pounds in saving. Plus, it, that, of course, you have the Flexi, which is three interest-free payments. But also, you are getting the ten colorless blending pens, of course, that you can mix them up, and of course, you have that amazing. Uh, 
uh, storage, which I think is great because you can carry it. Uh, and let me show you. And you have, you can store it up, uh, upright as John does, or you can then do like I do when I have them. Just because I have them on the on shelves, uh, I like to see all the colors, so then I kind of easily reach them. If you want to go for the one day special, well, I need to tell you as well that it will be this patch from the 12th of August, uh, because they come in from Australia down under. 339-520 is your item number. Uh, just an interesting one on that mm -hmm. one, just because of what happened on the last show. Right. Is is once the one day special is over at six o'clock, yeah. these will come off. Right. So if you are thinking about them, yeah. Um, which is what happened on the last show I did, and I got lots of messages on social media, people saying, where else can I get the pens? Yeah. The answer is nowhere else. Yeah. They are only here. Right. And after six o'clock tonight, they will come off. Right. So you have until six o'clock. It's not a case of the price will go up, but they will actually just come off completely mm -hmm. and they won't be available until the next time Couture yeah, Creations yeah. decide to do a show. Well, that is a very good point. And one more reason to check out your baskets if you want beautiful pens, double ended as well with that vibrant colour. Right, of course, that is a one day special. We Couture Creations make lots more and we have got included in here alcohol inks. Now, this is a glittery alcohol ink, which I have never seen alcohol, glittery ones. And of course, these ones, uh, of course, you can see that you have got four different ones, uh, or actually five different options, and you can see them here. Twelve ninety nine is your price, uh, and of course, you have the gorgeous uh, glitches in here. You can see they're tilting it uh, gently, and uh, look at that! Oh, there it is! There it is! Good job, Mark! Look at that! Yeah, look at that! Oh, I love the glitter. In I, there. I love the glitter in the in the alcoholics. I've not seen it before. I'm not saying it's not available. I'm not saying other people haven't. But all I've seen before are metallics, which are quite viscous. I've never seen them with yeah. um, glitter actually in there. And again, you see it, it's individually in each different colour. Yeah. It's not just I've thrown glitter over the top, which is what yeah. I'd suspect if I saw yeah, the samples. Well, look, uh, no, I just think it's just beautiful. Uh, now, of course, you have got five different options, and whichever option you're going to get, far, uh, four of them. So we have, in the first one is the pastels. Uh, then we have got angelic, baby pink, baby blue and peach. Then we have got seasonal. We have got a gorgeous sunflower, verdant, cardinal and cobalt. Then we are, have, of course, the Tutti Frutti with lilac, apple, fuchsia and topaz. Then we have got mosaic. Uh, then we have, uh, you have, of course, amethyst, pumpkin, khaki and burgundy. And finally, we have the gemstones, which are, of course, plum, burnt sienna, turquoise and cappuccino, whichever of these options you are going to get. And of course, uh, it has got glitter. Uh, now, if you're watching from the USA, unfortunately, we are not able to ship them to you. Uh, but everywhere else, um, you know, of course, you can. Uh, 440072 is your item number. 1299 is your price. Then we have, this one is my favorite, actually, because uh, this one is the one that has got like kind of the graphite, onyx, and incandescent, so it's the minerals ones. We love this one, don't you? I yeah. adore these. I really, really do. These, to me, are the necessities. If you're going to start a collection and you're going... If you want to add to your existing range of alcohol inks, then the incandescent, the onyx, and is it the graphite are just amazing. And what you've got in there is, of course, you've got the glitter in there, so you've got that beautiful sort of colour and shape and shine and everything. So if I just... I'm just going to put a little bit out yeah, okay. of the incandescent. But can you see it's completely clear? Yeah, I can It's see literally it, yeah. just white. So you're seeing absolutely nothing. But when I move that... You're not... Oh, you can't see it. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Tell you what, let's be really bad and pick up a random Oh, we're colour. getting there. If you see now, when I mix a colour into the incandescent... Oh, look at that. Yeah. It starts to... Can you see it winks at you? Yeah, it does. Oh, it's a winky ink. Look at, ah, look at that. But it's just the most beautiful, look beautiful colours. Love these. Absolutely adore them. Well, I like that. Gorgeous. I love that finish. I'm going to actually take a print. Oh, and you can pay a two prints. Ooh. And you'll actually double what you get. But this is onto a normal card. This is onto a smooth ah. card. Oh, look at that. Now I like that, that is that would want that wants stamping and colouring over. Yeah. Which or, you can do. Could you could you do with a collider? Could you do foil? You could on foil top? over the top with the collider. Yeah. 
But again, that's the original. Oh, my God. Half the stock has gone. I'm forgetting my doing my job. I'm kind of watching them. And I'm it like, would look oh, beautiful foiled oh, over uh, the yeah, top. W- in my head, I was just thinking, yeah. I have a stamp that would be amazing. A stamp with a collide on. Yeah, I've got one that, another one that Leone flogged me the other day mm-hmm. that will work over that, mm-hmm. yes. A three five a seven a one four eight is your item number nine ninety nine is your uh, price for the mineral collection, including oh, a lot of them. Anyway, moving on to alcohol stays in place. Uh, this is an ink pad. It comes with a ring card. It comes blank, and then you of course uh, spread it with the spreader that is included and the alcohol ink uh, ink card in here. Now fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence is for a pick and mix, and there is three different options you're choosing. Two options are there. Three, two, one, five to five is your item number. Jet black, which has got the glitter, mad jet black, and then of course we have the final option, which is Arctic white with a beautiful glittery sparkly thing element. Fifteen ninety nine is your price. Remember, you are choosing any two, right, uh, John? Uh, I believe you are getting your inks. I am. House. Yeah. Well, I, I thought everyone keeps asking about the sort of. Um, Everyone sort of asks about the um, the onyx black and the incandescent and how you get that sort of granity look. Yeah. And I, this is a different way of doing it and using these. And it really takes advantage of the fact that we've got the incandescent in there. Of course. So what I've got in here is this is a spray bottle. Right. And this is alcohol. Right. Except this isn't alcohol blending solution. Okay. Because I'm far too cheap to put that... Into, into a spray bottle. Right. That's cheap vodka. Okay. I mean, I, I, I you love know, blending solution and I use John, it in the right place. You ever see me spraying, <laughs> spraying from a water bottle into my mouth? It's not, it's vodka. Yeah, oh. Yeah. But I, need some, I just want yeah. something, water won't yeah. work as well. Okay. What I'm trying to do is just to give it, yeah. you see now, look how they are flowing yeah. out. Wow. In circles. Right. Yeah. So rather than, if I take a dry piece okay. and I show you on a, a sort of a dry piece, what will happen with that is I need to blow them. Oh, so can you okay. see how those sort of stay sat? Yeah. Whereas where I'm adding that, I start to get the little cells forming and opening up. Okay. So if I now start to add in between. Okay. So the thing, but what you get is with this, and that's so different. Is if I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, but in the centre of each oh, one, oh yes, there it is. I've got that a dust glitter. On that, yeah. yeah, that is what is just so beautiful. Yeah, and I've got this big thing. I, I'm t- terrible for doing this. Absolutely terrible for doing things like in a stripe going across, right. sort of down the paper. So I'm going to add a few more of the black ones. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit of the incandescent over the top. So this will hopefully start to wink at you. So we're getting... Almost cells. You see, it's starting to get that look as if it was a sort of a granite. This is more sort of granite than, than the marble. But I can take that and start to now draw the lines through. You know that wow. you would get. That's just gorgeous. And I'm going to take the incandescent and follow some of those lines because it sits on the surface. Do you, I mean, I, this is the sort of thing I would like to sit down and just to, just, just... To spend hours doing. Down. But we so are approaching there 60% is of the mineral. Our sort of living, almost, and I can't explain to you, I'm getting purple shots off this because yeah. of the incandescent mm-hmm. glitter. I'm getting little fleckles of purple off that, yeah. but you see the glittering? Yeah, that's as the um, alcohol is evaporating off. Yeah. But you see the difference from actually spraying it first of all. Yeah. But anyone can do that. That looks like one of those cell, you know, the cell pores that you do with yes, the different absolutely, colours. Yeah. It's got that same sort of look as opposed to just flat. And this is onto glossy card. Yeah. So just onto sort of chrome glossy card on its own. So these I would have to blow with a sort of blowing tool, but by adding the alcohol spray first 
So get yourself a decent spray bottle, I'm using the old eye zinc ones, and, and just literally put it with some cheap alcohol. Lovely. And it will make them flow, but you'll get that. And again, that just needs to dry. Yeah. Trim that down, stamp over it, just as a background. It just works absolutely yeah. beautifully. Yes, it's in that's amazing. Cool. Do you want to go through something? Yeah, I'm of course. I'm going to give the details. 357148 is your item number. And of course, you are getting the uh, beautiful onyx. You are getting the graphite. And you are getting the incandescence. Uh, that is the mineral option. Of course, 999 is your price. 357148 is your item number. I can see myself just doing backgrounds, the backgrounds and backgrounds as well, with these ones as well. Right. And of course, do check out your baskets uh, because they are very busy for this. It's just nine. 99. Imagine the hours of fun creating backgrounds in there as well. I don't know about you, but I was watching and I was like, mm, I just want to play. I just want to have a go. I mean, I keep showing this one because it's just incredible. It's just beautiful. But then it's how you incorporate it. Just with a stamping image in black in there, you can have it. Uh, it just, it's just the ways that you can bring in those effects in there as well. Think about bubbles as well. Um, kind of gonna, uh, for Christmas, obviously this is the color ones, but you can decorate them. Whether they are glass or, and of course, you can. Uh, oh, sorry, kind of moving along. Well, like Christmas. Look at that. Uh, three five seven one four eight is your item number, right? And now uh, we have got, of course, the uh, color options. It's a uh, it's an option. So you are choosing bundles in here. You have got five different options. Whichever option you are going to have four colors. The bag. I mean, the glitter content. The way that it sparkles, iridescence. I mean, do you know those cards that you're thinking? I don't know what they are into, especially if they are men. So what am I going to do? Do a background like this, a big happy birthday, a big congratulations. That's it. You don't need, that's the sort of artistic card. There's a the kind of abstracts as well that you can do. Look at this. That's this. actually got lights in, I'm afraid. Sorry. Look at that. That's actually done onto acetate. Yep. So you can actually see through, even though you've got that incandescent um, look in there of the glitters in that and I've not put any of the incandescent on that that's just the glitters in there wow. you're seeing the light shining through and to me if I received that I'd be like wow that's just I could spend hours just looking at it and seeing things in there Look at that. This is without the light. This is without the light. I love this. Uh, 440072 is your item number. £12.99 is your price uh, for them. Right. And now we have got some updates. Uh, so which one? The pastels. 40% of the stock has gone. Uh, 30 fruity, which is this. Almost. Almost. 60% uh, is, uh, is the, uh, the, uh, the uh, update. The final uh, seasonal, which is this one, which we have got up, uh, up the top, approaching 40%. So these ones are the three most busiest ones. So if you want those ones, make sure that you add them to your baskets and check out your baskets. Right, those ones are the Couture Creation Alcohol Expert. Uh, you have got more demos for us? Yeah, what you? I want to show you, I actually did this on a canvas. Um, and I should have brought it in, unfortunately. My mum claimed it. Oh. And it's now hanging in her hall. So, friends, I'm quite play up proud because it's the only piece of my artwork she's ever framed and put up. Um, but I want to show you a slight difference and then an easier way to do it. Um, so, you must remember they've got the glitter in there, but they're not thick and viscous like the oh, metallics yeah. you're used to using. So, give them a shake. Right. And what I'm going to do this time, again, I've got a piece of gloss paper. All I want to do is put down little tiny dots. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a little field of flowers. Okay. So, you've almost, when you're doing it on the gloss paper, you've got to be quite quick. So can you see that they leak together? So this is traditionally what you would do, you do it on gloss paper. But if you can see what I'm getting here is, what's actually happening is they're just merging together because they're drying too slowly. Yeah. So use a piece of smooth card. Right. I've got the um, the Dolly Dimples. Is it the mixed media? Or? No, this is her sm cream, oh, cream smooth yeah. card. Oh. But if we watch this, if you see, the dots keep their size yeah. and stay. So we always think alcohol inks can only be used on UPO paper That's or true. expensive paper. And of course they can't, they can be used on anything. So that was the apple green. It's just a different effect. Yeah, what I get this time is little host of the dots yes. 
and they will stop and they will stop sort of spreading so it's just a case of putting these on and you've got that same sort of beautiful attractive colors that you've got in the pens you've got those almost I want to call them verdant even though verdant is one of the colors so you okay. see here just gonna put some little paint dots in so I'm kind of making almost a little field of flowers yeah it's true it's like pointy pointillism uh, pointillism yeah, yeah. See, so, I, 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 another one, so I know the word in Spanish, but not in English. What's the word in Spanish? Puntillismo. Puntillismo, mm -hmm. ah. Which is oh, very yeah, similar, but you pronounce it. Someone saying to me, if you want to learn Spanish and you want to learn a lot of words in quickly, take anything with Y on the end, like community, and put dad on it. <laughs> yeah. So community becomes community dad. Yeah, exactly. Velocity yeah. becomes velocidad, mm -hmm. which is speedy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of them. Pontalismo. With all, also one of the other ones is up. So you can it's see that we've sort of got a little field of <gasps> flowers that. starting, Love but of course that. you've got the glitter in all of them. Yeah. And don't worry, I'm using my water medium mat. You want a lot of scratch paper yeah. down or the water medium mat because yeah. of silicon so that you can clean it and it's not. I don't have to worry, they, you know, nobody's, Adam's not going to have to come in and re sand this desk after I've finished. Or he would have words with you. He would have words with yeah. me. But one of the ways that we actually mix them together and that you can actually make this look more realistic is just to take the fine point on your black yeah. and decide which ones you think of would look nice as bigger flowers yeah. and just put some little centers in them. And you start to see then that they come, yeah. you start to see them as little flowers. Yeah. And we just put them into little dots in to the centers. Now when you do it on a canvas, it doesn't spread as far, but. I love that. I love, love that. And, and my favorite thing to do ever, what makes things yeah. completely, is when you frame it. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Look at now that. you've got there, to my yeah. mind, there is, I'm going to block that bit out, there's a collection of flowers, hand-painted flowers at the bottom. Yes. Any, you know, any point you want mm -hmm. to go on. Absolutely. You know, anywhere yeah. you want to go. But it's, it's when you actually do the framing. But there is, there is a way to do it on gloss paper. Okay. And a way to get a softer, more subtle yeah. way to do it. Absolutely. Now, normally. Can I give an update? I know of that'd be great the to minerals. Cut some card. Yeah. Uh, so while well, John gets some card, uh, the minerals very busy for us. Approaching seventy percent of the stock has gone. You remember you were getting the graphite, the onyx, and incandescent. Uh, Three five seven one four eight is your item number. And of course, remember that the stock should last until uh, the four o'clock hour. Will it do that? If you don't want to run the risk, do check out your basket and you will of course get them for sure right right so what I'm going to do job. now is we put these on the show these are the blank ink pads oh yes that we do with the Kaleido of course so this is the first time we've done them on the own you actually get four of them yeah but these are a high quality airtight ink pad right so of course so you can use them mix them with the alcohol inks to make your own right. alcohol ink ink pads or yeah. make your own sort of almost stamps so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same colors Okay. So I'm putting oh. the pink on, look at the glisten, and then... Oh! Oh! I love that! But I'm you so happy! Oh how my goodness, that is just... It's stretching out. I love that! So I get that first impression. Yeah? I, okay. I, I've never seen that I've done before. No, I, I, I came it. up, I, I mean, I don't know if anyone's tried it before, I came up with this when I was playing at home yeah. a couple of days ago. And so I'm just going to do the same with the purple randomly. Mm -hmm. So if you feel you're not artistic, anyone yeah. can do this. Oh, that, I love that. I love that. You see how they, because we're not putting definite yes. drops down, yeah. they're I not just, starting And I like to go that away. it's the full size pad, so therefore you have got like well, a, it's almost creating a I've stamp. I've tried it with it. the blenders, yeah. and it doesn't work yeah. as well, because you don't have that soft pressure. So when I use it with a blender, I'll just do a couple of little ones, because I don't want to. If I try it with a blender, see, it yeah. doesn't, 
give me the, the circular pan yeah. that just sits there. Yeah. So this is not something to use with your blender. This is to do with your ink blank ink pads. And what I've done is I've got one. Because the first thing you would think is, because I know what I would think, is that, yeah, but I've ruined this pad now, haven't I? Because what happens is when this is finished, yeah, yeah. Um, that's ruined. So here's one I did five days ago. Wow. Wow. So it's not, and if I show you, because I'll finish this off in a second. Again, look. Is not, yeah. Yeah, it's so a stain, but it's not now dirty. Yeah. To make, if I want to, because I'm gonna, I will do a little bit of a background with it in a second. So I've got that almost to get me started. Now, I've, the last one I put on was some red, so give it a good shake. Make sure I get plenty of the glitter. If you don't shake it, you won't get the glitter because it'll sit at the bottom, like it does with anything like that that you have. So let's just now. But can you see how it builds like a little field of poppies? And then again, I can just do the video. And if you have, for instance, your your um, finger stamps, you could then a stamp on top of it, couldn't you? There is, yeah. If you look on the crafting with John Next Door group, I think Art Angels put them in there. Although I have to say, none of these are Craft Two or John Next Door products, so they aren't a Craft Two issue. Um, just because I don't want people obviously ringing there or asking, you know, we don't know. It is Couture Creations and the craft store yeah. for this. But she did pop in there. She's actually done some with some of the new finger stamps, Look which you it. shouldn't have seen backgrounds oh, yeah. like this. But again, same idea. But to me, I feel like I've been really artistic for once. Uh, it just looks amazing. Well, you're very artistic. And, you know, yeah, you're so, uh, when we so, frame. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's a water... I buy that. Yeah. I can actually see now where... It's like, uh, it does like pattern paper that you have bought some from somewhere, yeah. But you can yeah. do that. I did one of these yeah. years ago without the glitter. Yeah. That um, is beautiful. And it was um, of a large poppy. And a colleague and friend of mine, Sally, mm -hmm. rang me after the show and she went, that's going in my living room. <laughs> oh, and I had to give it to her. And yeah. I think it's on my Facebook somewhere, but it was on her living room. But you see now... Doesn't that look? That is, but crazy. anyone can do that because it's literally just mm. using the blank ink pad. They are. So, I knew that these were going to be the best thing ever when we did these blank ink they pads. They are gorgeous. Uh, now, of course, you have got a set of four. The possibilities are gorgeous. The possibilities what you can do with four blank ink pads, and then of course you can then re-ink them as you wish. Uh, there's you can do ombres effects as well. A uh, five eight five one two five is your item number. Nine ninety nine is the price. Nobody has been harmed in the making of this program. Well, the day is young, so uh, anyway, uh, if you want them, put them in your basket and check out your basket. Approach a quarter of the stock has gone now very busy for them now of course at the inks are very busy as well and we have them in here the mineral inks uh, we have got the graphite the onyx and incandescent and of course those ones you are getting all three of them for 9.99 yeah the, what appears it, it's gonna come out the right details and of course if you go for this set as I mentioned 9.99 is your price so you can see them there uh, now very busy for those ones so if you want them you know what to do they are absolutely stunning uh, three five seven, Seriously, what is... Oopsie, and they were designed specifically so that they stack. They stack, <laughs> but Paula does not know where to put the hands on, where to put the hands. So therefore, they will, though. <laughs> Ooh, I can't I've been told you know. that. <laughs> it's my fault. Absolutely my fault. Uh, 357148. Uh, right. Uh, now, of course, we are talking about uh, scoring boards in here, and we have got the, uh, the 12 by 12 uh, in here, so, which is the uh, scoring board in here. This is a 12 by 12. Uh, we have got uh, scoring lines at every quarter uh, of an inch, which means that you have got be able to do lots of different scoring elements. Also, you have, the, I believe, the bottom is to They're make boxes. Actually, at every eighth of an inch. Oh, eighth of an inch. Yeah, so it's actually got a oh, scoring yeah. line at every eighth of an inch, and I use an eighth of an inch, you know, for my mats and layers. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, you get the corner, which gives you all of the instructions that tell you how to actually get the instructions with oh. it. But the corner 
is it slots on. Yeah. Basically, whichever way you're using it. And this is how this will make you envelopes. Yeah. So it's full instructions in there, but it actually shows you how to make your envelopes as well. The other thing I love about this, so you, it's all in one. Yeah. There's two things I love about this. The first one is it's accurate. Oh. And I know that sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. When Absolutely. I say it's accurate. The number of times I've had boards that aren't, and this one is. And the second thing is, the actual tool scoring you get yeah. for it is a different plastic than the scoreboard. And what that means is that it doesn't wear down in it. Oh. The number of times, you know when you get, yeah. I've had a scoreboard and you get the same colour yeah. and the same plastic in the tool. And what happens is you lose that sharpness, yeah. but I've literally got, I'll grab a piece of card on this. Because it jams in, this reminds me of my first one I got from America yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, me too. So it scrolls in, but I mean, I can go every eighth of an inch, but look wow. how sharp. That is sharp. Oh, you can see are. that. Can you see there? I don't if think you, you can. Your hand, there, there it says, yeah, there. Everything, yeah, yeah. is. But I'll, I'll do some folding on it. But look, I mean, literally. Watch, look on there, get that top, get that bottom. That is straight, yeah? yeah. But again, I can just go all the way around and yeah, turn yeah. that corner. Absolutely. I created like a book of spine as well. Kind it's because of it's bit. accurate, yeah. I've got a full turned corner. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love. And look, they meet up, yeah? Yeah, perfect. £21.99, I love as well that it kind of has the storage for what the tool and this corner here. Uh, 12 by 12 is this, that's the size, £21.99, no extended delivery on that one. Eight, uh, 588584 is your item number. Then we have the 8 by 6, also very uh, portable and of course you have got the instructions as well for envelopes in there and it comes with its own bone folder or a scoring board. Uh, uh, mm, scoring Folder, yeah. So, uh, uh, three, six, nine, eight, five, six, seven. Scoring tool, that's the one. Ten pounds and forty nine pence for that. And then the watercolor media mud, which uh, you know, it's funny because John. Um, when you t uh, told us about it, and then of course you started using it, you said, well, was the product of 2020? This is my product of 2020, of everything that I designed and developed, everything I put out under my own yeah. brand, every John Next Door product, my favourite of all of them is this, because it's so easy to use, but it's saved my life so many times. It's, I know, when we're alcohol colouring, which is yes. one of the reasons I put it on this show, or using alcohol inks, you have either got to get used to two things. One is having a big pile of paper underneath to yes. take the overspill. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't do that and you get it onto like this primed wood surface, yeah, yeah. it has to be sanded off. Exactly. You do that on your dining table, yeah. you've wrecked it. But this is heat resistant, this is alcohol resistant, this is dishwasher safe. Which is incredible. So the best thing ever is, because I've done it before, when you know you buy the heat mats, the, yeah. the brown ones. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Get them at all different price scales, I've had all of yeah. them. And they all say, yeah, and you can clean them easily. What you spend most of your time is, is cleaning them and running them under a sink and they flex everywhere. Put them in the dishwasher, even though the heat they'll ruin. Mm -hmm. This one's been through the dishwasher over 30 times. Wow. And it just gets thrown in. But it's got the well. So literally, I'm making all this mess and nothing is anywhere else. Well, any marks on this table are from before I got yeah. here. And I love as well the three uh, um, uh, boxes that you have there as yeah. well. The original design that we were shown had lot, like eight. Yeah. I'd sort of like, I think it was like something like 20 little tiny oh. ones. Useless, because mm -hmm. it comes from a soldering mat. Yeah. I, mean, I would hate to say we reinvented yeah. the no. wheel. It's based on a silicon soldering mat, ah. so it also means I could set fire to my alcohol inks on it. Oh, if you wanted to. Because it will take the heat. If you wanted to upset Andy. Yeah, I could put it in the oven. I won't because I haven't said I'll do it this year. Yeah. Uh, but you can do anything on it. And again, it just rolls up. Yeah. And I know that when, because I asked you if there was any, yeah. when you launched your range. Yeah. 
I asked Paola if there was any Crafts 2 products that she wanted to use or she really felt she needed. And the very first thing on the list was this. Obviously. I Before anything, anything else, else that we're famous for, yeah. Paola said, I'd really like a media map, yeah. please. Because obviously I have done shows with you, Anna, but I can say that that is always on my table. Now I have got a, a bigger table now, so I have got a glass map because I still like it to cut into it. But then, of course, the watercolour media mat sits on the side, so whenever I have to do any types of inks, any type of colouring. You yeah. know what it's also very good for? I mean, Go on. so I like to stamp on parchment or vellum and do a tiny bit of white work. Oh, this would be tiny perfect bit. for it. That works really well. Yes, because of course it, it's silicon, exactly. so it will take so that. Also you, what I do is with pencils, when you colour, and if you do a little bit more of, of colouring um, parchment on the back, so you're colouring, you pressing a little bit more, ah. you can get that away. So if you control it, that work a treat. See? It's a yeah, fabulous product. Yeah, <laughs> 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. It's funny working with John because we're like, yes, and then, and then we go like, oh, exciting. Uh, 785543 is your item number. And of course, we have got the stamps that we, uh, uh, John has been using. Uh, we don't have the physical samples, but uh, they are on the website, of course. Uh, they are the Magnolia and the Branch. They are my favorites. And 999 is your price. 616335 is your item number for those ones. But we also have the the other set which is the fabulous um, beautiful branch in here which is that elegant flow and let me put the sample in here so you can see it and then of course if you go with the two J's uh, beautiful finger uh, stamps then you can create a stunning images or if you are using the alcohol pens just to add a little bit of color 657265 is your item number 999 is your price for both of them right John Next demo. Right, okay, so this is another idea I'd had using the ink pads. Oh, yeah. We always want lots of different things and new things to do, and certainly when you get the beautiful glitters. But you see how the glitter even stays in the pad? Okay. That's yeah. got no ink in it. Press it down, nothing comes out. That's how stable wow. that is, which is fantastic. So I'm going to do now is kind of reactivate the pad. So I'm giving it a squirt with my alcohol. You can use blending solution or you can use vodka like I'm using. Ooh. Wouldn't use that for everything, yeah. it's just in the for spray it, bottle. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I want to try and get a little bit of a night time going. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to lay down Onyx Black. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to go with the graphite. And this is the great thing, is because if I use I try and do a blender with this, I get yeah. the shape. Because it's an ink pad, this is cobalt. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with baby blue. So just add the baby blue at the bottom. And I want to make sure this is well activated, so give it another spritz. So I take it off okay. to the box that I've got. Oh. Ideally, if you can drop it on the floor, it always works best. Yeah, I mean, I add a little bit of a sparkle from it always the floor. Does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sorry, I've not ruined the desk at all, Adam, but I've ruined your floor. Yeah, again. exactly. But can you see? <gasps> Oh, I love that. Oh, I love this so much. So I'm working it down. So there I've got... I mean, look at the cells. I mean, it looks like almost like um, a snake skin. It does, and it's sort of opening out. And again, if I want to darken it at all, just... You see, I'm working yeah. like I would do with an ink pad. Oh. Adding more colour on. Oh, approaching forty percent for the blank ink pads. If you want them, uh, just make sure to check out your ba you, you check out your baskets. You are getting four of them. So imagine to having your own ombre. Maybe that the, the, you're gonna have like a. a like our John was using, maybe the sky, or maybe you want to use in different colours. It's up to you. There's so many techniques with our with these uh, these blanking there, pads. There is. I mean, when these first came back, when these first came back into stock, yeah. um, I actually ordered myself eight of them. Well, I'm not surprised uh, because I thought there's so many things I can use yeah. these. What about my other reinkers? What about my ink sprays? Yeah. The things that I don't use because they're too messy. Can I control it more? So if you see now, this is starting to dry. Yeah. But that looks like I've done a watercolour, expensive, difficult yeah. technique, and I don't do difficult techniques. So now I'm going to take the angelic. Okay, yeah. Now the angelic, I think, is in the pastels. This is where, whereas the incandescent is clear, the angelic is, is white. Is, is white. Oh. So 
I see. I'm going to add. There we go. So I thought we'd like some stars, shall we? Okay, yeah. So. Oh. Oh. Or snow. Or snow. Look, they look proper snowflakes. Oh. It is. It's snow, isn't it? It is. I or so uh, you know, so focus. Uh, it's the bokeh. Bokeh. Oh, look at that! And look at the tech. Good shot, Marcus. Like that shot. Oh, oh look well at that. done. Look at that. Look at the. Look. Incandescent shine that I'm going to get from that. Look at that. So I've got that beautiful, just using the, and this is something people would think you've spent hours over. So if I want to add yeah. a little bit of, um, if I sort of almost want to add some little stars, I'll just go on with the incandescent in a few places. Yeah. And you can see those starting to sparkle away. That is so you've got gorgeous. your stars, you can start to add other colours in, but you've got the most perfect background yeah but of course what we've also got is so I'm going to move that to one side right. do you just want to go through something a second yeah of course I will give the details piece, of sorry. the alcohol inks especially the minerals the graphite the onyx and of course the incandescence and now nine pounds and 99 pence is the price for all three of them three five seven one four eight is your item and number uh, they are actually you know and also they are let's be honest just when you need something that is kind of a neutral background, this is kind of the perfect thing. Think about all your Christmas images. If you have got silhouettes into the woods, maybe you have got the cardio, maybe you have got the, those beautiful kind of silhouettes of fairies as well and the tutsuls, and you want something kind of perfectly for Christmas, but then you can have the image in there with the background. This is perfect. Over 70% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, do check out your baskets. Back to you, John. But of course, so this is the one I made earlier for the flowers. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to use whatever's left just to make myself a random background that, again, because it's gloss card, yeah. so that's dry. <gasps> oh, I love that. Yeah. I can just... Yeah almost go from a dark to light can't mm -hmm. I as it starts to dry on the pad so you've got this makes me think of 1980s like draw wrapper paper it is yeah <laughs> it's that sort of look like the tutti fruity type thing so there I've made a background on my gloss card so already I've got a beautiful gloss soft pastel finish oh, and again you can that. see you're still getting that glitter shine in there it is. but what I'm going to do now is we could bring in my Press to impress, and I'm going to take. I love this stamp. Oh, I, it's I, I, so I don't beautiful. know what it is. It's so evocative. It this is. is what it really is. And I can see it even working for Christmas, like putting a little tiny instead of the flowers. If you put die cut flowers, which I wonder if there is some Christmas Christmas flowers coming up anytime soon. I don't soon. know what you could do with some really like mm, mini poinsettias. Exactly. Couldn't you need to go and I was on thinking, that? Just you know, perhaps a, a plate that would do you sort of. 20 poinsettias all now from like 10 talking. millimeters down yeah. something, something like, like that, that would be fantastic. exactly if only a crafter can think of dyes that they come all in one place so for christmas <laughs> you can do all of them yeah. in one go yeah if only but you see what i've actually eighth done of, now of august is... eighth of august one day special I oh think yes mm. 8th of august yeah that sounds that sounds vaguely familiar it does so i'm just gonna reactivate this and make a little bit more on it so I'm going back with those colours I was using, the graphite yeah. and the cobalt. Yeah. And you see how dark this pad, this is the pad I used to make the night sky. Doesn't matter, it's not like yeah. a blending, okay. with a, it's not like the blending felts okay. that you have that will go hard or will ruin, you have to keep replacing yeah. them, because I have boxes of them, because I go through so yeah. many. Do do, now yeah. I don't, I tend don't to use have. these more, but a lot better value. Now I'm making my own sparkle ink pad oh look at that and if i bring this one up so you can yeah you can see it i go hold it to camera one and you can probably see there a little bit better yeah you can see there 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 there, there it is there it is it's, yeah that's a sparkle 
sparkle and I mean, I can see the sparkle. So we are about, I would say, two and a half to three meters apart, aside from each other, from uh, the, minute, the minute. And I can see the you sparkle from here. You can see the hair. sparkle, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not in your face. I'm not telling you that it's, a fa you know, kind of the sort of really glittery. Is that kind of glistening. Is it a basically the, the frost in the morning, the winter morning, that sort of glitter. And of course, the closer you get, the more, the more the little light reflects. I think that they're very sophisticated, very beautiful. But also, if you want to go for the stamps details on the screen, 999 is the prize for those glorious blossoms. Uh, the, the, of course, the branch and the blooming as well. Now, uh, we have got, of course, the minerals are one of the stars of the shows. The graphite, the onyx, and the incandescent. Uh, you have got 12 mil in each of them, those ones. And, of course, you have the, uh, those three colors that blend beautifully, creating that kind of neutral colors, those black or grays, approaching 80% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, do check out your baskets. I love that they have got glitter in it, but they are alcohol ink, so you will have the ability to do it, on obviously, over glossy surface but like John has shown don't be shy of testing them in on gloss or non glossy surfaces for a different effect. Uh three five seven one four eight is your item number. Then, of course, we have the alcohol inks in the color options. We have got five options, four colors in each, starting with the pastels in here. Then we have, of course, the seasonal, uh, also very busy for the seasonal. Then we have got a tutti frutti, which I'm making, I'm, I'm going so fast, Marcus is like, uh, this is a tutti frutti, lilac, apple, fuchsia, and topaz. Then we have got the mosaic as well, with the khakis, amethyst, pumpkin, and burgundy. And finally, we have got the gemstones with plum, burnt sienna, turquoise, and cappuccino. Now, tutti frutti is on the list, so if you wanted that one, do check out your basket. Twelve ninety nine is your price. Four four zero zero seven two is your item number. Now you have brought a uh, score. Of course, uh, John has brought the one day special, which is those beautiful alcohol markers, a hundred and eight uh, in total. Now. If we break it down, if you were to buy them individual in, in individually, uh, you would actually be paying for individual pens a hundred pounds. If you are not a Freedom member, a hundred pounds more. Why? Because. First of all, we offer you the pens as a set of four, and you're choosing three of those sets. So therefore, and you have a eight pound saving. If you chose to go for the full collection in the pink and mix, you would have a 72 pound saving because we are giving you them in sets of uh, three of those uh, sets. Then, additionally, not only we are we are putting 10 blender pens, we are giving you the case and giving you a 10 pound saving. However, if you are a Freedom member, that 10, set, 10 pound saving becomes 28 pound 77 pence, which when you consider 72 pounds, it means that it's over 100 pounds saving. On top of that, of course, is as a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP, so you are saving there as well. And if you're thinking, yeah, it's still it's easy to consider purchase to make it one of payment, we're giving you the, the ability to flexi buy, to spread the cost into three interest free payments of. Sorry, I just cannot see yeah, how it is. 56 pounds and 32 pence. The cable was just right on the L. Anyway, so it's like very, very kind of nice uh, position there, the cable, but the red look. Yeah. Anyway, 339520 is your item number. And uh, now, of course, you can see them there. Remember to check out your baskets for that phenomenal price. And also, it's not only about the price, it's of course the vibrancy of the colors, the way that the two nibs work so well. Another thing that I love about them, they don't roll off the table because they kind of they have got that three three uh, triangle design the other thing i love about them is that you have and this is very important do you have of course the numbers either end so in whatever way you put it you know which one it is because not alcohol makers uh, not alcohol ma markers have that ability or that and design they're all named as well which there's a color name on each yeah. one so if you want to remember names remember names, the names and absolutely. only the english which makes a difference <laughs> it does indeed uh, yeah <laughs> 339520 is your item number for the one day special john a pleasure as always Thank we'll you. see you soon see you soon. The marketing. and then if not stay tuned here at the craft store Right, of course, after break, Pink Frog Cla Crafts, uh, William Morris Fabrics, and then the Flector Happy Hour. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m.
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Well, hello everyone and welcome back. We've got another fantastic owl from Pink Frog. I love working on Pink Frog owls because the inspirations are great and I'm not alone because we're joined by the fantastic Claire. Hello. Good afternoon. And you know what's nice, Claire, with Pink Frog is how many crafters and guests use Pink Frog, uh, the dyes, the, uh, especially the cardstock, it's their go-to. So in your stash, and it says a lot when guests come in, no, no affiliation to Pink Frog at all, and they're using pink frog uh, craft, uh, cardstock. Yeah, it's always interesting if I'm watching the craft store at yeah. home and I hear pink frog, my ears just, yeah. just, just super prick up. Smooth. Yeah, super smooth and the EVA as well. I kind of find as crafters, and, and at home you'll get this, because obviously you're part, you're part of the tribe. You're a crafter if you're watching uh, the craft store. And you'll know that when you're buying, because not all cardstock is made the same. Nope. And especially being shopping TV and you can't, you can't feel it and work with it is the most important thing. And you know, when you find a good uh, cardstock, I tend to stick with it because you know you're getting that consistency. It is, and it is consistency and quality, yeah. and that's what we're known known yeah. for through the industry. So our true range with the with the colours and acid and lignin mm. free, and then super smooth as well. Yeah. So as as a crafter, I am just so lucky to yeah. to be able to you know. Um, work with this. I mean, it's a joy to work with, and you're the enthusiasm that's pouring off Claire, you're going to be infected by that as well. Trust me, once you start working with it, you're going to want to work with more of the cardstock. Now, something Claire touched on is the true colours, and we've got those here. So, uh, red, and, red and pink, <laughs> pink, I'm sorry, red and green, I don't know where pink came from. <laughs> red and green, um, this is important because we've never featured them both together. No, we've, um, last year when we brought the red, we couldn't get hold of the green. Yeah. And then when we had the green, we couldn't get hold of the red. So the fact we've got them both in stock at the moment mm -hmm. and in, 
in pink frog sizes as yeah. well. So, um, you know, just great to work with. Nice sizing too. And I want to show you this because it's unscored. So if you were to score it, it gives you an idea of the sort of card blank you could work with. There you go. You can see that there. So this is your 21 by 30 centimeters. Great size as card, but you can do so much more. So think about your speciality sort of folds that you want to create. It goes to the core, which is something that's important. So that colour is all the way to the core. It does. And you'll get your sheet of 10 card folds with it as well. Nice. Oh, we do get that. Yes, you do Thank get you, of that. Course. All right, I appreciate that. So uh, once you get that, instantly, with this card stock, you're going to be able to fold and make 10 cards. So you're going to get those instructions. We're talking 290 GSM. You're getting 20 sheets of each colour. Shall we give it a flick and a wobble? Let's. OK. What, what would you prefer to go with first, a flick or wobble? Um, I prefer a wobble, so let's go flick. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> you prefer the wobble, yeah. but you're going to go flick first. Yeah. I like your style, Claire. So let's give it, and this is just <laughs> giving you an idea of the actual uh, weight. So, I mean, you can hear that, the crispness of it, and listen to this. It's a good wobble, and it's a good flick. There you go. Good stuff. Um, but also the colour uh, that you're getting here too. 10.99 is your price. You're getting 20 sheets of each. 072-256, your item number. Exactly the same colour combo. True colour, red and green. Different card size here. So this is your 15 by 30. What do you tend to find with a 15 by 30? What do you tend to make there? 15 by 30 is, in inches, that's equivalent to your 6 by 6 standard yeah. half-fold card. But then for me, I love a gatefold card, mm -hmm. I love um, an offset gatefold card. The Previous inverted, hour, what did we make? Inverted stepper. Yeah, I'll just show you that, actually. This was the inverted stepper. Uh, so we showed it. If you tune back in, uh, go on the rewind option, you'll be able to find this at 10 o'clock. No, nine, nine o'clock, sorry. <laughs> nine o'clock, uh, you'd be able to see uh, how this was created. Uh, are we getting the folds with this, with this you one? You are, well? with the um, 15 by 30s, not only do you get the folds, but you get the frames as well. Oh, OK, wait. Wait one second. We're learning how to do the frames with this too? Yes. I'm going to show you, it's not obviously this is a lot bigger, but I want to give you an idea of frames. So you'd be able to make this on a smaller scale, but how cool to create these 3D frames, game changer. They're, they're brilliant, so they're great for home decor, they're great for gifting, yeah. they, they just lift your projects to another level and, yeah. you know, at such a good price as yeah. well, whereas to buy a frame like that would be quite expensive. It really would. Now, if you like the look of these dies, we've got them coming up, so uh, do keep an eye out. Okay, details here for your 15 by 30, you're getting 50 of each, so 100 in total for 1899 your item number. We're going to move on to our low shed glitter card. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, because I think it's really important, this is not non-shed, but it is low shed. I'm going to give it a jolly good rub and watch how much comes off. So if you're just seeing that here, I'm really giving it some and then... I mean, that's a tiny, tiny bit has come off my fingers. But as you all see, I really did. I rubbed it hard. You can see that there. So, OK, just a, just a tiny bit there, OK? But what you're getting, and I think that's important to show, that when we say low shed, we really mean low shed. Yeah, and just because it's not non-shed, yeah. we can't call it that, but the shed on it is, is so minimal. Bare minimal. I mean, yeah. I really did have to give it some just to get... I'll tell you why I rubbed it hard. It's because I did that in our previous hour and nothing came off, so <laughs> I thought I'm going to have to really go some. Uh, 11 99 is your price. You're getting 10 sheets of each. It is on extended delivery, but only four days, so it's going to be dispatched on the 6th of August. Have to say, though, ooh, this is good stuff. Uh, 225 GSM, perfect for die cutting. Yeah, it cuts beautifully, um, and it'll cut beautifully through electronic die cutting machines as well. Oh, okay. Now that's interesting. So, yeah. yeah, all the speciality does. So just showing you here, because I know you use that. Now that's lovely. So that's uh, using a Christmas tree die that we've got coming up. Isn't that nice? Also, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. You see this sort of different, the mirror there? We got that in just a moment, so bear with. Uh, if you do want to go for your low shed, red and green. See. With the true colour, the red and green, uh, red and green, perfect Christmas, but I think that's all year round I would be using it. The glitter, I'm more inclined to be using the uh, low shed glitter for Christmas. Definitely. Um, you know, they, they are Christmas colours, but, you know, um, yeah. I could see the red being used in, like, 
parties as well. Whoa, or Valentine's. Valentine's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, 11 99 your price there. You're getting 10 sheets of each. 8, 6, 9, uh, 3, 9, 1, your item number. That was a lovely shot, by the way, Chris. Appreciate that. Okay, so let's have a little look at our sorted collection. This, to me, is like a best of speciality card stock because you are getting so many alluring speciality cards here. So we've got our low shed uh, green glitter. You've also got your Miri, and that's too iconic. So Miri, we all day long, love that. The low shed glitter. But then we move on to cardstock that I have only seen from uh, Pink Frog. And this is your uh, satin, and then your satin holographic. And I will, actually, I'm gonna pop those down for a second because I wanna show you individually. This satin, it looks like it's alive. And you would be forgiven, when I show you this, you'd be forgiven for thinking I've plugged this in somewhere and uh, that was like electric. Isn't it incredible? It reminds me of like taffeta, like a beautiful green ball gown. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. And I want to show you something because you made, it, it was you, I can't remember. Was Caroline it? Oh, Caroline, made that. apologies. Caroline. Sorry, Caroline. Um, Caroline made this exploding box. Now, come on. So for panel detail on your box, that is magical. Seriously, that is just incredible. And I love this green. That is a really classy green. So there we go. For your body, it does. And uh, my producer Charlotte, she knows she's she's a very classy girl, and she was saying it looks it looks expensive. And then we've got a holographic in there too. I should classy woman, I should say, Charlotte. I'm sorry if that sounded patronising. And then we've got your uh, holographic in there too. So just having a look here. I mean, come on, love that. So those are your speciality card stocks. Uh, Twelve ninety nine is your price. You're getting all four, sixteen sheets in total, so four of each. Two seven six seven six nine. Your item number is it not four of each? I apologise. Oh, okay. Uh, I apologise. Glitter, Miri, it's five of each, and then satin and satin gloss. You're getting three of each. So uh, apologies there. That was my mistake. Okay. Now we're going to move on to our red option. Now this is another option that's on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the sixth. So once again, you are getting all four speciality card stocks. Uh, just going to show you here. And there we go. Oh, I love this red. Now come on. Well, whether it's red or green, you just you cannot go wrong. With that. I mean, come on, look at that. It is magical. Uh, $12.99 is your price, 639-989, your item number. So once again, you're getting five of the glitter, five of the miri, and you're getting three of uh, the satin and three of the satin gloss. Uh, 639-989, your item number there. Now, we're going to move on to uh, a bestseller for Pink Frog. It is the red velvet. This, when we talk about decadent, absolute top-notch cardstock. This is, when it comes to speciality cardstock, this is the one so many people uh, attain to. Tell us a little bit about the red velvet. Why is it so popular, Claire? I think it's just that it's just opulent. It, it Good just word. Good word. raises your any project you put it on. It just gives that element of luxury. Yeah. So whether you make something, you know, like these statement pieces here, or you just cut one die cut element out of it, it really just adds something to them. Well, just showing. So you can make your box frames. How about that with your flowers in the red velvet? Mm, my goodness. Or this beautiful wreath, just having a look here. I mean, stunning. And actually, that's nicely accompanied with, is it the glitter in there? I yeah. think, I don't think that's the glitter we've got today. That's okay. the other glitter. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that back. But it shows you, I mean, red velvet. And I, I remember, actually, and Andrew, Mr. Pink Frog himself, knows that I'm a big fan of the red velvet. But I also remember we sold out this, this was last year, and it took months and months to get back into stock. Yeah. Paper and card supply mm -hmm. in the last 12, 18 months is a challenge. It is. And so, I, I, look, as crafters, you don't need us to tell you that. <laughs> uh, 9 99 is your price. You're getting 10 sheets and half the stock has gone. You can't appreciate this. I've got to give it a little bit of a, a wobble because there you start to realise why that is so special. 610-625, your item number.
Uh, we're going to go on to some dyes now for you. So we've got some beautiful dyes from Pink Frog. Going to start with our Christmas tree. This is our snowflake Christmas tree. Really clever design here, Claire, because you can use it in its entirety, but equally snip into this. And I'll just show you a, a die cut. It's got so much potential just to snip out those individual elements. Definitely. So you can use the individual snowflakes. Um, it looks great on the front of a card. It looks great to make just a, a standout 3D one. You can make uh, Christmas decorations with it. Yeah. Um, or yeah. It's Endless nice. possibilities. We like this. Fourteen ninety nine. Your price zero seven five nine five zero. Item number there. Uh, now we have exactly the same design, but on a smaller scale. Just going to hold you uh, this up. So this is our small snowflake Christmas tree for nine ninety nine. Your item number is four nine three three eight nine. Your item number. Tell you what I'll do. I think it's useful, and I did this earlier on. I'm going to hold the large and small next to each other, just so you get a sense of scale. You are getting, this is the one you're getting now, and that's the previous option, that's the larger. So just to see uh, the difference between the two. 9.99 is your price, 4.93, uh, 3.89 your item number. And I will just lift up a little tree so you can see. Now that's very pretty. Is this hard to make? No. Uh, cut four trees out, stick them back to back. Um, and there you've got, I thought they'd be really cute for um, like, Table like name, yeah, things. Place, place settings. Thank you. Well, you could, you could quite easily put a little banner there and someone's name, yeah, or a little that. peg on top with a name. Oh, that's nice. Be cute. 9.99 your price. Uh, nine, uh, sorry, 4.93, 3.89 your item number. As we move on, we've got our character. This is such a nice die set, and to me, um, it really harks back to a different era. So you've got a Victorian vibe coming through. You're getting your lamppost and your carolers. I will just show you, and this is what I love about Pink Frog dies. They give you such, it's that detail with the perforation that you're seeing. So it hits you on so many levels, but it definitely brings life to the characters. And you've got that wonderful... Um, Victorian lamp and let me just show you that come on and it's something that I did a show with Hazel and I know we featured this a lot and we we're kind of teasing that these um, yeah. these dies were coming up so this in itself the snow globe uh, is a set that you can buy individually I think we might be playing with it this hour but how well do our carolers and that beautiful Victorian frame go um, light go 513132 your item number there and uh, actually there's some Beautiful examples here. Yeah. Uh, I will show you. I've got some other examples. I'll show it next time we go down the counter. Then we have... Um, now, the pine cone's really good because you kind of described it earlier on. I thought you were spot on when you said this, Claire. It's a good filler. Yeah, you can so, have it as an individual element or use it to fill. Yeah, so just sometimes when you put die cuts onto a card or a project, they, they look a bit floaty. Yeah. And just putting a little bit of um, greenery, a little bit of foliage around them, just adds a, adds a little something, just a nice finishing touch. And I love these. Yeah. I think the acorns are brilliant. They've got texture in them. Nice. And, and, and the detail in the, uh, in the leaves is amazing. Yeah, well, it's nice. You see, with the actual pine cones that you're getting there, you've got that detail. But then I love this foliage. And what I'd be using here, this is great with your flowers. If you want to add a little bit of... Um, sort of fauna or depth with your flowers it's really nice 1149 is your price 133566 your item number uh, for anyone who watched the earlier show you will notice that one die set is missing um, we have not got the robin here and I only mentioned that because we did say we didn't think it would be around for the second hour if anything goes uh, once they're gone they're gone so we're not bringing anything back on extended delivery you have been warned okay now we're gonna move on to are uh, uh, heart snowflakes and let it snow. We were discussing earlier on, and um, it was really interesting actually listening to Claire sort of discuss this because Pink Frog, and you can see it for yourselves, put a lot of attention to detail to not only having beautiful script within their sentiments, but it's legible. And it, so I've been a presenter here at the craft store for five years, and in that time, not always, but there's been the rare occasion where I've seen a sentiment and I've kind of had to look at it twice just to gauge, OK, what, what's that saying? Because it could be very swirly or detailed. Here, it looks beautifully written, but instantly you can read it. And I think that's so important. 
Well, within our within our dyes, the yeah. font's the same through all of them. Oh, so nice. so you can mix all your that's your good. words up. So you've got that continuity. That's excellent. Yeah, we've yeah. got some that are bigger, but they're still the same font. Yeah. But yeah, they're all exactly the same font. Strong font, and I love this. Um, the actual snowflakes, the heart snowflakes, being a heart design if you put that in a different context so obviously we can use that at christmas or winter but you can use that all year round and just have a beautiful folky feel so imagine creating a background to that and again at nine o'clock um earlier on this today claire used this and created her own embossing folder so very clever from claire 12.99 is your price 750662 item number now sleigh and reindeer it's such a beautiful prancing reindeer that real flow and um, the example with the box actually I'm just gonna run and grab that so apologies guys let me just uh, going off script but let me just show you this because it's something I mentioned and I thought I came up with this idea by myself obviously subliminally I've been influenced by this inspiration from Claire um, you can put as many of the deer as you like together we've got Santa now is this the Santa that we've got coming up in just a moment it is, yeah that's very clever but that to me as a piece is stunning and Isn't that beautiful? And then the snowflakes around the edge of the ones we've just been looking at. Ah, well, it all comes together. Yeah. That is lovely. Genuinely lovely. 14 and 49 your price. Two dies, uh, 226, 206, your item number there. Then we've got a holly and ivy. Really nice design. And I love the, the movement, the twisting and turning of the ivy and then that beautiful delicate holly with the perforation detail. But even on the ivy, you've got a deboss detail in there as well. So let me just show you what you are getting. I mean, isn't that beautiful? I love the movement going on here. So that, if you just wanted to use that sort of fairy tale with your sort of whimsical dyes and mushrooms, be great. It's got a bit of an enchanted feel to it. Imagine that twisting around as detailing around one of your frames. Definitely. And again, you can use like elements of it. You can, you know, put bits together so it's longer or snip bits off. So again, if you're doing any floral kind of bouquet type type cards, just bits of that ivy look brilliant in there. That's such a good, you've spoken like a true craft, uh, craft declare. <laughs> That's really important, the fact that we can make it as big as we want. 1349 is your price, 718191, your item number. Last but certainly not least, we've got the main man himself, Santa, and the stocking. Um, this is a really good point, because Claire used our Santa in the inspiration here. So I imagine you just snipped away the scroll yeah so you see there's the center and then if i just move down there i'm sorry chris i made that so hard for you buddy um but you can see adding santa into our sleigh and he fits really nicely perfect uh 14.99 is your price 495 uh 936 your item number what we're going to do is hit our first demonstration but let's all take a stroll hand in hand onto our website uh lots to discover Loving those reviews. Five star reviews, five star reviews. You heard me mention about the stamp set, the snowball uh, stamp set. And we've actually got that on the uh, show. Uh, there was Snow Globe. What did I say? Did I say Snowball? Oh, sorry, Snow Globe uh, on there. You've also got the sprays as well. Uh, this is a great collaboration between uh, Pearly Winks and uh, Pink Frog. So lots to discover. That was the Robin that unfortunately sold out. So you can find all the dies on there. But just as an added warning, if any of the dies go, we cannot bring those back on extended delivery. So the stock we have is the stock we have. Uh, there is the Snow Globe. It's such a good die set. And I love it in the Snow Globe. Sure. Could we just go back to Snow Globe? I'll tell you why, and apologies. Um, but you've got so many elements in there. The penguins are super cute. You've got the deers in there. You've got the Christmas tree. You've got the snowflake uh, flourish. You have sentiments, the Snow Globe, the largest snowflake. In that one stamp set, there is an awful lot you're getting. Uh, 22 stamps in total, and that was very popular when we focused on it uh, when we first brought it to you. Okay, I think enough from me waffling on. We're going to have a play with Claire. What are we going to do, Claire? We are going to do the Snow Globe Perfect. stamp with our lovely car carolers in it. It's a great set, though. It, yeah, it's it's really a good brilliant set. set. Both sets are brilliant, and they both work together. Yeah. And then once you add the dyes on top... Yeah, it's the, a winner. Yeah. Um, just creativity, yeah. so you can just make so many different cards. And we're using the green satin with it. We are, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm looking at it here from this angle. It's such beautiful cardstock. So we are going to make 
Uh, do you want me to move that? Are we all right where it is? There you go. Yeah. So we are going to do our carolers. So I thought I'd put it on a bit of bit of green for, for this show. Lovely. So all I've done is I've taken a piece of our uh, 21 by 30. Right. And because it is 30, just score at 15, straight down the middle. Perfect. Perfect card. And then I've just cut a mat and I've cut that at 20 by 14. We'll pop that on in a minute. And then I've used some of our Super Smooth because we're going to do some stamping. And I've cut that to 19 and a half by 30. And, a mm -hmm. half, and I'm going to stamp our globe on it. Okay. So I was having a little bit of a chat uh, here and we were discussing cardstock and if you've ever struggled as a stamper uh, with your results, odds are, I mean stamping platforms really make a difference, but also picking the right cardstock is pivotal and super smooth is an absolute go-to. If you want to get perfect results, you can never complain using super smooth, can you Claire? No. It's, it just takes ink so well, it yeah. really does. It takes colour so well. Um, it's just a brilliant, brilliant cardstock to work with. And, and just my go-to for everything, works mm. with alcohol markers, yeah. all kinds of things. So there's our snow globe. I am going to grab, no mm -hmm. I'm not, yes I am. I'm going to okay. grab our mask. So this is okay. with our with our mask kit because I want right. to um, hide the middle of our snow globe mm -hmm. for now. Now you can get a set of 10 sheets here with the mask kit. Uh, 9.99, and it is so handy to be able to create your own masks. And for techniques like this, it's invaluable, really. Uh, they are reusable. 9.99 is your price. Just uh, take care of them. Uh, 976 569 your item number. And then I'm going to grab some of our scotch tape because mm -hmm. what I want is I want a straight line so I could use mask it to do this but this is even easier for this because yeah. it's just a straight line because okay. I want to make a brick wall going onto a countertop so it's as though this is this is sitting yeah. you know on your mantelpiece okay. so by your chimney or in your kitchen now our snow globes down so I'm going to use our brick wall so this is from our textures 2 stamp love this one so and I'm going to grab two ink pads so I'm using a bit of fired brick okay. and I am using I'm just going to pop a little bit of black soot on it as well just to make it look a little a little more mottled and it's a nice size to the brickwork too I've seen brickwork but this is larger than any stamps that I've seen so because it's a background mm -hmm. I'm you know um, and it's a brick wall if I miss any bits I'm not gonna I'm not gonna okay. stress over it but what I do want to do and it will line up really well but the other thing I want to do is especially where it's hitting the mask even though it's thin it's a little bit thicker so I just want to make sure it's it's getting oh, in there. Friend. Now, if you do want to go for this uh, stamp with the brick texture, you can find it on the website. We're just going to show you. So if you go into the website and look at all those gorgeous textures of $14.95, that is a, genuinely, I really mean this, this is a very good buy. Uh, your item number there is 166955. But find it on the website. Just shop by brand Pink Frog. And just one little bit there and one little bit there. Yeah, that's right. So that's our brick done so now we will what we'll do is we are going to move I'm going to just move that out of the way for now come back to it so we're going to leave our mask in place okay. but I'm just going to move oh, so we're just reversing it yeah okay. and then I'm going to grab the wood grain. Well, actually, this is peeling paint, this one. But for me, it gives a really nice wood effect. Nice. Is this in the same stamp set? It is in the same stamp set. And this time I'm using some vintage photo. Oh, lovely. And do you know, with all these textures, one thing that stands out, they're very ex easy to extend? They are, yeah. yeah. Well, come on. You cannot go wrong with some weathered peeled paint. Shabby chic. like that a bit there whisk that round and a bit there perfect and that bit and then what I want to do is I just want to soften that slightly so I'm just going to grab and because this ink is still wet it'll just smoosh it a little bit mm -hmm. it's a good word isn't it just softening the lines yeah so if you're not happy anywhere where you've got 
you've joined it. I'm not unhappy with that as it is, but that will... Some good smooshing. Some good smooshing. And now, when we take that off, our little yeah, snow globe nice. is sitting there. So now I want to work with the centre of my snow globe. Okay. Just give that a quick wipe before I get ink everywhere. Um, so again, this is another mask it, but this time I've stamped the globe and cut the centre out, nice. which um, I did do with a with a knife. You okay. could probably do it with a pair of scissors, but for me it was easier with a... So this is a positive and negative. Could we, um, if we had... I know obviously here we're working with a specific design. With the mask it, are you able to die cut you it? You can die cut yeah? it, yeah. That's good. Um, I did try to die cut it, but it's not quite no, an you need even, the exact, and it's yeah, not you quite need an that, even yeah. circle. But I, I did try it, because mm -hmm. um, if there's a, a quick way, I'll take it, thanks. Mm -hmm. So I just want to add a little bit of background. So actually, what I'm going to do, right. I don't think I did this on the original one. I'm just going to grab the music one, because I thought that was quite cute, yeah. from the... Okay, can you just show us on the, how you store your stamps? Because this is genius. Yeah, so this, is, this was Hazel's idea. Yeah. Um, and all it is, is it's a... I'll show you on this one, because this one hasn't been put together. So it's a piece of A4, yeah. and you score it at 14 and a half. Right. Turn it round, score it at 14 and a half, and it makes these, like, little, little book pages. And then what we do is just stack them together. I think I've got nine in this one, which is probably as much as I would do. Um, my stamps have never been easier to find, yeah, and they go that. back to where they're supposed to. I got love it, and you keep your masks in there as yeah. well. They're brilliant. Got to give a mention to Jackie, and Jackie is a very special viewer. It happens to be uh, Charlotte, our producer's nan, and she's actually done. She's a massive Pink Frog fan, an incredible crafter, and she's made one of those uh, books. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. So this, I'm not worried about it being perfect. I am just getting a little bit of music going on. Mm -hmm. In the background Lovely. and if it overlaps I am good with that so it's just to add again another layer what we will do I'm just going to add just again a bit of smooshing I should have done some of that around the outside of it as well but a crafty smoosh hey ho there we go so there is our little I'm going to keep that because we're going to need that in a minute so now we want to um, put our die cuts in there. So I'm going to grab the die cuts. So like you said, the, one of the great things about Pink Frog dies is these little details it puts on there. It really, it, see, if you just had the outline, it would look nice. But the sort of perforated detail, I think, brings the characters to life. It does. It also, like, helps you know kind of where their where their faces are and yeah. you know where the detail is and where you maybe want to ink or colour. So I'll add a bit of pink in there, a bit of pink on the chap's face. So you tend to you, you enjoy using your inks to colour. I mean equally you can get in there with I know John's in today with his alcohol mark. Definitely. Pens. And for me it just if if I sat with alcohol pens, you wouldn't hear from me for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'd I'd be in a little world of my I'd own. Be in your happy place. Quite happy, yeah. yeah. Um, so this sometimes I do I do for speed as much as anything else. It's just a great way. Um, coloured pencils are another quick way to get uh, a bit of colour down. Lovely. So we're just uh, giving our characters a little bit of colour. There should be a brown dauber somewhere. There it is. So we'll give this chap a little little brown suit. And we will just give this lady there's a bit of red ink left on there. She can have a red dress. So there you go. We've got some, some characters all dressed up. Lovely. And the other thing I'm going to do is just give them a little bit of music as well. Oh, that's So clever. just a tiny bit of detail. Small registration, yeah. Yeah gone a little bit over the top there rushing okay. but it gives you the idea so what I want to do I've also cut our lamp post so I need a little bit of yellow or orange will do 
and I just want to add a little bit of colour so it glows out from behind the lamppost. Get that warmth. And I will look at that and obviously I realise it won't quite fit so I'll snip that off. Okay. Put a little bit of glue on there. There we go. And I'm going to cover that bottom bit up. I'm going to 3D the, the base. So it gives me an area to work into, this, yeah. this piece here. Perfect. So what I am going to do, I do need a pen or a pencil. There you go, pencil. So because I don't need to know where I'm going to chop her dress off, again, you can use your mask. Uh, clever. And just mark on there where you want that to be. And then that will fit perfectly mm -hmm. along there. The other one will fit anyway. Because we're covering up the face? Yeah. And there's a really well designed die set because I like how our carolers are staring at the street lamp and it's such a beautiful street lamp so if you wanted to create the scene and balancing that out Claire's showing you beautifully how very simply uh, you can build up that scene and it's incredibly effective let's get the pin back in there keep it nice and tidy and okay. um, then our base all I've done with our base is I've stamped it separately added a little bit of ink mm -hmm. I am going to grab some of my foam pads Nice. Uh, these are the Pink Frog uh, foam pads. These are really nice because they're easy to work with, but as Claire's showing you, if you want to chop them down, you've got that ability as well. And what this will do is this will hide all of... The gubbins. All of the gubbins, yeah. Managed to... Oh, that's because I've got ink on there. That's how I've got ink on there. But we're going to cover most of that up now anyway. So to tie in with um, the card that we're going to put it on mm -hmm. I have cut and I thought oh, let it snow from the snowflakes that'd be really cute because as well as yeah. you know they might be modern car carolers as well yeah, yeah. just dressed up come on it's teasing you yeah just as we're pulling that out I want to give you a little update on the red velvet uh, now, two ways you can get hold of this. If you want to get 10 sheets of the beautiful red velvet, we will just pop the details on your screen. I mean, look at that for a cardstock. It is so opulent, as Claire said. Two thirds of the stock's gone for the red velvet. Uh, 610625. Now, I want to show you something because uh, we've had a few lovely emails about the poinsettia that we showed. Let me just. Uh, Show you this. So poinsettias with the red velvet is an absolute win. But if you want to get a hold of the die, this is a really good bundle because not only are you getting the poinsettia die, you're also going to get three sheets, A4 sheets of this beautiful red velvet to get going. So you know what you could do? Get the die, get the three sheets, chop out, and then you're going to get a lot of uh, your poinsettias and maybe stock up on a further 10 sheets if you want. But here we go. This is the die set that we're showing you. So you're getting the poinsettia dies and you're getting three sheets of the red velvet for 10.99. Uh, 055 263, your item number. That is a very good okay. bundle. Okay, how are we getting on, Claire? We're good. I've just got let to stick down, which I've just managed to stick to my hand. There you go. So I'm just oh, going to move... Nice that slightly to the left there we go but um i've used our die to to uh -huh. put the lettering in that you could obviously use um the the stamps that go with the snow globe or with the, yeah. the ticket express fit really nicely no the ticket express are bigger aren't they so all we're going to do now is let's pop mm -hmm. that on there mm -hmm. I realise I've got that balanced on there, so I can see two lots of green. It's okay. really helpful. So again, just brings it nicely together. And we will pop that. I was like, should I use foam pads? But as it's Christmas and we've got to post it, we'll, uh, we'll keep it flattish. 
Yeah. So I'll go through the post. Um, well, but I just love the fact that, you know, don't just think your stamps are for stamping and your dies are separate. Just mix and match, get the most out of your supplies as you can. And there we go. There is our That's Let lovely. It Snow. And it's showing you how easy it is to create something that's truly... What a lovely inspiration, Claire. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can I just give you a little reminder? Because we've been working with our Snow Globe stamp set that you can see here. There are so many elements going on. So it's a beautiful stamp set. Uh, love these penguins, but you've got a beautiful majestic stag. We've got sentiments in there as well. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'll show you the actual stamped out. So everything's stamped out, so you can see that here. Now, all of these elements, where I think this is really clever, so we've got our, our central sort of foundation, which is a snow globe. You've got your larger snowflake, your smaller snowflakes in there as well. Look at the penguins. Uh, lovely little Christmas trees. You've got the doe and the stag. This is such a small stamp, but it's so uh, useful because what that does, it allows you to ground all the animals. So you've got that grounding, the little uh, snowflake flurry, and then you've got beautiful sentiments in there. Seasons, greetings, happy new year, merry Christmas, and happy. So it could be happy Christmas, it could be merry Christmas, all on one set. We'll pick that up again. I mean, for $14.99, uh, 14.95 apologies that is a really good buy i like that a lot and it's a big set just putting my hand into shot uh in there too i'm just going to show you another one as well and forgive me i'm just going to have to step back for a moment this is a ticket one and it's another stamp set that we featured uh it was a week or two ago i can't remember exactly but um it's another lovely one because you've got your large ticket stub that you can build but then you've got all of the elements that we can nestle within there you've got large sentiments in the mix too uh banners going in the not just for christmas i mean i love the dangly dangly stars and again same with the ticket too now thinking about using that ticket uh and putting that into your albums um your scrapbooks let me just show you the elements so that's everything stamped out and you obviously love the sizing of the words and then the little banner too where we can fit things in uh 25th of december's on there too uh north pole that's a great one you got your north pole in there and then your little scene builders too it's a very magical set 14.95 is your price 143 407 your item number uh, we've got to mention our red velvet card stock 70 percent of the stock has gone here and when you're talking about such a beautiful speciality cardstock. Claire described it as opulent, and I think that is the perfect word. It is such an alluring cardstock that you're going to want to play with. Uh, ten sheets, it's always popular whenever we bring it to you, and something truly unique. 610-625, your item number there. Uh, now, we have got some Pink Frog Essentials for you as well. Just taking a little look. Lots to discover. The EVA glue is incredible. Um, there's so many properties with that EVA glue. Look at how many five-star reviews it has. Uh, 39 five-star reviews. We've also got the foam tape essentials uh, in there and your core essentials too. So if you're looking for cardstock, if you're looking for uh, glues, if you're looking for foam, if you're looking for mylar, if you're looking for your mask kit, if you're looking for your 3D uh, kalal, we've got you covered. That's a really nice bundle, by the way, 1298, where you're getting the keys uh, with your 3D kalal. You're also getting the syringe and you're getting the precision nozzles. Red liner tape in there too. Uh, we've got, now this is another die and a cardstock bundle for 1249. Yeah, come on. Polar bears with that beautiful holographic uh, blue waves, gloss card, I should say. That's really nice. And we've got more characters too, the little penguins for $9.99, baby penguins. There, the... Just discover. What I would say is type in uh, Pink Frog, shop by brand, and there's so much you will be discovering. Uh, okay, so uh, enough from me. We've, uh, ooh, we've got, still got about 15 minutes left. What are we going to do next, Claire? We are going to make a pop-out card. So we talked about using the tree and we talked about slightly more complicated cards. So quick bit of scoring. Can't find my other scoring tool. This one will do, but I need the other side. So all the measurements and instructions are on this, mm -hmm. but we go 
seven and a half, fifteen and twenty-two and a half, and that will give us our pop out in the middle. Oh, brilliant. And within this, and something Claire's just mentioned, you will get your instruction sheet for ten uh, folds. So ten different card blanks effectively. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I want to cut an aperture in that middle middle card. Do you know, it's a big point and something that you did, did raise in our previous hour. If you were to buy this cardstock already scored, you're restricted to effectively that shape. But by giving you the instructions on how to score, but without any of the score lines, suddenly we can do straight off the bat ten different styles of card. Definitely. And for me, and I know I've said this before, but if I'm having a bit of a, oh, I don't know what to make day, mm -hmm. if I just score some card into a bit of a, you know, a non-standard fold, already I kind of feel like I'm crafting and I'm doing something, and then I think, oh, that, that would fit really nicely on that. So for me, as well as it being really handy and helpful, it gives me a bit of inspiration to start me off as well. That's good. So there is now our pop out. Perfect. Move all this out of the way. So the other thing I want to show you. So let me grab these bits. So I've already made these little panels and we're just going to stick these on, but I'm going to show you how I made that stripy paper in a minute. So let's pop these on so that they are, because if I put them down now I'll lose them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. So we'll pop those I mean that's those already on looking really good. And it, it's a very good t top tip from you Claire, that, and because we've all had days where we are sort of struggling for it with our mojo, but by doing a bit of scoring, creating something that already looks good, it does sort of help you along the way quite a lot. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop this together so that at least we've done that. So all I'm doing is matching these two edges up together as best I can. Okay. And we will just hold that for a second before we go to the other edge, because I don't want it to pull away. So again, just a bit of glue on there. Try and get it on the card and not over the edge. And then again, you can pop that on there. And what we'll do is we'll just set that to one side for a minute while it dries. Mm -hmm. So to make that stripy paper, this is some of our quick stick. So this is our double-sided adhesive. If I can get the corner going, there we go. Okay. So. It's got adhesive on, on both, both sides, sides. Yep. and all I've done, I won't do the whole sheet but you'll get the idea, is I have cut some strips of white card, so mm -hmm. again this is just our super smooth. When I did this at home I did use my board just to help me line it up. So you just pop that, I've put my fingers all over that, there you go. Start slightly in the middle, that'd be easier. So we just pop the strips down. Mm. Come on. Okay. And if you use your backing just to yeah, the wax strip, yeah, help, burnish. yeah, yeah, because then it, you don't get your fingerprints all over it. Uh, you, this is great for um, sentiments too, because in the earlier hour you used uh, some of this for your yeah, sentiments. Yeah, and that's what I used for the Let It Snow on our last card as well. Yeah. It was just on the back of there, so it's handy. So, but this this stuff is fabulous. It's so it's so grippy. It'll take heat as well, so you can use embossing powders on it. But what I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to trim it a little bit. Nice. So just we're just... trimming, Claire. You had a really good question from Elaine. Elaine, this is an excellent question. Do you know what? I always like this. Um, whenever I say you're here, if you're regular to the craft store, you hear me say a lot. Please get in touch with your questions. It's because. You guys think of questions that are so important that I hadn't thought of. So this is a good one, Elaine. Elaine was asking, when it comes to red velvet, and I'd be interested in the answer here, when we're scoring it, is it best to score it on the, the coated red velvet side or the white side? I'd probably go on the coated side. Okay. But if I was worried about it in any way, I'd yeah. score it gently on both sides. Good tip. But you're fine to score it on yep. the red side as well? 
There we go. Elaine, hopefully that answered your question. Good question. Good question. So, obviously, I haven't done the full piece, but what I can do now is where that's still sticky, I can ah, pop glitter on glitter. it. Glitter, nice. I did have a bit of malfunction the other day and glitter went absolutely everywhere. Oh, no. It is all over the house. Happens. It's one of the dangers of being a crafter. It is. I did look like I'd been bathing in glitter. <laughs> so you can see, it's, it's just, for me, it's just a really great way because it adds texture. So you've got, because it's because the card's slightly raised above the, the yeah. glitter. I just think it's really cute technique. That is clever, yeah. And then all we did was we just cut that into into stripes and we've matted and layered that onto onto our base card. Lovely. We're just going to pop a few more bits together. Mm -hmm. So uh, inside, so I've cut a couple of our trees. Yeah. And these are the. Uh, this is the small yeah. one. So, and we're going to pop, pop that inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the scoreboard. Nice detail within these trees. They're, they're just beautiful. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to use, I put a black line down mine just so that I've always got a line that I know I can work to. Yeah. And I am just going to score down the middle of this. It just makes it a little bit easier to fold. Okay. You can, you can do it without, but for me, it just gives me no, that's a good tip. Really an good extra tip. level of neatness. Mm -hmm. And oh, there's the other one. And then these we can stick together. So you asked how I should put the lid on that. Okay. Oh, I talk about housekeeping mm -hmm. all the time and I'm the worst. Just tell everyone because we, we wouldn't have seen that. But And it's a, it's a good tip. So with the non-clogged glue bottles, I always see you... you just give the nozzle a little bit yeah, of light. Yeah, always just, just make sure you've got, got no, no glue drying on it, really, because yeah. what you don't want is that glue to, to, to dry and then stick your lid on. Well, especially with the EVA, because it sticks so many things. Yeah, so, you know, have it should be, as soon as you're finished with just it... Just give the tip a wipe. Wipe. And, put it on, yeah. and then lid on. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this... And because I didn't want it completely down, I've just put glue down the middle strip. Okay. And then, oh, come on, stick. There it goes. So I use the, so there's, there's a star top, middle and bottom, so I use those to help me line it up. And I'm going to put this in the middle of our card. And this is something Lovely. you would really like to to leave to come on to to set before you yeah. move it about a little bit because it is going to sit directly on that crease now see the white um contrasting is that beautiful true red is so effective that's beautiful uh, yeah i knew that was going to pop <laughs> Should just it leave happens. it like that for now. Let's just let okay. that dry for a minute. And what okay. we'll do is we'll just work on the front. Mm -hmm. So again, we've got a panel. And when I come to stick this little stripy panel on that I've already made, because yeah. it's already sticky on the back, I can just take the backing off. And so I don't need to mess with any glue because ah, it's double-sided. Clever. And like then that. we can just layer this up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go across there. So whenever I'm putting something across a card, I'll tend to cut it longer than the piece of card I'm sticking it to. Okay. So that I can then snip it off. If I cut it to size, mm -hmm. it tends to be that smidge too short. Yeah. Whereas this way, you get a nice clean edge. Good tip. That's so, a pro tip. Yeah. We'll pop that on the front. There we go. Oh, 
Uh, we had uh, a message back from Elaine saying thank you for answering the question. Elaine, no, thank you for the question. It's our absolute pleasure. When, um, when any of the presenters here at the craft store, when we say please email in with your questions, we're not just saying that, giving it lip service. Genuinely, we love hearing from you. So it's the beauty of being a, a live show. And also, there is a sense of, and I know this sounds a bit cheesy, but genuinely, there is a sense of community here. So you're all part of the family, and we love it when you email in. And we're always happy when we can give you an answer. So, uh, Elaine, it was our absolute pleasure, and I mean that. Yeah, if, there's, if anybody's got any other questions or wants to show us what they've made, if they go yes. to, um, we've got a Pink Frog Inspirations uh, Facebook page. Great, so how do we find that? Just on Facebook, Pink Frog Inspirations. Oh, it is just Pink Frog Inspirations, yeah. brilliant. That sounds far too easy, doesn't it? You know, you're like, I'm sure yeah. it is just that. And you do love seeing what viewers at home oh, start making. We absolutely some incredible adore makes, it. They? Yeah. They're amazing. Nice. Let's pop that back in there. I am going to use a little bit of glue gel. Mm -hmm. So is this um, 3D? You well, well 3D? I, was, I was about to use some, but... Is it hiding? No, that's there, look. <laughs> it's there. Again. I'll we'll just put a little bit of that on there. And the beauty of the Kalal 3D is you can, great for getting into small detail, especially with this tree that uh, we're just showing you now. But also, if you want to stick something in there in the earlier hour, uh, 9 o'clock, you were showing us, Claire, about sticking the uh, fronds from the cones. Yeah, in. so so for me, I quite like using it, um, like if I'm doing things like that, quite a decent blob of it and then oh, yeah. kind of poke things into yeah. it. Well, you want to so get that dimension, so you want to give it a good blob. Definitely. And somewhere I should have a greeting, mm -hmm. but you know. I haven't lost anything today yet. Look, it's there. Mm -hmm. Kept it together. So again, um, I've cut this. This is cut from the glitter card. Okay. Um, and I've, again, I've put the quick stick on the back before I've cut it, which is why nice. there's some bits I haven't quite taken out. But that does cut really well. It cuts beautifully. So that, when you realise the quality of the die and the quality of the card just means it's cut through, as well as the glitter card, it's cut through a layer of adhesive as well. Now that, that's back in. very impressive. And I have to say, there has been occasion where... Sometimes you can be a bit daunted cutting through sort of a glitter card. It doesn't always cut great. I'm talking about other brands, not uh, Pink Frog. But you're seeing here, that's a really fine uh, sentiment die. It's cut like a dream. There we go. And there's our Happy Christmas with our beautiful... I'm hoping that that's going to stay in the middle now. Let's get that squudge. Uh -huh. And then we would decorate the little tree inside with some gems as well. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I knew something would fall off. The okay, glue gel just off. takes a second to, yeah. to dry, especially onto the glitter card. But there you go. What a lovely, lovely card. Stay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, I mean, some, you've made some beautiful inspirations today. Thank, Thank you me. so much. Um, please have a look for Pink Frog on social media. You always think, do you know what I like? You get a little snippet of what's coming up in the future. And I know Pink Frog loves seeing what you're making as well. Just to give us a, re a reminder, so it's Pink Frog... Inspirations. Inspirations, thank you. Uh, and also, make sure to tag in the craft store as well, because we love seeing what you're making too. The whole point of the craft store, we want to inspire. It's so easy, though, to get inspired by Pink Frog, because you get to work with beautiful cardstock, like, for instance, this wonderful red velvet, extremely busy for our red velvet. So if you want to work with decadent cardstock, uh, over 80% of the stock has gone for your red velvet. It is special stuff. Uh, and up until working with Pink Frog, I'd never seen anything like this before. It really is lovely cardstock. $9.99 is your price there. 610 uh, 625 your item number there. Uh, now we do have our red assorted. I'm just going to show you with this because it's another beautiful collection. Uh, I've got to tell you, it is on extended dispatch, so it's going to be dispatched on the 6th of August, which I'm going to show you individually. But look at what you are getting. So you're going to get three sheets of this satin. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at that. You're going to get three sheets of your holographic satin. Beautiful. Then you're going to get five sheets of your low shed. 
and it really is a very low shed and just for anyone who missed earlier on i mean look at that and i gave it a good old uh, rub and probably nothing's coming off my hand does it look like i can't has it look like i cut my finger but that's that's the glitter that's just that's the glitter coming through just showing you it's very long so you see it's like no that's not me cut myself that's just the low shed uh and i think that's from the first time i did it i can get why you were saying earlier on it looked like i cut my finger and then we've got our miri in there as well which you can see here five sheets of that got to stop i'm afraid time has beaten us can i say a huge thank you to claire and pink frog it's been a pleasure it's been lovely when are you guys back, Do you know when you're um, back? i'm back next week i'm back next yeah. tuesday on the 10th mm -hmm. and a very quick thank you as always to the brilliant design team yeah. to hazel anita cheryl and caroline design team awesome so you thank you so much thank you for your company don't go anywhere plenty more coming up We are talking William Morris Fabrics, and uh, there is a big giveaway today as well, so do not miss uh, out. We've got Deflecto Happy Hour after that, and then Chore Creations will return with the fabulous alcohol pens. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Pretty. Um, now then, uh, I need to tell you before we do anything. Um, you know, obviously, the festival of um, the summer festival of quilts has been on. Oh, and I miss the show. But we have got our fantastic giveaway. Honestly, it's whoa! It's looking huge. Hold on a minute. Look at this. This is so exciting. It ends tomorrow um, and somebody is going to win all of this stuff. Honestly, there is so, I mean, monetary value there is huge. That is worth huge. But the amount of beautiful fabrics and tools that you're getting and patterns, I mean, that is, it makes me really want to take up sewing, I'm not going to lie. Not that I'd be able to win it, obviously, because I work here. Um, but that is, and there's more, there's like stuff tucked away, there's stuff down there. Look at all that as well. 
Boom, it's amazing. So all that is going to get um, given away tomorrow. Somebody's going to be in with a chance of winning that. Um, this is what's going in from this live hour, and it's absolutely beautiful. You've got a 15-piece fat quarter bundle. Now, all you need to do to enter is buy something from one of the lo uh, live soft um, hours. Soft hours. The soft fabric hours. That's, oh, you know what I mean. Either the knitting, the sewing, the fabric hours. That's all. All you need to do, buy something from the live hours, the live soft hours, <laughs> and then you'll get automatically entered into that amazing prize draw. So that's that done. Let's say hello to lovely Jenny. Hello there, our Jenny. Hello, Was lovely Jenny. We've been chatting about the, the festival of quilts, of course, because you've been zooming up and down the motorway, haven't you? I have indeed. The poor yeah. little car's going, huh, in the car park. <laughs> uh, the festival of quilts was super. Yeah. It was great to have people out doing workshops. And thank you all, as I said this morning, thank you all so much for coming. Um, I know for many of you, it was sort of take a deep breath. Do we dare? Do we not? Those who came, I think, had a wonderful time. The workshops were great. The quilts were great. The space was wonderful. It will be happening next year. Amazing. Um, but at least we have here on the craft show your own quilting programs too. So if you didn't get, you can see quite a lot here. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the beauty of live TV. You know, you can have, um, if you want to email in with questions, if you want to show us something you've done, it's really nice because we can literally chat to you. And we've got a beautiful selection of goodies. Now, we've already had, um, a, well, a couple of sites actually. That one, it was just hanging hanging on but it's gone once it's gone it's gone so i uh, just tell you if you were after that if you thought oh i'll get it in this hour i'm so sorry that has gone um which is such a shame i mean the the william morris designs these are exquisite they absolutely are. exquisite totally. um the quality is beautiful as well but it, it's that i mean obviously this is something that you know um so traditional the colors are so rich the pattern is is absolutely sensational i, I do love um the morris collection they're amazing now do you know why it's called granada i no. learned something this morning no i don't right granada is in fact the spanish word for a pomegranate. Ah, okay. And when you look at some of the, uh, there is one particular uh, patch of fabric there yeah. that has, in fact, if you put your hand on the fat quarters on the top right hand corner, move it along, that oh, one, yes. that has the pomegranate on it with Paolo. Um, do, you know, that this morning. I, do you know, I had the other one in my hand, which is probably not the same. It is, um, it is, it's, it's it the is same the fabric same. in just a So that's that, uh, I, were, I were going for the pomegranate. Well, fancy that, so, so it's named after. So he looked at Spain, there is a Moorish um, M-O-O-R as opposed yes. to M-O-R-E, yeah. um, element to his designs. He also looked at English country gardens. He was a poet, a novelist, he was a radical, um, he was one of the thinkers of his age. Yeah. Um, once he sort of begun designing, he found, founded the company Morrison Company, which is still here today. Um, as we can see. Yes. Now, those fat quarters are absolutely yummy, but yes. we've also got it as a pick and mix. Yes, and we will be talking about the pick and mix. I, I, these are absolutely exquisite. I'll talk you through the pick and mix because obviously they're all in with this fat quarter, but if you do want the fat quarter, if you do want that exquisite selection of fabrics, the details are there. Now, you are saving almost eight pounds here, seven pounds and 95 pence. You've also got um, your flex it. So at the moment, you just need to pay £27.90. That's how you're going to get that full selection of 15 pieces delivered to your door. There's so many beautiful colours in there and the patterns are exquisite. Uh, once it has gone, it's gone. So please make sure you check your basket out. 346289. But we'll have a look at them in more detail because you have got your pick and mix. So you're choosing any two here. These are your half metre uh, pieces. Um, you're choosing any two, and again, once it's gone, it's gone, but look at the designs. Uh, they're just exquisite. This is your black thorn charcoal. When you look at the pattern, I uh, know it isn't. Black thorn indigo, this one. I mean, yeah, you can see the, the nature. I love um, his use of colour as well. I Absolutely. do think they're phenomenal. Absolutely, and the intricacy. Um, the, what mm. is good about the fabric, because it's lovely fabric, because it's well printed, every single element of the design is clear. Yes. So you can get right up close to it and you're not going to have a smudged pattern or anything like that. The, pa the pattern repeat is fairly small, so it's absolutely excellent for fussy cutting, stack and whack, all sorts of things like that. Yeah. Or just use it as it is. Yes. I mean, get, if you're having a pick and mix, then get the half meter or you get a couple of half meters and think skirts, clothing, yes. inserts, 
um, out of border around some, recycle something. If you've got a yes. really sort of sad old navy blue skirt, why not give it a touch of the blackthorn indigo as yeah. a trim, as a binding or something of that nature? Yeah, absolutely. And it does, it just brings, it breathes life into it. Um, now, the next one that you've got is your beautiful apple green. Again, that gorgeous colour palette there. It's almost like a sage is that one. Um, and again, it's the movement that he's got in the, the actual pattern design. Um, the next one that we've got, oh, look at that, the Honeysuckle suckle Aqua, which is gorgeous. I love that, that um, burst of colour, yes, you know, with yes. all the blues, and then you get that burst of colour with the floral. I mean, this, this is summer when we finally get summer. Mind you, we could, if you had that in your house, you'd feel yes, like it was summer. Absolutely. No, it's just exquisite. Um, and this has been really popular, actually, over half the stock has gone. I like, I do like the breadth of summer that um, the, the Morris fabrics give you but I do like the intensity you know uh, a lot of these did I think it makes it look very opulent oh, when you look at that, that you know totally. that is just yes. such this, this a rich is fabric market rich yes. this is as I was saying this morning this is the drawing room the morning room yes. not so much the morning room, the drawing room uh, the upper parlor um, but it would make a cracking bag yes. it's going to yes. so many different things and just Absolutely. look at those pomegranates oozing the seeds out yes. and the Moorish influence. I mean, you can feel the Spanish sun on that particular piece. Oh, that would be rather nice just now. Um, <laughs> so that's your um, Granada indigo. Uh, the next one that we've got for you is your beautiful bluebell indigo. And look how different that is. You know, in comparison to the other, so different. There's patterns within patterns. There's such movement within this. But again, if you're only taking a small section, it's Full. Yes. You know, yep. just a small section has got so much going on there. I like that. I like the ones that haven't got um, loads of colour as well, because again, it just gives you such a different and feel. And you put that with a blender, a plain navy or yes. with a white, and that's going to really make that design absolutely pop out yeah. of you. And for those of you sort of in the quilting world, why not look at his designs and take his design artifacts, take the elements of the design out and use that in your quilting designs? Yeah. Yeah, and this is the thing, isn't it, with them? You know, the the amount of uses again when, and this is more of um of a cream as opposed to a white, but but you can see how it starts to make that yes. colour pop. Yes, very and much again, so. they do look very um they do look very expensive. You know, the the whole of the the Morris collection it just looks so expensive. Now the next one that we've got for you, which again absolutely gorgeous, um and this is your. A uh, rose hip indigo, of course, I can see the rose hip now. And with these again, now you could, when you put the, say that one with that one, you know, they go together they so They do indeed, beautifully. and indeed it goes together with the, the previous one. Yes, yes. Uh, those two go together as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. Because mm, mm. that's it. I mean, yes, you can bring a blender in, but, but they look so good. And then you bring a navy blender into that, and it'll just, absolutely again, it just looks gorgeous. Um, the next one, this is pretty. Um, this is your jasmine aqua. Oh, that's pretty. Um, that one's been very popular. Over half the stock has gone there. Once they're gone, they're gone. And that is so different, you know, from those bold, strong yes, prints. Yes. And now that is so delicate, delicate. isn't it? Ditsy would be an awfully bad word to oh, describe it. Would. it. Yeah. Because it isn't, but it is delicate. I mean, the tracery of the little flowers going over there. And um, that, that would make... Get, get a couple of half meters of that and you've got yourself a blouse. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. I mean, mm. yeah, these are beautiful for uh, for um, your clothing. That is absolutely sensational. 60% of the stock has gone to that one. Very popular indeed. Now, the next one that we've got, um, this is your bluebell again, but this time in the gold. And that's a lovely shade, actually, because, yeah, it's got that golden hue, but it's got a really warm hue to it, hasn't it? Well, that, that's always sort of seat cushions for the dining room. Yeah, yeah, it? wouldn't so that you look listen, fabulous? On, on your chair, or even if you've got a pine kitchen, imagine yeah. that as a few scatter cushions around there because it's going to pick up the colour of the pine. It yeah. will look really rather grand and pipe it with one of the others and you're going to have, you know, talk about sort of homes and gardens, country houses. Yes. Ah, the element of deluxeness. Absolutely. You can have 
yes, plenty of <laughs> deluxeness, please. Um, yeah, that is really pretty. And like you say, yeah, that would really enhance pine. Um, next, we've got even even if you're using them for like table runners, oh, totally, you know, totally look beautiful, beautiful as table pine runners. Pine table, that would look really yeah. cracking. Um, now we're back to our Granada, um, but this time we've got the uh, Granada charcoal, and then with this one, whereas the other one you really had that um, that rich blue. I mean, this time it's definitely more of a, a green tone to this yes. one, hasn't it? Yep. Which is beautiful again, and I love those little sort of hints of pink in there because that really lifts it. Well, it does. Imagine that with a black outfit. Oof, um, yeah. there's, a, there's a bag called a jester bag where you could actually cut fussy cut there's rather lovely sort of OG elements out of it and then put it together to make this bag which has various sizes made out of diamonds that would work extremely well yeah 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 it's got that movement to it yes. as well to go yep. with diamonds now the next one oh this is pretty as well um, this is your apple red and again that is just exquisite um, you can see the the gorgeous detail and it is like you said there's I can get right up close to that and you do see the the yes. minutest detail well, within they're, the they're pattern design. I mean, this is the oak apples and the oak trees and then the lovely leaves beneath them. So, you know, you really can f see mm. Great Britain in the influence of the good oak tree in his design. Yeah, that is lovely. Um, next, oh, this is one of my favourite. Um, this is a black thorn again, but this time in the charcoal. And again, that charcoal has got, um, it's that really gorgeous green. Oh, I love that. I think that, again, it's just so rich in pattern. Totally. And it does it, it reminds me of so many folklore tales to, uh, yes. you know, yes, for some reason it it's got that Yes, that you can almost magic see Hansel and Gretel going yes. through the, the twisty woods with the flowers and things. Yeah. But you're going to come to the one that I really like, which is that sagey green one, because that's very much my colours. Yes, yes, it would yeah, really go with the sagey green, the, the ones that we've had here. Oh, no, that's that, pretty that's too. That's my favourite. I love this that one. This one? Yes. Is it yeah, your favourite favourite? Absolutely super. Yeah, that is pretty. Um, your bramble charcoal, and of course it's got your little brambles there because you can see the little fruits absolutely beautiful my indy currently is pinching all the strawberries that i am growing off the actual plant and um, this one is our katie's favorite the honeysuckle green and that one it's a lot the, with that green again it's a lot softer than the blue the blue is much um, so. a yes. stronger but yep. that is just so mm -hmm. um calming actually yep. isn't it stunning uh, next we've got for you, um, so you're back to your lovely rose hip, but this time it's the blush colour, which again is absolutely lovely, and that one you can see straight away, you can see that blush, how it corresponds, um, where's my finger, it corresponds uh, with the colour sweet, so always you're picking out colours, you so are. it does and, mix and they and link match. together. In fact, they, they, there are groups of them that really do link together, yeah. yes. so you may want to work with the blue range, you may want to work with the soft sagey green range and yes. they all mix and match together yeah they're beautiful and i will i i might open more than one out in a little while uh, but i wanted to show you this because this is so different so this is your brook brook small blush and in here now look at that again um the the love of the the outside and the wildlife and nature really comes through here i mean yeah that is absolutely gorgeous now that's interesting actually because you've got such a um a variety of trees in there as yes, well haven't totally. we and the deer gambling beside the streams it sort of softly flows i mean this is fussy cutting this is the back of a cushion you yes. could frame this yeah you could um what yeah, about you your window cards and taking a pair of the deer um, and putting it in a window card. What about doing a small piece of machine quilting on a little section, putting yes. it in something and framing it? Um, yeah. It would make a very quick gift and everyone would think you're so talented. Absolutely. It, lo it almost looks like it should have been a tapestry design. Oh, totally. It's totally. got that, that incredible sort of detail within the, the design um, and the deers are beautiful. Yeah, I think that one, I would want to just take some out yes. and yeah, do some, you know, some uh, beautiful freehand embroidery or something totally. like that on that. Yes. to make it a real art piece it's just and that's the thing isn't it they are they are just the designs are so artistic now 
if you do want to go for those, um, remember it is your pick and mix. The thing is we have got the, uh, the solids as well and I will show you some of those solids. But if you do want to go for any of these, you've got your, your choice. So you're getting two of these, £14.99. pence. Do remember once they're gone, they're gone. This is beautiful quality. In fact, we've had a technical sellout. So the Jasmine Aqua. Oh. I think it's the one your left hand was on. My left. Oh, right Jasmine. hand. Yeah, right hand, sorry. So, Jasmine <laughs> Aqua, was it that one? Oh, that's... Has it gone? <gasps> okay, I'm going to have to take it out. Look for... She oh, missed but it's out still in the fat quarter pack. Oh, it's still in the fat quarter? Good yes, point, you Jenny. See, so anyone getting the fat quarter pack, you're going to get the Jasmine Aqua. Good well, point, well made. Yep. Because I'd forgotten about that. I was just... I was just sad that we'd lost one. Um, if you do want that fat quarter, obviously it's still in there. Um, so if you do want to get hold of that, and that is absolutely exquisite. We are approaching half the stock of that. And of course, once it's gone, it's gone. So if you do want to get hold of that, And that jasmine apple out. goes with the honeysuckle and the blue um, oh, the yes. one with the, the rose hips on it, the, you know, the little blue one down the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. three go so, absolutely. so well together. So you've yeah. got... A three that will go well together that's going to be one of your cushions or your designs yeah. or whatever you're going to do with it all the bags and then you can put the the soft taupey beigey ones together and then you've got the crisper darker ones the grander ones um, and of course you've still got in there a whole 18 inch square uh, american fat quarter of that small brook blush which yes. of course is just the back of a cushion. Yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. even need to do anything with those fat quarters other than sew two pieces together, yeah. stick a cushion pad inside, and you've got a range of cushions yeah. That's to it. Yeah. You know, embellish any one yeah. sitting room. Because they just look so expensive yes, and classy. Beautiful. Just mm. beautiful. Very classy. Yeah. Very classy. Um, if you do want to go for that one, um, £55.80. Half the stock has gone, saving almost £8 there. 346289 is your item number. Now, we have got some other goodies. So, we've got... Oh, are we going to go out to the back in? Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get one of these out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it. Um, these... Oh, be careful. It'll all fall off the pole. Don't worry, Jenny. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> trust me, Jenny. I'm so gentle and careful and professional. Um, Jenny, these are absolutely exquisite. And once they're gone, they're gone. Look, Jenny. Yes, all right. OK, I'll let you go on that one. <laughs> she won't tell me off yet, but wait until I've done this. Then she'll tell me off. Oh, Jenny, this is beautiful. Let me put it over here. Gosh, <laughs> the, gosh. The, this is the backing for it's your king-queen size quilt. This, this is the curtain fabric. This is the duvet cover. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. giant piece of fabric. For what about that summer frock? Um, and you, oh, think of that, Look teamed up this. with some wonderful um, turquoise Look. machine embroidery. Look at this. Now, obviously, it's we, way too big for me. We Tell can you hide what I'm going to do. It. I'm going to throw a corner over to you. Okay. Ready? Right, ready. Oh, got it. Right, okay, we're ready to hide yeah, behind it. Look at it. this, yes. Now, this is this. social distancing and more. Isn't it? Okay. We are super social distancing. Because Not a they problem can't even whatsoever. Get it on the camera. And look, it's all the way down here as well. Jenny, that is absolutely exquisite. It is. It's super exquisite. I mean, yeah. You go with so many things. Now, top tip about having a busy-ish fabric on the back of your quilt. Yeah. It hides your quilting mistakes. Oh, nice. Okie dokie. And yeah. it also means you get a double-sided quilt because they can turn it yes. over and have this one in the bedroom. Or you can have it the other way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's also nice for that. You know, when you turn over just the top of your yes, quilt and you get yes, that beautiful, you see that. beautiful yep. pattern. Yep. Oh, I absolutely adore that. Oh, chuck it over and right. our lovely Ready? Ben will sort it out because poor, poor Ben. ben. <laughs> no. How, look, look, our Ben's waiting in the wings. I'll show him your... So, this is your fourth option that I'm... Oh, the top. Sorry, I thought I've got three options, but this is your fourth. There you go. That's your sky option. That, I must admit, that's my favourite favourite. That's adorable. I would absolutely have that as part of my bedding. And it's so nice. Uh, so that's your first one. That's your sky option. Uh, £47.98. But this is massive. Two metres. And it's 108 inch wide as well. So these are huge pieces. You've then got either the red, which again is sensational, or the top. And the top is really nice because that... That's a one that I can see actually that'll go with so many others, it, totally. uh, so many yes. fabrics. Yes. 
with very many fabrics. And again, it's a neutral shade. Yeah. So, you know, you're not, um, when, you, when you use it, you're not going to be sort of in your face or anything yeah. like that. It would look great on the back of that. Yeah. You and can see there's so many of the, the fabrics that we've looked at. If I brought those in, literally, uh, if you're looking for one that will, you know, be quite subtle, then that's the one. If you want something that makes a statement, boom. Um, £47.98, pence, absolutely stunning. Um, that is 273-931, your item number, if you'd love to go for those. Now, we've also got the beautiful solids. Now, this is such a good idea. I've got them over there, actually. Shall I show them while I'm over there? Uh, because I can show them um, against the, uh, the actual William Morris fabrics. So you've got eight different options in total. So, um, and we've got four new today's. So obviously, I'm going to do that thing where I don't know the actual colour palette. But, but, this is important, isn't it? Because, Jenny, um, obviously we've got, in fact, oh, luckily, these are your four new today's. Well, well done. Yeah. Yeah. So you've that got that good look lovely good minty one. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and then you've got one that is almost a soft, very soft, sort of yeah. almost pink. Yeah. A slight tinge of pink to it. Uh, you've got black. You have to have black. Yeah. Okay, I mean, whatever you order black is, you've just got to have black. Yes. Um, I'd have two pieces of black because you would always want it. And then that deep red, which goes with the pinky colours. Um, it is It is a very subtle red. You might yeah. think on your computer screens it looks quite bright because you might have the colour turned up wrong, but I can assure you it's a subtle red. Now, on the um, what they're seeing at home, it's actually the right colour. Good. Um, that's, our Holly says it's the right colour because it's quite a mulberry, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's quite very a wine, much so. it isn't is a, it? It is. It's red wine. It is. Um, I'm not going to sing to you. No, don't. No, I, um, it's a good idea. It's yes. a bad, bad idea. Um, and actually saying that, so there are your four new today's which are essential. Um, you've also got your existing, and I will show how they, they combine with the colours as well. Um, so that beautiful, because that's like a, a cream, isn't yes. it? An ivory yes. cream. And again, another very useful one. So if you're going to take advantage yes. of the offer, go for black and cream, yes. because you're always, always going to use that. And a number of times you think, oh, where's that bit of? Yes. Yes, absolutely essential I love that kind of minty one which is beautiful and then that lovely top yes so you're going for any two of these 12.99 but the important thing is how they work with these so if you were you're looking like your blacks it's funny actually Jenny because when you look at your black you can put it against so many fabrics yes, any of them and it's go absolutely well. going to work because that I mean it's just so strong it just yes. brings everything yeah. out doesn't it I mean, which looks beautiful with the, with the um, bluebell one uh, the gold and bluebell one in the middle the black and the gold would be yes. absolutely cracking. yes 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 yeah it does work yep. so Works well doesn't really it really well with that absolutely Such a super contrast yeah absolutely exquisite um, you've also got I mean the the uh, brand new one that mint mm. I'm not sure, the mint is beautiful. That pink, that soft pink, that goes beautifully with some of these well, sort of red tones. Well, tell you what, the mint one went very well with it. went with the one that we've sold out of. It did, didn't it? Yes, it did. See, it really it, did. Just look, look, look. That's okay. in your, look, look, look. Mm, yeah, you're yes, right. See? That's absolutely so if, spot if, if on. you've been lucky enough to get that, yes. I suggest you bung a bit of mint in. Yeah, that looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful with that. As does the, the pink looks good with that yes, as well, yep, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, look. So if you did manage to get hold of that, get them to, because they work a treat with it. Yep. Or, of course, you can get your, your fat quarter. Of, um, your, um, oh, fat brain. quarter pack. Yes, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> My brain. Uh, you've also, of course, got your lovely top. The top goes with so many of them as well, doesn't it, Jenny? Yes. Yep. Because, again, it's pulling out and it's going with so many of those lovely colours. Um, if you do want to go with your solids, yeah, this is... The thing that you, you it's an essential. Um, £12.99 is your price. Now, um, if you want to go for anything, we have got extended delivery. Um, only the 19th of August, so you haven't got long to wait at all. 929315 uh, for those solids, but do check the website out. It is thecraftstore.com. And we've got Jenny's Bugs, um, where there's so much, um, well, all the inspiration, loads of ideas, loads of fantastic technical information there as well. And much, much, much more because it's our lovely Jenny. So she does put a lot of, of stuff 
in her books to make it a really interesting read as well um, as educational. If you do want to get hold of any of the books or anything else, you can check the website out or, of course, you can ring us. 01733 That is our number, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, and if you do, you know when you say a number and think, oh, I hope I've actually read out the, the work number and not me own. You know when you do read numbers out and then it's only after it's come out your mouth that you kind of question yourself. Um, Right then, our Jenny. Right. Well, what let, we're doing let first? me just let me just show everybody what I've been making with the William Morris fabrics. Beautiful. Okay. And sadly, or gladly for those of you this morning, this one came from one of the fat quarter packs we've sold out of. Oh. So tough. <laughs> uh, so did this one. Tough. Oh. Uh, this one uses that wonderful the red oak apple one and oh, well, the yeah. um, brambly one there. It's not the Bramley one, it is Brambles or something. Um, oh, it is your rose hip. Thank you, rose oh, hips. Well and done. then again here we've got my favourite sage oh, and yes. we've got the honeysuckle. Moving to over here, the blues that come together there, they go together a real cute. Yeah, that looks so cool. Further down, how to cheat at a quick cushion cover? Just have a square of it. Oh, that's Use a beautiful. bit of one of the others as a piping. Yeah. You know, it's a cushion. Yeah. Uh, further down there is there's a little bag oh, and it's one of these little bags that's got multi pockets and we've got the gold inside that and the granada exquisite. on the outside and there's a pocket in the middle and another pocket on the back oh i love that and you're not then, gonna get that on then down here <laughs> you've got the blackthorn charcoal one uh, oh. with that little bit of the the green one just tucked in as a hint and then here in front of me i have not necessarily in all of the colours, but in some of the colours, and I'll put my hands into that one because sadly that one's gone, uh, you have a block from the Foldy Roldy book. Um, this is called the Catherine Wheel. And once you've looked at the various ideas, you can do the design any size you like. So this is larger than the one in the book because it's a principle. Yes. And I think at festival, very much so, trying to teach people, say, right, what we're doing is a principle. The size you do it at is very often irrelevant because this design is basically half square triangle on a half square triangle. The size of the two is irrelevant, as long as this half square triangle is smaller than that half square triangle. Half a square triangle is exactly what it says it is. It's half a square cut corner to corner, for those who don't know. Super. So that's the Catherine wheel from the Foley Roly book. Then this is, and I'll make another one later on, the oh. fastest spectacle case in the world, and this actually comes from so pieces. Uh, great gift, okay? That's it takes lovely. minutes to make. And look at the, you've used three different types of fabric. I and have it looks indeed, yes. Absolutely yes, yes, exquisite. Back, um, things people make out your book, can they sell, Jenna? <sighs> yes, as long as they, meant they, say, they say it's my idea. Right, good, good, good. Yeah, right, and I like then, that. And then, from the material magic, aided and abetted by my able helper on my stand, Jenny Button, oh, that's we stunning. together made this circle. So it comes from six circles, and you can see it's absolutely superb. So I've used stunning. one of the blenders, and I've turned it with the honeysuckle one, and sadly the other one. <laughs> oh, so that's gone. Sorry about that. It's okay. in the fat quarter bundle. It's in the fat quarter bundle. Right, just want to finish off the, the uh, Blazing Star, Lone Star, call it what you will, that I did this morning. Those who watched the morning show would remember that I made a great fuss about making these diamonds up so they were mirror images. I then showed you where you put the smaller half square triangle and the bigger half square triangle. The smaller one goes on the stretchy side of the diamond and the larger one went on the firm, the straight grain side of the diamond. Basically to make the uh, blazing star, lone star, call it what you will, is you take the pair of these, you take this one and the mirror image. So stitch them together to make a square so this is this one and his friend is that side it is the mirror image grain wise okay. so two together to make a square so another set together to make a square and then these will get joined to make half the design Perfect. I've already sewn the other half of the design together to show you what it's going to look like oh, when you've sewn the two squares together you then stitch this half of the design to that half of the design but one of the things I wanted just to briefly mention is your ears not your ears <laughs> as on your head but these little ears on the back please cut the ears off before you do that seam okay and the other thing to watch and i'm not certain whether the camera can get as close as this because the colors are very similar there is the junction of the seams there and oh well done 
oh, between yeah, it's a hole, it's the junction it. of the seams and the edge of the fabric should be a quarter of an inch. And you do need to make sure that that has happened. Otherwise, you won't get your points together in the middle. Okay. And if you look at it on the back, you can just about see the V there in the stitching where the base of the V is the top of the points on this side. So remove ears, please, off the fabric, not in reality. If small children are listening, please assure them that it's, it's mummy's ears on her fabric, not her own. And do ensure that you uh, get a seam allowance there. So two together, two together, make it up. But I also said I would talk about the trip round the world. The so the I've world. sewn randomly five oh, strips together. That looks so good already. The trip round the world is one of those designs that works on what's known as the cylinder principle. And if you are going to do a trip round the world, and you can do it in squares or you can do it in oblongs, it matters not. Move number one will be to find my ruler. Well, you're finding about. your ruler, Jenny. This is a wonderful time for me to interrupt, if that's OK. That's right. Do nothing. We will be back because we've had a sellout. Um, so, uh, and that was one of my favourite favourites. This one was the one that reminds me of all the folklore tales. Um, the, yeah, that one, gone. That's your blackthorn indigo. Remember, you have got, this is in the pick and mix, you have got the blackthorn, um, but in the, um, the charcoal. Um, so you have still got that option left if you want to go for that one, of course. Um, and I must admit that, oh, I love that. That's my other favourite favourite. Um, the other one that's looking a little bit um, dodgy, as in stock levels, is the Honeysuckle Aqua, which is, which is the Honeysuckle Aqua? Ah, that, oh no, the Aqua's this. The Honeysuckle Aqua is that one. I'm going to get it out already because it looks like this is going to be the next one to sell out. I'm going to show you what you're going to get because have a look at that. Absolutely divine. If you do want to get hold of that, you do need to check your baskets out because that now uh, looks like it might be selling out next. Um, please check your baskets out once they're gone. They are gone. Back to you, Jenny. Right, okay, okay. right. trip around the world. So back to the one over here, if we wouldn't mind. The trip around the world is basically made up out of a strip of various different fabrics that have been stitched together. And depending on how many colours you have will depend on how many actual lines or sections you have. If you have five colours, you will need 11 sections because there is a middle section and five one side and five the other. So if I had six colours, I would need 13 sections, two sets of six and one in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. The one that goes in the middle, which is the one that is here, which is the connecting one for the blocks, is exactly the same as the one on the outside two edges. Uh -huh. So in order to make this entire piece, I need three strips that look like that. One for the centre, one for one end, one for the other. So back to my uh, board here. From my random selection of colours, I have cut off three strips. Now, I'm just making a very small one. Oh. This will be my centre strip, and these will be my outside two. Okay. I've got five colours. So I now need four more strips, twice, eight strips in total, to give me the 11. So I need four for here and four for there. And this is where the cylinder method comes in, because you take your strip of fabric and you fold it in half. And it's quite a good idea to hold it up and jiggle it so that it hangs straight because sometimes matching the raw edges together means it will twist slightly but make sure it hangs straight that's known as the fall of the fabric once you're happy it hangs straight all you're going to do is sew that seam so quarter of an inch all the way down i'm using regular size stitch length and this is one of the few designs and it's the same with Bargello, that you are allowed to unpick. In fact, you have uh -huh. to unpick. There you is no to. way around it. And it feels rather good. It does um, feel rather good. It is busy, so please check your baskets out for us. And it is, um, yeah, we're not getting any of these back, remember. And they are just so beautiful. Where's my donkey? What have you done with my donkey? Oh, dear, need a donkey. A donkey? Oh, you do. Yeah, absolutely, my donkey. For a moment there, Jenny. I you thought I wonder. flipped, didn't you? Thought, I, what I is like... she talking about? So, ooh, sorry, Jenny, I don't think they're allowed in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I now have a cylinder. I look at it rather as being sort of an armband. Yes. Right, from this cylinder, I'm going to cut the same width of pieces. Now, notice I've cut 
long thin strips which are not squares because you can do strip around the world in any size of shape you like i.e. four sided so let's cut off eight sections what I particularly like about the William Morris is you can join it and it doesn't notice because it is such a variegated pattern one two three four just keep counting please everybody five, five. <laughs> six, six. Oh, oh, oh. I'll cut this one, but I'll cut another one because it has got a seam in it. I'll put that one to one. Now I've lost count. Seven. Seven. Thank you. Just about to chop up my spectacle case Oh, don't as well. do that. Oh. You beautiful spectacle. God, I can remember late husband, it doesn't really matter if I've done that, using my rotary cutter uh, to cut the edge of a carpet off uh, on my workshop table and also cut the corner off a quilt. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, oh right. my gosh, I bet that this didn't is... go down very well. <laughs> it didn't go down very well at all. He had to eat humble pie for a lot of weeks. Yeah. Oh, this is my centre strip. So what I'm now going to do is make the blackthorn climb up. So on your strip, you find the one that's there. We find the blackthorn one, and we're going to unpick this seam between these two colours. Okay. Because it's only a narrow strip, I can actually just pull it. And what happens is that colour climbs up. Beautiful. All the colours climb up. Yeah. Take another strip. I undo the top seam here, so I'm going to undo between the pink and the blackthorn. Undo that. And the pink climbs up. Beautiful. And then I'm going to undo between these two, the honeysuckle and the apple. Find Once the you know this, it's actually, it looks really complicated, but it's actually quite simple. But yes. it is... It's knowing the, the process, but once you know it, and totally. it looks totally. fabulous. Totally, And it's the same process as Bargello. So I now need to unpick yeah. between these two, between the rose hips. I must admit, Jenny, I adore the patterns when they're like that together. I mean, I know these are busy patterns, but, well, you've got, I, I said they're busy patterns, but you have got those patterns that aren't as strong. But, it, oh, I just think they look fabulous. So... The end one, which is exactly the same as the middle one, so we've right. got one, two, three, four, and then we come to the end one again. So to do this side, exactly the same principle, you look at the top seam there and you undo that between those two. I'm able to pull them because it's only a narrow strip. And what happens there is it's gone wrong because I undid the wrong one. Oh, don't worry about that's it. That's going to happen. Ah, you know how to fix it. You go so to your sewing machine and you sew it back together again. Hooray! So it's not exactly dire if you unpick the wrong one. There's always a way. There's always a way. Right, so rescue donkey for those who haven't seen it and stuff it on again. <laughs> right, now this time, Jennifer, pay more attention. You're going to be undoing the one between the turquoise one and the blackthorn. If you are getting a little bit confuzzled, you can always turn the band the other way around. Yeah. Look at it. Okay, it's that one. Yeah. And what happens then is he climbs up and that one falls to the bottom. Perfect. And then we do it again. We want that seam there, so have a little look at it. Make sure we get the right one. Yeah. And we go again. And basically this is the, how the trip round the world is done. Looking at those two, there we go. It's between those ones there. Undo it, double check, just in case, but I can always sew it back together again. There we are, that's it. Perfect. And what I think, and I, the, the, the colours just work. I mean, you wouldn't think they would, but they do. And finally, this one between the honeysuckle and the rose hips. Finds the honeysuckle and the rose hips. There we go. No, I think they, they yeah, they absolutely and then back work. To the beginning again. So that is one half of a trip round the world. Beautiful. To do it, the other half, you would do exactly the same thing for the mirror image. So you remake this exactly the same. One bit will go one side, one bit will go the other side. The strips that go across here will be in the same colour order. They just will need to be individually stripped because I've turned this into a rectangle. Right. So I will need to have, in my case, one and a half inches uh, wide by two and a half inches deep going this away as opposed to going that away. Okay. And yep. then in any trip around the world, there's always a centre square that goes in the middle. So you see, you can use these fabrics really in any which way you like and they still look good, even cut up small because yes. you get that wondrous blend of just softness. There's nothing harsh, yeah. it just 
blends. It just works. Yes. And what's interesting, I mean, as you get up close to that, and it's exactly what you said before, as you get up close, you still see all that pattern. Yes. You know, you don't yep. lose any of the, the richness yep. of the fabric yep. or the, the detail of the design. It's, and, it's still held. And it cuts up small, too. I mean, you wouldn't yeah. think the big design actually does work, but it does work. Even cut up into these small pieces, yep. it works. Right, that's a little bit about trip around the world. There's masses more if you look on the internet. But the cylinder method is really useful. And of course, if you're doing Bargello, it's exactly the same thing. And yes. if you wanted it to be thinner, you just have narrower strips, and then you can get it climbing up steeper. Wow. All righty? Right. Yes. I used to do a amazing. spectacle case when you've done whatever housekeeping you need to do. I will do that. Um, please do remember as well, if you do want any ideas, inspiration, um, have a look at Jenny's books. Jenny's books are absolutely crammed uh, with loads of fantastic ideas, so please don't miss out on any of Jenny's books. Um, and as you can tell, she knows what she's talking about, and she's a fabulous teacher. And all that absolutely comes through when you do uh, get hold of her books. Now, let me take you through... Uh, Remember, this is your pick and mix. We have got uh, the wonderful fat quarters. All of these that you're seeing and more because we've sold out um, of some of them are in that bundle of fat quarters. But the pick and mix has been exceptionally busy. So I'll go through this first of all for you. So the one I took out before, have we still got this, Katie? Is it hanging on? The next person to check your baskets out on this one, you've got it. If you're the second person, you absolutely haven't. Uh, so please check your baskets out with that one, that beautiful honeysuckle aqua. Um, that is going to sell out any minute now. Do not miss out on that. So that's the honeysuckle, honeysuckle aqua, which I'm going to pop there for a second. Okay. So that beautiful, beautiful apple green. That green is gorgeous. It's such a soft um, kind of sage green. It's absolutely exquisite. It doesn't overpower, does this one. That one, it fits in with so many others because it is a green, you know, so it's going to fit in with your blues. It's going to fit in with the, the pinks and the reds because obviously the green is it's your foliage. It goes with everything. Um, the next one that we've got, of course, we're talking about the Granada Indigo. So our pomegranates. Um, um, I'm going to show you this as when I open it up because it does look absolutely divine. I mean, the the cushion that Jenny did, just a piece of that, it looks expensive. You can imagine it with a beautiful, you know, the piping around the edge and you can put some really, you know, I'm expecting some um, really textured fabrics, you know, like your, your velvet, something like that, something really, you know, quite decadent with that. That is such a, a decadent fabric. Um, so... Oh, all I can think is pomegranate now. Jenny, all I can think. Well, blame Carla. That's yeah, what she said. I, I blame her for lots of things. <laughs> um, so, um, 90% of the time, 98% not their fault. Um, so, next we have got for you the beautiful bluebell indigo, absolutely divine. Again, this is a cracker to go with some of those heavier prints um, because it's not quite as strong. It's only got your two different principal colours in there. Uh, the next one that we've got is your beautiful rose. Rose hip. So that's a rose hip indigo. And when you look, you can see the little rose hips in there. And of course, that's a good blender as well. It'll match with so many of those other colours. Now, half the stock of the rose hip has gone. Uh, we've also got for you. And that is beautiful. That's your bluebell gold. I really like that. I just think it's so warm and gentle and soft. It's almost sandy in that colour, which, of course, is the, the beautiful gold. The golden sandy beaches um, of Spain. Now, we've also got your Granada charcoal. I mean, look how well these two sit together. Absolutely gorgeous. And the greens in that are just exquisite. So that's your Granada charcoal. Again, mixing that with, um, you know, your Pipe and you can bring some some really nice golds in with that one uh, to pick up those warm tones. Now the next one that we've got that lovely apple again, but this time in the red, the beautiful apple red. Um, again, really really pretty. It's interesting how different it looks when it's in a different colour palette. You know because you really see the leaf this time. You really see uh, the beautiful fruits there. Absolutely exquisite. Now next, this is my favourite. It, oh, I adore that the blackthorn charcoal that is wonderful yeah that is a storybook you know you imagine something magical coming out of that that wonderful forest it's just exquisite and 
cover of the book. Yes, I mean, yes, you could. Make, make a diary cover, make a storybook cover. It'd look beautiful. Um, it would look absolutely mm. crap. You know, well, a computer case. We, we don't often talk about computer cases, yes, laptop yeah. cases, phone cases. Yeah. Um, lovely fabric. Make it look expensive. Make it look exquisite. I mean, for something like that, you know, not a fa oh, oh, I'm losing my fabrics. Um, I mean, something like that, just a printed one you'd be paying a fortune for. Imagine a beautiful fabric one so you've got that texture. That is absolutely my favourite. I love that. Stunning, stunning. Um, so, that's your magical one. It's magic. Um, so, next, that's your blackthorn charcoal. Um, the next one, nearly, nearly sorted. Just don't look down there. Uh, now we've got our beautiful bramble charcoal. And that is, again, really pretty. I mean, how many walks does that remind you of? You know, we're all the beautiful brambles. The next one, and that is so soft and pretty. That wonderful honeysuckle green. Now, 70% of the stock has gone here as well. Um, the aqua, has that gone? It's gone. So now you're on the honeysuckle. Oh, is honeysuckle not one of the best smells ever? You know, when you walk past a honeysuckle bush, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, that is pretty. And then we have got for you, um, back to our beautiful rose hip, the rose hip blush. Did you know in a rose hip, when you, the, the stuff in the rose hip, they make it chin powder out of that? Itching powder? Yeah. Really? What well, after they made the rose hip syrup, you then get what's left itching powder? Yes. I think it's before because <laughs> you break. So there you go. If you, if you need a little bit of homemade itching powder. But yeah, and rose hip syrup, obviously, which is a lot nicer than itching powder. And then, I mean, that one that, that just does look like um, a tapestry or something just uh, ridiculously expensive. I mean, that, it, it could be the most beautiful uh, draft excluder. Do you know what I yes. mean? Just yes. behind the door, look at you, although you won't want to put it on the floor. But something that, that really you can see the whole pattern. Absolutely stunning. Now, if you do want to get hold of these, you have got a choice. £14.99. pence. That is for two. Remember, these are half metre pieces. You can do so much with these. And they do feel wonderful. Um, we've had two technical sellouts. So, um, oh yeah, so they've already gone, we've told you about them, but of course they are all available in your next bundle because in this one, these are all the wonderful fat quarters. Everything I've shown you, you're now getting everything. And this is just stunning. Uh, 55 pounds and 80 pounds, but two thirds of the stock has gone. Once, once it's gone, it has gone. You do need to check your baskets out with this. And this is just such a nice way of getting everything isn't yes. it Jenny? Yes and you, then you've got them and you won't use them all immediately they will go in your stash you'll take them out you'll stroke them yes. look at them play with them um, and then suddenly you'll think oh I get to use that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah because you kind of you'll file it in your memory bank yes. won't you yeah, absolutely. and you'll see a project and go aha Got exactly the right fabric yeah. for that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so beautiful. Please check your baskets out. Do and remember. On, Sorry, on, I'm just going to interrupt. I think that prices are going to probably go up because if you mm. consider how difficult it's getting transport around the world, yep, transport yep, costs yep. are going to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I rather suspect everybody that you're going to find prices are going to get mm. more and more expensive. Everything's getting mm. more and more expensive. Mm. 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 Your gas and electric end up weak, so yep. you know, get on your fixed thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, two payments, twenty-seven pounds and nine pence is your price there. Three four six two eight nine is your item number. And then, uh, and once it's gone, it's gone, of course. And then, obviously, those amazing backing fabrics. I mean, they're meant to be backing fabrics. It seems a shame. That is, oh, that is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The amount of colours that are going to go with this. You know, the amount of beautiful patterns that are going to go with this. Those rich patterns, even those rich patterns look absolutely fabulous with this. Uh, remember, you have got your colour option. So you've got the sky, that's that one. Uh, these are huge, huge pieces. Um, so it's two metre by 108, I think it is. Um, massive pieces. You've got the top, which will match with so many other colour palettes. And then that beautiful red as well. And I like that red because it's... Uh, 
um, it's not a, a pink, it's a really nice soft red. And of course, then you've got the outline as well. It's really, really, again, very, very um, expensive looking. Uh, but only £47.88, and pence. plus you have got your Flexi as well. Uh, that's 273-931, your item number. Do not miss out on those solids, of course, because they do mix and match with so many of the colours that we've got on today's show. Uh, so please do check those out as well. Anyway. Back to you, our uh, Jenny. I thought the backing fabric, you said two metres by 108. Yes. So you've mixed metric and imperial. Did I? Yes. Oh, that's... How about 80 inches by 108 or two metres by two metres, about two and a half metres? That's exactly well, that, because Jenny. Because there'll be younger people out there who won't know what 108 is. Tr yes, indeed. You see? No. I mean, I don't, if truth be known. I don't know what it is until I see it on that bit of fabric. So I haven't got a clue. It's roughly about 40 inches, 39.4 inches to the metre. So 108 inches is about almost two and three quarter metres. You've got two metres that way. Wow. Um, and then... The other bit the yes, other way? The other bit the other way. Right, OK, this is the fastest <laughs> spectacle case in the world. Go! Uh, right, go, 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 go. It comes out of the stitch. No, it doesn't. It comes out of the Sew Pieces book. I only wrote the book. If I ever had to do Mastermind on Jenny Raymond's books, I'd fail. Because <laughs> I'd have to read them first. <laughs> Which is a bad, <laughs> bad do, isn't it, Jenny? OK. Um, you need a square of wadding. You're going to chop the square of wadding in half. Discard one piece, because you can always make another one. Square okay. of fabric. Lay square of wadding inside square of fabric. It happens to be a seven-inch square of fabric fold it over and now you can go to town on the edge here with lots and lots and lots of decorative stitch. I'm not going to worry about it because I said this was pretty quick so you want to watch it happen pretty quick. Indeed. So I'm just going to use a couple of rows of straight stitch. But this is where you could put some fancy thread in your machine and on this particular uh, fabric, the Blackthorn, a tur turquoise thread will look cracking on there. Oh yes. I'll turn it round, go back in the other direction, I'll just do two lines of stitch. I know you don't um, sew with metallic threads because obviously that's not, that's never, it, it's not great is it sewing with metallic thread? It, yeah, as long as you use metallic needle right, or okay. a much bigger eyed needle and without doubt some metallic threads work very well on some machines and some work very well on others. Right, so okay. find a metallic thread that works on yours. Uh, certainly use a metallic needle um, if you haven't got a metallic needle, go for a bigger one. Yeah. But quite often it works better in the bobbin in any case. Because they'd look gorgeous with oh, gold. Oh, absolutely. Cracking. Right, I've now got another piece of fluff, wadding, batting, call it what you will, for the back piece of fabric, another piece of fabric the same. They happen to be seven by three and a half, or you can make it what any size you like. Cool. I'm going to shape this piece and lay it on there. In fact, I'll just trim the wadding off first. There we go. Marvellous. And to stick it on the top there. You are going to waste a bit. Sorry. This is going to go on top. Pin the layers together and we are going to sew round. There'll be people who use those little patches. What little patches? The little if oh, you yes, waste I know. any. I know it, it's it's oh, it's amazing. You, there mm. is um there's a product that has come out that is printed in one inch squares and someone said oh you could use all your fabric up scraps up on one inch squares no way say. <laughs> okay yeah, starting my this eyes. end so make sure you got the right end uh quarter inch seam allowance would be fantastic if you do too big a seam allowance the whole thing's going to get very small okay remove the pin make the stitch length longer right i'm going to sew up one side i'm going to round the corner at the top here a roundy corner, you could always draw a roundy corner. I might show on the right pieces, yes. Roundy corner. It'd be quite nice if the roundy corners were the same both sides, but hey, come on, it's homemade. <laughs> Nothing in this we world won't is teach perfect. You on that, then. <laughs> All the way down the bottom. Right, take it out. Trim it off, trim off the extra bit sticking up, which of course you can use to make a miniature one for the child's teddy bear. Oh. All right, so there won't be any waste at all. Or you could use it for stuffing glasses. the doorstop that you're going to make out of the William Morris fabric. Yes, indeed. Seriously, naff idea, because who wants to put such lovely fabric on the floor? <laughs> Hello, <Ralph. laughs> You never know. <laughs> right, turn it through. Okay. But don't worry about the bottom. 
No panic. Is that why they started doing them big old cushions on the bed, do you think? Because think they so. didn't want to put them on the floor, so no. they just stuck them on the bed instead. Yeah. I mean, they, you do some, some places you go, you get about 10 cushions on the I bed. Know, so they it's do. difficult I mean, to find the bed somewhere. Uh -huh. And then putting them all back on again, it's just yes. ridiculous. Yes. Well, they do look good. Right, when you've done that, you need to sew across the bottom here. Yes, don't squeak, the raw, raw edge is going to be got rid of. Uh, just literally sew across the bottom. Don't get stuck, please, little machine. Thank you. Oh, and please, can we stop going backwards and forwards at the end of the scene when doing patchwork? Because the trouble is you don't go back in the same place. Uh, I can go backwards and forwards here, but it was noticeable that when you go backwards and forwards and sewing patchwork, you go backwards, not quite on top of the stitching, which can upset the seam allowance. Okay. Right, it's a little plea for you lot out there. The and rule. particularly when teacher has to unpick, she's got to unpick the backwards and the forwards bit at the start of the seam. Right, you now turn it through again. That's you told everybody at <laughs> yes, home. Yes, I know. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, Jenny, you can tell I she's been travelling a lot. I had one lady last night, and I had the last class at Festival Quilts. Um, and uh, I, I was getting tired. It was sort of four till five, and somebody went, dared to go backwards and forwards at the start of the scene. But oh, good Jingo, grief. Did she, did she learn about it? Oh, right. that poor, poor lady. If you're watching, you know, there, right. there is there services Set available case, for right. That's beautiful. You can take Jen. your glasses off and put put them in. Hooray! Just to prove it works. Yes. Right. Yeah, oh, that is stunning. And what's the fabric you've used on the back? Which I one have used, you used on the back. Oh one. man, look okay. at that. That so, is uh, absolutely, absolutely exquisite. And the fabric, it just looks yes. uh, little projects like yep. that. Yep. They small. just look so mm. beautiful. Thank it you, doesn't Jenny. Do. And that. which book was that out of? That is out of Sew Pieces. Yay! Which has also got some funny stories in it, and it will tell you all about various things like... What have you said in that oh, one, Jenny? What have you said in that one, Jenny? So, yeah, Jenny oh. tells all the stories. Um, if you do want your books, please check the website out. If you do want the sew pieces, it's there at the bottom. I would highly recommend them. Uh, the books are amazing. Um, Jenny has been so busy, and she will tell you lots of stories, but also to do things properly. And if you don't, it's like she's watching you. Um, <laughs> thank you ever so much, Jenny. Please check your baskets out with these uh, when you're back. I'm back at five o'clock with something completely different. Yay! Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> you have got a full day. <laughs> do right. Uh, it's actually looking amazing over there as well. So please do uh, join our Jenny at five, but do check your baskets out. Once they're gone, they're gone. All the fabric in front of me is exquisite. It looks, the colours are divine. The projects that you make with these will just look a so um, opulent and fabulous. Check your baskets out. See you later. Coming up next is your Deflecto. It's a happy hour with our lovely Hayley. We've then got your Couture Creations alcohol pens. Interesting. And then Easy Quilting. Stay tuned to the craft store. Fancy some textile therapy? Join us on Tuesday the 27th of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 3rd of August at 6pm as we bring you our week-long summer festival of quilting. Tune in to all of your favourites from the world of sewing and quilting as they showcase and demonstrate an array of exciting and inspirational products for you to enjoy. This year we will be bringing back the amazing quilting mega prize draw. Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 3rd of August. Good luck! Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. 
We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. And we do love a happy hour, don't we? I'm sure you know what that means, but just in case you don't, it means for this hour and this hour only, we've got some fabulous prizes. But sadly, those prizes have to go up in an hour's time, so it always pays to get involved nice and early. And what is even better, it's an hour de um, dedicated to Deflecto. And I know how you love your Deflecto systems, because we regularly see them here, and we are regularly seeing you take advantage of them. So maybe you recently took advantage of the one-day special, where you started your original stack system off, well, this is a perfect opportunity for you to get involved and add to that caddy system that you've already got. You can see we've got a phenomenal price there on your screen, uh, £39.99. You're saving £20 on these and you're going to get all those fabulous little elements that you've seen within things like your one day special, but without the wheels keeping that price nice and low. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to continue with your orderings of these particular ones. Now, Kirsty's just noticed something. What have you noticed, Kirsty? Oh, flexi buy. That's useful in this hour, isn't it? I didn't spy that one. So, uh, yeah, well spotted. What you can do is take advantage of this one and spread the cost over two payments. So, if it's just this one item by itself, then there you go. First payment of £20 along with your post and packing. But I've got a feeling in this hour you'll be looking ahead because we've got some elements that we don't always see during the regular Deflecto shows. And they're all at brilliant prices. So, enough about that one for the time being. We'll come back and have another look at that one in a little while. But 7257 um, nine if you fancy taking advantage of that one now something that i don't think we've had on one of the shows for a little while has been the spinning system now this is brilliant because you're actually getting two of these for the price that's popping up on your screen so for 25 pounds and 99 pence you are getting two of these which is a brilliant system um it's one that doesn't take up a huge amount of area because you've kind of got that 12 inch square and uh, square circle almost should i say so it's, you think of it a good old vinyl good old vinyl 12 inch that's how big you'll be looking at with regards to these for for those younger members of uh, viewers that that's before we had cds we had good old vinyls and they're about 12 inches so uh, there you go now the details are on your screen you're going to get two of these now these are made up obviously of your spinning system so that is your base and within your spinning system you can take these little pods on and off as you so choose it's useful if you have got just a small area because as i say it's not taking up a huge amount of space and you can literally rotate that round to whichever of those pieces you need now these won't stack any more than too high, so don't make it too high. Don't tend to kind of add any more to these ones. But they're useful if you've only got maybe a cupboard and you just got access to where the doors open. Then you can actually turn that round to the elements that you need. But you can see tall caddies with these. You've got your little halfway caddies, and you can interchange those. So if you're going for two of them, you could have all of your small caddies on one and all of your taller ones. You get nine canisters in total for twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence, of course, alongside that base there. So if you fancy yours this is what you're going to get two of them 732982 if you fancy getting hold of those that is a phenomenal price do take advantage of that one because as i say we don't often see them on the shows and we certainly don't see them at that kind of price so take advantage where you can now this one is a total newbie to me i've not seen this on a deflecto show before i'm sure they have been on shows it's just the way that it's kind of fallen so with this one you're getting two of your systems with these so these are brilliant they can lock together the way they lock together is you have these kind of little connecting pieces so these connecting pieces will either stack them both together like so and they'll go in that join between or if you prefer you can put one on top of the other and if you put one on top of the other again you will use that little connector to make sure that they don't separate 
great. So you can see they kind of got that little disc with regards to those. So with these, you're going to get one of each. Now, straight away, you've got clear drawers on one of these. So, of course, you can slide those out. Good size drawer within there as well. So we'll talk about the different things you can fit in there um, when we come along the counter again. You're going to get two of those in there. And alongside it, you're going to get this other system, which has kind of got this um, cross uh, member in the middle there. Now, this can actually come out all together if you're wanting to. You can take that out. And it does kind of lock together, kind of put one inside of the other, as you can imagine, there. And then it, the whole thing goes in. Of course, you could have it on its back like so and have it as a storage system that can sit on top of your counter. You don't necessarily have to stack one as cubes like so. But if you're wanting to, I think it's a brilliant idea for less than a tenner. You're actually going to, well, with mine... <laughs> I've got a lot of connectors here. I've actually got four connectors, and I suppose it's because you've got your four sides, so as time goes on, you might build up a modular system with these. But those little connectors, very useful way of keeping everything safe and secure together. 488944, if you fancy getting hold of those. Incidentally, any of these happy hour deals, you're not limited to one per customer. So if you see a need for these and see a good use for these, then you can go for multiples straight away with the details on your screen. 488944, if you're fancying those. Now, storage tower being the next one for you. And this is a clever little one because it's made up of little pods, but they're little pods that can become bigger pods. And I will explain because they separate up so that each one has got its own unique little base and lid, as you can see there. So straight away, you can separate these up and have them as three separate pieces, which is brilliant. But the unique thing about these is you can actually take those lids and bases away. So that means you could have that just as a tube, lock that on to the middle one, and then instantly, if you're taking it off that base as well, you can see you've got a taller element with regards to this one. So I'm only going down as far as this one, but you can see you can stack things in there that are taller. You've got that space there, which equally means that if you're wanting to take all of those bases out, then you can put that all together and put even taller things in there, going right the way down to the base there. And then, of course, you can add your lid if you're wanting to. So it's very much a system that you kind of adapt to what you want it to be. That's the beauty of this one. So it can be tall canister like so, or three of your smallers if you prefer. Again, 9 99 very affordable. If you fancy that one, please pop it into your basket. 014669 if you fancy it. Now, the tilt bins. These have been on shows before and they've always been popular. It's a very, very clever system that you can actually um, have freestanding just as you can see here, or you can actually put them on a wall. And they do actually come with some little fittings for you to put them on the wall. All you need to do is make sure that you have the right fittings for the wall that you are working with. Because this is a thing, it might be a, a plasterboard, it might be a brick, you just gotta make sure you've got the right fittings. So these actually lock together. You can separate them up as well if you're wanting to. But what you have got is your tilt bin, which you can see there is quite a good area that you've got within there. So uh, nice and clear, so you can see straight into them. And the beauty is you can use these for food items as long as they are in wrappers. So it's either a natural wrapper like a satsuma <laughs> or a wrapper like a mint. So uh, they aren't food safe as in um, kind of open to the elements. But if you've got something in a wrapper, then you are fine with those. So there you go. If you fancy those, pop those ones into your basket. Why don't you? 686122, just £11.99. Now... Feast your eyes on this next little caddy, just while I just need to have a quick squig of water because I've just got a bit of a tickle brewing. So bear with me just a few moments while you have a look at this one. A lot of talking there, a lot of words to get in in such a short space of time. I've been off for a couple of days and I'm not used to it. So... This is a system that I have got at home, and I love it. I really do. Now, with this one, you've actually got three different kind of elements that come together. So, I use it for my sewing. So, in the top area, I've got things like um, uh, pin cushions. I've got um, rotary blades. All sorts of things kind of stacked away. Um, little spools of thread fit in here nice and neatly. We've actually got seven days over in here as it happens. So, uh, yeah. I'll chat to you about those in a little while. So these are featuring within our seven day savers. So if you're into your gems, absolutely perfect. I'm thinking also, um, and about this price, I wish that I was watching because I'd get one of these from a dressing table because again, it's a useful one to put things like your nail varnishes in there, your nail polishes. You could put a little um, caddy there, maybe with things like your, your cotton pads in there for what, taking your makeup off and things like that. Taller pieces at the back, maybe for hairbrushes and things. So it doesn't have to be just with your crafty 
interesting goodies that you're putting things in here. Now, this um, top part does come away. Um, and each of the different sections have got these little kind of keyhole things, so you can hang them up on a wall if you choose to as well. But it's a modular system, so you can have them separated up if you're wanting to. So the middle section, if you want, you can separate it out like so. Um, but what I tend to do is kind of swap these two around. Sometimes I'll have the wider one on the top. The wider one's got your little drawers in here. Now, they're not tilt bins, but they are huge drawers. I actually keep fat quarters in these because if you fold them up, they will fit in there quite neatly. And you've got a good um, amount of area. Um, I've also got things like quilt clips in these as well. So anything that... Think like the quilt clips, I take those with me. So if I'm working on a project, I'll go into my little craft room. Um, I'll literally take the whole drawer, take it off into the kitchen if that's where I'm doing some sewing. Um, and away I go. I'm just standing at the wrong angle for those. But all of those come in and out, as you can see. And they have got that little kind of recess around the edge there. So you can lock one on top of the other. This one has got a larger drawer in there. So I tend to use this one. Again, you can use it for rotary cutters, pinking shears, scissors, um, anything you like, to be honest. I tend to use this as my kind of just dumping drawer so when I need to tidy it, I'll just throw things in there and at a later stage I take them out and find them a permanent home as well so uh, yeah um, Marcus puts all of his fan mail in that top one yeah he's, he's on to his fifth one now yeah he's got a whole compendium of them so details on your screen if you wanted to get hold of yours 059292 just 19 pounds and 99 pence and they are all absolutely brilliant value bundles now during an hour like this, um, post and packing can be, it's one of my bugbears, I have to say. When I'm saving, why would I want to pay post and packing on top? Which is why when you're a Freedom member, it makes this hour even more exciting. And this is how you can become a Freedom member. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Now I know I did that counter speedy quick for you, but I wanted to make sure that you saw everything that we've got during this hour. So we're going to calm things down a little. I'm going to take a bit of time now and see how you can really utilise these different items that we've got. One of the things that you have been going for though um, has been the caddy system. Approaching 10% of the stock has gone. Now it's something that many of us have seen during the different shows that we've seen Deflecto. It's kind of one of their most popular items that they bring to us. And one of our members of stock, well there's actually loads of us that use these, but this one is Leone's. Um, and she utilises this in a brilliant way because she uses it for things like her ink pads. And it's also an adaptable system. So what uh, Leonie has done is she's actually gone for some of the longer caddies that you can get hold of as well. We might have these ones on the website. And these fit in as well. So when you actually go for this system, if it's the first time that you've gone for it, then it's adaptable to your own personal needs. So this would be made up of those pods that we saw a few moments ago. So it might be that she's taken out three of the singles and replaced it with what I call a triple um, pod because it takes up three of those spaces. So you can see how you can adapt this to whatever you need. And I must admit, I do similarly um, as Leone has done because again, things like your scissors, your pinking shears, you will want those to fit in those longer um, uh, pods. When you're actually investing in this one, you will get a double pod though. So please don't think they're all the smaller pods. You will get a good mix and a good uh, variation. But as time goes on, you may want to add to these. And there's loads of ways you can add to them. Um, checking out the, um, the brand section of Deflecto, you'll see all the different ways that you can get hold of these. Oh, I've got a wobbly counter. Let me pop that one back over there. So, Leonie has got things like ink pads in hers. Um, and the idea with this one is it's a stacking system where you've got these little levers on the side. Now, the levers on the side connect all those layers together. So, when you're picking them up, you can see there they all come together. The reason being is they're locked in with these little arms. So, when you open up those arms, they become separated and then you can access the ones 
ones at the bottom. If you're wanting to um, put them back in place, you just open up those arms there, you lock them in place, and each one of those bases that you've got will lock into the base of the caddy system, and in turn, that will lock into the next layer down. So, lock those in place again. Of course, these could go on top of your wheels if you've got your wheels. We might even have the wheels in stock on the website. I really don't know. But in here, you could be cutting all sorts. What we've got? We've got waxes in this little part that we've got there. We've got loads of waxes. We've got paints and inks and all sorts. Glitter pots, embossing powders. There's absolutely loads. And things like your pens as well if you're wanting to. Now, as I say, this is one of the most popular items we see from Deflecto. And as a result, lots of you have left some fabulous testimonials and reviews. So on the website you will find loads of them so this is a place you can go to to check out what other like-minded crafters are saying so here you can see some of the more recent ones that we've got here may march time five star reviews excellent good quality mobile storage we've actually had over 200 of five star reviews with these ones you are loving these super priced as you can see and it's one of those systems that you will buy into It'd be lovely if we could come along and just clear out of our craft room and just buy loads and loads of these to stack things away in. You potentially could do that, but you might not want to do that. But what you can do is do it on a kind of a system by system, which is why the happy hours are such a good idea, because it means that that price comes down and you can add to that existing system that you want. And as we mentioned, they all sit neatly on top of those wheels. So if you have gone for one of the one day specials and you're wanting to add to it, then this is certainly the best way to do it. Seven two five seven four nine if you're wanting to get hold of these now i've given you an idea of how our lovely leone works with this one but what will you put in yours There you go. It can be anything from your paints to your ribbons. Again, it could be that you use them in the garage. I know my other half, he puts all sorts of like screws and raw plugs and DIY kind of things in there. No idea what they do. But then it could be the kids that are utilising them. Maybe those little small bricks, if they like separating those up into the different colours and the little, different little nodules that are on them, then they could do that very easily. And that price there is a phenomenal price. That's why approaching 20% of the stock has gone. £39.99 will get you two of those caddies and 725-749 is the item number. Now, um, oh no, sorry, that's the item number. Yeah, that's for that one. <laughs> It's because we get two of these. That's what threw me, because uh, you're getting two of these. Now, this one is obviously Leone. She's got some of her stuff in there already. But you will get one that you can utilise in whatever way you like. So you've got a mixture of different pods in here. So you'll have some of your taller pods, which are these ones here, which are the full height, as you can see. And then you'll have some where you've got two together, like so, which are basically... They just remind me, do you remember that quiz game that you used to collect the cheeses and you go around the board and there was entertainment and sports? and science and all that kind of thing it's a bit like that trivial game it was but it was good fun so with this one you're going to get your different compartments but then you decide on whether you're wanting to use the tall ones or whether you're wanting to make them up of the two now it does come with kind of half and half so you'll have half of the doubles and then you'll have the other half will be your taller ones here this has actually got some polystyrene packing in the middle there um, but the idea being is you can spin this around now i know when sam from deflecto um, has joined us before he said these are always popular in schools because you can actually put this in the center 
centre of a table and everybody around the table can access the glitter, the pom-poms, the braids, whatever you've popped in there for whatever project they're working with. Now, Leonie's used hers, as you can see, for things like taller items with the sprays there because, of course, you've got that full height there. So if you've got your taller sprays that maybe don't fit in your caddy system, then you could be popping those in there. Nice thing is it keeps them upright as well. They're not lying on their, floor, on their side. They're not leaking out into your craft bag. So that's a nice little way. And again, if you're wanting to take those off in your travels, you can just take that caddy out with you. But you can use them in other ways as well. She's also got things like little cotton rails in these. I think that's a brilliant idea. Now, with regards to these, I wouldn't go any taller than um, kind of the height that you've got here. The problem being is this is a bit of science for you. It's the centrifugal force. So when you're turning it around, and always turn it by the base, don't turn it by the pods because you'll push them off, then you can find that they actually fly off. So just be careful. Don't go too high with these. But you can interchange them. Might be that you're using something like you cut and dry which we've got with these, but equally so, you could be putting those into the smaller pods if you're wanting to. So in Leone's um, caddy system, she'd got some of these smaller little waxes. Well, these would fit in these, so you could quite easily pop them into the little single pods if you wanted to. They'd fit in there quite neatly. Um, it could be that you put in your glitters, your embossing powders. All sorts of different things can go in these. And obviously, if you can, you can store them on their side as well, depending on what you're wanting to put in there. Um, another little pod that um, Leone only had got some stuff in was um, this one here where she's got kind of little glitter pots and stickles and things like that so again things that you might not necessarily want to have on their side you can put in here and rather than taking up the caddy system you can pop them in here and you can see they fit in there quite neatly some of them you might have to be careful of because of the height of them but you have got a decent amount of height with regards to those as you can see and then you just come along with the lid pop the lid on and then you can pop them back into your system like so so there you go, £25.99, you're going to get two of these, so amazing value for money, um, definitely one worth going for, and it might be one that you've seen occasionally on the shows, we don't have them on as often as we'd like to see them, but um, you can see it's a good opportunity for you to get hold of them, an absolutely amazing price. You're saving £14 in each of the pairings that you're going for, um, and you're paying just £25.99 rather than £39.99, but only for this hour and this hour only. Spin around on the base as you can see there so it gives you easy access to all of those and if you've got something like a corner cupboard or a shelf that you can't necessarily get to the back of it means that you can literally get right to those elements now you can use them in the kitchen just be aware that they're not food safe so you can't kind of take um, food out of wrappers but if they have got wrappers on them or they're in packets then you don't have to worry um, you can use them straight in there so it could be things like your pasta as long as it's in a little bag then it's not a problem at all your herbs your spices um, it could be the um, kind of um, things like your cake making things couldn't it your little candles and your flowers and all sorts of different things so uh, yeah a brilliant value from if you're wanting to go for two of those so 25 pounds and 99 pence 732 nine eight two if you fancy those and move that little pod along there making a bit of a mess as i go but that's nothing new there is it so it's a happy hour take advantage of those deals while we're talking about them because the price will go up now this is one that has proved to be a very popular system as well so lots of you gone for these um the reason being i think is it's less than a ten oh half price deal with these amazing they are stackable um, and they stack they don't kind of slot together as some of the other systems do but what they do is they clip together so you've got these little clips um, and uh, you can see you kind of got a little open area within there now this will just basically go on the sides or you can have then the lid to the base um, and basically they just kind of slot together that will almost add as like a little clip that puts the two pieces together so you slide them together obviously take the drawers out and everything clip them together and it keeps them safe and secure so you're going to get four of those one for each of the different sizes so if you want you can stack one side by side and actually clip them together so they're not going anywhere um, if you prefer you could have one on top of the other again stacking them together with the clips so as they don't go anywhere and the beauty is you've got different ways of storing different things in here so the base one um, let's have a little look at that one to start with you can see you've kind of got that cross division in there now that does actually come out so you can take that out and just use it as a whole pod if you're wanting to um, you've got your two pieces here which basically they're 
slot together so you can see very easily put them together follow the little groove that you've got there and you can pop that back in there if you're wanting to but you don't have to um equally so if you just wanted it half and half i suppose you could do that as well couldn't you if you wanted to so uh, yeah nice little way that um, you can work with that one and the other one that you've got has got your little tilt drawers in there so oh actually not they are drawers that come out completely so good size again if you wanted to put things like your glitters or your embossing powders in there good height there um things like your luscious powders that we saw a few moments ago they'd fit in there nicely wouldn't they so again very classic look i think with the black might look good in an office as well couldn't it so there you go if you fancy yours again 9.95 such a phenomenal price worth going for isn't it 488 if you fancy adding those into your basket now our little tower our little tower of pods which i literally just kind of split up because the idea being is these lock together so you basically got these little locking systems so you've got kind of your clear canisters and each of the canisters has got a lid and a base so they'll be individuals if you want them to. So let's put it back just as they are when you receive them. So you'll have um, one of the white lids and bases attached to each one of them. So you can use them just as individuals. You can lock them together as well if you want to, because they will lock together and you can have them on top of each other. I don't know how high you can go with them, but you can basically just lock them. Oh, that one isn't locked in. There we go. Lock it back in. There you go. Lock them all together so they all become one particular piece there. But then you can interchange them and you can take out those connective elements that you've got there. So you can have them literally as a tube, as you saw earlier on, if you're wanting to. They're literally just unlock. You've got little kind of little lockers in there. Lock into place. And then away they go. Brilliant idea. Clear through and um, clear canisters, as you can see. I think these are useful for those little tiny things that we've got. Little things like beads, maybe sequins, things like that you could pop in there. Or things that are delicate and you don't want them necessarily in a canister with other things as well. So maybe you've separated up your buttons to your different colours, things like that. Nice, easy way. And as I say, if you want to, you can have them on a shelf side by side. They don't have to stack tall if you don't want them to. 9 99 again, very, very affordable. And a brilliant one to go for. So 014 Six six nine. If you fancy going for those ones, pop them into your basket. Why don't you? Now the tilt bins. These have been popular, and they always are, to be honest. I think it's because you can fit such a lot in there, and of course you can put them on the wall if you're wanting to as well. So your tilt bins. You've got your large bins in here, as you can see. And the thing that I like about these is quite often I've bought tilt bins in the past, which will open only so far. So when you're tilting, they're only going perhaps halfway. But with these, you can literally tilt them right the way out to the back element there you can take them out as well so you've got just a little, little notches there which go into like a little groove there so if you are wanting to take these out with you you can do and again if you do want to use them in your work area then they've got a flat base so you can just very easily just pop them down with whatever the contents are but when you do come back to using them all you need to do is and this is the nice thing they drop into place it's none of this that you have to kind of get one of those little pimples in place and then you have to kind of pull the, the side of it out and then kind of snap the other one in and then you tend to find that those little lugs can get broken um, not like that at all you literally just hook it over you've got another little one at the back there and that means you can literally just take it and it will pop back in there she says when it won't do it now but it will do it will go in um, so with this one you're getting two of them together let me just pop that down there for the moment um, come together um, if you're wanting to put them together you can do you can see how they come together there and on the back you have got that little system where they can hang up on a wall if you so choose as well they come with fittings as well so if you do want to put them into your garage or wherever you choose to be honest then you can do so but of course all you need to do is bear in mind that with that you've got the right fittings with regards to those i've confused myself with that one and how it goes in it's a little challenge present a challenge i'll get it sorted don't worry now the next item is something that's very close to my heart because i have bought mine in previously um, and it is one of those ones that i do regularly use in my sewing room um, and in fact i wish i could actually be where you guys are and taking advantage of this price because you've got a 10 pound saving worth every single penny at 29.99 but even more so when you're paying just 19.99 it's one of those ones that i saw it to, the first time i saw it i thought to myself mm, will i really use it but yeah go on i'll give it a go 
So I did, and it is something that is so incredibly useful. I use it in my sewing room, and in the top part here, I've got things like my little pairs of scissors, I've got um, things like my spare bobbins, I've also got a pin cushion. In this particular one, we've actually got one of our seven day savers, incidentally. Don't know if you checked out our seven day savers, but these are one of the items that we've got as seven day savers. You've got loads of these fabulous gems, so uh, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to actually store these, and you can kind of just go through them card by card, can't you, when they're actually stacked in here? So that's a nice little idea. And they fit in there quite neatly. I don't know whether you fit two in side by side, but you certainly be able to put them and flick through them as and when you need them. So uh, definitely worth them using it in your crafty room as well. Again, you could lay things down. It might be crochet hooks. It might be pens that you're wanting to put in there as well. So again, this is a little element that will lift off. So you've got your little kind of keyhole things. So again, if you want to use um, your fixings, you can actually attach them to a wall quite easily. But it all comes into different pieces. So that's the top part. Now the second part, um, hopefully you'll be able to see, you've got these kind of little grooves around the edge. Now the grooves mean that each of those layers locks in. So it's not going to slide away, but it's going to sit there nice and securely within that particular groove area that you've got. And you've got this on the base of the piece that I've just shown you, and also on this particular piece, and also on the base of this one. So it will lock into the one below it as well. So that will sit neatly within the groove on the, ba and the base that we've got here. And what that means is, again, that it's not going to go in anywhere. It all stays secure. Now this one has got a large drawer, and again, the, Lord, the drawer will come out. It's not quite an A4 size within there, so just if you're thinking about putting your papers in there, but your A5 papers you could put in there quite easily. Longer pieces, maybe you've got knitting needles, crochet hooks again. I'm thinking in my um, craft room I use things like my scissors, my dressmaking scissors, my rotary cutters, my pinking shears. They are all in there because it's just that length that makes it nice and easy for them. And then you've got your three bins at the bottom. So one of these, I'm just thinking back to the one that I've got at home. This one I've got my fat quarters in. This middle one I've actually got my mocker block system in and this particular one I've got my, um, my quilt clips in and I know that because I was using them yesterday. So yep, yeah, the drawers come out completely so if you are wanting to utilise what's in there you don't have to take the whole thing with you, you just literally take that bin with you which is useful when you're putting things like quilt clips in there and then obviously you just pop them back when you're finished. And then of course you can interchange this so if you prefer to have those sitting higher up then you can do. It's your system, you get it to exactly what you want it to be. But it's a brilliant system, it doesn't take up a huge amount of area. And you can see there, it's quite narrow going across there. So again, the base area that it's taking up isn't a huge amount of area. So even on a dressing table, I think it's going to be a very useful piece to have. 059 at 292 if you fancy getting hold of yours. So we were touching on the seven day savers earlier on, and those little gems, well, where do you go if you're wanting to find them? Well, you hop onto our website. Now, you have to have a little look, um, as I say, at the seven day savers. Now, they're launched on a Sunday morning. So if you're looking at these thinking, well, hang on a minute, those are different to the seven day savers that I saw. Perhaps you were looking at the weekend before they changed. But these are brand new ones. Now, you've got some amazing stamps. Those Kelly O'Gorman stamps, they are beautiful. Each of those numbers utilizing gorgeous fairies. Then you've got some craft card with some lovely apertures in there, which are brilliant. The stamps there with a the peacock and everything are absolutely amazing brilliant value for a minute and there are those gems that i was just telling you about 13 pounds and 25p absolute bargain you're getting loads in there so that's where you find your seven day savers now they will go up on sunday eight o'clock we've got quite a while to take advantage of them but do be careful because they can sell out can sell out before you manage to get hold of them so you still need to get in nice and early to ensure that you do get hold of them so there you go those are seven day savers now during this hour i've been showing you all sorts of fabulous goodies including the first of those items with that fabulous caddy system which is on two payments flexi order we call it and what that means is you can spread the cost of pretty much anything else you pop into your basket so do you want to know more here you go then <laughs> What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Certainly does. And it just means that you can get everything in one go. You don't have to wait. And you just make it a little bit affordable on your pocket as well. So it's always mindful of uh, something that you can take advantage of. Now, lots of you taking advantage of this first bundle. You're loving it. You always do, though, to be honest, because it's a perfect opportunity for you to get hold of more of these fabulous caddies. So many of us have invested our time and money into these, and I can understand why you're going for more of them. 40% of the stock has gone. Now, we've had a lovely email through from Crafty Gwen um, and she's saying that um, these are um, hers. Oh, she sent a picture in, I think. Oh, okay, lovely. Well, we'll have a little look because uh, Gwen has, oh my goodness, look at this for a system. This is brilliant. You're going to give Leonie a run for your money, uh, money, aren't you, with this particular set? But the thing is, and this is the thing that I love about this, I've actually got one of these towers. It's probably a similar sort of height to yours there, Gwen, but I've actually got it tucked behind a door in my craft room and it's kind of what I call dead space there's nothing else that could be there um, but I've got an awful amount of things stored there because they're in the deflector system so when you look at the base there the base isn't much bigger than an A4 sheet of cardstock so you're looking at almost like an A3 area there that um, Gwen has stored absolutely loads of stuff in there and you can see a very organized lady knows where everything is no doubt in there and it also means you can fit so much in there and not find yourself go shopping for other things when you know you've already got it somewhere I'm in a situation at the moment that I can't get hold of or get into all my crafty bits and pieces so what I'm finding is I'm going out and buying things again I know I've got them somewhere but I can't get to them and that is so so frustrating but by knowing that they're somewhere within your um, craft caddy and you can access them I think is really beneficial and it means you're not going to be spending so much on doubles so Gwen thank you for that photo anybody else want to email in well, by all means, do. Um, any of the systems we've got, whether it's the, the caddy system that we've been chatting about, whether it's the rotary system, any of the tilt bins, I'd love to see what you've got in yours. So just get in touch. Um, email in studio at thecraftstore.com and then we can share those pictures with everybody else. Thank you very much. But you've been liking this system and it's one of the ones that most of us get involved with, to be honest, the first time that we get involved with Deflecto. You've got everything that you need in one place. And this is the beauty of it. And this is what I was explaining to you about. It doesn't take up a huge amount of area. So here, I've got an A4 sheet that Gwen's lovely email was on. So as I was saying, it's not much bigger than an A4 sheet area that it's taking up the space of, which I think is brilliant because you can utilise, you can find that area anywhere in your craft room, I'm sure. Now, lots of you will have invested in this system potentially when it was a one-day special. We regularly see Deflecto back here doing deals like one day specials. Um, and of course, we occasionally see happy hours as well, which gives us the opportunity to add to that existing system or maybe get ready for the next time that we're going to see the system. Now, over 40% of the stock has gone. You're going to get two of your caddies. So if you've not come across Deflecto before, let me explain what you've got. It's a modular system that you can use just as is if you wanted to. You can invest in two pieces and that's it. You don't need to go any further. But many of us, just like Gwen, find ourselves adding to them the reason being is you've got this locking system at the side here so when you unlock these what it does is it allows you to get to the tier below now obviously we've only got two tiers here um, but I'll perhaps add in some of Leone's in a few moments to show you just how easy you can get to the others you open up those arms pop them in place and then you just lock them up and what that means is everything is safe and secure locked in place and you can take it on your travels so for instance with Leone's system if I bring in one of her her pods. So she actually got two here. So say for instance, this was um, the tower that Leone had got. Oh, I've got an empty pod there. Let's pop that pod back in there that was sitting in there. There you go. So they lock in. They've got these little kind of um, lugs at the back there. So they lock into the system so they don't go anywhere. So they stay nice and secure. You've got the recesses there and the recesses are so as the, the base that you've got will lock in place as well. So you lock that in like so. So that would be your system that could be on your wheels. It might be you picking up and taking it with you. But say you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, I need to get to my embossing powders. They're right the way down there. How do you get to them? Well, all you need to do is release the uh, release the system, so to speak. Now, I have 
have to remember which one it is. It's that one, isn't it? So I think that's right. Open that up and that will allow you to get notes. I always do it. I always do it at home over and over again. So there you go. You go for that little lug there. Open it up and you can get straight to that section that you want there. And then, of course, you can stack them back up again. Now, rapidly approaching half of the stock has gone of these. So... If you find yourself in a situation where your pens are all over the place and you wanted to keep them in one place, or your embossing powders, or your ink pads, anything that you've got in your craft room, you can be popping into these little pods. And the beauty is you can get access to them. These larger pods are available on our website as well, so it is very much interchangeable. But it's kind of a system that grows with you. You don't have to go for the whole lot in one go. You can simply go for a couple of these and then maybe when you see a one day special or maybe when you see another happy hour come along, you can add to it. We are getting busier and busier for these. Now we are finding ourselves in a situation where 60% of the stock has gone. Last thing I want is for you to miss out on this one. And to be honest, we've only got probably about 20 minutes or so for you to take advantage of that price that's on your screen. So while you are checking out your baskets, if you need any more convincing as to why this is such a brilliant system, check this out. Makes sense, doesn't it? And I do urge you to, even if you've never bought the Deflecto system before, just give it a go. The price that we've got on your screen is certainly a give it a go price. And that will show you just how you can utilise this. And this is usually the way that it starts. Somebody will try out either a one day special or they'll try out a happy hour deal and realise that, that it's such a useful system and wish that they got involved sooner. So if you're wanting to get hold of yours, please be aware that approaching two thirds of the stock has gone. The thing is, many of you will know what brilliant value this is. So you'll be going for a couple of sets of these which is okay you can do that and you can still spread the cost so it means that you'll be paying 39.99 today but you will actually get two sets sent on its way to you and one of the things that Sam from Deflecto regularly says is when they see the orders going out that they will see people that will be multi buying these over and over again I think he mentioned that they had um, a couple of pallets actually go out to one particular person that obviously was getting themselves incredibly organized which is great if you can manage to do it all in one go but if you can't then you do it step by step and hopefully do it at the most affordable way, which is why if you're going for this one, you'll know that when I'm talking about 70% of the stock having gone, you'll realise that you need to be quick. So we'll leave that one just for the time being, but I will actually bring in Leonis to show you an alternative way of you utilising, because you might not necessarily want to be moving your caddy system. You might just want somewhere that you've got a desktop system. Well, of course, everything that we've been talking about will fit within the stack system that we've got here. This is one that I use all the time. As I say, it's on my sewing area. I use it over and over again. It's a brilliant one for around the home as well. It could be an office area. You've got plenty of room there. Maybe a stapler could sit in there as well. Plenty of room for things like your scissors. But of course, you can utilise it for other things as well. So it might be that you're wanting to put things like your paints all lined up all beautifully there. Now, these sit in very nice. I don't know what we've got here. I'm having a proper little rummage to um, Art Alchemy. They fit in there quite nicely, don't they? In fact, you could actually fit two in there, I think. See, yeah, you go. You could probably fit oh, in the region of about 12, I would say, in here. So this is a thing. You don't necessarily have to be utilising them in a sewing environment like I have. So there you go. I'm going to pop those there and just show you. So you can see there, they can sit in there quite neatly. There could be nail pol um, polishes, couldn't they? Might be that you're wanting something that you're regularly coming to. You don't necessarily want to be lifting the lids off the little stacker systems and things like that. Well, any of these will fit in there. Now, I've put the tallest thing at the front. Didn't really think about that one, did I? 
really. But here, we've got little pots here, so instantly, these might be things that you go to time and time again. So again, you could be popping those in there. Let's move those to the back, move these to the front, mix them up, have them to exactly the way that you want them to be. That's the thing, it's your system, you decide with regards to these. What about things like your ink pads? Do you really look see the ink pads will fit in here? I think they will. What have we got ink pads? Well, let's have a little look. Oh, now, I'm just thinking about the first to find um, Claire. Oh, now, look at this. You could be popping those in there quite easily, couldn't you? Might stack them on the sides if you're wanting to. I think most of us do tend to stack them that way. But if you've got kind of like your labels on the side there, you could very easily be stacking them in there. And these might be your go-tos. Might be things that you're using all the time, so you don't necessarily want to have them in that storage system that we've spoken of. Again, you might want them on their sides in here. You can do. It's entirely up to you. And, of course, the beauty is, with regards to these, if you're wanting to, you can utilise these little pods that you've got at the top for things like your pens as well so it could be pens it could be embossing tools it could be paintbrushes all these kind of things can sit in here as well so things that you want easy access to and the thing is if you've got easy access to them then you will use them that is the thing if you can see them they're there they're fresh in your mind then they're all things that you would utilize now you have obviously got your drawers so if you're wanting to you could put things like your ink pads in there as well they'll fit in there quite nicely as well and then, of course, you've got your drawer system at the bottom. So if you have got longer things like your paintbrushes, then they could go in there as well. So you're getting an awful lot of area covered with regard to those as well. So, uh, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of those, please do. It's a modular system. You can interchange it. You can swap it around to whatever order you want them to be. At 19.99, lots of you are now taking advantage of that one as well. 059292. Now, Leone has been using the carousel um, very much so because you can see here your taller bottles perfect to sit in here and also it's nice because you're keeping them upright not laying them on their sides of course when they lay on the sides then you have the risk of them leaking of kind of running into the drawer into your craft bag but with these they are upright ready for you to literally take that lid off you don't even need to take the whole canister out and you can get to them, use them in the way that you need to and then pop them straight back in there. Now you're going to get two of these caddy systems and they come with different size caddies in there so you've got your pots being your double height as you can see here so again your taller items your taller bottles can go in there you've got your half height ones as you can see now you're going to get nine in total so you'll get six of these which will take up three of your segments and you will get three of the taller ones taking up the last three segments so overall you will get double that so you could have the whole of one of them with your taller pieces and then the other one made up all your half um, height ones it's entirely up to you you can see here Leone's utilised hers and she's using all of the taller ones in there because she's using them for her spray bottles. 732982, if you fancy getting hold of that one, you can do. Now, the storage caddies, I need to give you an update. Um, please be aware that rapidly approaching 80% of the stock has gone. Now, if you're wanting to get hold of these, you're going to have to be quick. You've only got to the top of the hour, and that's if stock permits us to run that length of time. Of course, we're up against the clock as we are as much up against the stock, so you could potentially miss out on this system if you're not quick. But 725-749. If you're wanting to go for multiples, even more so, make sure that you're getting your order in the system because you could potentially miss out on those because, of course, the stock that we've got, if it's two per person, then, yeah, it's going to go even quicker, isn't it? 725-749 if you're wanting those. Spread the cost of those as well. And if you've gone for those, it gives you the opportunity to spread the cost of any of the other things we're bringing to you. Now, it's mentioning that these are a new um, item to me anyway. I've not seen them here before. I'm sure you will have. And you'll know that straight away with a deflecto name attached to them, what brilliant quality and value they are. Now, it's got a classic look to these. Beautiful black outer, as you can see there. So it's going to look absolutely brilliant if you've got office space that you're working with. But this particular one has kind of got that cross division in there, which can can be used or can be taken out so you can see there they slot together nice and easily so you can move those put them together take them apart if you're wanting to and then they sit on the diagonal within your cube so what that means then is if you're wanting to divide up the area um, now these aren't particularly tall pens so it is a case that you could have your alcohol markers in one segment you could have them sitting on their side if you wanted to so it might be you're having your watercolor pens in one area it could be your your um, acrylic markers in another area your 
um, your drawing pens and where else. So you can see you can separate them up and because you've got those dividers, that keeps them separated, which I think is a brilliant idea. Again, you can have them stacked upwards if you want to. Um, you could just have it sitting like so. Or you can use these connectors to actually connect it to the other pod that you've got. Now, your other pod has got your drawers in there. So again, if you wanted to utilise these, maybe put your pens in there. You can do. You can see how they sit in there quite neatly. So it could be that you're putting all of your um, alcohol markers in there or something like that and then keeping them flat perhaps in the way that they're intended to be and then you can pop them in there and you can see straight away loads of different ways you can utilize these and at nine pounds and 99 pence incredibly affordable and again those little connectors will lock them together if you're wanting to we can kind of stack them one on top of the other now something else that's got a drawer system in them are the tilt bins and these are brilliant because what you've got is the ability oh i forgot to pop that back in didn't i <laughs> the little um, drawers they tilt out now let me think which way i did it did it i forgot which way it was now this is, yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's the front one goes in there, that one goes at the top, and that goes in somehow like that. I don't know what I've done to it, <laughs> but it does fit in there. The base one is in there. It's because I'm talking and trying to figure it out at the same time. Oh, I think we might be in there. Might be in. That just needs to go up a little bit to, to go over those little bits there. But anyway, what you've got is you've got a system where they will tilt. Um, obviously, they tilt right the way out. As you can see, I've not locked it into those little pods at the bottom there. But um, yeah, that will um, open it out like so. So you've got lots of access in there. And as I say, you can kind of hook it up and over and you can actually take those out if you're wanting to fill these up. Now, with the deflector range, anything that you want to put in here, you can put anything in there. But just be aware, they're not food safe. So they don't advise you to put anything in that hasn't got a wrapper or a skin to it. So if you've got things like, mm, I don't know, nuts, satsumas, I can't think of anything else that's got a skin on it that uh, you could pop in here if you wanted to. Um, or things like sweets that have got wrappers in them, then they're perfect. But of course, you can interlock these together because you have kind of got that groove system, as you can see there. One will slot into the other. And they have got those connectors on the back here. So if you do want to attach them to a wall, you can do. They do come with raw plugs, but just be mindful that you need to make sure that the fittings are right for the wall that you're um, attaching them to. So you may need to get some um, of your own for those. But again, $11.99 very affordable very stylish look to them as well and of course they can interlock on the side as well if you don't want to stack them on the top you can have them as one length going across as well there so there you go nice modular system that's what deflector is all about so 686 a 122 if you're wanting to get hold of those but of course it's a happy hour so if you have just joined us brilliant news you've not joined us too late but on the website you're going to find everything that we've been chatting about so, just to bring you up to speed, some of the most popular items have been the original caddy system. Lots of us have invested in that previously. Um, so, lots of you add into your caddy systems, which is good to know as well. Um, the multi-stacks um, storage as well, you've been liking that one as well. That's the one where you've got um, the drawers on the front. Five-star reviews there as well, so uh, definitely worth having a little look at those. Um, and yeah, any of these, to be honest, you might look at them and you might think, hmm, I think they might be useful, but I'm not entirely sure. Just like I did with that multi-stack system. I looked at it initially and I wasn't too sure whether it was for me, but I certainly wouldn't be giving it back now because it is something that is incredibly useful as well. Now, the caddy storage often is the way that many of us do get involved with Deflecto. Might be that you've taken advantage of them at one of the one day specials that we've had previously. Um, and if you have, this is a perfect opportunity for you to add to that system. So I've kind of taken everything out of Leone's. I'll have to watch the show back to remember what goes where, won't I? Never mind. But of course, with regards to yours, you are going to get your two kind of levels. And this is often where many of us start off. So this could be all that you're investing in to start with, which is fine. It's not a problem at all. But don't forget, our lovely Gwen emailed in with her photograph and showed us how she's utilised this. And what she's done is she's gone taller with this because this is a thing you can do. It interlocks, they come together, and you can go taller and taller with regards to them. Quite often, you will invest in wheels, which means that you can wheel it around from your room but you can easily access other levels that you've got in here so you don't have to kind of dismantle everything you just open it up and take the layers away to get to where you want to now it's rapidly approaching limited stock so if you are thinking of giving it a go then please do so and as i mentioned before we've got lovely gwen emailed in 
A4 sheet of paper there, just showing you, it doesn't take up a huge amount of area. So it's a little over an A4 sheet that we've got there. So that is your footprint, as we call it. So that's all the area it's going to take up, whether it's on your work surface, whether it's on your floor. And that's exactly what Gwen has done. She's actually got two of these systems. So you can see there, she's stacked them high. You probably wouldn't go much taller than the height that you've got there. Two reasons, um, because uh, the weight capacity, and I know there are recommendations on the weight, which I think we saw on the video earlier on. So do be mindful of that but to be honest when they are stacked that high you wouldn't want to actually lift them up anyway you would wheel them around but you can still get to those lower levels very easily and very accessibly um, they are now limited in stock though so if you're wanting yours you need to be quick you've only got about seven minutes to take advantage of that price whether we'll have enough stock to see us right the way through, I don't know. So hopefully you will. I'd like to say if you're watching on repeat, then maybe you'll get them. But of course, you won't get them at that price if you're watching on repeat because it's a happy hour. It's one of those things. You have to watch us live. 725-749. Get them into your basket, but get your baskets checked out. Now, I'm glad that lots of you are investing in the next system as well, because this is the one that we naturally migrate to. It's the one that we know um, Deflecto for. But this is one that you might look at and you might think, mm, I don't know. And that's exactly how I felt with this one. I wasn't entirely sure that I had a need for this one. But as I say, I certainly do. And I certainly wouldn't be giving it back. Now, when I actually work with mine, I use it for my sewing bits and pieces. But it's something that I think is brilliant. The Deflecto system, I love it, but there are certain things that you will find yourself using over and over again. So you don't necessarily want to be getting down to those bottom layers and things like that within your stacking system. That's why this is brilliant, because you can have those things that you use all the time sat at the top. Could be your nail polishes, could be your makeup, could be your jewellery. Um, might be your pens, it might be your seven-day saver with those gems that we've got on the show as well. Could be your ink pads. These are things that you can get to time and time again very easily very well just very quickly now it is a modular system so they do separate up so if you wanted to maybe this has got all of the elements for your particular craft in there maybe you're using that almost like as a little crafty tray taking all the things that you need for the project that you're working on and then taking that downstairs to craft in the kitchen with which is brilliant you can do that but it all comes apart so you can decide how it comes together so the next two layers you've got your large um, tubs as you can see here again some of your items things like your dress distress things now they won't go in um, because they're a little bit too tall so they are perfect to go in the spinning system that we were talking about earlier on but some of your smaller ones might go in there some of them will fit in there. So be mindful that you can fit um, some of your spray bottles in there. But again, you've got the ability that you can pop things in. You can actually see through the front there what you've got in there as well. So it makes it nice and easy. In my sewing room, I've got my quilt clips in that one. I've got mocha block in the middle one. And over there, I've got some fat quarters. And the base one in my sewing room, I've actually got it this way around. So I've got that sitting on the top. And that's where I've got my pinking shears, my rotary cutters, my dressmaking scissors. Um, I've got my heat erasable pen pens in there as well, tape measure I think I've got tucked in there, so all sorts of things that I just kind of throw in there when I'm tidying up and then at a later stage I'll find a proper home for them. But nice system. I would certainly give that one a go. And at 19.99, very affordable. So 059292. Pop that one in. Let me know how you get on with it. I know we've got some five star reviews on that one, so I'm not the only one that thinks it's fabulous. And I'm not the only one that thinks this system's a brilliant one as well. Because with this one you're getting two for your 25.99. This is a brilliant price. You're saving £14 on this one. So within this one, you're going to get two of your carousels. Now, when you get your carousel, it will be made up of three of your larger tubs. So your larger tubs are kind of double height. So these are the ones that we've got here. You'll get three of those ones, and then you will get six of these half-height ones that you've got here. So that's your half-height one there. Now, don't stack these any higher. They're not designed to stack up. They're designed to just be the two layers maximum that you've got with these. And when you are accessing them, make sure you're rotating the base and not actually being tempted to move the tub. We all do it at some point, but the way that you move it is by using the base so you don't dislodge these. Now, they do lock into place. You've got your little um, spaces in there with your device so they do have their own little housing with these and of course the beauty is you can use them for your taller items so as we were saying earlier on if you've got things like your spray bottles that won't fit in the um, caddy system then this is the perfect way for you to store them away now if you're wanting this deal or any of the deals to be fair you're gonna have to be quick especially if you are going for those caddies because of course we left the situation where they're limited in stock they're gonna go up in price in the next five minutes or well, actually it's three minutes isn't it the break so yeah um, when we get 
to the top of the next hour, which is the final call for our current one day special, then they will have gone up in price. So if you're watching on repeat, sadly you are a little too late, but you can still get hold of them. They're still brilliant value. I'm going to see you a little bit later on. So yes, check out your baskets and then rejoin us. Four o'clock, final call with your current one day special before we have the fabulous hour at Easy Quilting, before we launch a brand new one day special with Fabric Freedom. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper for you and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hello, sorry. Um, it's lovely to have your company, I, but at least it was good. At least I'm like, oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> it's good when it's positive, not so good when it's a swear. Um, <laughs> now, it is lovely to have your company. This is it, your final call, the last chance um, to get your wonderful one day special and, of course, um, to get loads of ideas and inspiration from our lovely John. <laughs> John, I love it because we've got a whole host of beautiful colours and a ridiculous price on this one day special. We have. It, it's really funny on this one because everybody that's seen these mm. has said omg i yeah, know yeah, he said yeah. the wrong one bit <laughs> then, <laughs> um, on the amazing quality yeah and i've just taken that as red because yes. i've gone these are the best and my favorites you know i know we all have yes. favorite favorites and Absolutely. they change with the season but i know i keep saying this on every show i have spent so much money on alcohol paints. Yeah, yeah. I've never been given a set. Yes. I have bought every wow. set I've got. Good grief. And that is unusual, I know. Well, and expensive. And expensive. It, it rattles up. And the thing is with these, I love them so much as soon as I tested them for you. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a Crafts 2 product. This is not something yeah. that I'm, you know, under contract to do. Or I mean, yeah. I would never do anything like that anyway, but I'm yeah. not. It was my choice to do these yeah. because I love them so much. I've had so many friends. I've had Paula telling me the nibs are brilliant, best she's used. Yeah, yeah. Colours are amazing. Yeah. The way they blend and the way that they've selected them are really, really good. I even bought another set last night. Wow. Um, for my friend Maxine. Oh, that's Who has lovely. also got every other pen going. Yeah. But yeah. watched the shows back when we put them on the YouTube. Yeah. 
So all the shows from today and all the shows I did originally with these Amazing. are on my YouTube channel. Amazing. For you to watch. And she said, I'm going to have to have them. Yeah. Can yeah. you get them in? This is the only place you can get them. Wow. And you can only get them till six o'clock. Oh my gosh, at that price as well. Yeah, because <gasps> it's not just that the price finishes at six. The show closes at six because they come from Australia. Oh my god! So I had a lot of people after we did them last time saying, where can I get them? Craft store, fingers crossed they'll do them again. Yeah, yeah. But the, the right, difference... Right, so if you don't get them now... Yeah, you're, it's, you're waiting for us to... You're waiting yeah, for you yeah. guys to pull them back on again yeah. in three, six, nine, twelve, whatever. whatever. Yeah. You just don't know. But they are genuinely... They've taken my colouring yeah. and I'm going to steal this back. This is an image I did. Shall I show you on the overhead? Is that yes, easier? Yes, yes. Right. This is an image I coloured. It's an Emma Blake stamp. Yeah, You know I'm it. a sucker for stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh. Having sold me another one this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Leone. Uh. That's an image I coloured, and this is using cheap ones that I bought yeah. from abroad. Okay, okay. I got a full set, 160. Yeah. It's about £80. Pounds. Yeah. I waited six to eight weeks for them. Yeah. Thankfully, fingers crossed, I didn't have to pay any customs duty. Right. Which you hopefully. know, because mm, I've been be caught stinger. with that. Yeah. I've been caught with it from America. Yeah, and I was happy, but it's okay. Yeah. I yeah. got these, and the other day I said, I'm going to try the same image yeah. with these to try and prove to myself how much better they are. Yeah, yeah. And that's the difference. Wow. Now, oh, to me... the colours are gorgeous. To me... Yeah. That's worth yeah, yeah, the extra. Yeah. And this will be the last set. I know I was talking to Paula in the last show. About six, seven months ago, I was talking to her about colouring. Yeah, yeah. And I said, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and start collecting the Copics. Yeah. Because yeah. none of this lot yeah. are doing any good for me. Yeah, yeah. They're not working. Yeah. And it's either me or it's the pens. Yeah. Um, and she was telling me, oh, be careful because they've not got the right greens and choose which ones you want. I'm not bothering now. No. No, you're happy. Now I'm happy. This yeah. is... The top quality I'll get yeah. for a really stupid price. Yes. Genuinely. Yeah. I've seen sets that are more that are not yeah. the quality of this. Yeah. Yeah. But that actually work. Yeah. And, and they the work for me. And I keep pulling this in and this is thing. I've had one class yeah. Um, yeah. with Lisa five years ago on alcohol colouring. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So I've not had any more training. Yeah. All I've had are the same sheets that you're going to get. Yeah. So I've not had anything extra. That's the first image I coloured with it. That is So you can see again, hopefully, on the overhead. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. That's the beautiful. first one I coloured as soon as I got the pens. Yeah. And I know that anyone could achieve that at home. And as a crafter, I don't need yeah. the art quality. Yes, exactly. I'm yeah. not doing enough. It's okay if it's like Charmaine, I'm, I'm doing yeah. artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different thing. But for crafting, these are art quality to me at yeah. a crafting price. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. And the blend is fabulous. The blend is so yeah. smooth. And literally, to say that was the first time I'd done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I compare it to, I spent hours on this. Yeah. Because I got new pens and they yeah, were pretty. Yeah, And would you believe there's four colours in that hair? No, you wouldn't. Because no, you wouldn't. They've uh, all just bled. Into each other and they Whereas don't look. Whereas there's yeah. three colours in that. Yeah, and you I, can see it. I've I got the, the blend, yeah. but I can see the distinct colours. The heart. Yes, yeah, I can see That's two the... colours shaded. Yeah. It's the same as it did with that. Look, it's leaked. Oh, yeah, that's... No. Because no. the biggest problem I've found is a lot of these pens look fantastic. Got great nibs, got great barrels. Yeah, yeah. They've got low levels of pigment, of alcohol colour in there. Yeah. And high levels of the blending. Yeah. So it means they do. They so they do just start to bleed out. Yeah. And nobody wants to bleed out, do they? No one wants to do no. that. It spoils your T-shirt. It does. I mean, look at that. I know it has. And oh. she has got, she's got such a lovely T-shirt. Yeah, ruined. I'm just really proud of that. Yeah, no, that looks ace. That looks and ace, I John. did it. You did that. <laughs> I know. Ba -ba -ba, you did that. I know, and I can't colour. Mm -hmm. If he can't colour, you can colour like I, John. Um, OK, this is a stunning step. Now, what we need to tell you is you could, if you wanted to, and it's there at the bottom, you could go for a pick and mix, whereby you're choosing... Um, and three sets, and they are, um, you're going to get four in each set. You're choosing three sets for twenty-one ninety-seven. Now, there is a discount on that already. There's actually an £8 saving. However, in this full set, you get in literally everything, which means the actual saving that has been carried forward, and get ready for this, £72. 
That's ridiculous, isn't it? £72 has been carried forward because obviously that saving is here now. Um, however, you've then got, if you're not a Freedom member, you've then got an extra £10 saving. That's an £82 saving. And then Freedom members, it's even better for you. If you're a Freedom member, it's over £100 you're saving. It brings the price right down to £168.96. I know that's still a considered purchase, alcohol, pens, or. <laughs> um, you've got your three flexes. Uh, if you're a Freedom member, 56.32, and it is the the quality. It is the the effect that you can get for these, and they aren't um, a much of a muchness. You know, alcohol pens are very different indeed. You know, you will get some that that just don't perform, as John said. Um, but you want that colour range. You want the ability to get that beautiful blend. You want that professional look, uh, but also you want it to be really achievable. I mean, look at the colours. The colours are so rich, aren't they? I mean, look at that yellow. That is absolutely divine. And the way it's bled, um, blended as well is amazing. I also love the case, actually. I'm not going to mess this up because I don't want to mess it up. But the box is lovely. Well, I'd it's actually nice bought... Storage. I got the deflector zigzag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my cheap set that I'm yeah. now has been packed away. Yeah. And so when I knew that you were going to ask me to try some alcohol pens, I bought another set. Oh. Off you, of course, on yeah. another one-day special. The only yeah. I, I'm not allowed to watch <laughs> you at home. I get shouted at. Um, I didn't need it. This case, it even has little protection squares in the lid. Oh, that's good. To hold them in place. But, look, yeah. it's got a slot just oh, like that. Good. So it's not just loose, yeah, yeah. pushed against each other. There's a slot for each one. Yeah. It's really, really well made. I was impressed because I thought yeah. the case that comes with it, it's going to be a bit yeah. naff, they isn't it? Bit it's going to be a bit plastic. It's going to yeah, be yeah. basically thrown about in my car. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be that sort of plastic that cracks as soon as yes. something hits yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which in my car it's guaranteed to. Yeah. And it isn't. These have survived being transported everywhere. Amazing. In fact, yeah. it actually arrived just like this in a cardboard box from Australia Fantastic. to me. Fantastic. And it were absolutely perfect. And look, I haven't had to swap it or anything. Yeah. No, so now I was really impressed. And to me, it saved me a fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I was going to start buying the Copics. Yeah. And I was finding them at five and six pound a pen yes. when I came to replace them. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I just thought, I'm not at that level. Yes, where you require that. To, to require that. that. I yeah. need to be selling artwork or drawings in yeah. galleries and yeah. to design houses to justify that yeah, price. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a crafter. I want the best. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not an artist. Yeah, absolutely. You do not want to be no. paying that. Um, and this is it. And the results are beautiful. Look, little mini John. Oh, and you do get your blending pens. Obviously, with, and you're getting 10 of these. Um, obviously, with alcohol markers, your blending pens, they're, 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 you can put the ink down first, your blending ink down first to help the blend, but they also help you lift out the colour. So they help they you. Do. And they help you do effects as well. They do. Effects. And what you've got is because you've got 10, the way these work, have you seen the pens where you put a colour against the blend about against a blank? Yeah, yeah. And then it pulls it in and then you colour it out. Yes. You can do that with these. Oh fantastic. So you've actually got yourself an extra ten set of, of pre blend pens. Takes you a little bit of time to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. But you can actually do that. Plus, you can do quite a few other techniques with your alcohol inks with them. Yeah. Which I'm going to show you in a bit. Amazing. It's the fact you're getting ten. Yeah. Ten of well, them. Well, it's the one thing I saw it when the original, original lot I bought a lot of years ago. Yeah. Seven or eight years ago, I think, when I was mm -hmm. watching on shopping telly, as you yeah, do, yeah, and yeah. isn't that marvellous? Um, you had to buy an extra set, and they encouraged everyone to buy the extra set of the brown the black and yeah. two blenders in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're going to go through your blenders and you're going to wreck them. Yeah. So they were already telling me at the point I was buying them. Yeah, that you needed extra. That I needed extras yeah. and they wanted to charge me for them. Yeah, yeah. And I've actually found I didn't. Yeah. But what I realised when I got those was all the different techniques I could do yeah, without yeah. worrying about wrecking the yeah. perfect blender in my set that I need to keep. Yeah. Because I keep one. And perfect. nice and perfect. Yeah. Nice and neat and tidy, yeah. tidy and neat. Um, right, this is your last chance. 70% of the stock has gone. Um, you're not going to be finding these. It's especially at that deal. This is a serious deal. Um, now, as we say, coming over from Australia, uh, you have got your extended delivery on this. It is coming out to you on the 12th, but oh my gosh, it is worth the wait. The effects that you can get, um, the the uh, the 
fact that you are getting quality, um, you're getting obviously something that you'll use again and again and again, and it does give you such a beautiful finish. It's about uh, practice, it's about, oh, look at that. It's obviously about getting to know the colours, but oh my gosh, look at that. And look at the richness of that. That is absolutely divine. Um, okay, please check your baskets out. This is your last chance. That price is going to go up at six o'clock. The availability will be gone. So if you do want to get these now, please do not miss out. That is 339-520, your item number. Now, I'm going to give you some pictures and numbers, and then we're going to get to John. Oh, good demos. Um, so we have got some happy hour deals. Now, for this hour only as well, we have got some uh, beautiful card from Jelly Bean Crafts. So this is your A4 card. It's your beautiful cornflower. You've got 100 sheets for a tenner. That is such good value for money. Um, that is a 432821, your item number. Don't miss out on those. These are your happy hour deals for this hour only. Uh, we've also got some slate, which is a lovely grey there. £9.99 pence again for 100 sheets. 601620 is your item number. We've also got your lilac, um, which again, absolutely beautiful. And this is your patterned collection as well there. So you have got different patterns running throughout that one, which is interesting. I don't think we've got that one to show you, but you have got different patterns. Oh, you can see there in the pictures. Um, now, only £13.99, pence, saving £16 pounds on that one for 80 sheets, 716513. Now, we've also got for you an, a, a huge assortment of cardstock here. Um, now, you have got different weights in there and different finishes, but you've got 200 sheets there for 9.99, and there's some lovely finishes as well. I bet you've got a cheeky bit of pearlescent going on there. 5426, uh, sorry, 640 is your item number. I had trouble with me fours. Um, next, we've also got for you um, the beautiful ribbed card. So that's got that lovely texture finish there. Um, and you've got 60 sheets for 999-998-834. And last but by no means least in the happy hour deals, we've got an essential, super smooth. Um, and this one, 100 sheets for a tenner again. Nine pence, nine pence, nine pence only for this hour. Three seven five nine eight six. Your item number. Um, right then, our John. Right, that's over quite to strange you. because while I'm colouring on, yes, is the jelly bean smooth three fifty. Oh, wow. oh really? Yeah, Fantastic. Because I've got the blue and the grey. I bought those previous. <laughs> of course you are. I know. I'm terrible. I am a, I'm a crafter shopaholic. Of course really you am. are. I bet you've got so this, much card. What I want to do is I want to get you to challenge me. Okay. So I'm going to pass you. What happens is when you get the pens, yes. they were all chosen in colour blends. Right, okay. They didn't sit there and go, right, we need 12 greys, 12 orange, 12 pink, 12 red. Yeah. They didn't set it that way. They got them set into colour blends. Beautiful. And that's why okay. the numbers go all the way from zero up to, I think the top one is 9,600. Uh -huh. They chose okay. from all those colours of inks. So you get, when you buy them, a download in your account straight away right. showing you this which is all of the Ooh, blends nice. that they start to suggest. Because don't you find the hardest thing to work yeah. out when you're colouring? What colour? Is what three or four pens absolutely. to use. Absolutely, absolutely. This is done for you and done in that stage. So I was going to ask That's you to choose really me out. really good. This is the difference. Yeah. This is what answered it for me. So everyone on that board in front of you has come from the blending chart. Amazing. So every single colour that's on there, every single one that's shaded, is using that colour chart, and that's what makes such a difference to That it. That is such a nice idea, because this is absolutely where I fail. Yeah. OK, um, me being me, I'm going to go for... I quite like so. that this, this one that's got a green and red. So do you want me to shout out yeah, the colours? Yeah, give me the numbers, yeah. So um, it's kind of a green going into blue. Wait, oh, there's that one as well, though. That one I like. So... <laughs> Doobie You're good at numbers. Um, so, yeah, I need to squint at it. 9421. Or do no. you need the C or AP? No, I just need the 9421, and I have to find them. And this is usually where everyone in the gallery goes, tries to look as well. Oh, cool. So what sort of colour is it? Um, uh, there, this is all blues and greens. Okay. Above, above, down, 9421. 9421, yeah. So you've got 9421, yeah. then um, 279, I hope. Sorry, squint in the right eye. 279. 279. Let's have a look. Got to find it. We're still That's going to be a bluey. Back, back, back. 
Keep going. 279. Yeah. 279. And then we've got 319. 319. See, I should have put them in colour order, and I kept saying I was going yes. to and didn't. Don't your eyes go blurry when you keep looking and at numbers? 319. 319. 319. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. And 327's on uh, camera right. 327. Right, 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 down. And left, left, left. There. Three, two, two seven. seven. Perfect. Boom. Right. Okay. Because I wanted to show you, this is what you can achieve at home. Now, again, if you look at these colours, would you have picked those colours out to blend? No. Because no. I know I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would have gone for that one, that one, and probably gone that one. And that would have been it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah three, yeah. no. So this is what they're suggesting. So make sure I get it. Do you have to do it in order? I do it in order because yeah. it makes it easier. But I just Amazing. follow. This is the basic rule that I was taught in the class that I had. Yeah. yeah. So this was my one day of training. Amazing. And that I will pass on to you because most of that day was telling you what colours to pick. Yeah. And yes. you have to make a little scratch book up with a notebook. Yeah. Of, Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and sorry, then, but you know life's... I've yeah. lost it. And it's there. I love that they it's give there, you It's there, and it's always there, because yeah. you've got it in your account. You download it onto your computer, yeah? Yeah. Um, you print it out. You print it as many times as you want, and I know we've got it on the website if anyone needs it again. Amazing. Good, good. So it's not difficult, because it's the one thing I asked for, was to say, right, the whole reason for this is the colour guide. Yeah, yeah. So let's do it. Yeah. So if you notice... What's the difference between the alcohol pens that I'm just using and what you've got at home usually? Um, the ones that I've got at home usually, well, straight away that, to be fair, but also, oh uh, yeah, your chisel tip. Yeah, there is yeah. no chisel tip. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It is a brush. It's a bullet and a brush. And a bullet. Oh, I like that. The only two you use. Yeah. yeah. I said chisel yeah. tips. Yeah. We used when I was at art college, at Norton College, many, many moons ago. It's been knocked down now. Gone Webster. Uh, you know, gone. Our, our director will remember yeah. it. Uh, all gone. It was newly built when I went. Uh, um, and basically, we used that for graphics because before computers, yeah. all graphics were done using letter set markers. Oh, wow. Okay. Which were the original alcohol markers for graphic designers. Yeah. Yeah. And you used the chisel tip for colouring cars. Because it were big. And big areas. Yeah. So if you yeah. did like the Coca Cola or Pepsi Cola or yeah. RC Any or whatever, the others. you did that logo, they were yeah. always coloured with alcohol markers. Uh, because yeah. you can do it on a computer. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, but that's not needed anymore. Yeah. So that's my light blue down. Yeah? Beautiful. Okay, now watch. Next colour. Oh, well, Ooh, that, no, I don't think that's what I would have gone for. I wouldn't have gone for that. That but scared look, me to death. Can you listen on this side? It's so sad. No squeaking. Yeah. Um, Paola actually said the, the nibs are like um, velvet. Yeah. And yeah. they are. They're so... They, they sound, well, Soft. they don't yeah. sound that when, it, when I go in with the chisel, it will start to squeak a little yeah, bit, yeah, not yeah. the chisel, so the, the bullet. The, bullet. So that's where I've done. What I'm then going to do is, and what I would suggest, I've said this in every show, and I don't mean it in a salesy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're getting the pens for the first time, get the magnolia stamps. Right. Because it's got all the little lines on. Yeah. It's beautifully drawn. This is what you practice on. Yes. This yeah. is the one you learn on. Nice open spaces. Yeah. But can you see all the little lines? So all yeah. I'm doing now is going round where the little lines are with this second Amazing. colour. Amazing. Where the petal turns. Yeah. yeah. I like seeing different ways of doing the, the colouring because different people will give you different techniques. And I think it's really interesting because you'll find the one that you'll suits find, you. Yeah, that works for you. Mm. So now I go in with the next one. Okay. And this time I'm not using the brush, I'm using the... The, the chisel. That's not the chisel, sorry, the... Uh, um, bullet. Bullet. And I'm, what I'm doing again is, look, following... Yeah. So this you can be very specific because can it's you, that bullet. Yeah, can you imagine trying to do this yeah. with your um, chisel tip? No, no, no. Well, you wouldn't, would you? No, you couldn't. You'd have to be really careful because you'd have to use the end of the nib. But I like, I like that they give you the nibs that you actually use, not the nib that you never actually It's almost use. like somebody sat and thought about yeah, it. Yeah, because they use the pen as a blaster. Yeah, as opposed as to for just... For a crafter, for yeah. this, yeah. So, then I go on to the fourth one. Don't have to. Yeah. I mean, should I stop at three? I don't know, no. no, no we'll go on go before. Go for it. Same again. See, darker again. Beautiful. And it really intensifies it, doesn't it? It does. And I'm just following the little lines. Yeah. Wherever it... So I'm not having to guess wherever it would be darker. So this will, this will teach you how to sort of do it. Yeah. 
So a little bit, there we go. And it's lovely because, yeah, yeah, that, that build-up of colour, it gives you the tones, it gives you the shade in it, yeah. It gives you everything you need and then all I do is take this one, first one again, and scribble over it. And that's your first one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first colour again. Beautiful. But just look at that petal there, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. Turning. This, so when you go over now, it just blends everything back in. Yeah, Beautiful. so for doing this, use the bullet tip. Yeah. Because you get that precision. And what you're actually doing is you're scrubbing and you're pushing the colour through the card. Yeah, yeah. So by using the lighter one. So I'm just going, literally. So anyone can do this. So yeah. I've gone light, yeah. mid, follow the lines on the stamp, dark and then very dark. Back over, can you hear now? Yeah, the yeah. little bit of squeak, but watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoping you can see on that petal as they. Yeah, you absolutely can. And the as thing, they start to fade. Yeah. The thing is, with alcohol pens as well, don't panic if it doesn't work straight away. Don't keep overworking it because the alcohol does have to evaporate, and that's when your your blend will really happen. Yeah, it's sort of almost like you come back to it in half an hour. Yeah, yeah. And it will be even crisper. Yeah, but that is beautiful. But that. Is one layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. the colour. I adore that bit of green in there. Really that makes a difference. So and would nice. you have, I wouldn't have had the confidence to no. choose that. There's no chance. And I don't I'd know anyone those. else. And all I would do now is just go in. Yeah. With almost a little bit more of the blue. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice because well the the lighter colour is still wet, that's it'll really help it blend, won't yeah. it? And I'm just, I'm not even going you to go back it, to the darkest. You can see it, you can see it already blending in. And it blends itself, I can just take it, that final stage, yeah. and this is invariably actually where I stopped with all the ones on the front. Yeah. I didn't add the third and fourth layers and all the bits. All the faff. All, yeah, all the faff. I, I don't do faff. But you can no, see there much. and then what will actually make that pop? Yellow in the middle. Yeah. And the yellow in the middle, I mean, you can build that up as well if you want to, but just yellow as is, it looks well nice. Yeah, simple. Yeah, that looks so effective. A little bit of orange. Yeah. But watch the yellow to orange. This is what I love about these. Yeah. This is the difference. Because that should normally, on other pens, if I use the ones, the cheap ones I bought, yeah, yeah. that would leach out into these blues. Right, yeah. But I'm going over it and watch it soften. Yeah, yeah. No, that looks so pretty. Can you see the orange retreating? Yeah. But you've and still got the little tips in, of it. it? But yeah. If I hold this one up to the camera, you'll be able to see just... Oh, it's lovely, is that? Yeah. And that is... You've just told me those colours. Uh, yeah. That's, That's from the chart. That chart. I haven't picked them, and they're not colours I would have picked. I'm so glad you picked and those. Really, I, that colour chart is absolutely... Uh, it's essential. It is essential, because it's how the pens were done. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody's decided that you need 200 pens in beautiful colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's decided to get every blend of shades that you need, yeah. you need these blends and it adds up to 108. Yeah, I, I really like that. That yeah. takes so much time. And, and, and teaching, thank you, John. That, for me, is, that is absolutely a genius. The amount of time, sorry, it's this, um, genius, because the amount of time it takes me, um, and, and it can, you know, you go through your swatches, you create your swatches, then if you haven't wrote it down, which obviously I never do, um, it's going back through again to remember. This is absolutely perfect. You are looking straight at that. It lists the colours, you know what you're going to get. Yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it's this kind of thing that you're going to get. You know, what have you got in your stash? What kind of beautiful stamps have you got? Maybe it's digital images uh, that you're going to be printing off. Maybe you're using these in um, one of your gorgeous colouring in books. I mean, maybe you're just using these for effects because obviously you can create beautiful effects. Or maybe you are using them for creating your own beautiful artwork. Now, they have been super busy. Um, over 70% of the stock has gone. Remember, this is now your last chance. 
that price is going to go up at six o'clock. But that isn't the the scary bit, the the super scary bit. I mean, it is. I mean, it's over hundred quid that you're actually saving. The problem is you aren't going to be able to get hold of them. You need to be um, checking your baskets out to make sure that wonderful pen set in its box, of course, is going to be delivered. Um, you know, you're not going to be paying any extra taxes or, or worrying about you know how long it's going to take from Australia. Um, that shipping date, you're going to be waiting uh, till the 12th, but they're going to be dispatched after the 12th. You know exactly what you are paying. You won't get hit with any extra charges. Uh, three payments, £56.32. and pence. Be part of freedom. It is a why not deal. It absolutely makes sense. In fact, if you're not part of freedom, you're throwing money away because that is a really cracking extra saving. Uh, 339 is your item number. No. So excited about this. Um, I'm a big fan of um, alcohol inks because they're well cool. But, but I have never seen alcohol inks, hinks, um, that contain a cheeky bit of glitter in there. This messes with your edge, John. it really does. Because when I read this, when they said, oh, would you try the, um, the alcohol inks with uh, the glitter accent alcohol inks, I went, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm not daft. Yeah, please send um, me everything. I said, but I thought, I actually bought in and I ordered, you know, like we do, I know you were doing it before the show. Uh, literally. You, you go on the river and you order the things in a panic that you need uh -huh. for tomorrow for the yep, show. Yep, yep, yep. I went on and ordered a load more blending solution. Oh, yes. Because I've used the metallics. Yes. And with the metallics, they're so viscous, without blending solution, they don't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I thought these would be the same. Right. They don't. These are literally alcohol inks with this glitter added that somehow stays in place. Oh, There's no nice. binder or glue. It, they're not gloopy. No, that is... No, no, because it adds, you can see, the flow of that glitter. These are delicious. Yeah. Um, backgrounds, backgrounds, backgrounds. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, I'm loving these ones. I've only just found... Look at that. It's almost a shame to put anything on top of them. It is. I, that's it? why I've done some cards where I actually haven't. Yeah, because look at that. Oh, I want that. Oh, sorry, I'm picking up the next item and being really naughty. OK, so what you've got here... You need the next one as well. So you've got... You've, Five options. So, your first option, um, you have got the beautiful pastels. Uh, now, that has been very busy. Yeah, I'm not surprised, actually, because um, you've got that beautiful white. And uh, even the bottles have got glittery stuff on them. Um, so, that's your beautiful pastels. Over 70% of the stock has gone with your pastels. The next one that we've got um, is your seasonal. Oh, lovely. Um, so you've got the cobalt, the cardinal, the verdant, verdant, and then your beautiful sunflower there. That's your seasonal option. Uh, the next one that we've got for you, this is your favourites, Tutti Frutti. Oh, I like that because look at these colours, strong. Yeah, that would be my favourite too. Lilac, the apple, the fuchsia, and the topaz, boom. That's that for me, stunning. Uh, so that's a cheeky bit of tutti frutti. Eh? Um, the next one that we've got for you, oh, I like this as well, the amethyst, that pumpkin. You've got the carpet and then the burgundy in that one, which is stunning. And then, last but by no means least, oh, I like this one as well. What's this one called? The gemstone. So you've got that lovely plum. They've got the burnt sienna, turquoise, and then cappuccino. Now, only twelve ninety nine. You're getting four of those. They have got glitter in them. They're very exciting. Um, and, oh, is it, which is that one? This is a mix that I did earlier using the pastels. Yeah. But when it dries and settles, look how intense the colours are on top, underneath yeah. the glitter. Yeah, that looks well good. You don't get that. That colour intensity only starts to shine once they've actually sort of dried, dried. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so it's not a really, really light pasta. Has that got that beautiful apple green in it as well, though? It has, yeah. Yeah, I'm loving that apple green. Yeah, that is a beautiful colour. That is well the One cool. thing I've got to say about Couture Creations when it comes to their alcohol inks, their pens, they've got an understanding of colour I've rarely seen before. Yeah, yeah, that is... Lovely. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Um, OK, so you've got loads of choice there, but then the minerals. I mean, obviously, I've got my eye on these. I mean, look at that. Over 80%. Oh, my gosh, you're getting three for a tenner. I absolutely need them in your life. You've got graphite, onyx, and that inc incandescent. Oh, I love that. Incandescent. I mean, oh, I'm going to show you that again just because I can. That's the one that Proper we did. Nice. Um, Paola and I did at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I love it. 
So Absolutely it's just love these. Um, oh, need. Um, if you do, oh, um, if you want those, nine 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 for three. Three five seven one four eight is your item number. Now, next we've got for you. Um, so these are interesting um so these are your stays in place ink pad so obviously i presume these are your because you've got your refill as well is it a plain ink pad that you can then refill and stamp and they're going to be it is you're going to be yeah. able to use with alcohol inks or well this is the same uh, the, the, to be honest you know i don't want to start mixing brands yeah 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 but if you think of stays in place then it's very similar it's to something else what it's, it's pretty be. obvious what it is a version of yeah 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 the difference is with the original yeah. i don't know about you but i use it rarely i do now i used to use it all yeah. the time it, mm. I, I, I found there's different inks for different jobs yeah, now. yeah, yeah. it yeah. was the first ink i bought but what i find is so i use it when i'm doing acetate when i'm yes. using glass yes when i'm doing harder surfaces and yeah. i need a permanency but what i find is that every six to nine months when i find i need one mm. i'm ordering a new one oh yeah you have to be dead careful if they you've dry not. out mm. new even somehow i've learned this with the kaleido ink yeah even in air tight yeah, yeah yeah by osmosis somehow they dry out yeah, yeah even with the little plasticky bit in there yeah so what they've done which i love they've given you so these are glittery Ooh. so the jet black and the arctic white are actually glittery nice so i don't know if you can see the glitter on top of that but basically rather than it running out yeah they sell it you in a blank pad and the ink fabulous and this is great on the white especially because how often do you mucky your white yeah and what you do is because i did it earlier is you literally just add new ink beautiful so instead of having to turn to a new and buy a new ink pad every time you want to use it you keep constantly going it so yeah. you save such a fortune in the yeah. long run and that so uh, obviously you won't use these with your alcohol pens because it's alcohol ink but you'll be using these with all your watercolor pens it's gonna as we were saying stamping on your acetates things like that glass any poor non-porous surface that is a nightmare to get something to dry on they're gonna work but the glittery um, hurrah. um so you're getting um you can choose any two so you've got three different options so it might be two of the white that you've got for because you can do some beautiful effects uh 15 pounds and 99 pence so it might be two of the white if you wish um you've also got um the black black or your matte black so you've got different blacks to choose from as well three two one five two five is your item number um we are very busy please do not miss out on any of these have a look on the website you know john was ch chatting about the beautiful stamps they're available on the website as well uh we've got your medium map we've got those um happy hour deals so do not miss out on your happy hour deals as well um if there's anything you want you know what to do you can either get on the website or give us a ring zero one seven double three six zero two thousand right john right I'm dying to see so these. what i'm doing here and what i'm going to do is a sort of a, a different version but show you again how we can bring the blenders in cool so if you miss the 12 o'clock show i did these so this uh -huh. if you see that oh, frame yeah, that's well lovely yeah. it looks proper flowery does not that that, yep. that looks i've spent hours with little flowers yep, and yep, i haven't yep. I cheated. looks like you cheek him on yeah. there it does a little bit mm. it's as close as i'll ever get <laughs> and then i did this one again oh, on a normal it, paper yeah this time what i want to do is do something a little bit different and i'm going to use some upo paper now i think you've got upo paper on thursday I haven't have, you my dear thank you so, very much yeah, it's part of the one because um, i'd forgotten until you reminded me mm, i love a but, bit of upo uh, do you know i forget that the techniques you can do mm. and i was trying really earlier before the last show to show what you could do with the blenders and i forgot i'm using the wrong paper i need yeah, upo yeah. for it yeah yeah so what i've got is we've done a set of these are the crafts two kaleido Ooh. blank ink pads yeah yeah we've put a set of four on it's the first time we've ever made the pads available on their own oh that's a very good idea because to me we actually ordered more in and it i feel like sometimes i had to say look peter honestly i've got so many ideas for blank ink pads yeah. please get lots more in yeah it and thankfully he did so this is good. the first time we've made them but four of them yeah and that is really good you're getting four for 12.99 yeah. yeah that's great no. oh no, you're getting sorry, four for 9.99 oh, it's even better than that yeah that's okay. crazy isn't it yeah that is really good um obviously really um okay i think you have to check the website out for this shop by brand uh crafts do do have a look for those um because uh, i found them 
There we are. Uh, cross two, obviously a four inch pads, loads of ways you can use them. Uh, so please do check them out. And that is five, eight, five, one, two, five. Over to you, John. Right, so what I'm going to do is, so this one I used earlier. This Beautiful. is what I love, but look, this is not hard, but look. That's dry. It's mm -hmm. dry, but the pad's not dry. Right, so I can now go so with different colours. I can make my own. Now, I tried this technique using um, the blending pads. Oh, yes. It doesn't work. Oh, really? What it tends to do is, I will try and show you. I'll find, oh, there it is. What happens is the, the blending pads are felt. Yeah. yeah. And they're designed to move the ink, mm. not lay it down. So when I tried this, I, all I get was the heart shape. I couldn't get, <laughs> Sorry, all you get is the round shape or the square shape right. or whatever you're using. So if you can see here where I'm going to, and what I do love, is they've also put child safety lids on them all. Ah, oh, good. Which I'll isn't usual, I don't think. It never no, used to be no. in the old ones I've got. No, so the ones I've got haven't. It's like the doctor's ones, you know, it will keep turning yeah. until you press the button. And you give them a shape because it's got the glitter, so you do need to give them a shape. You have to, yeah, and they've got a ball bearing in there, but I believe it's a plastic one. Oh, that's good. Rather than wasting the metal. Okay. So I've got a spot on there, so I'll turn it. Oh, no, I won't. I've already drawn on that. But now what I'm going to do is, literally, I'm making a background Ooh. on my u -pub. You see? And look at it move straight away. That's well good. I'm, I wouldn't get that with a blending. Yeah, yeah. With oh, the I round. do like that. And that's so quick. But how speedy is that? And look, yeah. nothing on my hands. Yay. You'd have it all over because you'd enjoy doing it, whereas I don't. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But what I've got there is, you can see. It's so quick. I've but got, you got that shine in that yeah. sheen. And where I put the strong blobs on, look, I've got strong blobs. And you'd think... I have strong blobs of the glitter, you'd think, oh, well, you must have used all the glitter up. No, I haven't. Look at the rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's through the whole of it. Yeah, that looks really effective. So, and it's so quick. It is. And this is you post, so if it's not right, you can yeah. take it off. Yeah, yeah. What I can start to do now is I can start to actually draw myself some flowers. Beautiful. And directly from the, the tube. Yeah. So I can sort of fill those in or whatever. Never going to look nice at this stage, honestly. This is the way you go a bit scared and go, oh, God, am I going to have to pretend that it looks brilliant when I know it doesn't? Uh, we've all done that. Yeah. Oh, oh. We've gone, actually, no, it's just awful. Sorry. Yeah, so... I'm dying to see what happens with this. But can you see the yeah, glisten the as it comes amazing. out? the amazing. It looks like it's dancing. So I'm going to put some more bits in gorgeous and it's one of these it's the one thing i took away from when i um, did a demo day with um, seth apter oh yeah you're only one layer away from magic just keep adding until it looks okay don't be scared don't be scared yeah basically stop panicking yeah so and obviously at the minute you're just using all the colors i'm in using the box. all of them amazing and then your fabulous little tool oh doesn't that look ace so we're starting to take my, I'm using my water media mat, so I'm not having to worry about the alcohol go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And the movement of it, I mean, with having your UPO as well, it does really allow it to move. The way those colours are blending is just gorgeous, and the glitter as well is sensational. So I'm now starting to get those waves on top. Yeah. Now, I've put far too much alcohol ink on. <laughs> because it's the worst habit that I've got sometimes. So I'm going to take some off. Wow, that's well cool. Take a print off and now I'm going oh, to take my blending that, tone. Yeah. And I'm going to go, right, OK. So I think All I'd right, like... So the blending pen, obviously, is just lifting it completely out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the, ah, look, look, look. Oh, now it's nice with that nib, isn't it? Because look at brush. that soft. It's dead obvious that it's a different nib, isn't it? Yeah. Like the, the, bar, the bullet tip, that's really specific. Whereas that, it's so, so soft. Yeah, that looks well good. So I start to take it out and I can start to actually go around. 
and start to put the flowers in. This would take a lot longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I've put a lot of layers on I tell on you here. what, that the, the, it's almost give you like a ghost print as when you've lifted it out. I love that. I like the way you can see and underneath it will. as well. Yeah, I mean, and again, I could, I mean, it will work even, it works even stronger when on these strong sort colours. of areas. Yeah. I mean, Where imagine I've the backgrounds you can do. Put down the ink pad. And I've got ten of these, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. So I, could, I would keep playing and I would keep going, right, oh, okay, yeah. so I quite like that flower, but let's just put some... And this is it. I mean, you can work over it again and colour again and on again. It. Yeah, and just keep working and working, because mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to overwork it, but I wanted to show some of the things that you could do. And look at the I glitter. wish I got the time to do that at home, but yeah. look. Look at the glitter as well. Even and where I took off the print, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've that got all is phenomenal of that because you've lifted a lot of colour out of that and left a really interesting, um, just such a soft. But look at that, look at that glitter. That yeah. is amazing. But if I don't, if I'm not happy with that, yeah. if I want to actually say right, okay, so come on, John, own up. Yeah. It's not right. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is what I love about you, Poe. Yeah. Again, I can put down almost like some little fields. So I'm using a new one. Yeah. I can wipe over or put over it. Yeah, you put is very forgiving, isn't it? It is, yeah. It that's just why. allows you to keep playing. All you do, you don't playing. waste paper. You waste ink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then I wouldn't if you look at this, this is the piece I took the print off. Yeah, that's a really beautiful that's got soft colour. All that glitter to it as well. Yeah. Beautiful soft background. Yeah. So I could do the same. So now I can go, right, well, okay, that didn't come out how I wanted, so let's have some little flowers, shall we? Ah, oh, amazing. In the middle of that. I love us. Uh, the colours are beautiful. Because that, now, that's just made it rich, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's again, it's a background now, yeah, but I was yeah. going to work over it and take the colours off, but yeah. it takes longer than I've got in the show. I, I tell you what, it's when you see how many colours are in that. The, and you see the, the layers of, of colour is just sensational. Yeah, yeah, that is well pretty. So I like those, John. Oh my gosh, right, I'm getting proper jealous because you know when you just want to be standing there and just play, but you need them. You need to get hold of them in order to play. Oh, I love alcohol inks anyway. I really, really adore it that you've got the Richard. the glitter in here. I love that you've got that sensational finish. It just looks different with the glitter, but also, I mean, let's face it. There's so many things you can do with um, with alcohol inks. You know, yes, backgrounds, but then start die cutting. You know, then start creating. Um, oh, look at some of these backgrounds. Then start creating beautiful beautiful works of art, quite frank. I mean, I think that's the thing with alcohol um, inks. You can create some really fantastic abstract pieces um, and obviously play about with different cardstock, play about with different surfaces. It's not just your cardstock, obviously. You know, if you have got um, plastic, it's if you've got a non-porous surface, please play with the non-porous surfaces because they do give you such really cool effects. But have a go on like different porous surfaces as well because again, you'll be getting different finishes. It's just really nice to experiment. They're rather marvellous, aren't they? I can't lift that one up because that one's been broken in transit. But how amazing are these? I shouldn't have moved it. There you go, got it. Okay, now you've got your choice. So you've got your set of four. Only twelve ninety nine for your set of four. You've got such a beautiful array of colours there. That's four four zero zero seven two. Um, oh, these three. Not going to lie, these are just um, oh, the limited. Okay, these are going to sell out. I bet. Oh, yeah, need these nine ninety nine. You've got the graphite, the onyx, and the incandescent. <laughs> that is just the best. Um, and oh, when you look at that, when you look at that. That's just tremendous. Uh, 357148 is your item number. Um, and do remember, you have got the ink pads as well. So these will give you, they'll stay on other surfaces. Um, and this is your um, stays in place. Um, now, with these, you have got your choice. You can choose any two. So you've got your Arctic White. You've also got your Black Black. And then you have got your Matte Black as well. So you've got your choice, only 59 
pints down. You do get the pad and you get the bottle. Remember, this is sparkly alcohol ink, so you can do all your stamping and more with those. 321525 is your item number. I've actually got the Arctic White here. Oh. Piece of acetate and a stamp. Nice. And I just wanted to show you literally. Yes, yes, because yes. we talk about white, and yep. I see so more people on crafting groups saying, What's a decent white ink pad? Yeah. Than yeah I see yeah. asking anything else. Yeah. And this will go on anything. So this is so okay. Best thing is take <laughs> the plastic off. Take the plastic off. Don't be an idiot like me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just going to ink that Beautiful. and then literally stamp it down onto it. looks is like that, I'm stamping that stamp onto that we've got on the show it as is. well? It is. I love this stamp. Lovely. Some of the simplest ones are some of the most Ooh, beautiful. That's nice. but do you know that, what, as well, John? Yeah. Because this is a technique I used to do. If you flip it and then stamp it the other side because it's acetate, you'll be able to create a wreath. I would. Mm, I used to, that's a technique, ah. I used to do that. Boom. Because it looks beautiful with acetate yeah. and white ink. Oh, because what I was going to do was drop some of the um, oh, thingy inks nice. on the back of it. Oh, yes, 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 which would look beautiful. Which would look yeah, really, really, look really beautiful. well. So, I, shall I do that very yeah, yeah, quickly? Yeah. Or do am that. I time, so, there we go. Obviously, let it dry. Work on I've the back. I've got one back. I did earlier. Amazing. You have to work on the back, otherwise it will shift the yeah, alcohol ink stamp on You've it. You've actually got a card... You've actually got a card, I think, there. Have I now? Um, that you see, I've actually done two layers, and I've actually stamped on the front and then alcohol coloured on the back. Okay. It's in a frame. It's on the right, I think. There we go. No. That one. That one. That one. That one. There you go. And what I've done is the background is on classic, classic glossy card, glossy yeah. card, glossy and then card. I've actually coloured on the back using the alcohol glitter ah. inks. And then stamped on the front with the stays in place in black. Yeah, that looks Look at effective. the 3D effect yeah. you get in that. Yeah, it looks well effective. Beautiful. Oh, there's so many things you can do. There really is. It's just absolutely amazing yeah. Yeah. what you can achieve. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of... Seems weird to put in green, not where the wreath is. But I've gone for that in different colours. So I'm just going to a little bit of yellow. Ooh, I'm dying to see this. I use far see, too much. These of this. these are this is fun because you you don't know what you're going to get and it's just oh I love it. No, you you you, you just don't. Mm -hmm. And again, I've probably used far too much. I suppose I'm supposed to sort of sit. It has got a bit of movement going on on it. Take that but off. But it's okay. Just going to take a little bit off. But can you see that? I there? get a bit carried away. Oh, I'm I'm terrible for it. Boom! Look at that sparkle. That so looks that's... so effective, and you can see the colours. Yeah, that looks amazing. That's on black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually I used the end of the um, spongy bit. End of the ink, ink pad. pad onto that, a piece of flat card. That looks really nice. Love that. Yeah, but that can just really use nice. that. Oh, that's probably a little bit too. But again, you've got the... Oh, that, that looks really interesting. Oh, yeah, 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 you can see it. That's really pretty. Like ghosting. Yeah, I love that. And I love how the ink's still moving. Yeah, I know, as it's not dry yet. Yeah, but it's Because got... I put too much on, but <laughs> yeah, I but like it. Oh, it. it looks so cool, though. Oh, thank you, John. Don't they make you want to dig out and get playing and order and get the glitter? Oh, and the other one. OK, if you do want them, check your baskets out. But the one-day special, it is super busy. This has been, and I think because now everyone's gone, uh-oh, oh, it's 4 o'clock. This is it. Right, it will be available till 6 o'clock, but obviously this is your last hour and it is now limited stock. Um, OK, you have to be checking out your baskets. If you want these, you aren't going to be able to get hold of these. They are from Australia. Um, obviously, that price, please be part of Freedom. If you're not part of Freedom, you've still got a mega saving. I mean, it's still at like £82 saving, but if you're part of Freedom, you get an extra, and look at that, a £28 
pounds and seventy seven serving. It only costs you eight quid or something to join Freedom. Seven ninety seven. <laughs> Round it all up, we all know. It costs you eight quid, right? That's for a month. You're not paying any postage for a full month. You can cancel it after, but you're saving twenty eight pounds. So you're saving twenty quid extra if you're part of Freedom and you don't pay any postage. This has been shipped from Australia. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of this, you've got your flexes. So it's gone um, from one hundred sixty eight pounds and blah blah uh, to fifty six pounds and thirty two pence this month to get hold of this. You know exactly. Exactly what you're paying next month, the month after. No postages add on to it if you are a Freedom member. And then you can start playing. You can get some beautiful results. Remember, and this, this is proper good. You can print this off. Everybody, once you get hold of your pens, you'll be able to print that off. And that will give you that beautiful guide on how to actually use your pens. For me, essential. You know, straight away, you are going to be able to create some gorgeous effects. And uh, it's that bit, it's that bit that can take you forever. Learning which colours go with which and, you know, going through the whole box to find out. And, and just that little hint of colour. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. Um, actually, Sam actually bought them and hasn't used them, so I had to go with them. Yeah. But just that little hint of colour. Look at the intensity of shades I'm yeah. getting. I think yeah. it's amazing. Stunning. And that one as well. The richness of that yeah. is ridiculous. And um, that flower screams for yes, intense colour. Yes, absolutely. Those big stamps are amazing for it. Now, 339520, this is the last live hour. You have to check your baskets out. Uh, can we go back to you for another, yeah. another quick I'm gonna demo? Do a I really, got tons I'm going to do a really, really quick one because the two things people ask about, or the two things that mm. I absolutely love is, I've, we've got... We've got new Christmas stamps coming up. Hooray. We've got new Two J's Christmas stamps coming up. Beautiful. So I know in there I'm going to need to colour greys. Yeah, yeah. And I know I'm going to need to colour. And I've got it done. I'm not going to panic for three days and go to the chart. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I love little Matt. So here he is. Oh, that's so good. I think you'll recognise him anyway. I recognise those. Yes. So that's, that's our little man. But look oh, at his hat. That's so I don't know cool. how to get that because it looks like a black top hat yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's got the shade on it. Yeah. yeah. And basically it's three stages. I'm just going to bring in, which I wouldn't normally do. I don't need any scratch paper when I'm using my mat, but I think it might be distracting right, yeah. all the mess. Yeah, but yeah. look. Look, Adam, if you're watching, not got the desk done. Boom. I'm not the only. <laughs> I use silicon media mat. My product uh, of the year. But you <laughs> see, layer one, layer two, layer three. Yeah. Yeah. But I got these from the chart. Amazing. And it told me, because I've got, I've got one set of pens that I bought, and there are 12 in four different types of grey. Wow. Yeah. Green grey, blue grey. Yes. Um, yes. I can't remember what the other two are. Other greys. Yeah, other grey and something grey. Yeah. yeah. And it was, I only ever used three of each one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. this told me what I needed, and basically, I wrote this one down. Just yeah. in case somebody else had got the chart. And that's a good idea, John, because I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So well it's five four five, five three five, and seven five four five. Cool. But it's really simple. So I've already gone on with the seven four five. Yeah. All I've got to do then is go seven three five. And this is the thing when you're not working it out yourself. Yeah. I just kept referring we, to the chart. Yeah, yeah. Which pen's next? Yeah. So it's literally. What I love about this, I would absolutely get the chart, do all the blends on my little pad so I can see them in real time, not your, your computer printout. But then, again, you've learned. You've learned straight away what colours go. Yeah, I mean, what I did was I actually used the, the Nelly Magnolia stamp yeah. and stamped that and did nearly all of the blends in those colours. Yeah, yeah. That was literally what I did. Shall I just do his hat to save yes, a little bit of time? Because I want to do the, the sort of thing. Right, so it's simple. Okay, go in with the darker, follow the little lines that yeah. Janet's, is it Janet's put in for us? It is, I love a Miss Janet Klein. In fact, it's on Wednesday I've got um, Arlen Crate. Ooh, so would well, you want my samples? Oh, I hope. If you've got this. <laughs> but you see there, okay, that's it. Drawing lines around it, really, you know, anyone, yeah. Yeah. any child can, can do, do that. that. Can do yeah. that. Seven-year-old can do that easily. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all you do then is colour over and again that's with a lighter one so going back to your lighter one yep so i'm going in with my lighter one can you see how in that corner it's bleaching it out yeah yeah beautiful and it's achievable as well this is a lovely thing you know it it looks really cool but it's it's like yeah i can do that yeah you can 
So all I've got to that stage is, yep, so it's still looking a bit dark. Yeah. That's only because I haven't gone back in with the medium. Yeah, yeah. And what I do then is blend. Can you see how those dark lines yeah. now blend out? Yeah, yeah. Whatever colour is next to it will blend out that shade. Perfect. So do the same there. Blend those out and then back in. Because I was shocked when I managed this. Yeah. I really was. I actually ran inside and went, look, Sammy. <laughs> I went, look oh, you I've look done. cute. <laughs> I said, does that look yeah, right? I said, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, but look at me shading. Look yeah, that shading. was the thing. Because he'd not actually even seen the stamps. But you can see there now. Yeah, that's that well cool. Hat, and once that settles. Yes. That'll You're be there. That. And it's got that but lovely I finish. I feel clever. Yay! You and it's the first it. time with pens <laughs> that I feel <laughs> clever. And it's not me, it's the product. Because yeah. to me, it always should be. Yeah, absolutely. It should be the product that does it, not yeah. you. And I think the way they're educating you as well, which is amazing. OK, it is the end of the hour. Um, that price is going to go up at 6 o'clock and it's going to go up by a lot. So please check your baskets out. Thank you, lovely John. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Coming up next, we've got Easy Quilting. We've then got your Fabric Freedom One Day Special. And then I'm so excited about this um, Punjaba. I hope I've said it right. Authentic curry basis. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hello there and welcome back. Oh my goodness, have you seen this price? It's getting bigger by the hour and there is so much 
Of course, this is our event. This is where you are placing your orders to find yourself in a prize draw. And one lucky person is going to win all of this. There's so much here. It's even stacked up behind as well. There's loads, absolutely loads. And during every single one of our live soft craft show, we are adding in an additional gift to that prize draw. And this hour, we have got, well, more than one item because you've got a whole bundle of fabulous patterns. And these are brilliant patterns for all sorts of different projects and occasions. So you've got a little bit of dress nakedness and fabulous little aprons, as you can see. Love these home decor items. Absolutely loads within these. Those look like fun, don't they? You'll be getting loads of people asking for those. And again, that is one of our favourites here. We do like that one. Absolutely adorable. Bags in there as well. All sorts of fabulous projects. And these are all patterns put into the prize roll by the fabulous company of Simplicity. So if you fancy getting involved, how do you get involved? Well, it couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is place an order. Place an order for anything during the next hour or any of our live soft craft shows and uh, you'll find yourself in that prize draw. Um, place more orders, get more entries. Absolutely brilliant. So it is worth looking onto the website to see if there's anything there that we can tempt you with during this hour. There's all sorts on there. Have a look. We've got the most incredible quilting rulers during this hour. Fabulous Jenny Raymond's joining me to explain many of those to you. We've also got some incredible vintage style storage, which I'm very much looking forward to sharing with you. And some amazing stencils that you're going to be able to use over and over again. Absolutely perfect to work with your strip rolls or your jelly rolls. But you can see those vintage drawstring bags there. Absolutely brilliant way of storing all sorts. And I love that almost like stationary bundle that you've got there that could go on your desktop as well. There are some really fabulous phrases featuring with these. So any of those goodies pop them into your basket check your basket out and you'll find yourself in that prize draw and then join us tomorrow during our four o'clock show we will be drawing out one name one name to win all of those fabulous items there I just wish it could be us. Um, I do, this is the thing, I wish it was me, but Jenny, I bet you wish it was you I as well. I wish it was me too. <laughs> I really do. Mind you, I have no house at the moment to put it in. Oh, so, no. Uh, well, I have no, no floor downstairs and everything is upstairs, so the oh. house is in a terrible pickle. Oh, dear. And it would be awful to have all those things. Think, where are we going to put them? That's <gasps> the thing. You can have to clear a space if we could. <laughs> Your name gets uh, pulled out. The next phone call will be to the builder, won't it, for the extension on the house. But anyway... Place your order during this night, you'll find yourself in that prize draw. Now, talking of getting yourself organised, um, then it might be that you fancy getting hold of this fabulous bundle of drawstring bags. I love these. The style of these, Jenny, and it's, I love it. It's classic. Yes, it's wonderful. It's classic. It's the 50s. It's that age of elegance. It's that lovely waisted lady and the skirt that you know is going to swirl round. And you've got the laundry bag there. And I love the slogan. It's <laughs> OK if you don't like me. Not everyone has good exactly. taste. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I love that. You're so right. I mean, these are classic styles that we see so often on the um, pattern envelopes, isn't it, from totally. simplicity? 100%. And you know, it's, it's a thing that you would give us a gift. Now, this is a wonderful gift because there's so many people you just don't know what to do with. And a laundry bag, actually, although it's rather, rather prosaic, is extremely useful. <laughs> because who wants all their dirty washing hanging around in public Definitely. when you can put it in that? We can put all of lots in there. We've actually got balls of yarn in ours. I love this one. Um, I do a thing called What I Want. Oh, you can almost uh, imagine the, the sassy um, look with regards to that one. Adorable little bag, as you can see. And then the cutest little bag down at the front of here, which I love that. Um, uh, why is being this fabulous so hard? Well, this is a thing. Fabulous phrases, fabulous content with regards to these. And fabulously possible. Um, po uh, no, try again. Popular as well. £14.97 will get you all of these. But please be aware, a quarter of the stock has already gone. So the details are on your screen if you're wanting to get involved. 843455. I've uh, only got Jenny with us for this hour. Um, but Jenny's going to be taking us through uh, kind of the bases with some of these quilting rulers that we've got as well. But let me tempt you with another way of getting yourself organised as well. Because keeping that vintage theme going we've got this fabulous stationery bundle and if you thought those little comments that we saw on the bags were brilliant then these are even better you've got your little sticky note um well it could be sticky notes that you've got and there's just a note block which of course you can pick up very affordably and i love this please take note i'm amazing simple <laughs> as love it 
absolutely brilliant. So you can see that obviously you've got your storage in there as well. And I love that. Today's agenda, one wake up, two be fabulous. And this is what we need. We need Don't a good we? Time. We've been through 18 months of gloom, doom, dire and despondency. Let's have something. Why can't we wake up and let's be fabulous? Exactly, Jenny. Exactly. And all you've got in here is all sorts of different elements. So perfect if you've got by the phone, you could be taking notes. But these are brilliant because you've got your notebook with this one, which I think this is brilliant. For keeping notes for projects or yes, brainstorming yes, yes, or planning, like brilliant idea. And just idea. An, another nice note. And, and then you've also got the folder to put all your files in and not in line loaded desk. This is just something rather nice to have. It's a treat. Why not treat yourself to something essentially feminine, essentially fabulous, because you're fabulous. Exactly. Now this is something that you could be using, things like your magazines. I mean, so many of us um, have magazines or patterns, things like that you could be popping in here as well. And again, we've got a lovely little phrase. What's the phrase on this one? Oh, again there, wake up and be fabulous, just in case you need another reminder. Um, you've got £15 saving with this one. All of these elements come to you for just £24.98. 728267 being that item number. So make sure you are popping that one into your basket and you will be fabulous alongside our wonderful ladies that we've got here so if you fancy getting hold of yours please do so but if you like the style of all of the items that we're bringing to you you're gonna love this one because this one's got practical applications as well these are brilliant now oh my goodness I don't know where to start with these. Love the little case that we've got here, the needle case. I mean, this is a classic yes. little style. And we do need a needle case. You don't want to leave your needles lying around, please. Adorable. You can see you've got your little popper on there as well. There's room there, so if you did want to actually embroider this in some way, you can do, because, of course, you can work your way through there. But a brilliant way for you to actually keep your needles, your pins, whatever you need to, out of harm's way, tucked away in there. Talking of which, have you seen these? These elements that are going to work with it. We've got fabulous pens as well. But this measuring tape, I love this. That is a classic style. Look at it. It's like almost padded. Yes. And then, of course... Look at that. Oh, it's my goodness. It's really luxurious. Set. But coming back to the needle case, that's ideal to have pack in your travelling things. Absolutely you can brilliant. put a few pins and needles in that when you go travelling. And, you know, it's a good point. Actually, it would fit in there quite nicely, wouldn't it, if you wanted to make a pocket. Absolutely beautiful with regards to the style of that one. That is going to be something that you're going to find envy, sewing envy from people who see you working with that and of course you can pull it out and it will retract when you just press in the middle there it will bring it back in again there so that is a lovely little idea. Pins, oh, these are beautiful, these are absolutely incredible, bejeweled if I may say so. <laughs> Bedazzled, yes. you're fabulous with your pins. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. So, of course, you could be using these when you're creating something fabulous. So, um, straight away, as soon as you start putting those pins in place, you're going to be getting that feel, aren't you, of that fabulousness. But then you've got the most amazing ribbon to work alongside these. These are beautiful. I love the little spools that you've got on yes, these. Yes, absolutely delightful. That Again, another gift. You know, you keep the pins yourself, you keep the needle case, you keep the tape measure, and there you have a delightful stocking gift or something. That's it. And or you're getting a stuff. lot of those um, um, ribbons there as well. Absolutely beautiful. But something else, I love these, and I think this is such a lovely idea. When you take the time and trouble to create something, be proud of it. Pop one of these little phrases um, in the back um, where you'd normally be finding it. You've got four in there. Um, brilliant idea. Just handmade. Just is handmade. Yes. And it should do. You, need, you should be proud of it. I present it like that. I think this is absolutely wonderful. See, now we're going to be able to go and see more people. Why not take your best friend a small gift? Oh, that's a nice idea. So you could go and yeah. see five best friends with those and give each of them a small gift. Certainly and could. Maybe and buy two and keep one set for yourself. And very affordable. Away. I mean, if there's something in there that takes your fancy for you to be using, whether it's the tape measure, whether it's the little needle case, but think about the others potentially as Secret Santas because that's going to be here before we know it. Um, at £14.49 and pence for all of these items coming together, I think a very affordable bundle and a brilliant gift for somebody as well. £10 saving on that one, so definitely one to take advantage of. 646149 if you fancy that one. We're keeping that vintage theme going with the next bundle. This works beautifully alongside the station we saw a few moments ago. But this time we are looking at kind of more sewing themed, maybe. I mean, it doesn't have to be sewing stuff that you put in these. Love the little hat box. That is brilliant. Yeah, absolutely delightful, that. You probably wouldn't have a hat quite that small, but just think <laughs> of the true. things you could put in it. 
adorable. I love that. It could be your bobbins. It could be your spools. It could be a sewing ba um, box that you're making. I mean, you could actually take some of those elements that we've just seen and pop them in there very, very easily and turn that almost into a little sewing box, couldn't you, if you wanted to? And what a nice thing for a sort of young girl. Well, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So open it up and there inside it's a good some idea. a little needle case. That's your own little sewing box. Very good idea. I like that one. Or maybe you will be giving um, that person this particular box, which I love the idea of this one because it actually opens like a book. That's rather nice. Isn't it just? You can play around with this one as well. I know we see many crafters who get involved with kind of the, the sewing theme. Well, then you're opening that one up. You could almost be putting little shelves in there, couldn't you? Turn it into a little shadow box if you wanted to. Or maybe, I mean, I've got a feeling it's going to be a good size for those paper patterns we were looking at a few moments ago. So maybe you're building up a stash of your paper patterns. Yes. They're going to sit yep, in I there. I think they'd sit um, a treat. I think they would, yeah. Fit in there a treat. So there you go. £19.97 will get you those, but it doesn't stop there because you're getting your tin as well. And this is brilliant and this is the kind of thing that I always think of memories of yes. Mrs Morgan who it was my first influence for so my mum there was always a button box wasn't there yes oh, and or a tin of tins as well yes absolutely beautiful again classic style as you can see on the front there and then a beautiful polka dot signage going all the way around there really good size and again classic for you to be putting anything that you want to in there as storage beautiful set and absolutely phenomenal price you're saving nine pounds overall with those and it's a classic look even if you don't want to use them for anything to do with sewing, they just look amazing. Simplicity is one of those names that so many people know. So 697053 if you're wanting to get hold of that one. I think I've got to give you an update on something. Ooh, what do I need to update on? Oh, the drawstring bags, yes. My goodness, you've been loving those. Two-thirds of the stock has gone, my goodness. Now, something I should have mentioned at the top of the hour, which I completely forgot to mention, when they've gone, they've gone. So that's where you're going to be running for the phone lines, jumping on the website, because when they sell out, that's it. We can't bring you any more of those. But over 70% of the stock has gone. I will keep you updated, as you know I will, but you need to get in early. Um, 843 455 if you're wanting those. Especially if you're thinking about going for multiples of those, maybe for your gifts or maybe because you've got loads of different applications in your own home. But what about practical tools to help you on your way? We have got an amazing bundle for you. So here, you've got the details on your screen for you. Now, I've only got part of the bundle here. This is kind of half of the bundle here. But we have got a picture to show you the other half because with this one, you're going to get your triangle, but you're also going to get your diamond, your 45-degree diamond there. Of course, all the different sizes um, on there, £11.98. Now, Jenny, you've got the diamond I've over there. I've got the diamond here. And in actual fact, there's a quilt behind me that uses both of them. And the orange and red quilt behind me uses the diamond for here oh, and yes. the triangle for there. Oh, okay, right. Now, you may remember, those of you who perhaps watched the 10 o'clock show, is that I use the 45 degree diamond to cut a 45 degree edge on my fabric so that I could make the blazing Lone Star, eight-pointed star, call it what you will. So the 45-degree the diamond is really useful for getting that angle accurate, not getting it muddled up with a 60 or any of the other uh, degree lines you might get it muddled up with. So that is great for that. And indeed, the other template, as I say, does a really useful block called Kaleidoscope, but it can indeed be used as a border. And down the edge of the strippy stripy story quilt, mm -hmm. I have used the 45-degree triangle as a border so you can use it for a design you can use it for a block you can also use it as a board and tell you what it makes great bunting absolutely amazing there you go so very useful tool to have in your stash if you want to take advantage of it and take advantage of that five pound saving then the details are there on your screen eight um, five six seven nine one and don't forget with your quilting rulers as long as you look after them you can get a lifetime's um, worth of fabulous um, quilting experience with these just look after them it stands a chance of losing them if you're anything like me but that's potentially the only way that you'd need to get another one <laughs> details on your screen there eleven pounds and ninety eight pence eight five six seven nine one if you wanted to get hold of them now, I know one of the very popular designs is kind of seeing curves in projects. And that's why having the right tool for the job, again, is key. The double wedding ring, always a popular look, this one, isn't it? Do you it? know what won the com contemporary quilt section at Festival Quilts? 
I don't, but I'm the guessing. The double wedding ring really? quilt. Um, I, Classic. Uh, she should be nameless, but her quilt was a king, super king size bed. She'd used the classic double wedding ring, and she won Festival of Quilts Contemporary Prize. So whether it was a, a traditional design, there were reasons why it was contemporary, but there you go, you see. So you buy the templates, and you could possibly be the Festival of Quilts winner. You never know. And it makes life easier. That is the key thing, because you've got the tool that's giving you the uniformity with your shapes. I'll just flip this around very quickly, because it'll explain how it works, because you'll kind of see the breakdown of the different parts. This is the thing. You don't need to be an expert. You can see you've got the guidelines there. Easy quilting is exactly what it says on the title there, making it easy for you to get all of your components together. So whether it's the outside of your ring or whether it's the center that you're creating, everything comes together absolutely perfectly. So if you've looked at those designs and you thought oh that's way too complicated for me to tackle it potentially isn't all you need is the passion to have a go at it and the right tools to get you there that is the key thing and the right tools will have the right measurements the right arc on there as well to make sure that it all comes together so well now that is um is it just by itself that particular one all, the, all three of these my yeah, you get goodness the whole lot, you get the four you get three different ways of making the classic arc that fits around the center block Ah, so, so here you go, the you diamond the centre. Yes, of course. So the diamond centre, again, the diamond centre will mean that you've got different angles that you need to obviously surround. So you've got everything in there, as you can see. And the final one, if you are into your little triangles, then this one is the perfect one to show you how you can create that as well. Almost looks like an eye with eyelashes. Yes. So twenty-four pounds and ninety-seven pence. That is a phenomenal price bundle. I think it's extremely good. So you've got pickle dish jubilee and the, the wedding ring, and they all use the main part of the wedding ring template. So you've got the three different arcs there. You could mix and match, and you know you could have an even better quilt. You have loads winner. of fun with these. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of these, then note the details there. My top tip was maybe bit something like one of the storage tins because you can keep everything together then, can't you? Remembering what goes with what is one of the key things and that's why you've got everything detailed within your instructions of these but also the ability to store them during this show as well. 112892 if you fancy getting hold of this one, you're saving £17, bringing it down to just £24.97. and pence. What else can I tempt you with? Oh my goodness, we have got so much. Got one day special launching um, in about 45 minutes with lots of strip rolls in there. So if you're wanting to work with your strip rolls, your jelly rolls, then an acrylic template bundle is the perfect way to do so. It means that you can maximise them and get so much use out of them and loads of ideas and inspiration. So if you fancy this particular bundle, 847342, Brilliant combination and a brilliant saving with these ones, £17.97 for those. Now, a bit of an update for you folks. Um, those drawstring bags, oh, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh my goodness, I have quite a good reason to be nervous. 80% of the stock has gone. It's only a little after quarter past the hour. So if you're wanting those bags, um, you need to be quick. Grab them while you can. You might not have the opportunity if you're leaving it to the end of the hour. Pretty conf confident that you won't, to be fair. So 843455. And if you have just joined us, these are the fabulous bags that we're talking about. But it's while we've got the stock available. We're not going to have any further beyond the stock that we've got already. So once it's gone, it has gone. You're going to get your larger bag here. You're going to get your medium size and then your smaller one down at the front, which, to be honest, all of them are considerable sizes. And at £14.97, an absolute bargain. 843455. Four five five. If you fancy getting hold of those, so Jenny, you've got an empty work area I've there. Got an empty work area. Shall I'm we just do something about that? What to do? I'll tell you something. We've just shown the jelly roll template on there. You have indeed. Guess who's got a jelly roll design roll coming yes. up? Six o'clock this evening. Six o'clock. Yeah, the evening. one day there special. Is, We've yes, got all sorts coming up. Our, our Sasha is over there. So you might want to consider getting this ruler to help you with those jelly design rolls, strip rolls, call them what you will. Uh, this particular ruler, actually being uh, sensible about it, is multifunctional. Uh, it works with your jelly rolls. The lines on the ruler correspond with various sizes of jelly roll you can cut. Not only does it work with your jelly rolls, it works with your charm packs, which are five inch squares. It also works with your layer cakes, which are 10 inch squares, because this ruler is 10 by five. And it works with something called honey buns. I don't think we get honey buns that often over here, but it's an American term, and they are one and a half inch strips. So when you look at it, you've got your one and a half inch square, you've got your two and a half inch square, you've got your five inch square, 
uh, the various strips that are up here. You've got one and a half inch strip, you've got two and a half inch strip. So the ruler relates to design rules, jelly rolls, call them what you will. Uh, it relates to your charm packs and it relates to your layer cakes. So anybody having any of those, this is good. And in any case, it's just a rotary cutting ruler. Mine's been used an awful lot because it's a great ruler to take to class. It's got all the measurements on it. It's got your half inches. It's got your quarter inches. It's got the measurements down the side. So as a multi little ruler, this one's great. And it comes with the circles. Uh, we need circles. One of the things in this life is circles. And let me tell you, if the center of your design, if it's meant to be a circle, if it's not circular, the design will look awful because the brain sees the center. The brain sees a nice circle in the middle, then it assumes that everything else is okay. The second it spots the center and your center is off, then the brain looks for more faults. So when you're going to do a circle, you need a circle. The templates that come with a jelly roll will give you a whole selection of different sized circles. Now, you might be using this as a stencil. The children could draw around it. So you could even paint through it. So you don't just see them as being something for patchwork and fabric. This could be a stencil. You could draw around it. You could even paint through it. It's bendable. It's washable. It's wipeable, etc., etc. So think bubbles in the bathroom. Maybe you want to draw a drawing of a fish and you could do some bubbles. You've got the different sizes there. Very frequently, the larger circles will be used for something like a Suffolk puff, which is also called a yo-yo. And if you are going to do a Suffolk puff or a yo-yo, it will be extremely simple to do. So allow me to get my Suffolk puffs and my yo-yos out. To imagine, just while you're doing that, Jenny, can I just mention, I mean, with this one, you get them all together. You can see here you're going to get that acrylic um, ruler with so many markings on there that's so incredibly useful. And as Jenny quite rightly said, if you're off on your travels, nice one to take, nice size with you. And then, of course, all your circles featuring here. All of that for £17.97. That's jolly good value. I think it's an extremely good price. Right. A Suffolk puff is usually sewn by hand. In fact, it's always sewn by hand. You can't do it on the machine. Top tip about when it comes to threading a needle. First of all, the thread as it comes off the reel, it's the end as it comes off the reel that goes through the eye of the needle. You don't do what we all tend to do, is you measure off a length, and sometimes it's a lazy man load, which is far too long. You cut the thread, and you then turn it round and you put the cut in through the needle. If you do that, you're working against the twist. Oh, okay. Technically, you are supposed to sew with the thread as it comes off the reel in that direction. So grab the end, cut the thread at a 45 degree angle, so you've got a nice sharp point on it. Apropos the needle eye, and the same trick works with sewing machines, is if you moisten the needle eye, don't moisten the thread, because if you moisten the thread, it swells. When it comes to moistening the needle eye, the sensible way to do it is to moisten your finger and thumb and put some moisten, moisture on the needle. The other way that I tend to do it, and this is not to be done when there are any children around, is just put the end in my mouth. Okay. And only do that when you are sensible enough not to put the sharp end in your mouth. Um, but it is best just to moisten it. And then when you've moistened it, provided you can see it, the thread will go straight through. Top tips there. Top tips. Right, so I threaded my needle for my Suffolk puff just cut a bit length of thread off. When doing something like this, I tend to sew with double thread, which does mean one of the lines is going to be going the wrong way. But for any thread that you are going to use, any sewing you're going to use a single thread for, please take the thread off the reel with the leading edge going through the eye of the needle. Right, a knot. Okay, I'm going to do that size suffer puff. So pop it on the fabric, find the pen, which has gone walk about, who's nicked my pen? There it is. On the back of the fabric, just draw around. Does it matter what type of pen you work with? Because I know lots of us use heat erasable pens. Does it matter? Not really, because I'm going to I'm going to cut it That's out on that line. edge. Okay. Now you have a choice. You could either cut it out on that edge, or you could actually sew on that edge for your quarter of an inch. I'm just going to cut mine out on that edge. Okay. So all the way around. Now, a Suffolk puff is also called a yo-yo. Uh, there are very many, well, they're not very many, but there are quite a lot of terms that this side of the water mean one thing and are completely different the other side of the water. For instance, basting. Basting in the States and in Canada actually means uh, doing a long stitch. Basting over here means doing a long stitch, but tacking in America does not mean doing a long stitch. Okay. It actually means stitching on the spot. Ah. 
So to make herself a puff or a yo-yo, you take your circle. Now you have a choice. You can either turn the raw edge under or you can literally leave the raw edge. Many people will turn the raw edge under, but if you're going to leave the raw edge, it means that you're going to have a problem with that center. But ah. you could cover it up by putting another one on top, upside Good tip. down. Yes. Or, of course, you could use it that way up. So if I'm going to do a Suffolk puff, I will make sure my thread knot is on the inside and just work your way around with big stitches. Don't do two tiny ones. The reason for that, if you do tiny ones, you get a much bigger hole in the middle. So ah, okay. reasonably sized stitches. See, it automatically think, or do it really tiny, no. and then you're going to get all those no, you want tiny little kind stitches. of uh, pleats in there. So you're kind of turning at the same time, I'm turning stitching, the edge through. And stitching through. If you wanted to, you could have drawn the line on the outside of the fabric and then folded it on the drawn line. But Suffolk puffs can be fairly free. And what sort of scenario would we use a Suffolk oh, puff in? Oh, hang on a minute. Let me get to the end of that. You can put a Suffolk puff anywhere your little heart desireth. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, people make clothing out of Suffolk puffs, oh. quilts out of Suffolk puffs. Uh, you can make brooches. Oh, okay. uh, things to go in your hair. You can put them in a variety of places. And then you want to finish off on the outside. So I've started on the inside, finished off on the outside. Turn it right side out, let me cut the end of my thread off and just literally pull it up. Oh, okay. Now, had you done an awful lot of little gathers, you'd have got far more folds in the centre here. Ah, okay. So if you do bigger stitches, you get less folds and then all you do is cast off. And I tend to cast off, finish off by going into the work and then just back and forth through the edge. So we don't need to pad it out with anything. The fabric itself is sufficient. Ah, if you wanted to, you could pad it out. There's no oh, reason okay. why your Suffolk puff can't have a bit of wadding inside. So I've got one there where I put some wadding inside. So that's a stuffed oh, one. Oh, okay. Uh, there are three stitched together with a little one in the middle. Oh, you good. can do them any size you like. People stitch them together and make them into quilts, all sorts of things. You, you could put a little button in the middle. Nice you idea. could, if you wanted to, make a Christmas decoration. Let's find the ones for a Christmas decoration. Suppose we had four. And then if I have another, let's have two there and one different okay. one in the middle. And we'll see. And I can then put... Uh, oh, I can see where we're going with this one. That one. And then, you see, I could have a, a yellow one on the top as the star. Or Fabulous. another green one there. So you've got a Christmas tree. And I you could just it. stick that down and give it a trunk. Job done. Or you could sew it together. And of course, if you sew it together, you're going to get light shining through the spaces in between. Yes. The Suffolk Puff. It's ubiquitous thing. It's a joke in the patchwork world. Everybody laughs. Hey, 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 you can put a Suffolk Puff on it. But actually, they have their uses and they have their place. I have a feeling they're kind of the equivalent of a butterfly in the paper crafting world. Because if you Correct. make a boo-boo, we often say, just stick a butterfly yes. on it. So yes. it's pretty much the same with the sewing world. So brilliant. And of course, the beauty is the template. You've got so many different you've size so many circles. You different can make different sizes. And then you've got your circles for everything else. So, I mean, I have so many the quilts that are on the wall over there have got circles on them and or I use a quarter circle in which case you can cut out one of those chop it into four quarter circle brilliant idea um, and it's such an affordable way for you to get so many because you've got the template there with them the stencil as you heard from Jenny you don't have to just limit it to your soft crash you can use it with your paper crafting as well and of course you can ink through it stencil through it draw through it do all the different um, things that you would want to do with a regular stencil but in addition to those two stencils you are also getting your easy jelly roll um, strip um, template as you can see there as well £17.97, and as we've mentioned, we've got one day special coming up in about half an hour's time with a whole range of different fabulous strip rolls that I've got a feeling that you will want to take advantage of. Rapidly approaching 30% of the stock has gone, so this is the hour for you to invest in this one, but make sure you stay tuned at 6 o'clock to get hold of your fabric to work with them. And of course, your strip rolls being two and a half inches, you'll be able to utilise some of these circles in there as well, maybe to make some of your stuff at post, maybe with those little bits that are left over. You could do that quite easy, couldn't you? Um, 847342 if you're wanting those. Now, those drawstring bags that we mentioned to you at the top of the hour, got a little bit of news with regards to those. So they are now rapidly approaching limited stock. So if you're wanting to take advantage of those, if you joined us at the top of the hour, you will have seen these. These are fabulous drawstring bags. They've got some really cute sayings on them. They are brilliant size-wise. I mean, that is the largest one that you've got, and you're going to be um, buying all four of these for, sorry, all three of these for 14 .97. So you've got a huge one there, perfect for your laundry. The medium size one, 
is this one here and they've got all of that gorgeous signage on there it's kind of classic simplicity isn't it just notice the fabrics in the back drop there you kind of got your pattern piece as well i didn't notice that one before that's the medium size one and your little one here is this fabulous little one that you've got here and each and every one of them have got a fabulous phrase on there drawstring bags incredibly useful and very popular when they've gone they've gone though so if you do like the look of them you need to be getting hold of them and checking your baskets out straight away because you could miss out on those they're nice aren't those jenny you could, couldn't you? Yes. yes yeah. Um, and certainly that the the, the medium sized one is technically a shoe bag. And yes, again, we are going to be going travelling and wouldn't it be nice to put your best pair of shoes in a bag like that? Nice idea. So when you get to the hotel yeah. you can hang them up and you'll just feel the real lady. Definitely. And also projects as well. I mean, so many of us are into our knitting and sewing. I mean, you could quite easily use this as a project bag if you're into your crochet or maybe if you're wanting to put your crochet yarn in there to keep it away from a cat. Good thinking. You could actually pass your thread through from your yarn, feed it through there, and then you know that you can just kind of decant the, uh, the yarn as you need it. Love it. Fabulous set of three there. Amazing price, fourteen ninety seven. But you have to be quick if you want them. The details are there, eight four three four five five. But we will lose those before the end of the hour. I'm pretty confident to that one because um, yeah, you have got to get when you can, and that's the key thing. Now, something else that you might like to add into your basket alongside those drawstring bags are some stationery. Now, the stationery bundle is brilliant. It works alongside some of the other things that we've got for you as well. So with this one, you've got a fabulous project book, which is brilliant. You've got some amazing designs on there, and with this one. When you open it up, you'll see that on each of those pages, you've got your lined pages, but you've got your classic iconic images running through there as well. So perfect if you're wanting to kind of keep a note of different things that you're needing, whether you're needing your haberdashery for a particular project, you want to keep a little swatch of the fabric in there, then you can do that quite easy. In addition to this, you've got some desktop elements that are going to be so useful. Um, if you've got one of those note blocks, oh, well, there you go, that will fit in there perfectly. Classic size, as you can see there. And again, a fabulous little comment on the side. Please take note I am amazing this one is brilliant for your pencils or your per, um, pens or maybe your quilting tools it could be that you're throwing your bobbins in there your spools it can hold whatever you like but it's incredibly sturdy that's the thing with this one and again that one's got a fabulous phrase there today's agenda one wake up to be fabulous um, and then you've got your letter tray which again this is a brilliant one if you're wanting to lay out different elements if you just want to keep your post in it in one place when it arrives then you can do again that polka dot sign you need to go right the way through there. Final element is your fabulous um, kind of box file. Open box files are perfect for things like magazines and patterns. And again, just that brilliant classic look with that polka dot element running right the way through. 728267, just £24.98. You'd love to get hold of that one. Then the details are there. Now, it was only a matter of time. Only a matter of time before I gave you our first sellout of the hour. No prizes for guessing. It's the drawstring bag set. So, yeah, thank you to everybody that took advantage. Usually at this stage, I'd say keep a note of that item number and then we can see them back, but I don't think we're going to, so I'm not going to say it. But there we go. So, uh, yeah, so um, brilliant. Glad you got hold of those ones. Now, more vintage start with the next bundle. And this is a lovely one because here, oh, we've actually got two sets. Um, we've got the haberdashery bundle. The haberdashery bundle has been a very popular one as well. Um, it's just £14.49 and pence, and it's got the fundamentals that you need. You're going to need a needle case, and I love this. It's kind of got that f um, classic faux leather look to it. Brilliant. The, the little, uh, this is so clever, the tape measure. This is such a classic look. I mean, there you go. Amazing. It's actually padded. It's got a little case around it. But when you pull your tape measure out, which you can do, and incidentally it's metric as well as imperial, you've got a little button that's tucked away inside there. All you need to do is press that and it will retract like so. Beautiful style with that one. In addition to that one, you've got the most incredible long pins with these, with these gorgeous jewel-like heads to them. So those are brilliant for you to work with. Where you're using them in a practical way of cutting out your patterns or you're using them in a decorative element, I'd be tempted to use them as decorative. And then you've got the most incredible ribbon. Three different styles on there. Lovely satin look to it, as you can see there. And you're getting loads in there, as well as your fabulous little handmade tags. You're going to get four of those in that pack. £14.40. Pence, whether you're buying for yourself or buying as a gift or you're keeping some elephants, ele elephants, elements for yourself. <laughs> 
Just be careful where you store those elephants when you do get them. There's no elephants in this part. Uh, but the details are there on your screen if you want to get 646149. 14 pounds and 49 pence. Now, another fabulous bundle that you've been loving is this next one that we've got here. Very similar in style to the station we saw a few moments ago. Lots of polka dots going on with this one. This one, classic style if you're wanting to put your pattern envelopes in there. So brilliant if you are getting yourself organised with your patterns. Um, fabulous boxy. If you've got a very little elephant, you might be able to fit it in that particular one, um, which is a classic style box, as you can see. And then a fabulous tin as well. Um, so uh, it's £19.97 pence for all three of those absolutely amazing but i don't know about you but i want to get back and see what jenny's got planned for us because we've got rulers on the show as well so if you're wanting any of the items that i've shared with you already um, then please do so but the details for that particular bundle 697053 so jenny right. what we're we doing next that i will show the 45 degree triangle oh okay that i've used as the board around the strippy stripy story quilt behind me and is really very good for creating bunting uh, if you're going to use bunting, you literally just cut around it, and there is your bunting. Um, I'm going to do it to do the classic kaleidoscope block, which is a block made up of eight of these sections. Now, because it's 45 degrees, eight of them will actually make a circle. Now, top tip is decide on how big um, a design, a block you want. As with all these things, they are multi uh, multi-sized and the measurements are written very clearly if I turned it up the right way you'll be able to see them down the lines along here you select a measurement and cut a strip that width I've gone for four and a half inches this is going to make a block about eight inches wide from side to side so I've taken two strips of four and a half inches laid them right sides together I will cut just to demonstrate cutting the end off so place the template on the fabrics and then trim to the edge of the template. Flip the fabrics over. Um, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to bring the template in from the left, place it on the fabric, aligning the blunt end of the template, and no, it hasn't broken, uh, with one side of the fabric and the four and a half inch line with the other. Guard off your rotary cutter and simply cut up the edge of the template. It's a nice shape to hold, it won't slip. Now, don't do anything with the template, just simply flip the fabric over, replace the template, and cut again. And to make one kaleidoscope block, you are going to need four of these. So flip it over again, and cut. If you're left-handed, you simply reverse the process. So if you're left-handed, you do it with this hand, uh, that, sorry, with that, that hand there, let's get it round the right way. Mm. Trying to do it with my left hand at this time of night. Oh, you are ambitious and doing that. I wouldn't even attempt that, Jenny. All right, and that's how your left hand <laughs> would go. All righty, and then you flip it over and you work it in the other direction. Do you need to consider if the fabric's directional at all, um, um, Jenny? This, this would be quite good, actually. If you could actually fussy cut and tell you something, that fabric we had earlier, you could, and I was going to fussy cut it, but I just Ooh, didn't have look the time. At this. Think of the pomegranates because you could fussy cut that. And the nice thing about this template is that you can see through and you could position it exactly in the right place. Ah. Incidentally, yours will come without red marks on. I have realized over the years that if I don't mark my templates and I've got a class, they vanish. <laughs> okay, it's easily done. Yeah, they all very much look like each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, keep your sets of two. Don't split them. And we're going to sew down the same side of all four sets. Now, I found it was easier to actually start on the outside and sew towards that end so flip it over and you're going to do exactly the same thing down all the same side of all of the sets right so straight down the side pick up the next lot flip it over make sure it looks the same as the first one if you don't do these things systematically they won't fit you'll soon find out so it's not exactly difficult and you could be using a whole heap of different colours. You don't have to use just two. You could use have a rainbow. But the template works very simply. That's it. Make sure get the right one. Trust I've got it right. And I'm chain piecing, which means I'm sewing one after the other, after the other, after the other. And then at the end, onto the inevitable donkey. The little strip connects one lot of stitching to the other. 
And if we open it out, you then get two sections. Now, in an ideal world, I would then press this. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to finger press it. Another one goes there. And because I was fairly systematic for once in my life, you've actually gained a little Look at that. Fit. That looks amazing. So take these two, put them right sides together, press the seam open and flat. And by pressing, I mean press. Don't iron it because it's slightly cut on the bias and it will stretch. Finger pressing is often the best thing to do. Oh, Just okay. sort of open it up. Good tip again. There's quite a nice, if you, um, in one of the uh, hardware stores, there's a wallpaper roller that's fairly inexpensive, ah. that's pretty good for pressing a seam. But get a special one for your fabrics. Don't use the same one that Correct. you use for your wallpaper. <laughs> your top tip, that, Hayley. Yes, like have one that's that. yours and yours only. Right, now, I've started on the outside and I'm sewing towards the inside. Why, you might ask. The reason Why for that is... Why are you sewing from the outside to the inside, ah, Jenny? Because I'm actually starting on a thinner layer and sewing off a thicker one. Ah, OK. And you see, if you start in the centre and sew out, sometimes the presser foot chews up a thicker layer. True. But if you start on the outside and sew onto a thick layer, it doesn't chew it up so much. So we then put those two together. So I'm going to go in this direction. It also gives me a chance to jiggle my seams because they're still free. So as I sew down, I can just check that these are married up. You and, jiggle away, Jenny. Jiggle away. It's got a bit of a phrase away. to it, that, hasn't it? <laughs> so, Jenny, I, don't, I know, I mean, we know that you are synonymous with quilting and sewing, and, yes. uh, and you've been... Obviously, you're one of those names that we know. I'm going to be polite doing it for years, yes. No, I don't think I've ever asked you, how did you get into sewing in the first place? Oh. I mean, was it a relative, a friend? No, it was my son's newspapers. Your son's? Newspapers. New newspapers? Yes. He was um, feeling idle that morning, age 14. He had a free new newspaper round, and it was raining. And the child said, Mother, I don't wish to do it this morning. I'm feeling poorly. Would you do it for me? So, Mother for some strange reason, said yes. So I plodded around the neighbourhood, delivering this free newspaper in the pouring rain, and got to one house at the end, and the, there was no letterbox. I banged rather crossly on the door. I should imagine at this point yes, you would be I'd, I'd had enough. My good <laughs> deed was, you know, he was, I was going to dock his pocket money for weeks now. <laughs> um, and this lady opened, opened the door with an arm full of fabric. So I said, oh, that's interesting, what are you doing? I was being polite, you see. Um, and she explained she did patchwork, and I said, oh, she said, come and have a look. So I went in, and I saw what she did, and that was it. Oh, wow. And totally and utterly fell in love. So it's a, ch a chance encounter, or totally, almost, Totally, totally. I mean, wow. I, I had sewn when I was about six, and I, in fact, I got thrown out of domestic science, um, so, uh, because I dared argue with the teacher about the freshness of the eggs. Okay, um, <laughs> fair enough, then. That's I another the... story for another day. <laughs> anyway, so when you stitch your two halves together, you should, with luck, have a seam allowance at the top of the points, between the top of the points and the edge of the fabric. And you simply put the two halves together, which is going to give you this. That looks beautiful. Once you've got this design, you have a choice. It's an octagon. You could ah. choose to have the red oak apple going that way, or you could have the other one ah, going yes. like that. And you simply finish it off by adding half square triangles to whichever relevant corners you desire. You put one on right. there, and one on there, and one on there. And then you square the block off. And that is a classic kaleidoscope block. And if you put those blocks together, you will get a myriad of patterns. Beautiful. So it's Jenny, a simple thank template. you so much. I love it. So there you go. And this is where it all comes together. So any of those quilting rulers that you're investing in, Further down the road, further down your journey, you will find a reason for using these alongside other things. So, perfect opportunity for you to get hold of these. Pairing of the two together, so you've got your triangle, as you can see there, and naturally you've got your diamond there, which obviously is made up of your two of your triangles there, but it's just nice and easy because they're all together. £11.98 if you're wanting those ones, 856791. I've got a little bit of tickle brewing. Can I just clear my... <coughs> Sorry. I'm just going to have a quick sweep. Right, we're all right. <laughs> I was quick, I was quick. So yes, if you want in any of your templates, this is the hour to do so. And don't forget, anything you place in your order for during this hour, you will still gain entry to our prize draw. And it might be this set that you're going for. This is a really good value bundle. Now, 
The bundle that we've got here, again, when it's gone, it's gone. So the thing is, you need to take advantage when you've got the opportunity. Now, your double wedding ring, it's one of those stars that so many people look at. They see it and they think it's an absolutely beautiful design. They want to recreate it themselves. And the beauty is, it's a very adaptable design as well, when you've got the right tools in order to do so. So your main template here, this is your classic look, as you can see here, down at the bottom here, with those rings, all put together. And the beauty is, you've got everything within this quilt rule that's allow you to do all your different cuts naturally it's all explained there because we're talking easy quilting so of course everything is nice and simple so you've got your different elements you've got your main element as you can see here you've got your um, a and your b as well and they all come into together when you start working around the parameter of your centerpiece so you can see there how that kind of ellipse comes together but then the other quilting rulers come together because you can play around with that design you might want a diamond in the center you might want to play around with the outside edge. Well, that's why you've got all of these different um, tools in here in order for you to do so. So that one's your diamond a jubilee. This particular one you can see here, you've almost got like the teeth or I think they look a little bit like eyelashes on this one. And that's your pickle dish with this one as well. But again, all the different elements come together to make your design. So you'll start off with the main one, but then you'll adapt and use the other elements and they all come together and work beautifully. £24.97, incredibly affordable 112892 but as we say that bundle it's only one stocks last that 17 pound saving will disappear at some stage now of course jenny was talking about earlier and showing us um, how we can actually utilize this one with your strip rolls because you've got your two templates with your circles in there so a whole variety of different sizes but then you've also got your easy quilting jelly um, roll or jelly strip should we say acrylic template just 17 pounds and 97 pence and this is kind of one of the the main cuts that so many of us go for, isn't it, strip yes. rolls? And again, so frequently, you're given, given a present, somebody gives you a present, they give you a strip roll. Yes. Yeah. Um, and what you're going to do with it, you're going to sew it together, you're going to cut it up. There are zillions of patterns out there, but if you're a raw beginner yes. and you've been given one, you think, what am I going to do? How am I going to know how to cut it accurately? And that, uh, which is called a jelly roll ruler, technically it shouldn't be, it should be called a strip roll ruler, um, will help tremendously. It's also just a neat little ruler for taking to class. It's a nice small size. Ruler. It's a 10, 10 inch by 5 inch ruler. Great size for your, for anything, for paper crafting, anything where you want Good to do some it. measuring, cut a line. You don't see all our tools as being just for quilters. The tools are equally good for anybody who wants to cut anything. Really good point there. So yes, if you fancy getting that one as a bundle, then the details are there. Seventeen pounds and ninety-seven pence. But rapidly approaching half the stock has gone. Eight four seven at three four two. If you wanting to get hold of that one, but Jenny, we've got about ten minutes right. or okay. so left. Okay, double wedding ring. Right. Yes. Okay. So here are four double wedding rings. Oh, look at that. That's okay. amazing. There, there is a slight joke to this, which I shan't share with you. I have shared with you before, but these wedding rings are put together, and in the centre, I have put the pickle dish. Oh, the pickle okay. dish being a subtly different way of arranging the arc that makes a double wedding ring. Because in essence, a double wedding ring is basically just is a centre panel surrounded by four arcs. And I'll come to that in a minute. Okay. Now, I remember when I started teaching City and Guilds that I used to make my class draw it up. Okay. So you don't want to do that. So get rid of that. <laughs> okay. You want to have it much easier and a little bigger, because believe you me, that was a bit of a trial, but it kept them very quiet for a long time. <laughs> okay. How the template works, this section here will do all three designs, i.e. the ovals. And it works, it's a multi, um, it has various different aspects to the template. To actually make the center, you take a square, a 10 and a quarter inch square, and it does tell you on here, you f lay the template on one side of the square and you cut an arc and you cut an arc and you cut an arc and you cut an arc. Okay. When you cut the arcs, you'll end up with a section that looks like that. This is the middle and that could be any color you like, but bear in mind, it's probably wanting to be a plain color, but also it could have an embroidery on it. So nice you could idea. embroider. Mm. If it's a golden wedding you're doing, you could perhaps put names and things on it. In addition to the middle, you're going to need some arcs, and this part of the template does the arc. And it suggests you cut a seven and a quarter inch strip, and you place the ruler on, you cut one side of that, you then flip the strip round, and you cut the other side. So you're going to want four arcs for every single ring. Now, out of interest, the width of that, would that be able to be cut from a strip roll? 
They're about two and a half inches across. Do you know something? It would work a treat. Mm. As would the square at the end, because that's a two and a half inch square. Oh, okay. On no, also <laughs> on the template is the square, because the arcs are fitted together with a square at the end. So you've got a two and a half inch square on the end, which, there you go, strip roll. In addition to that, you have a whole, you have two other little templates for the basic wedding ring. That's A template and B template. Right, let's go to looking at how you do it. First of all, scraps. So you can use up all your scraps. You will need for every single arc. Let me, could I please, could you be a dear and throw me my... my all your originals, ring? there you go. Yes, thank you. For one of the arcs, you are going to need six A pieces. So you cut round the template for one side six times, another six for the other side. You're also going to want four B pieces, two here and two there. Now the B pieces have to be cut out with the fabric folded because the B pieces are mirror images of each other. Oh, one will okay. go one side and one will go the other side. Basically how it gets put together is we sew, I'm trying to find my... Oh, you can pieces. see there actually on the orange piece next to the blue at the end, the, the angle is different, Correct. isn't it? Yeah. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. So you will sew your six A's together. You then stick a B on either end. Taking the arc section, we stitch, that's the royal we, meaning you, mm -hmm. stitch this to the arc section. And the trick is, is to make a little nick in the middle of the arc and line up nick in the middle of the arc with the middle seam. As oh, you can okay. see, I've done on this. And you want to mark both sides. Right. So that's one side of the arc done. You then repeat this, but at the end of this, you stick two squares on. One square one end, one square the other end. And that's going to make this elongated section. Ah, and then okay. you simply stitch this to that, aligning the midpoint of this with the centre. And that gives you your arc. It's a very clever way of stitching. It is. And it's just curved seams. Once you've done that, you repeat four times. And then, let's move all these bits out of the way, we take our centre section here. And I would suggest you stitch one arc to one side, one arc to the other side, and then you can add your remaining arcs there and there. Now, if you're going to make a wedding ring quilt, you actually only need to ever make one complete wedding ring. Okay. Because when you put the one next door to it, so, so today I'm going to have one here, you've already got, they share oh, that one. I've already got it started, of course. So you've already got it started. So the next door one will only be partially there. So there's only one goes right the way around. So that's the wedding ring. What if you're going to do the pickle dish? Well, the pickle dish comes with some more pieces. And the pickle dish has three sections to it. It has a C, a E, and an F somewhere. We have an F section. Why has the F section gone missing there? Oh, so a... do these follow on from the A and R? Oh, so it's, it makes sense. So you've got the A and the B in the one set. That's so right. you can utilize yep. these C, D, E. It's like the story continues. It does indeed. So with this one, it's exactly the same principle. You stitch the relevant pieces together to make an arc, attach it to the center arc, you add two squares to either end of the other side and stitch it on. And there is your pickle dish. And that takes care of these templates. Here again, also, the pieces that go at the end, which are your, um, actually you don't get an F piece, they're your E pieces go at the end. They have to be mirror images of each other. Got you. So remember, you've got the fabric folded. In addition to that, we have the Jubilee, so let's put that up. So okay. get it all, and I love this because you don't have to just have one style. No, you can do what you like. And this is going to be a fabulous as an ongoing project. As long as that kind of centre fabric is a lighter tone, maybe something like the eye, um, ivory or, or a, a, anything else that you've almost got, then you can keep adding to this over time. It's not necessarily going to be your main project that you work on. It's something you kind of just uh, allude to every so often and add a few more little bits to it. Um, it's been a popular set, though. Um, half the stock has gone and the deal that we've got on your screen once it's gone it's gone so one one two eight nine two coming back to jenny right, for the okay. last few so minutes so the diamond jubilee one has a completely different center so you can forget that no so we're going to, but you're still going to be using the same middle the same that section so you cut out a diamond you then have your diamond jubilee section here now these again have to be cut out as mirror images because what will happen when you've cut all the pieces out is you will take two of the pieces and join them together. I have them joined together there a minute ago. 
They've gone walkabout, but you can see. <laughs> Don't worry. And join two together to one side of the diamond, to the other side of the diamond. Amazingly, we go back to that good old square again, and you do the same thing on the other side. Now, whether these are all the same colour, whether they're different colours, it matters not. But it comes out as this. And so if you wanted to make a diamond jubilee, you make four of these. This is not the most exciting fabric. I do apologise for that. No, but I'm just looking at this. I'm thinking this is almost like a speedy way of doing it, the wedding room. Yes, because it, or yes. you don't have to do all the little segments. No, yeah. No. So, and they will just go around like that. Let's move that into place there. And then one final thought, which you could also actually do, and I have it somewhere there. Or is it is rather than bother to do any of the centerpieces is actually use this as an applique and somewhere ah, in this glorious yes. nest there Clever. it is okay so why not use the interfacing trick where you put a piece of interfacing right side on the block so all the way around slit it turn it through and forget this and have these as an applique in which case you could use it as a border and do a zigzag border to your quilt on oh, a plain yes. piece of fabric so there you go. Just scratching the surface. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much. I mean, it's so enlightening, isn't it? You can understand why quilting rulers are just so useful to have in your stash. And this set of three templates, they naturally work together. And you've got an amazing saving on this one. £17. I don't know how much you pay for them individually, but I would hazard a guess that you're actually getting at least one of these. There's a bit of a bonus within that set there. But you're going to get the main aspect, which is brilliant. It gets you started. It gives you all the tuition on there, as you can see. But then you go on to the respective elements. And I love the fact that you You've got the continuity a b c d e all coming together really clever design really clever way of working and don't worry you don't have to be on your own um easy quilting it's what they say on the label it's one of those things that they're going to help you not only with the packaging but i'm sure if you check out their website as well you'll find loads of ideas and tutorials and may as I well also say if, if you google it um, sorry, if you, if you use the internet and <laughs> you there are search the engineers. Um, if you go into one of those things, uh, those programs that actually does a lot of short films, yes. um, beginning with a letter that's near the end of the alphabet, <laughs> um, you will actually find that I've done one of those live so you can watch it and then oh, you can pause it, you see. Perfect, we'll go looking for that one. Jenny, thank you so much thank for you. all of your tuition. I love it, love it when Jenny's here. So yeah, anything in your basket, you need to be checking your basket out, especially if you're going for the strip rule which you're going to need with your one day special which is coming up straight after the break it's an amazing set i'm looking at it here there's so much color you can have a fabulous hour but treat yourself to this keep a note of that item number pop it into your basket now and then you're ready to go for your one day special in the next few moments jenny thank you so thank much you too, we'll see you again very great. soon hopefully yes. um but check out your baskets anything you've got in your basket especially if it's one of those deals while we've got stocks you have to be quick Thank you for your company, but please do not go anywhere. If you are into your sewing, we're talking one day special, we're talking fabric freedom, we're talking amazing colours. See you the other side of this. Oh my goodness, you are going to love it and such an amazing deal. Stay tuned, you've got Leonie and Sasha coming up after the break. Then we are talking about authentic curry bases before we're back with the one day special. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? 
for just £7.97 a month. You will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hello and welcome. Wow, the Summer Festival of Quilting is nearly over here at uh, the craft store. And look at this. Look at this. This table is ridiculous. Somebody, and it's tomorrow, um, that the winner is going to be announced. Someone's going to win all of this. Seriously, this is amazing. You've got so much fabric. And because these have all been gifted, basically, from all the live shows, some, some has been gifted. So it means you have got some seriously gorgeous fabric in here. You've got books. Oh, is that lovely? Um, is that our Jenny's over there? Anyway, you've got books. You have got fantastic um, tools in here as well. Um, and what I love about this, you've got you've got essentials like wadding and stuff, but then you've got pretty, pretty, pretty things. This is amazing. Now, someone is going to win all of this. It might be you. All you need to do is purchase from the live hours. So any of your soft craft live hours, purchase from that live hour, and then you are going to be entered into this prize draw. Someone is going to get all this. And from this hour, we have got a huge... This is huge. This weighs more than my dog. I mean, <laughs> which is all I, I, all I base life on at the minute, isn't it? And um, that is so heavy. That I mean, can you imagine how much this is going to cost to post out to you? You've got to... Honestly, this is going to cost a fortune. You don't need to worry about that. Someone is going to win this. Okay, um, all you need to do is, of course, check your baskets out in the live hour. Not only have we got an amazing one-day special, but we've got a lovely guest um, winging away right from the wonderful uh, Festival of Quilts. It is our lovely Sasha. Hello, our lovely Sasha. Hello. How are you Hello. feeling, love? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm a little bit tired. And now I've got to follow the fabulous Jenny Raymond. How do I do that? Especially as she's my inspiration and has been my teacher for many, many years. Uh, and I feel like I'm going to get shouted at across the table <laughs> if I do something wrong. Well, I can't promise that you won't. And I mean, our Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> she was telling people off this uh, this afternoon, weren't you, Jenny? And she were. She was telling. Yeah. So no, she, yeah. it's OK. She's leaving soon. She won't, uh, she won't she? judge you. She uh, won't judge you. Um, she's been amazing because no, she I've, got is to be, amazing. I've got to be nice because she saved me from having no coffee in the mornings at the hotel. Oh, fabulous. How can you have a hotel with no kettles in the bedrooms? Oh, my gosh. Was Jenny on hand? Jenny was on hand. She came to the rescue, and I was filled with coffee before <laughs> 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Hurrah for Jenny! <laughs> um, Sasha, it's wonderful to have you with us uh, for this one-day special. I mean, we have got our lovely Sasha, but I tell you what, the amount of colour on this counter is Phenomenal. You have got lots and lots of options. 13 options, actually. I'm looking for some, but not for us here today. Um, we're talking Fabric Freedom. We're talking a ridiculously good price. Um, because I mean, when you look at what you're going to get, I mean, obviously we're talking about it. You're saving £10, but it's already a really good price, is that? It, anyway, um, shall we take you through? So, um, our lovely Sasha, I mean, with these... 
Um, you're getting your fabric. Now, you're getting your fabric pieces. These are half meter pieces. So you're yeah. getting, obviously, two meters of fabric. And then you're getting your fantastic um, jelly roll. But on this one, you've got 20 pieces on there. That's a lot of fabric, Sasha. They are. So these are Fabric Freedom Swiss rolls because Swiss there rolls. are smaller ones. So these have got 20 strips. And you're actually getting the half meters of fabric that are actually exactly the same fabric and color as what's in your strip roll set. Amazing. So you're getting your 20 strips and you're also getting half, well, four half meters of the colors that are already in there. So it's great for things like backings, borders, yeah. sashings, anything like that, because a lot of the time we'll work with some sort of fabric strip set and then we haven't got a fabric to match it with. Yes, and yes. And this, we've got the binding, we've got the borders, we've got everything within there. Yeah, I, I think it's a real, it's one of those that, like, you've obviously we've seen beautiful pattern fabrics, but this is your bread and butter, it's what you need, isn't it? It is. Essential. It, it is essentials. And because it's our cottons and it's plain, so you could even be looking at your two and a, two and a half inch strip set that's yeah. a mouthful that is a mouthful I'm glad you got that right love yeah eight days at festival <laughs> um these are great you know you don't have to cut them for sashings for borders you know you yeah. could just keep them for that reasoning really yeah, yeah. But they are amazing quality and they are amazing that you've they've got all those fabrics to go with them yeah and the price is ridiculous so you're getting your 20 strips of fabric. You're getting your four half metre pieces. So um, obviously two metres of fabric for £30.97. and pence. That is such a good price. Uh, saving £10, but obviously already a great price. And they do look ever so pretty. Now, your first one, I'll go through your options. So not quite white, not quite white. Uh, that's your first one. So it's all those four. Um, over 10% of it has already gone here. Just £30.97. and pence. Remember, if you're spending over £60, you automatically get um, the ability to use a flexor. So you can spread the payments, which is quite easy. Um, so that's your first option. Your next one, I love this. Taste the rainbow. What, what a colour palette. And just have a look at that. See, doesn't it look good when it it's is, like that? It is amazing. There is something so satisfying about unwrapping uh -huh. strip rolls and things like that. Honestly, just that undoing the twine of the ribbon and just laying all the fabrics out and you'll never get them back and rolled like that no, ever again. No, no. That is, that is beautifully done. Um, that is gorgeous. So but you've if you got... are looking, because rainbows are so in at the moment, obviously. Yes. And so you, you know, this would make a really great lap quilt size. Yeah. You'd be able to make something like that easily with the amount of fabric you're getting here. But also, don't forget the other things that um, I've done on here. You know, your jelly roll rugs. Yeah. This one would look amazing oh my gosh, as a jelly yeah. roll rug. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Or even the Camden bag, because you've got all that rainbow of colour in there. Yeah. This is my favourite, this one. Is it? This yes, is your favourite, favourite? It's my favourite, favourite. Yeah, look at that. So you've got your 20 strips of fabric. You've then got your half meter pieces. So you've got that wonderful bright yellow, the beautiful purple, that gorgeous bottle green. And then, of course, the blue in this one. Um, Again, same item number, same price, so um, I won't go through that one again for you. We've then got our Mermaid Shores, beautiful, and I'll show you this now approaching 10% of the stock gone here as well. Look at that when you see that, and just look at those colours. Yep, your Mermaid Shores, so obviously those beautiful, soft um, seaside They're hues. They're so pretty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. they I really love the are greens, pretty. the sort of greeny blues in this one. They're stunning so pretty and i just love that palette of the lilacs going through to the palette. yes it's quite muted as well which yeah. i really really like and yeah it's so pretty yeah so pretty. i would like that one a lot um so you're getting your beautiful jelly roll you've also got your swiss roll even you've then got that beautiful <laughs> blue that green is gorgeous it's lovely isn't it? i don't know what what we'd actually call that. Me neither. No, but it's quite muted, isn't it? It's Paula, if Paula's watching, because Paula's very, very obsessive about getting the colours right. Yeah, you she's know, got I'd a thing. say that's like a duck egg, between a duck egg blue and a duck egg green. Yeah. Because when yeah. I say it's duck egg, they always say to me, well, is that duck egg blue or duck egg green? Yeah. It's definitely got a green, but yeah. Pal, if you're watching, email him, what would you call it? Because she'll know. Um, you've <laughs> then got that gorgeous blue lilac. 
colour palette really there. Pretty. And then that green is lovely because that's such a soft, sort of light green. They are, yeah, I love them. Spearmint green. Yes, spearmint. Um, that is beautiful. Now, if you do want to go for that one, that has been really busy. 10% uh, of the stock has gone there. Now, next is your autumn hues. And look at this. I love it because you're getting so many different options. So with this one, we're going through from those really rich uh, wines and burgundies. That mulberry. Yes. Oh, they're just, this is so autumnal, it really mm -hmm. is. So this is, you know, for those great autumnal wall hangings or bags or, you know, you could be appliqueing some silhouettes on top of this of like hedgehogs and foxes. I can see yes. this as a wall hanging background. Yeah absolutely oh yeah it's a good palette is that absolutely stunning and then the fabric that you're getting with this one so you get that beautiful kind of terracotta there um which is lovely you've also got that that really nice sort of brown tone on that one which I, again that's another one that's a tricky one to um to uh, name that beautiful bright yellow it's a really but nice rich yellow there, doesn't it it yeah. works in there yeah and it's thing, rich it isn't is. it and the thing that i noticed um at festival this week there's a lot of yellow about yellow seems oh, to be good. a really in color at oh the it's moment. my favorite one of my favorite colors yeah, yellow. different hues of yellow yeah. different colors of the yellow but there is a lot of yellow in fabrics at the moment. So oh. obviously that's what we're going into for next season. Amazing. Bright, happy, shiny yellows. And that is such a different hue to the one that we saw in the rainbow. Because that is a lot richer. You know, and a lot more buttery. Um, and approaching 10%. And that beautiful deep brown as well, which is lovely. Now, um, approaching 10% of this one. Um, again, all super affordable. Now, next we've got Darling Clementine. Um, yeah, the names are Ace. Oh, darling, Clementine. Um, so you're going through these ones. So you've got those lovely, um, those light salmony pinks working through into the oranges there and then coming on through to those reds. I mean, the colours are perfect. They're stunning. They, I was gobsmacked when I, when I received these. And ombre quilts are so in at the moment. Oh, they really nice. are. But if you were to buy two or three of the different strip roll sets, you could get the most amazing ombre or yeah. rainbow or just going through the whole colour spectrum. Yes. And I just wanted to explain just a second ago, because we all slip up and we all say jelly roll. Yeah. And of course, jelly roll is licensed to Moda. Ah, okay. really? So okay. Mo yeah. So how it, how it works is everyone calls them jelly rolls, but actually Moda fabrics are the first one that produce jelly rolls. Right. So their jelly rolls are 40 or 42 inch strip sets and they are the official jelly roll They're the roll ones. Name. Yeah, yeah. So then we've got um, all different sorts of names. We've got fabulous 40s. We've got our Swiss rolls. We've got things like that. Yeah. But we do all slip up and say jelly rolls. So if I do, I apologize. Yeah. I try to call them strip sets. But then that sounds terrible as yeah, well, doesn't it? it? it you know? sounds... And I haven't had no gin today. Yeah, yeah. Um, strip set sounds like we're going to be yeah, talking about so something completely different. So it's just so people different. are aware, when we're talking about strip sets and when we're talking about Swiss rolls, this is because this is Fabric Freedom's range yeah. of right. fabric strips. Right, okay. So they are, in theory jelly rolls but obviously we can't call them jelly amazing rolls. thank you yeah right. yeah it was like in card making when we couldn't say pyramage yes anyway. yeah you know, and one it's of the them. same thing we yeah. you know we just have to be a little bit careful with names and things yes but yes it's fine yeah yeah Swiss rolls. I love Swiss rolls. Anyway. Um, so, <laughs> so there you I. go. <laughs> um, so that Swiss is your roll. darling Clementine. So again with this one, you've got that sort of really nice soft orange. You've then got that beautiful red. You've got the light pink and then that different tone of reds. Um, hopefully Paula's got this show tomorrow because she will go through all the colours um, properly. <laughs> uh, you've then got your powder room. Um, and look, look, now this is going to give you all your wonderful pinks uh, going into your purples. Oh, if you're a pink girl. This is the one, isn't this it? This is the one. Yeah, it's if you're so a pink girl, pretty. you need to get hold of that one. And it goes right into your purples. The way they've made sure it absolutely flows is incredible. It I is. mean, they've nailed it, I've haven't they? I've never seen anything like these fabric rolls before. Yeah. Because we have concentrated on just the plain fabrics, 
the ombre of colours, the ombre of the range of colours that you're getting as well. So if you were to get more than the one or the two sets, just think of that colour build up that you can actually get. Yes. Yeah. Going, you know, right the way through the reds, the mauves, the blues. That it is amazing and it's amazing quality as well. Yeah. yeah. And then the four that you're getting are those four as well. Um okay, next I will I'll make sure oh I thought I thought Kirsty may add, it is earthy green. I thought she said dirty green. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't she did say earthy. <laughs> earthy green Ooh, these are going to be a bit of my faves because have a look at these now i like this because it's an earthy so you get in yes. your gorgeous earth tones coming in there but so then them, if you were to pick ooh. up your um the let me think what's this Autumn. one the autumnal hues yeah if you're if you play around with some of those strip sets you know how well they'll work together yeah, yeah absolutely just amazing you know just amazing and as i said you know things like your sashings your borders your bindings yes you, you know they're just but this one, I think, for a man's quilt as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And I really like that one. I love those tones. They you are love green, beautiful. though, don't you? You I'm, are a very yeah. green person. You I'm like really green. into greens. I'm into my yellows, but I'm into my greens. And the yellow in that that one, the autumn Just one, lifts it. will go beautiful. Beautifully. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. even the um, mulberry colours in there yes. will work so well because it will lift it all. I mean, when you start looking, literally this one, actually, because you've got green, it will mix with nearly anything, truth yeah. be known, because it's your flowers and your foliage. Oh, look, I mean, look at that. Mm. Blue, Don't the it look bluey good? purples with the green, because yeah. they're obviously on the same spectrum. You'll know more about colour spectrum I'm rubbish at colour spectrums, truth Are be known. You? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just guess at everything. <laughs> uh, but blag it and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs> um so that's your beautiful greens that go with it uh, the next one that we've got is our melon salad have a look at your melon salad not only are the colors fabulous but it's also the beautiful name so we can see the colors going on here of course um absolutely beautiful um so uh, you'll get those beautiful colours. Um, have a look at that. Again, your gorgeous pinks going into your oranges. Oh, that's so, so summery, oh, isn't it? Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Um, and then you've got the four that match perfectly with, and I really like that orange in there because that is just so melony. Um, the next one that you've got is your wild berry. And your wild berry, just look how beautiful these are. This and is another favourite of mine. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Because it's the lovely purples. Yeah, I'm real purple mulberry, those wine colours. Yeah, look just at those. And when I was saying earlier about we have so many people that love the jelly roll rug and love the jelly roll bags and the yes. strippiness, you could get the most amazing effect yes. with these because yes. they have matched the tones even so Perfectly. well. Nothing's, yeah. nothing's um, what's the word, jagged, nothing's Nothing sticking jars, out, does Nothing, it? it blends, it flows yeah. really well. Yeah, they're beautiful. You can tell I'm very excited about these, yes. can't you? I, I, I believe you are, yeah. and I think you should be because the price are amazing, but the colours. Now, the peacock, look at this. The blues in this are just divine. Um, so this is your lovely peacock. So you've got your blue tones in there working through to your purples, which again are absolutely exquisite. And look at this. So those blues and all your different tones. So you can create, like you were saying with your ombres, because you've got the tones are so beautifully close together, you'll create the most perfect ombre. And then, oh, look at that. Look at the richness in those, uh, the solids that come with it. Again, absolutely stunning. That blue is fabulous. Um, that is your beautiful peacock. The next one that we've got is the waterfall. And you'll be able to see here, different color tones in the blues so different color palette of the blues i mean you've got some really dark blues in this one powder blue as well just so pretty yeah almost going into that purpley hue but not quite yes yeah and then look at this look at the navy blue that we come on to 
a really rich blue um so that one is your beautiful waterfall again you've got your really dark blue in that option as well so that's your four that you get in there and um, the next one that we have got you is the birds of paradise now i knew this would be busy <laughs> approaching 10 percent of the stock gone on this one already um and again yep look at it bright happy joyous we're going colors. to be using some of this one is this a bit of a fave as well it is i mean i've, I've gone from favorite 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 to favorite <laughs> favorite to favorite That's but, um, ace. this we are definitely we're using some of this one for the project this evening and I've actually mixed it up with a couple of the other strips as well. Oh, it is gorgeous. And again, your solids, everything complements, everything goes together. And um, that's your birds of paradise. The next last, but by no means least, is your lilac fields, this one. Um, it says lilac on here. Is it lavender? Okay, so our lovely lavender fields. Um, so again, you have got all those beautiful colours running through. So we start with the the really nice light, um, light kind of lilac there, and then going right the way around, and then getting those wonderful deep rich purples, which are beautiful. And then of course you're matching for solids. Um, and that is your lavender fields. Now, once it's gone, it's gone. If you do want these, that price, phenomenal. Um, you've got 20 pieces of your lovely fabric, um, which is got some lengths at two and a half by 42 inches there, six centimeters by 108 centimeters. Um, so Jenny knows I've ticked all the boxes. Um, that is, she was telling me off for that. Well, she weren't, but. Um, 044002. Right. She's left the studio. She's left the studio. Um, yeah. Now, the most popular one is, which one did you say? The which one? The Autumn Hues, really? Oh, I we're approaching, wow, we're approaching 30% on this already. I, I, yeah, Gosh. I can see why. Yeah, I can. I Do love it. You can it. open that one if you want to. Oh, it's so warm open, and gorgeous. Open up the Are we allowed to open them? Yes, you can open that. Are we? So. Oof. It's fine. But just that awesome, satisfaction yeah. of when you open that, I'll get you into being a strip set oh, addict. Oh. I'm not. I'm going to be dead careful. So if you go to the end, that's it. That end. That's it. And then go oh. to the last yellow. The last yellow. That's it. And oh. then just sort of unpeel them. So, Pete, oh yeah, I'm doing it opposite way around. I'm peeling them you back are. on. That's okay. It means if I peel them back on, I haven't made a mess. But and also, that means Charlotte is giving me a massive <laughs> But hands also, up. quite importantly, I wanted to show you the actual cutting of them. Yeah, Because yeah. sometimes people worry about the cutting, and these are all cut precisely. Yes. They are amazingly cut. Yeah, um, yeah. They're, they're just beautiful. Beautiful quality. Yes. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of these, again, the price is amazing. 044002 is your item number. Now, head on to the website because you've got options. So, you could go for your single swish roll if you want to. You could go for fabric if you want to. However, we have got, if you want to, we've got those 40-piece rolls, okay? Now, those 40-piece rolls are in exactly the same colourway, but obviously bigger rolls. However, look at your price. Now, that price hasn't been doubled. So, realistically, I mean, the price of the 20-piece roll, which was the other way on the website, that one is 22.99 for 20 pieces so really i mean if maths being maths you should just double that shouldn't you so it's like really, 44 yeah. pounds or 40 whatever 46 quid but actually that hasn't been doubled at all it's 34.99 so it's only a bit extra that's been added to it and then you've got a discount so it's already a really good price but then you've got a discount so if you do want to get hold of those absolutely worth looking at um obviously loads more goodies we've also got some happy hour deals now the happy hours are really important because they offer this hour only um if you do want your gorgeous happy hour deals um Please make sure you check your baskets out. Sorry, I'm just getting old. Because with your happy hour deals, you've got two different options um, <clears throat> for you. So the first one, which one do you want me to show first, Christy? I've got this one. No. Or do you want me to... 
Okay, so these are your mottled effects. So if I just hold this up for you, so you can see, remember these are only for this hour. Um, that uh, fantastic price, fourteen pounds and ninety-seven pence. So you can see that is beautiful. Is that pick any three? I don't really know. What, what is it? Is it pick any three? Yeah, wow. pick any three. Pick any three colours. Wow. Nice. And that is lovely. I love that mottled really, effect. Yeah, I really like them because they are great for backgrounds. They are great for like skies and just yeah. as your blender as well, but building up your blended and your stash at home. And that's what a lot of people have been doing this week that um, I've spoken to at festival. Yeah. They're sort of building up again after using everything through lockdowns and time at home. And I mean, this at that price is, is, is yeah. a great and they're beautiful. There's some really nice colours. Obviously, have a look at the website for that one. Seven seven five nine nine two. That's your first. Um, that's your first happy hour deal. We've obviously got another happy hour deal for you as well, um, which I will show you when we've uh, stopped scrolling the website. You can scroll the website, um, but obviously you've got all your colours there. We've uh oh uh oh uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bear with. I got it. I caught it, Miss Shaw. I caught it. I caught it. It's all okay. It's all okay, Miss Shaw. It's all okay. It's all okay. It's okay, babes. It's okay, babes. Um, and this one is, and I'll show you a full piece again so you can actually see what you're going to get with this because it's that colour palette that's you really to do interesting. When you work on the floor, isn't it? Literally working Literally on the floor. Literally working on ready the floor. Ready to catch, ready to catch. That Have was a like look. one of those commando rolls. Uh huh. Behind Is, the camera. That's what she was doing. Yeah. She could put commando roll. Um, now, and this one. Charlie's so, Angels. She is. She is. Um, this is our wonderful waffle weave. And again, you have got a huge uh, colour variation to choose from. So do have a little look at these. Now, look at your price, only nine ninety nine for those. So really, really good price. And again, you have got your pick and mix there. Uh, 434-983 is your item number. Please check those out. That's where you'll see on the website. That's where we see all the different colours. And you are saving £3 in this hour only. Wow, so much to look at, so much to check out. However, Sasha, over to you because so much to demo. Wow, yeah. We are going to, obviously we're going to look at the strip sets, but we are going to look at this um, braided. So some people call it um, chevron, some oh, people like call it um, braided. I really like this because I went through the colour roll strips and I quite like the whole rainbow, but I love yeah. the way the colours move through. Yeah, yeah. And then I was thinking it actually looks like a pencil. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a pencil. So if you yeah. were to do a giant one, it'd look great on the wall as a yeah, pencil. Yeah, it would. Yeah, but I'm going to show you a really, really quick and easy way of doing this. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your strips and you're going to cut your strips down and you're going to cut them into ten and a half and eight and a half. So you're going to take each strip, I've lost my other strips. Uh oh. It's fine. Beautiful. So you're going to take each strip and you're going to cut them, as I say, into ten and a half and into eight and a half. Okay. And then you're also going to want um, a little bit of scrap of black or something dark or whatever you want is that square in the bottom. Um, and that is two and a half inch square. Super. So that's that part. Now I have to remember because it was like, it's been a long week. <laughs> so how... No, it's like, okay, oh, how do we do this? <laughs> I know, it's, it's been, and you know, everyone has been amazing and it has been great to see all of you because i've been on yeah. the workshop book and desk for the week uh, and so it's just been amazing it's, it, it's lovely to see people yeah it yeah. really was quite emotional yeah um so how you build this up so your ten and a half inch strips are going to be on one side and your eight and a half are going to be on the other okay and so we, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to place our black piece onto... Sorry, I've probably just messed up all the cameras now because I've just moved my... Nah, moved we're, my we're, we're right, we're watching you. And so we are just going to do that bit first. Beautiful. 
Are you doing the, is it the rainbow one you're doing, our Yeah, Sasha? I think I've got a mix of it in there. So I have got the beautiful yellow. Yes. Going through the orange, going into the red, and then it did have some purple in it, I think. But I just love these mulberry colours. Yeah. So I took some of those as well. So you've mixed it up. I have mixed it She's up. She's mixed it up. Because what I love about it is the fact that if you were to buy two or three, three or four, yeah. but the shading is so different. Yeah, so yeah. you get, I wanted to do, if I'd have had enough time, but like this one that's here, um, I wanted to do one that is all... Oh, man, that's good. Purples, blues, um, purple. Sorry, let's start again. <laughs> I wanted to do purples through to pinks yeah. with a blue border on it as well. Um, but so we're going to be looking at this one later on this evening on eight o'clock because we're going to be making this one a little bit bigger amazing as well but i just i just love the way the colors work so well together yeah yeah and that's that wild berries one isn't it yeah that's lovely stunning so we're going to we've attached the black square and then we are going to take the longer strip and the longer strip goes on top like so and we're going to a quarter of an inch all the way down through. Super. So <coughs> how I've sort of looked at the shows for the for the next 24 hours is we're going to be looking at all things jelly roll blocks. Yeah, yeah. Strip set blocks, sorry. <laughs> um, so jelly roll blocks, really, really easy blocks that you can do with just joining your strips together and cutting yeah. them because yeah. you yeah. can just take that one block and really you enhance do something. it. But again, I love that as well. Oh. I love the amount of projects you can do with just your strips of fabric. Exactly. I mean, it is yeah, phenomenal. It is. and But there are people out there that love their, like I was saying earlier, their jelly roll rugs, their bags, yeah. that sort of thing. But you can also take the blocks I'm going to show you and do them as a panel. Yes. But also, the other thing that I wanted to look at was using the strip set background. Yeah and putting a silhouette in the front oh, of it yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so again, you know, there are so many things yes. that you can do. And once you start, your brain goes, oh yeah, we could do this, we could do this. Especially because a lot of these colors, you have got that amazing uh, graduation. Exactly. So it does look like a beautiful night sky or something, and then a silhouette in front of it, it exactly. looks phenomenal. Exactly, and you're not having to worry about patterns either. Yes, yes. So if you're somebody that hasn't used um, jelly roll strip sets, fabric strips before, you're not having to worry about the right side, the wrong side, yes. because it doesn't matter which side. You know, they're going to work, they're planes, they're yes. amazing cottons. Yeah. But also don't forget things like your Amish quilts as oh, well. Yeah. So Fabulous. I never, I always present, pronounce it wrong. But like your Amish quilts are all using solid fabrics, planes. Yeah. They don't use any pattern fabrics. Yeah. So you could do like your Amish sampler quilts. You could do Amish blocks, that sort of thing. Yeah. So there are, you know, cut them out as well. Yes. Cut shapes from them. Don't you don't just have to keep them as a strip. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The possibilities are endless. So I'm going to take my next strips now i'm just making sure that i'm going on the right sides yes <laughs> i know so then we are going to take our second lot of strips and you are going to place this in line with the top piece here Beautiful. okay um again we're going to use our quarter of an inch and we just keep building up we just keep building them up Oh, and giving them a really legs. good press, trying to keep them as straight as possible as well. And then you just keep on what I wanted to show you. So I tend to come down a little bit when I sew, just because when I am flapping this open to press, I don't have to, I, you know, I don't have to worry about this bit here because ah, we're yeah. going to be cutting all of this off. Okay. But I do tend to like to sew just a little bit down further than my strip, where my strip is going. So you know that you're, you're going to get it, like it's, you're going to have enough material. Yes, exactly. And I not know that skimpy. I'm not going to be worrying about those seams coming undone. 
Um, well, you saw that one. I'm just going to give people a bit of a heads up because. Um, so, you know how I said about the big ones? Well, that one is your 20 uh, length of fabric. This one is your 40. So look, hello, little snowman. Um, now, if you do want to go for this, because this is very busy. In fact, we're already approaching 20% of stock gone. The prices on these are amazing. £31, £19, such a bargain, isn't it? Honestly, I, you know, I keep saying it, but obviously being away at festival and seeing the prices. Yeah. And then they, these unbelievable prices. Yeah absolutely amazing and obviously you've got so much fabric on one of these tw uh, 40 strips on one of those now um the not quite white um that's been really really busy as well we're approaching 20 percent we've then tasting the rainbow um approaching a quarter of the stock has gone on this one of course you can get it as your um your 40 pieces or of course you can get your wonderful one day special with your four half meter uh, pieces of fabric there six nine six five zero nine however if you would like to get your 40 strips of fabric check them out because all the colors that we've showed you are available in these bigger rolls as well in your bigger swiss rolls and for some bizarre reason i do like balancing them on my head but i'm not going to do that because that's silly um both of them are now approaching 30. Um, gosh, it is busy. And actually, your one-day special is really busy as well. Some of those colours are already flying out the door. So um, don't delay and make sure your basket gets checked out. Back over to you, Sasha. I must say, we all, us soft crafters, patchworkers, quilters, there is this thing, we do love pre-cuts. Yeah. Well, you know, I, mean, I mean, if you're going to save a little bit of time, it's rather nice, oh, isn't it? Oh, it, it makes life so much easier. There is so much you can do with them. And they do look really pretty. They do. Don't I, they look lovely? Do you know, I have, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to strip sets, pre-cuts, charm packs, anything like that. I yeah. really do. I, and have I you just got a few? Love, I, yeah, I think I've probably got about 200 jelly rolls. <laughs> but the Gosh. problem is, they are so pretty. Mm -mm. And I was finding myself in lockdown, just going and sitting in my sewing room for a bit of peace and quiet and just looking at the fabrics. Yeah. And them. I'm not being funny, but when you look at them displayed like that, they just look so beautiful. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, you could great. have a lovely textured wall. You wouldn't need a decent wallpaper. You just have loads of these just stacked up. Oh, They'd look no, amazing. And they, there's something so satisfying about them as well. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. Yeah, they make, they're, they make me happy. Uh, they just, yeah, they look ace. I, anyway. just, I just love the fact that all of those colours have been done for you hmm. and you're not having to um, think about putting colour sets together. But, you know, maybe order one set and then maybe order another set that's out of your colour zone. Yes. It's something because I'm not a green person. Yeah, yeah. I'm not particularly a green person, so I think I would go for the the green one, yes. the earthy tones, because that's out of my colour spectrum. Yeah. Um, but again, you can just play, mix and match with these. Well, um, because you're getting the two metres of fabric, yeah. you're refilling your sash again. Yeah, that's absolutely. really important. And I mean, they're going to match with so much that you've already got in your sash. That green one, I mean, just because it's the, the green tones, there's so many. I mean, when you think of your, all your floral, your floral colours are going to go with your greens because that's what nature does, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, you can look at that and you can pick nearly anything that's going to go with it. It's, it's just one of those really handy palettes to have, isn't it? Definitely. And the other thing as well is we all make things with pre-cuts and then we tend to have sort of like maybe half a dozen, a dozen strips left over. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you could work them with this yes. and have that pop of pattern with some of your strip sets that you've got left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making it go further. Yeah. You're yeah. making it go so much further. Yep, yeah, and I think using your scraps with this would look fabulous. Because um, oh, Lewis were doing one the other day, actually, that was just scraps. And you know when it's oh, that, oh, they were right up my street because it was so all over the shop and just, you know, just really random and fabulous. Yeah. And that's it, with something like this, you've got your solid bits of fabric, but then loads, you've got, you'll have loads and loads of scraps that you'll be able to work with these. Oh, look at that, my bobbins run out. 
Oh, always the way. Do you way. want me to give a quick recap while you're changing give a the bobbin? Quick recap, yeah. While I'm filling me bobbin up, we'll be back with you, uh, Sasha. Um, while she's sorting a bobbin out, let me give you a quick recap. So, first, not quite white. Um, we are approaching 30% of the stock gone. Um, do remember, you get in the not quite white with, of course, um, your four pieces of half meter fabric. Absolutely beautiful color palette there. That's your first one, not quite white. Um, the next one, you do want to say not quite right, not right that. Uh, next one, we're chasing the rainbow. Actually, we're tasting it. Tasting rainbow. I bet it's just a bit... I don't know, a bit salty. Um, so you have got uh, your beautiful colour palette there. Uh, we're approaching quarter of the stock gone with a tasting of the rainbow. Um, we've then got, and actually, do you know what? This is one of my favourites, the Mermaid Shores. I really like this. Um, we're approaching quarter of the stock. I really like that. It's those greens in there, greens again. Oh, it's uh, it's dreamy, is that one? That's what that is, because it's it's seaside. Um, so that one approaching a quarter. The next one is our autumn. I do love the autumn hues. We're approaching 60% of the stock here. So this one has been super busy as well. Approaching 60% of the stock gone on that one, which is lovely. Your next one, oh, darling Clementine. I mean, the best name has to go to this one, doesn't it? Oh, darling Clementine. And um, so, again, it's that lovely sort of, I don't know, it's a, a beautiful, bright, a, a fresh one is this. It's a summer one is that one. Um, that one is your darling Clementine. We've then got our powder room. So this is your pinks. If you're loving your pinks, this is the one for you. Um, so you have got your beautiful pinks along with um, the, the background fabrics as well there. Um, again, only 39.7 for your 20 um, strips of fabric and your four half meters. Now your earthy greens. We're approaching, ooh, approaching 40 with this one. Mm. Yeah, this is a nice one. And you can see all those beautiful, uh, sorry, I'm trying to show you that and the fabric there as well. Um, absolutely, I'm showing you at the same time. Um, so those ones, again, beautiful, beautiful. Um, now, next we've got for you, your melon salad. And it absolutely is. I mean, when you look at these four and you look at all those together, melon salad, isn't it? It's a melon salad, that. Uh, look, look at all those colours. Especially when you do get onto these, it's like, oh, yeah, that is melon. Um, that's your beautiful melon salad. Um, the next one that we've got for you is your wild berry. Oh, and this is lovely. This is so rich. This has got all your jewel tones in here. And we are approaching a quarter of the stock gone uh, with this one. Again, some really nice, rich tones in that one. Um, so that is your beautiful wild berry. Um, again, stunning. And oh, did you say approaching? Approaching, did you say something with that one? I can't remember if you said approaching a quarter. Now the gorgeous peacock is next. Um, and this is lovely. All those wonderful blues. Um, again, you've got some really nice um, royal tones in here. You've got your tones that look like that uh, famous brand of chocolate. Of course, you've got your jewel tones in here as well. Uh, that's a wonderful peacock. We've then, we've then got your beautiful waterfall. So another palette, um, another blue palette with this one. Oh, choices, choices. But this has got the really gorgeous dark blue in it. Um, right through, so you can see right through to the navy. That's your waterfall. We've also got the birds of paradise. Um, we're approaching 40%. And this has got that really golden yellow in it. You know, when you, again, when you look at the different yellows, You've got so many different yellows, um, but one you that can. We're using. Oh, is this yeah. the one? That's one of the ones that we're using. It's yeah. a really, it's a deep dark yellow. Is this one? Isn't it's it? really lovely. It, it really is. I mean, look at that. It's a proper golden yellow. Um, so that one is your Birds of Paradise. Last but by no means least is the Lavender Fields. Um, and again, you've got, if you're into your purples, this is the one. It's got those gorgeous purples and the, the wonderful lilacs and then the bluey purples as well with that. Absolutely stunning. £30.97 pence is your price. 044002 is your item number. Please remember all the colour options. We have got them in the big ones. So in the big rolls, uh, the details are there at the bottom of your screen.
with those, I mean, the price is phenomenal. The price of that hasn't just been doubled and then you've got a discount. It's actually a reduced price anyway, but then you've got a discount. So just 3199 for your 40 strips of material there. Uh, zero 04, oh, no, it isn't. Uh, 696509 is your item number. Right then, how are we doing now, Sasha? Right, so we are halfway through. So you would just keep going at this stage until, I mean, you can make this as long, as wide as you wish. Um, you know, it, it really is up to you. You know, if you've got a really long table, um, obviously you would just keep going for however many colours. You could go right the yeah. way through the colour spectrum. It would be amazing. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to press this one back. They do, and it does look so effective. Thing is with this, this is the perfect, um, well, every single one of them, every th single Swiss roll is perfect because every single one will work, but it'll give you, you almost want to do something like this, don't you? Because you'll get that wonderful ombre colour and you want to literally keep it as they've given it, given it to you. Definitely. So you get that perfect blend. Definitely. These are all there to be mixed up mm. so, that mermaid one you need the mermaid shores i've decided i see, really I'd, like that yeah i i just can't decide to be quite honest that's so lovely so we're just so when you have kept going you're going to line up your um square okay and we're just going to trim off that excess okay and we're going to do the same this side so you would just keep trimming off those extra extra bits that you don't need right um, you would you would trim them all off and you would carry on going and you would carry on trimming now to quilt it that's the the next thing that i need to show you so you can tell it's been in the car for a couple of days. We'll just give, it a <laughs> give it a press. press. They're just so beautiful, they really are. So when it comes to um, quilting it, I really, really love the um, stencils and hand stitching at the moment. So I've got quite a few of these hand stencils Ooh. and we've, we've all got them at home. Um, we find these amazing stencils and um, we use them we can either hand quilt them you can use them on the machine um, you know you can use your iron off markers if that's something you use I'm going to use a pencil because that's all I've got with me today okay okay um, and they are so easy to use so I'm just using this corner piece to make sure my corner is lined up correctly and then I tend to use a pearl thread or some um, embroidery floss or anything like that really I've never do you know what out of all the products I've seen I don't think I've ever seen these I absolutely love them and it's quite sad because they're quite far and few between now really? where you can get them and I'm trying to source some to bring them on yeah. Um, but yeah, most of you will have seen them around. Just notice you've got buttons on your nails. I have. I've got buttons, ah. I've got threads, and I've got bobbins. You can oh, tell I've been I, I love that your nails match what you do inside. You get you. <laughs> uh, and the great fabulous. thing about them, I mean, I don't know how well. Yeah, you can oh, see you that can, well. We can see this really well. Yeah. So I've done this corner piece, and then how the stencil works is we then line up this again this corner piece i'm just going to line this bit up and then i can carry on down this way Hurrah. they are amazing honestly i don't know what i do without these stencils because i use them so much when i'm doing hand quilting because i'm not particularly very good at drawing right yeah okay? yeah so because of that i wouldn't just draw on my own design yes um so and i would probably do this every couple of strips what a lovely idea so again i would find my corner piece and i would make sure that that's lined up 
beautifully along there and again we would draw on and I think for this one I'm going to do a little bit of I've got some blue perle thread I think yes I do because I suppose you could free motion over that as well couldn't you, you can yeah exactly so that's what I was saying earlier so some people like to make simplize them is that a word simplize simple Simplify. Simplify, thank you. Yeah, that uh, that were Marcus, not me. Yeah, you see. I couldn't I'm think no, of the I'm word no either. Words. I mean, I've got a nice big roll, haven't I? And, to, and I, now I'm I'm getting a bit too comfy. This is well comfy. <laughs> but yeah, it's a surprise. Someone's going to win this. Sorry. I promise I haven't got any ink on it or anything. So I, I shouldn't be, should be leaning on the prize, should I? That's I, terrible. Do you know, I can't get over the prize. I cannot get over I the can't. prize. I, oh, the what the person who wins that. Oh, I am so jealous. so jealous. But you know, <laughs> I'm also very very excited because I've always wanted to be somebody that does the show Yay. where they announce the winner, and I just I get I was saying earlier I yeah. get so overexcited about a raffle. If there's any of the ladies that come on the sewing retreats with me and on Jenny's retreats. Um, just email him what I'm like at a raffle. Uh, yeah, do you get super excited? Get Are you over so the top? Excited. I get so excited. <laughs> We're even having a raffle at the wedding. Are you? Yeah. Oh, amazing. We're what are you raffling off? Have you been given loads of presents or have you? No, I'm just going to stick raffle tickets on all the presents and amazing. then I'm just going to win them all. Oh my. So I can I just... See, you're not going to sell tickets to the people who are coming. No, you're no, just no. going to win all your I'm presents. I'm just going to win all the prizes. Amazing. Best raffle ever. You Not know, I lie. just... I mean, I w I'd like to say that that has been a bit fixed, love. But, but know, why but not? Your wedding, I'm your I'm rules. I'm not allowed to enter this one. Hey? I'm not allowed to enter this no, one. No, me neither. So, I know. And it looks so good, doesn't it? I know. So yep. I'm, I'm just going to show you very quickly how are we going for time. How are we going for time? Seven minutes. Seven oh, minutes, love. Oh, oh, Right, so... So then I find a thread that I couldn't find the end on, so I've just... And these threads are amazing. So this is Perle 8. So Love it's Perle size 8. Yeah. And if I can get it threaded up in time. And so I've done like a, um, what we call a bagging technique on here. So I've placed my top and my bottom so they're right sides together. I've sewn all the way round. Yeah. Left a hole, pulled it through, pressed it, and now I'm going to quilt it. A beautiful. Did you and get that? Have you put, have you put, um... Did you put the quilting fabric in as well? Has it got a quilting fabric or is it just the... Uh, so it's it got just... wadding in there as well? Right, yeah. yeah. I yeah. meant so that. Wadding, I, know. I know. That's one I should know by now. Yeah, Do you want me to give a reminder while you're needling? I... <laughs> needling. Does that sound too dodgy? Well, you're, does, try, well, you're threading your needle. I'm, I'm trying to thread it, but I really can't see after this week. So, yeah, <laughs> give a recap. <laughs> I'll recap. I'll struggle. <laughs> I'll stop leaning on the prize and stand up. I remember someone's going to win all that. It's amazing. Someone's going to win it all. Um, okay, I am going to be super, super quick. Your one day special is really quick. So, um, not quite white. Not quite white. Um, this one, really basic. We're approaching 40% of the stock gone. You've then got Taste the Rainbow. And remember, with each one of these 20 strips, you've also got uh, your fabric. So the fabric is just under there as well. Um, with that one, again, beautiful, bright colours. One of my favourites is the Mermaid Shores. I absolutely adore that. All, above, all about that gorgeous, um, it's like a pistachio green, isn't it? Uh, approaching 30% of the stock gone there. Another one of my super, super favourites is the Autumn Hues. That is absolutely exquisite. You're loving that as well. Over 60% of the stock has gone. And then, oh, darling Clementine. <laughs> um, darling Clementine. Um, beautiful. Again, really nice, bright colours there. Bright but muted, if that's the thing. Then the powder room. Um, so with this one, again, you've got your pinks and your purples. And the way that they just merge from one to the other, exquisite. And this favourite, 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 favourite. The earthy greens, yeah. This, I love this. Um, and this, whatever colours you put with it, um, it is approaching half the stock. If I take the rainbow, I mean, this is what I love about it. You know, when you see those beautiful greens... 
with any of those colours. Almost. I mean, with the blues, uh, with the pinks. It just works. It just works. Um, so that, yeah, loving that one. That's your earthy greens. Your melon salad, which is a melon salad. Um, again, really, really vibrant and fresh. Um, very pretty indeed. You've also got the lovely wild berry. And I love it. You've moved from those gorgeous sort of bright... Um, poppy colours to these jewel tones um, with this one. Again, absolutely exquisite. That is your wild berry. We've also got the wonderful peacock. Uh, oh, such rich tones again here um, that will mix and match with so many things uh, that you're creating. That's your beautiful peacock. Uh, we've then got the wonderful waterfall. The peacock's got really rich colours um, in there, the rich blues. The peacock is abs uh, the waterfall, sorry, has absolutely got softer tones in there, which you yeah, your waterfall absolutely would. Uh, the next one is the Birds of Paradise. This is lovely, absolutely lovely. And that has got some really gorgeous, bright colours there with those. Um, and then, of course, you have got the Lavender Fields, which is lovely. All those purple tones. 04402. That's your item number. Once it's gone, it's gone. You have to check your baskets out. Please remember uh, your happy hour deals because your happy hour deals, literally, it's nearly over. So if you do want any of those happy hour deals, you do need to check them out within your three minutes. So don't forget your happy hour deals. And of course, you've got your big Swiss rolls. Um, and these have been really, really busy. They are on the website, of course. Um, and with these, you're getting 40 strips of your material, all the same colours that we have run through. Uh, but that price, just $31.99. Um, have a little perusal. We've got loads and loads of goodies um, on there, as ever. And there you can see those wonderful happy hour deals um, that are going to go up or not be available even in the next hour. So please check your baskets out with those ones. Now, I would doing love oh hooray so we've started stitching and Aww. it is just if you're somebody that loves sasha co it's just like your running stitch or a back stitch that sort of thing um i just buy eye it really i just yeah. do it by eye i don't measure in between and you know you, you get this amazing you get this amazing effect with it as well and so i just carry on stitching i really like that i go I, up one way and come back down the other and i'm going right the way through to the back as yeah. well so you can see that obviously i haven't secured my stitches there but you're getting this amazing pattern on the back as yes. well and it's just there is something very calming and very relaxing yeah. um, about hand quilting yeah um, and i just think i like it i do like hand quilting because that hand finish look is just beautiful it, you can't, you can't better it. It's so. And you know, bitter. I'm going to start a whole petition thing on bringing these stencils back. I think you um, should because nobody Design seems them. to have them anymore, and yeah. they are amazing. And you get the most amazing effects with your hand quilting stencils. Yeah, I and mean, it's like you say. I suppose you could use the card making ones. Could you? Yeah. If well. you, yeah, if you design, and there's so many border ones. Yeah, yeah, so for you sure, could use for sure. Those as well, so if mm. you're somebody that's got those, mm. give that a go, just with your chalk markers or whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, but that's yeah. really lovely. Thank you, our lovely Sasha. That's okay. Boom. I were done already. Where does ours go? Um, okay, folks, I want you to check your baskets out. Please remember your options. So many options. And do you know what? I, how much time I've got, Marcus? Right, you look at that one second. Uh, because, because, oh, she goes. Because what are we thinking were, look, 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 and I will put these back. But, look, that's some in that prize. Look how oh, well that look. goes. I was looking at that thinking, oh, someone's going to win that. And look, and oh, look at that. Boom. Um, anyway, check your baskets out. Our Sasha will be back up with you at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Make sure you tune in then. Uh, thank you very much. See you in the next hour. Bye. Coming up next, I am so excited about this one. Uh, Punjaba, um, authentic curry bases. We've then got Fabric Freedom, Mitchell One Day Special, and then a live embroidery craft along. Course, what a fabulous evening for you. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. 
We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Fancy some textile therapy? Join us on Tuesday the 27th of July at 6 p.m. to Tuesday the 3rd of August at 6 p.m. as we bring you our week-long summer festival of quilting. Tune in to all of your favorites from the world of sewing and quilting as they showcase and demonstrate an array of exciting and inspirational products for you to enjoy. This year we will be bringing back the amazing quilting mega prize draw. Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 3rd of August. Good luck! Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello and welcome. I'm really looking forward to this show. I have seen these, well, I've had the saucers actually, and they are absolutely amazing. But I've seen the shows and never presented one of the shows. So excited. Um, you have got some amazing, and the prices. The price is amazing. You've got so many wonderful sources. Before, however, um, we get telling you all about your wonderful options. Let me um, introduce you to Good. Hello and good Hi. evening. Hi, Leonie. Um, it's so exciting. Hi, I, yes. I love it because your, your sources, for starters, I mean, they're beautiful. They're such good quality. But I also love the backstory because it's yeah. all about you and your mum, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. No, firstly, thanks for having me on. Um, so, yeah, it started, it was about 10, 10, 11 years ago as I was still at university many moons ago and uh, mum sent me the sources to use obviously of course they were in Tupperware at the time I'd make them and I'd freeze my chicken curry or my, whatever I was doing and my friends cottoned on to what I was doing so they said well wait what you got there I'm oh, not having the kebabs we'll have some of yours so they ended up stealing it so I ended <laughs> up selling it to them and it just went on from there really I think the eureka moment I had two people uh, sort of knock on my door and said, are you, uh, are you the lad with the curry? Can we have some of that? <laughs> and um, I thought, well, if, if it, words getting around campus. And, and we sort of went in a small way and, and we're still going 10 years that's, later. That's amazing. And I just think it's lovely because when we were chatting before, you were saying it's really important to keep it authentic, to keep those really good flavours, but also to keep the quality. Ex exactly right. So what mum sent me all those years ago is exactly... What you've what you've got in here yeah. so we really wanted to keep the homemade feel we wanted to keep the the authenticity and that um and not just say it's authentic yeah. but really mean it so what what we're going to be cooking here today <laughs> is yeah. is genuinely what we was um we would have on our own dinner tables yeah. and yeah. and that's quite a rare thing yes. you know it's not a um well it's sort of authentic ish but made for this or it's it's truly authentic. it's a real thing yeah it's a real mccoy exactly. and i love it because you've they've also changed the labels let me see if i can show you one at labels because have we got one at new labels yeah we have look 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 they're ever so cute i know that look because it's you and your mum that's it yeah but 
Yeah, look how look how young his mum looks. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing, isn't it? She'll be at home now, absolutely loving you've said that. Oh, She'll be on oh there. shit. Make sure you got it on Sky Record, Mum, and all that bit. Oh, <laughs> I be, love yeah. the labels. I think they're Should fabulous. Be, um, yeah, no, we, I mean, the thing is, we put it on there because, again, we didn't want to be seen as just another curry sauce. Yeah. I, I really wanted, you know, me and Mum both talked about it, and we wanted people to know this is how it started. Yes. It's It's a mum... At the heart of it, it's a mum cooking for her son, yeah. going to uni and and um, and still and still doing it. You know, she still yeah. makes, but it's it's just Your proper, proper it. food. Yeah, it's not yeah. <laughs> it's not a mass produced. It certainly isn't mass produced, and and it's just you know. And all mums, all mums cooking is the best. If if yep. I can't come in there and sell my mum's cooking, <laughs> what kind of son am I? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's like oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. on, yeah. on, on that note, guys. You? If you don't buy any, Mum says she's not going to feed me at home, so I'm like, <laughs> I've got to, you know, get You mom, need get to buy going. it, yeah. otherwise he's going to upset his mum. <laughs> um, okay, let me talk about the two options for you, and they're both absolutely exquisite. So, your first one is your mild to medium. Now, it's really important to, to tell you as well, um, gluten-free, a lot of them, is it a lot of them or all of them are vegan as well? They're all vegan. Everything's they're all vegan. vegan. Even Boom. the naan breads are vegan. Amazing. Chocolate, everything. Amazing, because that's a big deal actually, because yeah. they're hard to get hold of. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to run through what you've got here. So you've got your sweet mango. Oh gosh, I'm so hungry. Um, I tried to eat before this hour, you know, so I won't be ridiculously hungry. I knew as soon as I started reading them. So <laughs> sweet mango chutney, your poppadom chutney, gorgeous chutneys. Um, you've then got coming down here. Um, you've got your beautiful tasty tamarind, which sounds amazing, doesn't it? You've then got your uh, classic Punjabi. Um, again, absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we've also got uh, the tandoori marinade paste. Remember, um, you can pull so many different things with these. Sugar, sugar free as well, which is so important. Dairy free, uh, gluten free, and nut free as well, which again is important. You've then got the Bombay potato, and I can't wait to see what you do with the Bombay potato. <laughs> Exciting. We've then yeah. got the tikka masala. So this is in the first one. Now these are big jars. Okay, if I show you the size of one of these. That is a big job. So with something like that, um, that is going to make a fair decent size um, yeah. dish, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I was trying to do my mental arithmetic there as you were doing that. Um, so if you think, let's say averagely, let's say four portions a jar. Yeah, yeah. Um, at least if you've got kids and things, um, you might get five. You yeah. know, you might get five yeah. or six. So, because there's no water in this as well, that's quite important. Yes. So when you go, I don't know if anybody's got any curry sauce in there, you know, supermarket style curry sauce in their yeah. thing in their cupboards go and have a look i bet you one of the top three ingredients is water yeah. so you've yeah. paid for half a jar of water and yeah. a bit of a bit of you know curry in, in there this is all all of it so you will get real good value for money amazing um so i was just trying to work out there if you've got say four jars and the marinades you're probably looking at say you know 16 to 20 portions wow. for this for this price plus your accompaniments plus your hand stretch now yeah you know that's that's pretty good value I yeah think. that is uh, that is amazing and the nan looks ridiculously beautiful it's good. It's... that looks so oh, good do you want to know the uh the secrets picking a nan if you've ever yes. if you're ever in a place and you want to know well is this a good nan or not in terms of in a pack in a in a shop yeah. If they're both exactly the same, as we see time and time again, this all yes. looks a bit like cardboard, you know they're machine made and they're, in my opinion, they're not going to be so great. If you look at these nans, they're both slightly different and yeah, the reason for that is they've been hand-made, hand-stretched. Yeah, look, look, um, different sizes. So you could, yeah, uh, 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 oh. you know. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm also not going to be able to stand this up properly. Yeah, my little sandwich didn't coat it. Um, so that's your first option. So that is your um, your mild to medium. The next option that we've got for you is your um, medium to hot. Oh, I, I think, oh, I don't know which I'd go for. Both. Um, so with these two, hmm, Oh, tango lime pickle though, love that, love that. You've got your mango and apple chutney, love it. I mean, chutney is the best thing ever. You've then got um, the mango ch uh, chilli there. We've got the Bombay potato there as well. Oh, that, I mean, Bombay potato is one of my favourite things in the whole wide world. You've then got your tandoori marinade paste. We've also got for you uh, the classic Punjabi. And then, last but by no means least, the wonderful Kima. Um, so, oh, again, so exciting. Um, only 
$22.99 for the whole thing. And of course, the hand uh, pulled naan bread. I mean, yeah, this is such a good price. Seven pounds saving. This would make such a good gift, whether it's for you, whether it's for a loved one. Um, maybe you're going to be buying these and then, you know, learning to cook with these because you know you've got a really good base. 032-478 is your item number. Um, when we talk about sell-by dates, um, how long about have we got before we need to, to use these? So, I mean, they are on the actual jars, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, just looking. I mean, you've got until 20, midway through 2023, roughly. Amazing. So, so you've got ages. Age, absolutely yeah. ages. Yeah. If you want to pop them in your cupboard, you know, keep them ready for an emergency. You've got people coming over. You want to use a, you know, um, a jar really quickly, you can do that. But one thing I will say is that yeah. all that time, but with no artificial preservatives, that's no, amazing. no additives or e-numbers. Um, and people ask, well, how does that... Well, that's what curry was sort of made for, you know, the spices yes. in a hot yes. country like somewhere like India, um, preserving things, a bit like yeah. jam was made for yes. fruit. This was yeah. made for, for these things. So, uh, it's yeah, there's no artificial preservatives, even though you've got that nice that's convenience. That's really good. Yeah. And once it's opened it, how long um, have we got about you've got, then? You've got um, three days on the yeah. jar. I mean, yeah. I know I can't advert for you to do this, but we keep it for six days as a family. So, yeah. Yeah. depending on how stringent you are yeah. <laughs> but yeah three days on the jar yeah. um and you know you what you can do again as i said what freeze. i did at uni you can freeze yeah. it really well yeah. so yeah. make up a big batch even if you're on your own yeah. um you know you're cooking for one cook cook all three four five portions and then Stick just um, the pop them in the freezer lovely yeah. Yeah. yeah obviously the nan is quite sooner you know because it's fresh okay the nan oh so hungry i want all the nans okay um i will give you the details again just zero three two four seven eight because honestly it is like it's almost like challenge annika for this one because you have got so many dishes that you are planning yeah it's hilarious yeah. right first where are we starting where are we going right where are we going so i just want to i just want to tell everybody i'm not normally the cook Obviously, my mum's an amazing cook, so normally she would go, or my wife is actually, I'm so spoiled, my wife's a great cook. Um, You're so, so spoiled. Every so often, I will get cooking. But So if you ever want a blooper reel, just record this, because <laughs> something's going to happen, <laughs> and they will be laughing at home that I'm doing the cooking. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start ambitious. I'm going to go one of my favourites. So I'm going to do a tamarind salmon okay. um, curry, Yeah. and I'm going to do a Bombay mashed potato. Ooh. Um, and then I'm going to do some lime pickle green beans. Amazing. Um, so I am currently, I have actually um, done the thing. So I'm going to, I think we're good to go with these potatoes, maybe. Beautiful. So I'm going to, um, let me just check. Let me just have a little check um, and just check and see if these are done. Okay. One second, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I think we're about, we're about there. So let me just strain these off and then we'll do a... Um, Bit of Bombay mashed potato. See, now I love this. I, I have never thought about um, doing Bombay mashed potato. When you think about it, you know, and this is a lovely thing, don't just think, you know, you have to do it traditionally or how you expect it to be. Experiment. You know, have a go. See what see what works. And potato, well, it works with everything. I mean, potato's the best thing in the world, right? Um, so it works with everything. And Bombay potato mash amazing it's just such a good idea um, and remember you are getting the bombay potato in both of your options um so you're gonna get it okay okay mashing so i am just mashing this up and what <laughs> i just need to do Is one second <laughs> have you Sorry. run out of space already I told you, yeah i'm already like not been able to multitask. So what I'm just going to do while I'm while I'm doing this is I'm going to put some Bombay potato in this pan. Right. And okay. I'm just going to reduce it. Right. So that's um, that's nice and warm. Just while I'm mashing the potato up at the same time. So we'll just put a bit of oil in this. Okay. This pan's not so. Oh yeah, because I'm dying to see the consistency. Can you see oh, that? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. How good is that? It's good such is that? a nice colour as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Vibrant, isn't it? Really, yeah. really vibrant. Really nice and tasty. So. We're going to put this on here, and we're going to just reduce this down just to make our so our potatoes are not so kind of thing. So that's on a really nice ah, high heat. Of course, yeah, because you're using that. it for mash. So if exactly, it was too, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you want yeah. it thicker, and then you don't have exactly then you right. want to keep the consistency so, of the mash. And to reduce it down, it's literally just keeping it on the heat, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just keeping it on the heat. And I'm I'm just 
As I say, I'm just mashing this potato up, and, as you normally would, just yeah. as you normally do. It's a really easy thing to do. I've obviously got my green beans on the side there already. Nice um, one. And I've got my salmon here. I'm just going to turn up a little bit. The salmon's a bit I'm, I'm nervous about. I've just got to keep it together, haven't I? I don't want to flake <laughs> I've got to keep it together. That's what I'm a bit, yeah. I mean, yeah, like literally uh, the, everything. Like, you've just like got to keep everything, everything together. Just keep it Not all together. Not just the salmon. The this salmon is your um, only worry. Yeah. I mean, if I was on, like, come dine with me or something like that, I'd, I'd, I'd be... Pretend this you know, is come dine I'd, with I'd, me. I don't know who winning. Don't want to add to the pressure, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, literally, so all I've done... So I've mashed that up a little bit. That's mostly done there. And so... The master I'm, chef. I can, I'm I now trying to think, because obviously, you know, your three different programme rule. Yeah. So we've got come dine with master chef or... Um, what's another cookie one? Bake Off. Bake there you off. go. Oh, my wife has... Oh, do you know what my... Um, my wife loves the... Um, the sewing bee, Great British. Oh, yeah. You guys would love a bit of that, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, we love a bit we of that. We love a bit of that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I can't say I'm, yeah, I'm big on, on the sewing bee. I mean, I've, I'll be terrible. I, I, I failed <laughs> textiles miserably. That's, I'm surprised I was loud in the door and saw my GCSE textiles result. I, honestly. Uh, uh, that's so, why we've not got you on the sewing one day. That's session. it, yeah. That's why we've got you here instead. Oh, I just, I've just turned it off. And I, so. No, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, the cooker is a little bit. Yeah, the, it's a bit, yeah. So I've just put my, I've put the tamarind in there with the salmon. I'm telling you, it so smells gonna... amazing at home, everybody. Oh, yeah. It smells amazing. I love it when, when you guys have been in the building because it just smells yeah. phenomenal. Doesn't it? Oh, Doesn't man, it? yes. It's, it's this so, is yeah. the perfect time of night, isn't it? Is yeah, it I think, yeah. People are going to be on. They're going to be on there. On you know, hopefully people are looking for a bit of dinner inspiration, yeah. or or maybe you've just had a bit of dinner and thought actually Monday night that was a little bit, bland. you know, yeah. You know, Monday night's always a bit plain, isn't it? After, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. After the thing I find so, uh, yeah, this is just lovely. And can you imagine all of these goodies sort of turning up to your door and you've got like all these yes. different options? And I mean, this is just one thing I've kind of thought off my head, you know, there's, there's absolutely thousands. I mean, yeah. I've got, do you know what I've got coming up later? Go on. A, a chicken pizza masala. <laughs> so I'm going to do a lovely pizza. It's a so, you know when you do these things, and does your mum kind of go, what are you doing? Or is, she, is you... she quite, does she encourage you to really experiment? Well, no, I think, I think it's brilliant to experiment, because people do think, don't they? There's a few things that people think when they think of, um, when they think of, curry and stuff and, yeah. and jars yeah. and yeah. you think oh yeah so that must be a chicken curry yeah um, yeah which of course you can do we'll, go, we'll do a chicken curry in a bit but no you can do absolutely all sorts yeah so you can also do um you know you, you can do your pizzas you can do your um, we make mince um mince lamb and yeah. then we pop it in with um you know the breville machines the little toasty makers oh yeah, yeah i yeah. call them english samosas because they like <laughs> you triangle brilliant and i mean why I not that. why not really because you were saying that you had um you had um one of the the sauces on toast with a bit of cheese on didn't that's you, when it, you yeah, were, so you that's where the pizza idea started so back in uni days i mean that's a proper uni student <laughs> yeah, thing to do, isn't it? you yeah, know just pop on it, it on there <laughs> bit of cheese on yeah and then just Oh, it's just like a great thing yeah. after a lecture That's or whatever. A proper but, snack. I mean, um, uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing people always think when they think of curry and uh, and kind of, um, when I th when people say to me, first question is, is it hot? Yeah, is it hot? Yeah, yeah, Everyone yes. thinks of the heat. Now, if anybody's at home thinking, oh, I'd love to have that, but it's going to be too hot for me, think again. Yeah, yeah. It's a mild to medium pack. And it's all about the flavour, yeah. not about the heat. Yeah. yeah. Um, my, it's only my theory, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just putting it out there. If I owned a restaurant, or yeah. if, if I owned a restaurant, you know, going forwards, where do I make most of my money? It's in yeah. beer. And it's in yeah. beer and drink. How do I get people to have beer and drink? I make a really hot curry, and I think that's, I think that's where it started. If yeah. you went to India, if you go, if anybody's ever been, you, yeah, you've been, been there, India. India. and yeah. it's. It's so much flavour, isn't oh it? It's just gosh, taste, it is, yeah. and it's that authenticity that is that yeah. is in this um, that is in these jars. And I think the the lovely thing about getting the jar is it's getting the 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 actual spices right, you know, because obviously yeah. there's such a beautiful concoction of spices and herbs. It's getting everything right, getting that blend right, exactly. um, and that can be a time consuming but be quite expensive to buy everything if this is something you're not going to do a lot of. Um, and see, you know, you might not nail it. Whereas you're, getting, um, you're investing in this and it's not, I mean, £22. It's a wonderful price. 
but you you know that it's been tried and tested you know it's been tried and tested because these are family recipes so you know it you just know it's going to be good it's like it's like having for 22 quid it's like having my mum there out, helping you out isn't it <laughs> yeah so it's it is like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, your mum's just done all just the prep to, for you, and all you have to there. do is a bit in, you in know, it. I'm surprised mum hasn't, she's not been in on the email or the, you know, the email <laughs> in. She, last time she emailed in, said, what are you doing there? Just make sure you're you know, turning that over or whatever. <laughs> if and he needs just, any help, email him, mum. Uh, yeah. That would be fabulous. <laughs> so, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to try and do this. Uh, I think I've got it enough. Oh, so nice. So we're going to do a nice Bombay potato. Uh, mix. Oh, this looks so ridiculously exciting. I don't know if you can see that, so and all I've done is just pour yeah. that in. And you haven't bothered, I mean, you haven't needed butter or anything in that, in your potato. It's literally just the potato well, yeah. with no, the yeah, Bombay exactly. sauce. Well, yeah, exactly. So this is just the potato. I mean, I, I'm actually dairy-free myself. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see, like, some of my stuff is, like, dairy-free, but I thought, you know, if I put dairy in it, then I'm not, I'm not going to be able to have any, am yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I tell you what, at home, how good am I? We're not... Because, I, uh, oh, you know, the COVID, we're still not allowed to taste things. Oh, oh COVID, no. go away. Because I'm standing over here looking at that, starving. I bet that tastes so oh, mate. So the other thing as well, and I, I really epitomise this, is that when you see, like, real Indian food, like proper Indian food, it is a different culture, it is. Yeah, And, yeah. and it isn't all about... Oh, it looks really this, that, but the taste is yes. hearty, tasty, yes. proper food. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it, you know, so that, I'm going to pop it on the first plate here. Uh, we, yeah, we that's, all, we basically all want your mum to yeah. visit us. Oh, that's so good. Potato is the best thing since sliced bread. That's it, yeah. So that's oh. your um, Bombay potato. That looks and so in, and it looks interesting. That nowhere near looks like mash. No, does exactly. It? it doesn't look I mean, like and how, regular. Really, how easy was it? You know, just to whisk easy. it through. Um, I'm going to give you a time check. It's uh, 90 minutes past. Oh right, God. So we're. <laughs> that's going <laughs> to be interesting. Don't want to make you scared. So there's the green beans, and I'm just going to. I'm actually going to do it a different way. So we'll do it an easy way, and I'm. Oh, yeah, this is so zesty. So, so which is this one? This is, um, so now I'm just putting some lime pickle. Am I allowed to open them and smell them? In fact. Probably not really, that's a bit What naughty. I will do is I'm, well oh, I'm going to eat yeah. it anyway, so I'm going to use my hands. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm just going to put it in here. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to whisk the lime pickle through in this. Oh man. So literally, just a little bit, only a tiny, tiny little bit. Because lime pickle, it can be quite strong, can't yes, it? Yes, you just need a very, very tiny bit. That's and just... such a nice idea. It's I just something different, pickle. isn't it? Really different. Honestly, I've never, I'm not going to lie, I don't know anybody else who's ever done this. No, I don't know. Um, this is my little that. concoction that I just, I just went, oh, see, what about this? Just to like tamarind and the yeah. lime pickle. Oh, I think it worked really well. And it has, yeah, it really has. So let's, um, let's do that. So do you experiment, like, you know, you, you try these out and then does the family then try um, your dishes? I made this for, I made this for my wife, Simran. Yeah. Um, as a bit of a, a bit of something different. She knows that when you, you know, when I'm cooking, I'm not going to do it normal. You know, I'm doing something, you've got to mess about. I'm, I'm one of those husbands that doesn't cook very often, but when I do... I just make so much stuff, <laughs> so it has to be something different, and then and the bomb's always... gone off, and you know, and, and it's that type of thing. You does know, it, I really get into it. Does the kitchen just look? Her, does she come in and go, oh no, what have you done? What have you done? Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit like that. And um, that's reduced beautifully, actually, hasn't it? It yes. looks really thick and oh, gorgeous. Oh, it's lovely. So that's the tamarind. I just want to make sure, obviously, because it's it's fish. I just want to make sure everything's done done properly. Um, Right, shall we do something a bit different? Yes. Shall we do... What yeah. next? What shall we oh do? Oh my gosh, you've got so much so choice. Got, yeah. So I'm going to do um, the marinated chicken. Amazing. So we're going to make some pitters. Okay. So in here, really simple. I didn't, I didn't want to just marinate it earlier because I wanted to show you how easy it is. Um, I've already opened that. So take your chicken. This is the garlic marinade that you get in the um, thing. Squeeze it in. I think there's probably about four or five hundred grams of chicken here, mm -hmm. roughly. Um, just squeeze your mix in. Yeah. It's easy as that. And the wonderful thing, obviously, because you know, because um, I don't eat meat, so I mean, if you, you know, if you like meat, the the lovely thing with these, you can really tweak it. 
you know, like, because they're vegan, gluten-free, it means you can literally use anything with these. And I really like that. I really like the fact that you're using it, but it's absolutely going to become yours. And there's that many alternatives now. I mean, let's face it, it might just be vegetables because there's so many, you know, so many gorgeous vegetables um, that you'll be able to cook with these and make so many, oh, sweet potato. I love it. It's like, oh, all the, all the things. Oh, the things. Um, so, yeah, you've got so much option. And I think that having the base, so it does allow you to cook for anybody and allow you to cook anything, I think that is super important. Because as soon as you buy these, you haven't cut out, like, you know, you haven't cut out Auntie Barbara. You, you know, you oh, it's, I can't cook for Leona. <laughs> I have to get something separate. At least you know you can cook for everybody with these, which I think is so important. 032478 is your item number. Okay. So... I've just marinated this. All I've done is put a bit of the marinade in yeah. with a bit of yoghurt. And now... Ah, OK, so pop yeah. a little bit of yoghurt in there too. That's it. So just give me two seconds. Let me, as you can tell, um, multitasking is not my I problem. can run through the options while we we'll give you two seconds. Yeah, yeah, do that. Amazing. Oh, this smells so good. OK, so first of all, you've got your mild to medium. You're getting a lot here. It's delivered to your door. You don't need to go shopping. You know that these are quality. Give them a go. Give it a go. So you have got your beautiful chutneys, first of all. So you've got that wonderful sweet mango. And the thing is, if you're going for both options, I know it's an ask, but if you're going for both options, I mean, what's better if you're going for both options than all them three together? Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, in it. Uh, sweet mango chutney. You've got your poppadom chutney. Um, oh, love everything in front of me. You've then got the tasty tamarind. You've then got the classic Punjabi. Um, you've also got the marinade. So again, there's so much you can do with the marinade as well. Um, you've also got the beautiful Bombay potato. Oh my gosh, how many of us are going to have Bombay potato mash? I mean, I could literally just eat that. That is super comfort food. You've then got tikka masala. Uh, and then, of course, the gorgeous naan breads. I mean, they alone look amazing. Handmade naan breads that look fantastic. This is beautiful, and a third of the stock has gone. You're only paying £22.99. You've got so many servings there. So that is your... Um, you're sort of milder one, mild to medium, but then you're getting a little bit spicier, um, you're medium to hot. And the thing is, I mean, um, I, I suppose even if it is a little bit hot, you know, you you just have your beer with it. Um, so you've got, uh, you've got, uh, you've got your tangy lime. What I love, because I love tangy lime, but I balance it out. You balance it out with one of your milder ones, so then you get that wonderful hit of heat, but then you balance it. And the mango and apple, what a beautiful balance. Um, a really gorgeous combination there. You've also got, and this is the thing, isn't it? This is why, if you've got something slightly hotter, you do balance it out with your rice, you balance it out with your nans. You've got um, the naga chilli, you've then got the beautiful Bombay potato, you've also got your tandoori marinade paste, um, you've then got the classic Punjabi, and then last but by no means least, you have got the wonderful keema on there as well. Um, and it's very important to do appreciate those labels because they are wonderful. I really, really like the new labels. They're lovely. Um, and, of course, those beautiful, massive nans. I mean, they look the best I've ever seen, if the truth be known. Um, 032478 is your item number only, 2299. Personally, it would be a really hard option which one to go for, because I'm very mood dependent. Um, so see what you fancy, if it's for you, if it's for a Prezi. Um, right, I'm going to get straight back. Are you ready? Come because on. we're about we're in. Halfway through. Yes. So, I think, so I've just put in the uh, the chicken with the marinade, the garlic marinade and a bit of yoghurt. And that is now cooking away lovely, ready for the kebab. So, what I've done here, the salmon's ready. So I'm going to put put in the salmon. Beautiful. Um, look at that. Let's have a look at this. Let's see if we can get it out in one piece. We... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yay. <laughs> I know, I made a bit of a mess of that, but <laughs> <laughs> look, it's not they exactly... They do in restaurants, they just go around it with a cloth, Yeah, so that's what they perfect. must do, isn't it? I'm sure it's just... Yeah. And then, so just get the tamarind Oh, there. look at the colours just, as well. Look at that. Oh, man. Look how good that is. That looks, yeah, I those, mean, it looks so rich, does that? It's so tasty. Oh, man, yeah. 
that there looks so tasty. It is quite cruel you're doing this, you know. All the team are like, <laughs> yeah. oh, for are goodness sake. Like, you have a bit of a cue going for later. That looks amazing. Um, I'm going to have to read to you, you know, because uh, Samra... Simran. Simran. Sorry, I said Simran, it wrong. Yeah. I, I was reading, but say it wrong. Um, she says, um, "Hi, it's uh, Guja's wife. I wondered if you could, or uh, if you could let Guja know tonight." Um, so, you have made taramand salmon at home, and it's absolutely lush. Ah, oh, there you go. That was the one, yeah. But he's oh, very quietly really creative good. downstairs in the kitchen, and I got seriously worried. But I polished my plate off for a treat. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> that's so good. The wife. She's, She's so got good. The wife. Oh, thank, thank you, you ever so much. That is ever so lovely. <laughs> and I like that. I bet you were thinking, oh, no, what's she, he doing? <laughs> honestly, that's exactly what I... Do you see what I mean? Oh, I'm just... Um, I'm definitely so not the lovely. cook of the house. We've um, got another email. Sorry, I'm going to read it. Kathy, this isn't your mum. I was thinking, oh, okay. is it your mum? Here we um, go. But she says, good evening. Um, I can almost smell the fruit from here. Like early on, I'm veggie. Um, so would the marinade work for tofu? And oh. if so, uh, should I use firm or soft? Um, also, um, if I can just use veggies, would it be best um, for tikka masala or the classic Punjabi? I'm so hungry like Leona. But I have a good friend who loves curry, so I'm thinking um, a great present. So, first of all, the, the, your, your marinade would absolutely work with tofu, wouldn't it? Absolutely brilliantly. You said you're mm. veggie, so if you eat paneer... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you eat paneer, um, it's absolutely beautiful with paneer as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you could do tofu. I think... I think the hard one would be better. I'd go yeah. hard one. Do you think so? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. And then just, um, and you can definitely do it that way for sure. Yeah. That's really tasty. And then she was saying the veggies, um, would, uh, would it be best? I bet if you were just doing veggies, literally any of your sauces, I should imagine, wouldn't they, for oh, yeah. a veggie curry? Literally Anything, any of them. Yeah, any veggies. So, like, we, was, we were talking about it earlier, and we think the approximate amount um, is actually, we think it's about... 75 to 80 percent of Indians are, in India are vegetarian. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's obviously, big Hindu, cult, you know, that type of stuff. So, yeah. it's um, definitely, you know, if, there's so much you can do with mm. these in terms of veggies, chickpeas, kidney beans, yeah. Um, yeah. we've yeah. said paneer, spinach, potato, you know, everything. Yeah. It, and it makes it really interesting, yes, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. It's not Stick like your lentils in there. Lentil. I mean, how, how good? I, I think lentils are a super food. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. good for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, anything like that. There's so many different things. They're actually, I mean, they're actually really good for leftover veggies because you can literally, because you can use so much in them. They're perfect. Exactly right. Because it makes everything taste so good. So, so yeah. So I can't wait. So we do a um, a bomba um, a bomba a Boxing Day curry. Oh, um, we're going to be yeah. Hopefully, we'll be bringing you a Boxing Day curry potentially later in the year. And yes. so, and people always say, oh, what do I do with my turkey after? What yeah. do I do with my veggies? Brilliant. Just do a you know Boxing Day. I think that's quite traditional for quite a lot of people actually. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people do it. It's so. such a good idea. Yeah, it's definitely. such a better take than the bubble and squeak. Yes. Well, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. my uh, my. Um, Nanny, so my mum's mum, uh, my grandma there, she um, used to make bubble and squeak paratas. Oh, no, fabulous. Just, like, amazing. Yeah, oh, that's absolutely. So yeah, cool. Back in the day, mate, they were really good. Oh. Yeah, really, really nice. Right, um, go on. Where are you at? Yeah, because so, we're on where 30 am I minutes. So it's okay, you've got 30 minutes. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're getting there. You're we're getting there. You're cooking on so I'm gonna do. a weird electric cooker. <laughs> so <my name. laughs> we got last time, you know, we. Because it, when it's with somebody, well, it's somebody else's cooker, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Oh, they're always it's a, tricky. It's that, you know, you, as, a, as a pro chef, you know, like myself, <laughs> oh, you can't, no. <laughs> I tell you, if Gordon's watching, Gordon Ramsay or Jamie or somebody watching now, they'd be, they'd either be turning their hair out or laughing their heads <laughs> off, wouldn't they? They um, watch all the time. I yeah. mean, if they are watching, email in, that'd be amazing. Email in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm um, just going to tell you the, um, the, which one, sorry? Mouth to medium, uh, that one already 40% of the stock has go. gone. So that is your mouth to medium. Go on, be brave. Get the hot one as well. Yeah, guys. Yeah, if, you'll be it's fine. Not, they're not silly. So, like with the, with the hot stuff, if yes. you're considering it, you'll be fine. Yes. Obviously, if you like it mild, then yes, that's the one for you. Yeah. Oh, medium. -y. But if you're thinking, should I, shouldn't I, if you're on that side of the fence, then I think you'll be all right. Yeah. Because 
again, they're not made to be silly hot. They're not yes. made to blow your head off. There will, even our, even our hottest one, there will be things in this world hotter than that, you know, chilli sauces. They're not yep. made to yep. blow your head off. Yep. They are made to be tasty. And there is, everyone's, you know, taste is different. But we all know there is a point where you get to it and you just can't taste anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you it's just cannot. Hot. There's yeah. nothing there. Now, if you get to this and you think, oh, I could do hotter, you can always add a few chilies in. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's yes. harder to take out. So. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a really good point. Definitely. Um, yeah. Helen's emailed in as well. Um, um, so she says, I love uh, these uh, Punjab arm. I'm so, oh, I split it up then, didn't I? Uh, curry cakes. I bought them all last time they were on the show. Yay! My favourite veg meal um, with the punja, uh, with the Bombay potato one is now this sounds amazing. Cauliflower potatoes, apples. Oh, cauliflower potato and apple, and she's put lush. That oh, sounds amazing. That sounds. Hey, you thought you were experimental? I've, yeah, I've not done that. that. I might be stealing that one. Boom, Helen. We'll get, it, we'll get it on the show, won't we? Yeah. We'll get it on the next one. Yeah, that sounds we call amazing. It the uh, Helen and uh, Helen and apples. Yeah, possibly. that's a really good idea. Yeah. Uh, the other one that she loves is the chemo. In fact, I love them all. The Boxing Day one is well worth having. Yeah, yeah that does sound amazing. Helen, thank you ever so much. Awesome. Keep those emails you. coming in. We like them. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Keep me. Keep me going. <laughs> Let me know. I'm not actually making a complete horlicks of it. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do. I'm just. I'm. So I'm putting together this kebab. That's this chicken's nearly done now. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just. I know it's a really simple thing to do, but we do get asked it quite a bit. People say to us, "Well, how do you make the? You know the rater dip. Yeah. You know the dip yogurty dip. And and it's really obviously a really simple trick. But once you know, you know. So I'm gonna put some yogurt in the in the. Um, Bowl there. Okay, we need you. Could you please just move the grater? Because that's oh, just sorry. in the way. Oh, sorry. Thank like you. That? Do that? Perfect. That? Sorry. Um, and then just some um, just some mint sauce in here. Okay. A little bit, just a mint sauce. We'll whisk this through a little bit. And look, it's honestly, it's like it comes out. That is, that's ridiculously easy. It's ridiculously easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean even I can do that. Yeah, it's it's just something, you know, it's something, it's two things you're going to have at home yeah, that you're yeah. just going to want. And then yeah. what I did, that's why I did great at, I forget. <laughs> um, so, which one do we do? We'll do this one. That's what we always do. And just put some, um, oh, cucumber. Just a little bit of cucumber in. Perfect. And that's it, yeah, there. That's lovely, because like, that's so fresh, isn't it? That's so tasty, honestly. Yeah. And it's just a really, I know it's a very simple thing to do, but, yeah, you know, but it's aren't they good? The <laughs> simple but effective exactly ones right. are amazing. Yeah. So, that's your, um, that's the chicken done. Amazing. So, let's, let's plate this up. So, if we have a naan bread, if we warm that through, imagine we warm that through nicely. Just... The naan breads are, I mean, look at that naan bread. That looks absolutely amazing. It's stunning. The chicken is beautiful. So I've used chicken thighs. Um, right. Chicken thighs, really tasty, really nice. Um, I didn't bring any, uh, that's what I should have bought. I knew I'd forget something. What should you have got? The, um, what do you call them? The, uh, I can't even remember the name, that's why I've blue forgot them. You know, the tongs, oh. tongs. 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 I've forgotten tongs, haven't oh, I? Oh, he's <sighs> forgotten the tongs. So, imagine... I don't know if we've got some. Our lovely oh, Maggie will have a little look. Yeah, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll have to... I'll power through. That's my power fault. Power through. Power there through. There has to be something. It's my power. Quite idiot. It'd be rude if you don't forget something. So, I'm just going to put a bit of greenery with it. Nice. Sorry, wrong one. A bit of greenery. Obviously, you can make your own salad and stuff. But what we do is just put the just put the um, the oh, mint man, the mint yeah, sauce on it good. there. I mean I am getting really hungry now. <laughs> you are not on your own. I am. And then I mean these are cruel shows. Cruel. Just a little bit oh, of how fabulous. greenery and chicken kebab and you'd wrap that up wouldn't you? One yeah. way or the other? Boom. Would you go long ways or would you go width ways? Um, I'd probably do long ways. Long ways. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Then cutting like it that. off and pretend I've got two. And you'd go, yeah. Mm, so mm, there mm. you go. There's your 
that's such a good idea. So easy and to do. And that eh? is so easy, but really, really, really lovely. Really fair. And I think that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to give all the authenticity, yeah. but without any of the, the faff. Yes. Without any of that hassle and faff. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's it. So. And you can make, and I think this is the important thing, isn't it? You can make good food, but it doesn't have yeah. to take you hours and hours and hours. No, exactly right. I mean, as I say, you, <laughs> I, I know I'm saying it, and I know people are probably thinking, oh, whatever, he's done it under time. I can't cook. Honestly, yeah. they've sent me on this cooking, Joe. I can't cook, and I've, I've done two, two dishes there. I know this one needs a bit of a clean. So we'll do that there, so it just looks a bit better. Oh, that's a perfectionist, There you go, look you? at that. But I've done two dishes there in half an hour, yeah. and hopefully I'll be able to do a couple more yeah, by yeah. the end. And, and it's pretty good, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty simple it, stuff. And they look, and if the, the fact that the sauces will give you that incredible flavour, and this, this is going to make your food and you look really good. Don't tell anybody. If you're cooking for your friends, if you're cooking for your family, do not tell anybody that this is your base. Blag it, say it's all you. Um, we've got another email here. This is uh, lovely Jean. Um, she says, I love the Punjaban uh, sauces. As I live on my own, a jar does two meals for me. Yeah, good idea. Oh, amazing. But, uh, one thing I can do is add um, ah, yeah, some of the sauce to yogurt and it makes a lovely dip for oh. carrots and broccoli. Oh, I tell you. How healthy is that? Boom, Tasty, I, healthy. I tell you what, our, our, our viewers are, are amazing. I tell you, you're, we should have like guest, guest show. Like, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. they should come on with me. <laughs> and people are like, what's he doing? I'll do it better than that. And yeah, they were well away. I feel you might be trying to pass the book. No, do you think there. you're doing I'm trying to get away with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, You've yeah, seen me coming a mile yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah you know what I'm doing. my friend. Right, what's next? So, how about this? Chicken pizza masala, I call it. Fabulous. Um, and it, again, you know what's coming next. It's very simple. It's very easy to do. But it's just something. I'll tell you what this is good for. Let's say you've used part of a jar. Let's yeah. say you've only used a quarter yeah. or a half or whatever because you've done a different thing. Yeah. This one here, um, this will just let you use the rest of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, just for, for your leftovers. Something like that. So um, that literally is instead of like that, that tomato base that you'd normally exactly use. Exactly right, yeah. So, we, so since we started doing this, we've actually had people in... Um, We've actually had people say to us, oh, yeah, can we put this in our pub? Do so, you know those really crafty, um, crafty, trendy craft pubs? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, these, you know, these hipsters and these cool people. Yeah, 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 the cool cats. That I'm definitely not cool enough to be in. <laughs> Me neither. Um, they, uh, yeah, they make these, these you know, chicken pizza masalas and these, Amazing. and these, like, pizza and things. They come out absolutely awesome. That so, is, and it's such a cool twist. It's yes. such a, a it's cool way of using. It's such an easy thing to do. And easy. That's easy. Yeah. Especially, I mean, the thing is as well with something like this, um, yeah, those naan breads, they they are going to make a seriously good base as well, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. And it, they're, they're pretty hefty. Can you imagine, like, you know, now we're allowed to all meet up again and, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, people come round and if it's barbecue, I mean, imagine the, the kebab on the barbecue. What about this? If you've got these, you know, those pizza ovens are yeah. really becoming trendy now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, People yeah. are getting those in their gardens and simmering. Yeah, we've um, got one, actually. We've got oh, yeah, one in the kitchen go. here. Yeah. Yeah. I made my tea on it tonight, actually. My, my butter. Simmering, you heard this. Leonie's got one. I want one. <laughs> so I just, you know. Just, uh, just putting in the groundwork and all. Um, I should have come to you before I, I did my, my sandwich just for a bit of sauce, shouldn't I? Absolutely. Oh, that's uh, So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to use this chicken here. So this is the, this is the leftovers of the kebab Amazing. chicken. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm just going to put some tandoori um, chicken on there just for a bit of extra flavour. Oh yeah, all them different flavours will be fabulous. Which was the sauce that you used at first on the base? Was on the base, this, that's a tikka, the tikka, tikka one. one. But you can use any of them. The classic works really well yeah. as well. That 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 go really well. Um, the naga, if you want something spicy, they'll all go. They'll all work. I just thought I'd, I'd use it because I like the name chicken pizza masala as well. Yeah, it, so, it does sound um, good. So I'm going to keep that oil. In there, because I'm, you know, you get like chili oil and you put yeah. all that. Well, I'm going to use a tandoori oil for my, for my pizza. What a good idea. I'm so just, that now just goes in the oven. That now just standardly goes in the oven. This is when we find out it actually doesn't fit. 
<laughs> oh yeah, is that what your grill bit? Is it going to fit? Oh, no, is that the grill bit? Yeah. Is it a combo? No, no, this is, this is it. Yeah, this is, there's Eight. two ovens to this. Gosh. Yeah. Does it work so as well? About 200 on there. Wow. Right, so. That works. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm done. Done. So, shall we do the, shall we do the keema? Okay. Um, now, I'm just going to just, just drain the oil out of this. Oh, you can't go in there, can you? I'm in the bottom of an eye on the boat. No, it, I don't think there is an iron in the oven. Our Casey thought there was an iron in the oven. Um, while you're draining, let me just yeah. again run through these. Um, oh, they all look amazing. The spices smell phenomenal. Your mild to medium, half the stock has gone. You're saving seven pounds. You're getting, I mean, imagine how many amazing meals you're going to be able to cook out of this. You know, if you are, um, and this is a really good point because uh, one of our ladies who emailed in uh, says she lives on her own. I mean, one of these, it makes her two dishes easily. Um, and the nice, the nice thing about these, obviously no e-numbers, you know, nothing's been added to these, no preservatives. It's all good quality ingredients, but it means the last even though they haven't got loads of additives to them, um, they're still going to last, which is wonderful, especially if you are uh, buying for yourself. I love the fact that you've got um, you've got a really good meal, you know, because you've got your main meal, you've got um, your marinade to obviously add add that extra kick. You've got the bread part of it so with the naan breads, and then you've got your beautiful chutneys. I mean, it's such a good combination. It's really been thought out, and so many different flavours. Um, now, this is your mild to medium zero three two four seven eight, or I would actually go for this one. I remember many moons ago, I got told I couldn't eat spicy food. They got it wrong, actually, because um, I can. Um, and I am really pleased because I love it. Not, not super, I love a kick, though. This is absolutely the one for me. And a third of the stock has gone, yeah, this is just divine. I adore uh, the lime pickle, but yeah, it balanced out, amazing. You've then got the amazing bomb paper potato, one of my favourite things ever. Um, you've got uh, the beautiful classic Punjabi. You've also got the Naga chilli. I haven't had this I really need to try that that sounds so so good extra hot go on let's have a go and then but remember it's saying that but um, they haven't been designed to this isn't going to you know when you get them you know and they so you can eat the hottest curry this isn't what this is about this is about flavor this is about giving you something that you love it's about taste and it's about being able to taste the actual curry and the, you know, whatever you actually add to this. That's what's important here. Not if you had enough to take the heat. Um, that's not what this is about. You've also got the beautiful Hample Nam bread, which do look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, £22.99 is your price. You are saving £7. It's a lovely, lovely kit. And I do think everything looks and smells amazing. Um, just zero three two four seven eight. Now we have had a question. So, um, about how much sugar and salt are in the curries? I did. Yeah. It's all natural ingredients, isn't it? Absolutely. So there's absolutely no added sugar whatsoever. That's fabulous. So there is um, there is obviously natural occurring sugars from things like onions and tomatoes yes. and these types yeah. of things. I, again, I'm not a doctor, so I will, you'll have to. You'll know much more now if you've got type 2 diabetes, but yeah, I do yeah. know we've had people come to us and say, oh, brilliant, you can, they can still have them. Because there's you, no added Of course, sugars. everyone will have to check themselves. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, yeah, that's definitely something that's happened to yeah. us where people have come to us and said you can have them because there's no added sugar yeah. um, and that type of stuff. Yeah. Um, in terms of salt, there is salt there. Um, yeah. They're not made to be low salt or anything. But it's it's definitely not in the red. It's definitely not high and, yeah. Yeah, and that type yeah, of yeah. stuff. So yeah. you should be, yeah, it should be pretty good. Beautiful. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. And yeah, when oh my eyesight. When I've got contact lens and I can't read any writing, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but when I look through all the oh the information, all the beautiful. Um, all the beautiful things that are in there. Um, but on that one, salt one point four, and that is in. Um, the full pot absolutely means nothing to me because I'm terrible at looking at things like that. But 
if that helps. Um, and as, yeah, no water in there either, which is fabulous Thank because you. it's all good stuff. One thing, one thing I just wanted to mention as well, just as I'm making this chicken curry, so I'm going to make a buster chicken curry. Wonderful. Just at the end here. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention was a lot of people fry their chicken off first. Right, um, okay. So that's the thing. Whereas what we say, and the traditional way is actually, you would, if you were to make a curry from scratch, so if there's people out there, what you always do is you, make, you do your onions, ginger, garlic. Yeah coriander tomato you know all these types of things and then you put your meat in raw into that and yeah. that's exactly what I've just done here so what happens is because there's no water it allows you to do that it's not going to cook off right. um, where you're going to be left with nothing and what that allows you to do is actually what I call cook the flavor in rather yeah. than if you if you fry your chicken off first or whatever uh. you lamb, you're, you're almost sealing your flavor right. out Right, um, yeah, of course. So this, yeah, so you, you, ever had, you ever had a curry where you think, this is kind of like sauce and chicken just kind of dumped in it? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Especially ready meals are a, a massive one for that. Yes, um, yeah. This, you'll feel that actually these, you know, they were made to be, they were uh, meant to be together because they are literally infusing in the pan yeah, as yeah. you're cooking it away. And that's absolutely um, what you want. You want the, yeah. all those flavours going into your... Your, your base, which is, yeah, and your, your right. main ingredient, if you will. Um, we've had yeah. another email from lovely Heather. Hi, Heather. Are they vegan? Yes, Heather. They are. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> even, even the nan, which is a big deal, you know, because it's well hard to get a vegan nan. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so get uh, vegan as well, um, gluten free, which is a big. It is a, the nan won't be gluten free, will it? No, the, the nan isn't gluten free, no. Yeah, so yeah. Nan is but just your sauces sort of are. Um, I think nut free as well, no added yeah, sugars, right. um, no artificial ingredients. So yeah, but yeah, uh, for for yeah for people who like me, the the vegan thing is a massive deal because you don't have to read all the labels, you don't have to look for the symbols, you know. And the big it, of course, is you can stick anything in them, which is just beautiful. Um, right, how are we doing? What time yeah. are we Yeah, so we're, are we About getting on? seven minutes. We're cl <laughs> clocking down. <laughs> so we're getting there. The keema's nearly done. I'm just reducing this down. Obviously, with the keema, you want it to be a nice, a thicker consistency to go in that pitta. So I'm hoping I, I can make that make that happen the yeah. keema is quite tough actually i mean i'm not making excuses but it does <laughs> <laughs> but i am no it does it does depend on obviously different mints and different will we'll give off different water and it can take longer or ah, shorter okay. so just depending on how you know keep an eye on that but you know usually for dinner time it won't matter too much because you can just keep reducing keep reducing yes. and yes. you'd you'd be fine with the um the butter chicken there uh, i've just put in the, the butter chicken what i'll do is i'll just show you now while you while you're watching, I've actually got a dairy-free sort of a single cream here, so I'm yeah. going to add a bit of cream just there, just so, so it again it infuses with the um, with the flavour. Nice. So we'll just mix that in, so you can see how that changes it. Really lovely. Yeah. Really tasty. So I've just put some um, some fresh tomatoes in. That's a really funny one, you know. I don't like tomatoes. In fact, I hate tomatoes, but I love them in a curry. I can have them cooked. Here. Yeah, so I can have any pizzas or anything. That's a that's a good point. Yeah, pizza's done. Way. That was close, wasn't it? That were really close. <laughs> I need to do pizzas. The pizza. I'd utterly forgotten. <laughs> I'd completely oh. forgotten about it. Do you know, I'm terrible. Like, I, I forget so much in the oven and I only remember when I hear the alarm going off or yeah. smell the burning. Hooray, well done, get you. Look, Look at how at many that. moves you've done. Look at that. That is do so I, good. Do I dare try and move it? Boom, yep. Yeah. Are you doing it? Got to move it, Anna. Got to move it. <laughs> Six minutes. It's a... Oh, oh. Oh. Right, ready? This yeah. Surprisingly quite hot. I don't know why. <laughs> Way we well go. done. <laughs> so you got your you got your pizza there. Amazing. Do we, do we That's just, such a good idea. Let's just Oh a bit of green. Bit of look at that. Oh, boom. <laughs> Gordon eat your heart out. <laughs> I'd be on his kitchen nightmares, wouldn't I? I'd be on his I'd be on his, his program where he's going, you know what I'm doing? He's shouting at me. He'd be shouting at, me. at, be shouting at yeah. me. I'll tell you what, as much as he shouts, can't be what no, I can't say that, can I? I was gonna talk about Sim. I don't Sim know there. what you were gonna say. I was say. gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say Sim will give him a run for his money. <laughs> Sorry, She's Sim. I didn't it. mean it. I did not mean it. <laughs> 
I hope she would. Uh, I'm not going to lie. She I, would. I think a lot of people need to give him a run for his money. <laughs> Absolutely. Would you cry or would you shout back or would you laugh? No, no, you don't shout back at Sim. You don't. No. Oh, no, no, I mean it at oh, Gordon. At Gordon? Yeah, but no, I wouldn't expect you to shout. Oh, no, no. No, no I expect. Um, <laughs> what do you, I don't know, actually. No, I think I'd... Yeah, I don't... On that, on that programme, yeah, they're all quite good, aren't they? And I think that's why they shout back. Whereas me, personally, at the moment, I think I'd be a bit like, well... You're probably right, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Play, mate. yeah you're, probably, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you've actually nailed it. I am yeah. rubbish at this. Um, but I mean, this is a thing. Like again, we'll go back to it. We're, we're joking, but I, jo I can't cook. I'm, yeah. I'm honestly like, I'm just thinking. It's like cooking, you know, with training wheels on. And if you, if somebody's a bit daunted about making a curry, yeah. then a yeah. you can make it as per the instructions on the jar. There's yeah. one, two, three, bang, bang, yeah. bang. Or you can say, do you know what? I'm going to be a bit more experimental here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to try different things. And you know that you've got the jars to kind of, you know that you're kind of doing it with a bit of training wheels yeah. on just yeah. to start you off. Yeah, and absolutely. I think, I think that's quite a good thing. Right, butter chicken is done. Boom. Let's try this. Am I too far away here? No, we can gonna just be able to see that. Right, see that. You've yeah. done amazing. Look at how many dishes <laughs> you've done. <laughs> When, and when we were chatting, you know, preparing the show, and you were saying how many dishes, I were like, "Woo! Have you only got an hour?" Yeah. But you've done it. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Amazing. So that's, that's that one. Just. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That's just that it. Fabulous. Um. Wow. So, yeah. So we've got this, and the last one. I'm going to pop it on here. And that that has reduced beautifully, actually, hasn't it? Say again, sorry. It's reduced really well. Oh yeah, that? it always works. That's the thing. It's it always um, it always will. It's just a, a matter of time, isn't it? You know, and yeah. Um, I mean, I suppose <laughs> people. I, I've, I've said, well, you know, it doesn't matter when you do. It. I suppose if people have uh, have kids and hungry, has to be maybe there is a bit of pressure. I don't know, but um, yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh, gonna see if I can. Heather said, life expectancy at source. Heather, um, a lot of these, so we're looking at, if I look at um, some of these, let's have a see. Uh, so that one is September 23. Um, so obviously you've got different life expectancies, but that's July 2023. Uh, when you've opened them, uh, we were saying about, it says on the jar three days, um, but I know that, you know, you might stretch it a little bit. We do, um, yeah. But, yes, yeah, so you've got a nice long time on the actual jars when they get delivered to you before you need to use them all, which is great because, obviously, if you are, if you're like me, if you're cooking for yourself, then you need these to last, and they will, you know. Mind you, it, they're, they're going to be lovely. So it does mean you'll probably, you know, you'll get through it in a week. <laughs> and which will be fabulous, but, yeah, yeah, at least you'll get through it in a couple of months, definitely. How many minutes? Two Hello. minutes. Two minutes. Two Come minutes. Come on, I'm just waiting for those toasters to go. <laughs> Come but, on, toaster. Is that you. all you're waiting for now? That's it now, yeah, toaster. Um, let me turn this off. It'll be the toaster that sets the fire alarm off. It always is. Yeah. <laughs> it just trips it all Absolutely or something. Absolutely true story. Um, but yeah, no, we're nearly, nearly a there. A minute and a few, and a minute and something. Right, anyone who's thinking of going for the saucers, um, why can they not miss out on these? What's the, what's the, well, the top reason to go When was the last them? time somebody said, try this jar, my mum, it's all my mum's recipes? Yeah. When was the last time anybody could ever tell you that? No. And it is, it really is. It, it actually smells like, you know, I feel like I'm at home here. Like, you know, yeah. it's just... It's just exactly as she made it for me all those years ago. That's so all that cute. culture, all that, all that authenticity, um, yeah. vibrancy of you know how we how we do it. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that's why I think you know it's not a bland, boring, mass-produced jar. It's like real, homemade, you know, uh, handmade stuff. And that, and that's why from the naans to the sauces, the chutney. I mean, you've got. A fabulous, a really fabulous curry night in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we can all get together. When they're coming over, we've got to treat them. Yeah. And, I think and that's wonderful. Yeah. And look at all that food. Here I mean, go. every single dish. There's so many different ideas, so many different ways uh, that you can use your beautiful sauces. What you do need to do, though, is check your baskets out. Make sure these are getting delivered to your door. And then you can create an excellent 
experiment. Um, well done. You've done it. Done it. I'm about there. You've nailed oh, it. A salad. A sal Honestly, I, I a didn't. Salad. But look at that. 15 seconds. And he, oh, even time for garnish. <laughs> well <laughs> done. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for having it's us on lovely. the yeah. That's uh, brilliant. Please check your baskets out. Do not miss out on this. It smells amazing in here. See you later. It does smell so good. Literally, I'm so hungry. Um, you want their special next? It is your fabric freedom. We've then got live embroidery. So craft along. And then another chance to see you on their special. See you tomorrow. Hi, I'm Jean. And together with my partner, Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Emma. I work with Cricut to help you get the best out of your machines. Cricut is a range of tools, machines and accessories that allow you to work with hundreds of materials. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricut. So make sure you don't miss the Cricut shows. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. this all comes to an end because we've only got up until tomorrow evening to take advantage of being in the prize draw talking of the prize draw have you seen the prize draw it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger we are still adding things into that prize draw and you still have the opportunity for you to get involved with this one i don't know how this is going to fit through your letterbox to be honest because you've got everything you've got quilting rulers in here fabric galore we've got mode of fabric in there as well we've got um, fabulous threads we've got wadding we've got so much in here so if you are just getting started with your sewing you don't need to look any further this prize is going to help you create so many amazing things and if you are already into your sewing oh my goodness you are in for a real treat with this one so it's our event now our event sadly does draw to a close tomorrow but that means that your waiting is over one person winning this will be announced during our four o'clock show tomorrow and then just brace yourselves because this will arrive at your your premises your home uh, you might have to clear out the spare bedroom, to be fair, because there's a lot of stuff here, but you're going to have loads of fun with it when it does arrive. So we are here again with another amazing gown. We're talking about the one-day special. Kicked off at 6 o'clock this evening. So amazing response. And you guys have been loving the fact that we've got Sasha Fancy back again with us. Sasha, this is an amazing one-day special. 
Oh, it's been a bit busy, isn't it? It has. <laughs> it has. Amazing. Incredibly so. I'm so. I really am so excited for this one. I've sort of been nagging and keeping on, and um, they're just beautiful. They, they really are amazing. beautiful. And the thing is, there is so much choice with this one. Now, we had a very busy launch hour. Lots of different areas. I'll tell you all about that as the hour progresses. But basically, your one-day special is made up of a strip roll. A strip roll made up of 20 pieces. Um, you've got um, two repeats of 10 colours in each one of these. And that's what you've got with all your different options. And from those colours, you will notice that you will have some half metres as well. So four of those half metre colours picked out that will come alongside your strip roll. So it's all down to choice. Are you going to go for your neutrals? Are you going to go for your rainbows? Are you going to go for your earth tones? It's entirely up to you. Might have already gone for some of these, which is okay. You can come back in and get another set. So as we're working our way along here, you will see the fabrics that you're looking at are just four of the fabrics you will get within your strip rolls. And you've got all your different options on the top of the screen there. So your autumn tones, this particular one that you're looking at here, that one approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. Shall I very quickly take you through them from the beginning? Because it kind of makes it so you've got the name to the colour option but we'll do it very speedily so as we can get over to Sasha so you're not quite white perfect neutrals as you can see there and again there you've got your half meters four half meters with these beautiful rainbow this one is called um, taste taste the rainbow I love it you've got 10 different colors in there 20 strips of each and four of those being picked out for your half meters next one that we've got for you absolutely gorgeous this one is your mermaid sure so if you like the look of that one and let's face it who wouldn't again you are going to get your four colours featuring from there along with your strip roll for just £30 and £97. Then the autumn hues. This is the one that has been very, very popular. Beautiful autumnal tones, as you can see. Again, your 20 strip roll there and your four half metres. Then we're looking at Darling Clementine. This is a lovely name. I love this one. Bright reds in there, gorgeous orange tones in there. And again, a fabulous 20 strip roll, two and a half metres wide, your standard width with these ones and your half metres. Then powder room. Oh, gorgeous powder tones with this one. Again, four of those colours picked out for your half metres and then your 20 strip um, pieces included within that strip roll there. Then another one that was very popular is this particular one. It's your earthy greens. You can understand why. Rapidly approaching 60% of the stock of that one has gone. And again, four of the colours picked out to give you your half metres in there. But you've still got your 20 strips in your strip roll. Uh, melon salad. This was my favourite. I must admit, I do like this particular one. Again, 20 strips there, um, two repeats of each of your 10 colours, and then four of those colours picked out for your half metres, as you can see there. Kind of get the theme of this, yeah? Next one that we've got is your wild berry. Oh, if you like your purples, then this is the one for you. Again, looks so amazing, doesn't it? So again, you've got 10 different colours featuring in there, four of which picked out for your half metres, but all coming to you for just £30.97. Have you narrowed it down to one option yet? Because I certainly <laughs> haven't been able to. Peacock, this is another one of my favourites. Got my blues in there. I love my blues, turquoises, purples, all featuring in there. And again, 10 different colours. Four picked out for your half metres, again, £30.97. But if you want to go more towards your blues, then this is definitely the one for you, because this is your waterfall, and it's featuring everything from your pale blue right the way through to your deep navy with this one. So again, 20 strips within your roll, and then, of course, your four half metres, as you can see there. Then the Birds of Paradise. This is the one that Sasha's been working with, and lots of you have been ordering this one, so much so that 40% of the stock has gone. So again, 20 strips in there, 10... Um, kind of repeats of two should we say 10 colors two strips of each that's what i was trying to say and then of course four picked out with your half meters and then finally your beautiful fields now this is your lilac fields um oh i've oh, got lavender like lilac on there oh it's lavender Lavender. Don't take any notice of me. It, it begins with L. Um, so this is your <laughs> lavender field. So it does make sense because lavender, yeah, lilac is a tree, isn't it, more so? Anyway, so again, you've got your 20 strips there. Ten repeats of, uh, sorry, two repeats of ten colours and then four picked out again for your half metres there. £30.97. and pence. Now, they're all on the same uh, item number of 044002, which means you can go for any of those as repeats, either repeats of the same colours if you're wanting to, or mix mixing them up but only pay one post and packing that is your one day special now your autumn hues those gorgeous rusty tones that I was telling you about earlier on that one what was the update 80 percent of the stock has gone now Don't with regards to these ones oh i can't quite reach it my arms aren't long enough but with regards to these one day special because it's been so busy we did ask the question about stock 
Well, the stock that we've got is it. So when they've gone, they have gone. So you will start to see gaps appearing along our counter as we go. So this particular one, if you're wanting this one, you need to be quick. 80% of the stock has gone at 044002. Now, if you like the look of these strips and you want to go even larger, well, we have got a 40 strip roll, which is going to be exactly the same as you've got these. You can see them on our fabulous shelves over there, giving you those chunkier elements. So you're actually doubling up with regards to these. So rather than your 20 strips, you're going to get 40 strips at the same time. 10 colours, but you will get four strips rather than two. And the details are on your screen. All of the different descriptions that I just spoke of is exactly the same. And these have been very, very popular as well. So if you're wanting to get a hold of those, you need to be quick. Now, that particular one there, the Taste the Rainbow one. Oh, oh. Two thirds of the stock has gone of that. I, that. I think that is one of my favourites as well. I, I've got about six favourites already, and we've only been here seven I'm minutes. In it as my favourite, favourite, favourite. Then my favourite, favourite. That's then my favourite. Favourite capital F. That's and then my the awesome. And then my awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I love it. And that's what you will find with these. So you may well have ordered at the uh, launch hour and you'll be like looking to some of the others, hankering towards the others. Well, you can. You can come back and get more of those. But if you're wanting to go for your 40 strips, you'll find them. Um, they're on the website. Everything that Sasha is working with, you will find detailed on here. So whether it's your strips you're wanting, whether you're wanting to go for your half meters, whether you need things like your fusible webbing in there, your calico, you will find it all on there. And of course, if you've got any questions that you're wanting to ask, this is the hour to do it. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Do get involved. We've also got a few cheeky little happy hour deals on there as well. So if you like the look of your Romy fabric there, um, you're going to get a metre for just 9 99 during this hour. And equally so, your decor there with all your different Andy Malls featuring on there. That one for this hour only is 9 99 Again, a full metre. And those are 160 wide, so really good sizes with regards to those pieces. So I can hear the sewing machine doing its thing. It already. is. I'm to? just, well, I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> Okay. Um, but what I felt with, because we're working with all different strip rolls, I thought it was really, really important that maybe we have a look at different jelly roll strip fabric pre-cuts, whatever we're going to call okay. them, um, pre-cut strip blocks, really. Oh, okay, right, yeah. So even tomorrow, we're going to be looking at different things we can do with basic strip Planes, it come out really effective. Okay. And the great thing about these is I would, I mean, I say it, but I'm, I really do mean this with the actual fabric rolls. I would be looking at going for two or three. I don't know about you. Oh, yes, definitely. Because the blenders, the fabrics that's with them are the fabrics that are actually in the Swiss rolls anyway. Yes. But also, I would get two or three that work really well together. Good because, idea. You know, for things like your borders, for sashings, mm. for... Backing, you know, you, the the all the fabric is there, and it's so frustrating that when we have made something with a pre-cut roll, that we then haven't got the correct colour for the border, yes, or yeah. quite the correct colour for wadding. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be looking at um, blocks, and this evening I am going to be looking at the rail fence, and. The rail fence can be done in so many different ways, depending on how many strips you join together. So if you were to join, say, three strips together, it would then come out at six inches. OK, yeah. yeah. And then you would cut your strips into six inches. Have you got an example of uh, that here? We are going we're to do it. We're working on one. That's we fine. are going to Just do it. Just in case anybody's wondering what we're, we're, we're yes. talking on about. The so flavor. this is the rail fence. Lovely. So this is a rail fence block, which is the four strips. Okay. You could have three strips. Right. You could have five strips. Nice. Whatever your size is measured when you have joined your strips together okay is what you would cut them down to is right. what you would subcut so if this area here for this block came out at eight and a half inches mm -hmm. we would then cut subcut into eight and a half inches Got you. for our strip sets but i'm going to show us that fabulous but the rail fence block itself was actually really interesting because if you were to say use three strips and put a light in the middle, mm. you get a basket weave effect, oh, which okay. is really clever. And so I think the rail fence block in Excel is something really worth playing with. So what we are going to be working with tonight and tomorrow 
in theory is strips this the strip sets itself okay so i've joined two together and we're going to use four for this one okay um so we've joined the first two together and i'm now joining the second two together now the reason i do it this way is if you were to join strip to strip to strip to strip it ends up curving comes out a bit like a banana so if I'm using four strips, I tend to join two strips together, another two strips together separately, and then join those two pieces together. It just stops that curve happening. Good tip, that one. Yeah, because it really does, doesn't it? Does it? I don't know why. Yeah. I've tried not to think about why. Just, yeah, it I just think is. It's one of those ones when somebody... I don't know whether we pull it too <clears throat> much. And if, if you're a mob, you'll know this. Sometimes you, you find yourself when, <laughs> when you, you, you're impar um, imparting information on your children and they'll say, but why? And it's just because it is. Yeah. Just and because it is. That's the key thing. Um, so that's why with those. Um, now, I do very quickly need to mention to you the two different sizes of the strip rolls. Now, obviously, within your one day special, this one, for instance, is your Taste the Rainbow. So you've got your strip roll with your 20 strips in there. But what is proven to be very popular is is this one over here which is your 40 strip roll again you've got the same colors in there but you have got four repeats rather than your two now this particular one if you're liking the look of this one then i need to let you know that approaching what was the update on that one sorry three quarters of the stock has gone i wanted to make sure i got the right figure the reason being is again with these when they've gone they have gone so if you're thinking yeah i'm going to go for the one day special that's a brilliant deal it is amazing because you're going to get your half meters in this. So I'd certainly go for my one day special, but I would consider going for your 40 strips because that's the equivalent of two of these, which gives you so much scope with regards to these. So please don't discount the, the one day special. You're getting your half meters in there, good sized pieces of those solids, but do add in that additional roll. Now, oh my goodness, this one is flying out. So yes, if you're wanting to get hold of your rainbow, this could be potentially our first sellout, especially the 40 strips. So if you're wanting your 40 strips the details are on the screen there they're two and a half inches wide exactly the same as your one day so, um, special but over 80 percent of the stock has gone 31 pounds and 99 pence if you are wanting to go for those but don't forget you will get your 20 in your one day special but yeah if you can stretch to both of them and of course because you're going through that 60 pounds threshold you can spread the cost over two payments anyway so Kirsty, my love my She's my producer for this hour. Could you do a bit of sums for me? Because it's too late in the day for me to do sums, especially adding up and dividing. So if we're going for the one day special and we're going for an extra set of those strips, what would our flexi buy be today? Because I've got a feeling it's not going to be much off what you were going to plan on spending for your one day special anyway. But then, of course, you're going to have those additional strips. You'll end up with 60 of those strips, which oh, are going to last make... you such a long time. And that would make you a really good double to king size as well if you were using those fabrics with it. That's it. So, sorry, Kirsty, what was that with the zip code? £31.48. So, hang on a minute. If we go for the one day special and your 40 strip roll, we're actually paying less than we would have been paying for the one day special today if you're spreading it over two payments. Makes sense to do that then, doesn't it? And that could be that you're going for your 40 strips in the same, or it might be that you're mixing them up. So it might be that you're wanting to go for your um, Taste the Rainbow in your um, rainbow in this effect, but then add in some more blues, add in some more pinks if you want to. Maybe add in some of the more pastel tones if you want to tone it down. This is the thing. Take advantage of that flexi buy. Take advantage of that price. Now, the 40 strip, that one's technically gone. So, because I was holding oh. it when we said sold out, that, that makes it mine. It's a game <laughs> we're playing. So, as long as I'm holding the strip rolls as they sell out, I'm going to have quite a good game during this hour, aren't I? So, I think you're going to have a very good game. <laughs> Definitely. So, good news is we still have it available as the one day special. So, if you have missed out on your 40 strips, you can still get hold of these. And you can double up on your one day specials if you're wanting to. So, you can still get your 40 strips. You'll actually get your half meters alongside them as well. So, if you're wanting your taste of rainbow, then this is the details that you need now. 044002. It's gone as your 40 strips, but still available as your 20. Sorry about that, Sasha. I no, that's, it then. no, it's fine. I, I knew that that one was going to go first. I just, I just knew. And the thing that I find as well about, especially this range, is it's really, really hard to find pre-cuts in an array of plain yeah. colours. Tend to just get one or really yeah, four colours that are push or... Yeah. Uh, and honestly, the colours 
blend so well. If you're mm -hmm. really into your Amish, your ombre quilts, anything like that. Bargello, perfect. Oh, Bargello would be amazing mm -hmm. because if you were to get three, maybe four sets going through your from your peacock to your um, mixed what about berry. What add in a 40 strip with a one day special? Perfect. That 40 would be strip, enough, yeah, yeah, absolutely perfect. Yeah. And if you were to do it, that you would go and, I don't know, a peacock and, the, pastels and the berry see, or something, it would be can an I do amazing bargello. Mm, see, now oh, I'm doing, per I'm sorry, I'm wandering off my mark because I'm just thinking, bargello, mm, I don't know. I don't know. You've got your blues and your greens there, your lighter tones, and then obviously you've got your blues in that one. That one is your peacock, so again, you've got your blues in there. See, I'd probably go oh. peacock with the mixed berry. Peacock, mixed berry. Where are we? Is that mixed berry? No, no keep coming. Keep, keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Oh, my arms aren't that's it. Fun. That one where you are. Keep coming along. That one, Towards that one. Me. No, no, that's it. Oh, I thought that was, I called, I thought that was Is that one mixed berry? berry? Is it wild berry, mixed berry? I think it might be, it's got wild berry on the, the thing, but that doesn't say anything. It they would some, work those brilliantly would work, well. Yeah, those would work as a Bargello, definitely. You get yeah. an amazing effect. I do love Bargello. Yeah, very effective. And those, yeah, if you like the look of Bargello, which is incredibly easy to do, then you could go for your two one-day specials in those two different options, or go for um, one of them and then add in your 40 strip as well, because you'll have enough fabric there and for the certain. And the great thing about using them for Bargello Ooh. is it doesn't matter, you're back in your front. It's true, very true. Very true indeed. Right, I've got to remember You don't I've got have these to from. worry. I've mixed everything up completely. <laughs> You, yeah, go and have a look and see what Sasha's doing. I need to organise this lot. <laughs> are you making a mess? So, we are just joining our pairs of strip sets together. So, we've got the four. And as I was saying, a rail fence, the actual original block with the strip set together, you can do it in a three, you can do it in a four, five, six, whatever the... Um, the length of the block is, is what you subcut into um, once they've been stitched together. So, you know, you can really get some great weaved effects from them as well by using the same fabrics. I'm really tempted now, actually. I've got Bargello on the brain. <laughs> you go to sleep. Um, Bargello. I, I just haven't had time this week. The table runner, is that the table runner you were doing earlier on, on, t on there? This one, yes. Like a pencil. It is like a pencil. That's what I said. It looks amazing. How awesome would that be as a wall like hanging? A wall hanging, yeah. As a pencil, yeah. Or a height chart or something like that. Be amazing. Because I've started hand quilting it. Um, so the actual pattern that I'm doing for that, I am going to call it the. Because it's like a chevron, but it's not. Yeah. But I don't know, the pencil or oh, we'll something. Have to think yeah, I'm going to have to think suggestions. Yeah, Amazon's on the Send postcard. me suggestions in because it is so, it's such a quick and easy way to do a chevron. So if you miss Very that, effective. that was the six o'clock one. I love it. So I'm just joining this pair together. I'm nearly there. And then we will start cutting. And the idea is what I want to do by the end of tomorrow is this quilt top that I started with the real fen rail fence will be a lot bigger and we will have borders and it's going to be ready to go up so that's the whole idea because it has been a bit of a busy week. It has been a rather busy week. It has. It now has been we a busy are busy week. during this hour. Um, I need to let you know about another 40 strip roll that you've been loving. And I can understand why. Because you're not quite white is a brilliant one to go for. If you've not got a project in mind specifically, but you like using perhaps you like working with a lot of your motors or your different fabrics that you've got in your stash, then this is a brilliant one because we always love to add in those planes, don't we? Those gorgeous neutral tones that are going to pick out with any so you've got all sorts here not quite white yet yeah i don't know maybe touching on white there but it's all white isn't it all white, all white. it's all white um, so with this one you've got 40 strips obviously in here you've got your 10 different colors two repeats sorry four repeats of each of those this time you have of course got it available as your one day special as well so if you want something of a very much a neutral tone maybe to pad out your fabrics then this is definitely one i would consider i'm just looking at the fabrics that we've got in the prize drawer and i'll show you what i mean in a little while with regards to these but they are absolutely beautiful but approaching 80 percent of the stock of that one has gone as well and that's your 40
naughty strips in your not quite white so this could potentially could be the next sell out during this hour so i'm just going to hold on to it because of course the rule is if it sells out while i hold it then i get to keep it <laughs> you're going to need some shopping bags okay don't mind i'll go and find some you're going to need some <laughs> shopping bags so and don't just think about your jelly roll um your pre-cut doing something um quilt wise you know, think of them, you can use them for your sashings, you can use them for your borders, you can use them for applique, you can use them, you know, when I bring on the jelly roll rugs and the Camden bag from Bozal, these would, I mean, especially if you've managed to get the rainbow one, um, these would make the most fantastic jelly roll rugs, wouldn't they? The whole ombre going through the rug of all amazing different colours would be, oh, it would be spectacular. So this is our um, rail fence in your 40 inch length and so I'm just going to fold this in half I must say I am feeling actually really hungry <laughs> um, the smell just smells amazing so I'm just going to make sure that this is lined up on the mat and I am just going to trim off the edges there going to move this out of the way for a second so you can see so the next thing I'm going to do now when I was saying about the actual um, size of the strips together I always like to just double check um, what we are coming out at so yeah so we're coming out at eight and a half so you want to be cutting these into eight and a half inch blocks I'm just going to make sure that that is across that line so it's lovely and straight. Sorry, and I just went very, very quiet then. You I was did? Busy looking I thought you'd left me. No, no, sorry, I was having a very kind of selfish moment because, you know, I was talking about the off-white or not what, not quite white. I was just having a little look at the price and I got busy distracted because there's so much fabric <laughs> in there, I couldn't decide. What I was wanted to explain to you is, you know, when I was talking about extending the usability of your fabrics, now these aren't fabrics that we've got for sale in the show, but these are fabrics that are in your prize drawer. So quite often we will have fabrics like these that you might want to extend the usability of. You might only have half a metre, you might only have a fat quarter. And that's where these neutral tones, like your not quite white, comes in so useful. So that's why if you've got a good 40 strip roll, then you have got plenty there. And of course, the beauty is you could be placing your order for your not, term, not quite white and then actually winning these in the price draw. How amazing would that be that I've just mentioned that and then you do actually win. So yeah, be quick though, because that is proving to be one of the most popular. And don't forget, we have sold out to some of those 40 strip rolls as well. Back over to you, Sasha. Back over to me. So I've subcut these down. And this is when you start playing, when everything is um, subcut. How have we done it? How have I done it? So we are going to go downwards. Then we are going to go across. And then we are going to go downwards again. Oh, so you've kind of got like a zigzag going on. Yeah. So, but you can really, really mix it up. You know, you can make that weave effect. You can make, I don't know, if we wanted to completely mix this up, we could go. But that's so easy. They are so easy yeah. and they are so effective. And you could almost have one at the top there, which is completing that cerise frame that you're almost creating there. Exactly. It? So, so yeah. we could pop this one and we could go this way or we could go just play around with it whichever way it you is like, just you? playing around and that's the really amazing thing about the rail fence block I think it is just so quick and easy to actually do and the effects that you will get and if you've got say a couple I don't know we all get half a dozen half a dozen or a dozen strips left over from pre-cut rolls mm -hmm. we always get leftovers but you yeah. could actually add these in and really make an essence of those patterned really fabrics. So no, in, in theory, your rail fence block, for example, would be, we'd put four of these together and we would go maybe this way, this way, 
And then this one could go up this way. See, that's a good size cushion cover, isn't it? A very contemporary style. So, I mean, if you're completely new to, to quilting, then this is a way that you could be making some projects that will work with your home decor. Exactly, and it is so quick. But this is what I was saying. So, if we look at it this way, but then if we change it up a little bit, and we could go that way, and then like that a way. Windmill. You've, no, you've got that shape. They are so... Very honestly they are so effective there is so much you can do so that is your basic block and when you come back to me i'm going to show you the next rail fence block that oh, i would okay. do by just changing it up a little bit i love it now very very quickly now this gives me the perfect opportunity to let you know that this particular one was meant to be limited stock but it's gone beyond that it's actually sold out oh look at that i'm holding it how funny is that <laughs> that's another one to go in my, my bag my trolley the boot of the car, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, if you have got hold of that one, if any of them do fall back into our stock, I will let you know. But we have still got it available as your one-day special. So if you have missed out on it, then uh, don't worry. You can still get hold of your 20 strips. If you wanted 40, then just double up on your one-day special um, and you will get four repeats of each of those 10 colours that particular way. But that is your not-quite-white. But your not-quite-white with your one-day special rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. So, again, it's one of those ones you can get hold of. And, of course, as we've been speaking, each one of these strip rolls that you're getting within your one-day special, you've got um, ten repeats of your two, uh, sorry, two repeats of ten different colours in there. So a good variant of colour there. Even with your not quite white, it's just tiny, tiny little kind of changes with regards to those colours going through. And um, with each one of the one-day specials, four colours have been picked out from your strip rolls to give you your half metres, and that's what you've got with each one of these. Now we will go back to Sasha in a few moments, but the details on your screen, if you're wanting your not so um, not quite white. Then the details are on your screen there, 044002. It's the same with any of the others as well. Now, don't forget, as we've spoken with regards to these, it is a case of when the stock has gone, that's it. We've already lost two of the 40 strip rolls, so please do not miss out on these. Now, we're stepping away from Sasha for a few moments so I can show you the different colour options. Now, the Taste of the Rainbow, we missed this one, um, we lost this one as your 40 strip, so yes, this is the only way you can get hold of it. But what was the update? Sorry, over a third of the stock has, oh, sorry, over 30 of them. Um, has gone 30 percent of the stock has gone so with those again four of those colors picked out to give you half meters as you can see going from your turquoise through to your yellow on that particular one there next one that we've got is your mermaid shores beautiful pastel tones and you're liking this one approaching 30 percent of the stock this is a nice kind of progression from that term um, turquoise that we saw just a few moments ago so with this particular one again you're going from that pale um, almost like a minty green going right the way across to this gorgeous deeper blue as you can see here this turquoise blue again four of the colors picked out from the 10 that you've got within your strip roll autumn hues continues to be one of the popular ones most popular ones so much so that 80 percent of the stock has gone is this the first of our one day special options that's going to sell out oh it's heading in the right direction so if you like these tones of course we're talking about quilting but you can use them in so many other ways but you're going to get again your 10 different colors in there two strips of each of them and then four of them being picked out as your half meter pieces there so that one is your autumn hues your darling clementine this one's a beautiful one you're loving this one as well approaching a quarter of the stock has gone don't forget if you're into things like dare i say your christmas reds although we're giving you those names of the darling clementine you have got colors in here that aren't necessarily having to be used together so that's a nice one if you're wanting to get hold of that one now just going to backtrack just a few moments your autumn hues um, rapidly approaching limited stock with this one don't forget we have still got the 40 meter strip available in this one as well so if you do want to maximize your potential projects with these then you can add that one in alongside but with regards to your one day special it is limited in stock now so the next pop next opportunity i'll probably be telling you that that one has sold out you're okay at the moment though but be quick Take the opportunity while we're stepped away from Sasha to take advantage of these ones, especially the vulnerable ones. So we spoke about Darling Clementine, Powder Room, beautiful pinks with this one. Rapidly approaching a quarter of the stock and again, really pretty tones. To be honest, this one I think works really, really well with the next one that we're going to be looking at, which again is another popular one. Colours of Nature, you've got your florals potentially working with these ones, going across into these beautiful greens that we've got with the next one. And this one is called your Earthy Greens. Um, rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone. Again, it's a nice one to go for. If I can just bring in the autumn um, hues, can I just show you those two together? 
because if you are going for one, I would certainly suggest you do consider going for the other as well. So if you've already got that one in your basket or maybe already got it ordered, then do consider getting hold of this particular one because I think it's going to work really well again more of those earthy tones isn't it so earthy greens again 10 um, 10 different colors 20 strips and then your four half meters that have been picked out from them beautiful melon salad this is a pretty one as well 20 percent of the stock has gone i kind of like this one alongside the mermaid shores because i think they're kind of a similar sort of tone aren't they i really like those both together so i like those kind of sherbetty tones but, and very muted as well, yeah, really yeah. delicate. So again, this is another one, if you have got hold of that one, maybe consider um, this melon salad, really pretty colours. And again, four of your half metres have been picked out with that one. The next two, oh, the wild berry. This is a beautiful one, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. And again, any of these that were mentioning, or the majority of them, we have still got them as your 40 strip rolls. With your one day special, you're getting your 20 strips in there. Um, but I will show you, can I reach this one? On. This one is that one, isn't it, I think? So let me just show you the difference that you're getting with regards to these, because I haven't shown you that recently. This is double the size, so this is your 40 piece. So if you're wanting to go for your 40 piece in any of your colours, you need the details just at the bottom of your screen there. And they're exactly the same colour options as we've been speaking of with the one day special details of which are over there. But that is your one day special um, strip roll with your 20 strips in there. Thirty pounds and ninety-seven pence. Then the next one, your peacock. See, these work well together as well. In fact, all three of these flow beautifully together. Peacock, I think, would be perfect to go alongside the wild berry that we just saw there. And again, twenty strips. And again, you're um, at four half meters. Then your waterfall. Oh, your waterfall has got that gorgeous. It's almost like a, um, a lilac tone in this one. It's a beautiful one because it works well with the blues, um, but you kind of got one of those blues. It's almost got like a purple undertone to it, so really pretty. So you've got your four half metres there, and you've got your waterfall strip roll, as you can see there. So you've got your 20 strips with regards to that particular one as well. So, uh, yeah, do definitely um, try again. Definitely consider getting hold of those ones. Um, so Birds of Paradise, another beautiful one. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is featuring within that ten table runner that we saw, a height chart maybe, with the pencil earlier on. Um, so approaching half of the stock has gone of this particular one as well. Can I just say as well, can I just... Hmm, what do we think? What do we reckon to those two together? The autumn hues there as well, alongside. It definitely lifts that would work, it. Wouldn't yeah, it? You've it got would. kind of colour tones that are kind of crossing over there with those, definitely. Definitely. And the mulberry's got that hint of the purple in there anyway. It has, yeah. They so do work really yeah, well. Because look, there you've got those kind of working together, haven't you? Um, the autumn hues, incidentally, that one is now limited in stock. So if you did want that particular one, you need to be quick. So make sure you are quick with that particular one. But we were talking birds of paradise. So if you're wanting the birds of paradise, approaching half of the stock has gone of that one as well. And finally, your lavender field. Those beautiful purple tones and lilac tones coming through. But approaching 30% of the stock has gone. And again, you've still got your strip roll with that one. And that's what you've got with regards to your one day special. At the moment, the most vulnerable is your autumn your autumn hues. If you're wanting this as your one day special, please be quick. It's limited in stock. It's going to be the first one that I think will sell out. So if you are watching on repeat, it stands a chance that you haven't been able to get hold of this one. This show that we're sharing with you now will be repeated through the night. So these are the updates that we can give you at this moment in time. If you're watching on repeat, well, we don't know because with these, when they're gone, they're gone. So make sure you get involved as soon as you possibly can. So Sasha, what's next? I was just checking my list. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not my Christmas list. <laughs> Not yet. So, again, going back to the rail fence block. So for this rail fence block, um, the same um, base as this one. So it's your four strips. Okay. And four strips is what I tend to use for my normal rail it's fence. Nice and balanced. Yeah. It, it does four strips. I think yeah. if you're going to use the three, it works really well if you're going to have the lightest of the colours in the middle. Right. Because then you get that basket weaved effect and it just, again, it, it balances correctly. Um, but I, I like the colours in this. I like the, the ombre effect of nice. this. Yeah. So again, we've got our four strips all joined. Um, this one is our eight and a half inch block. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our block and we are going to cut. Should we cut two or should we cut two and a half? Do you know, let's be rebels. Let's cut two and a half inch. 
So we're going to cut like so. So at the moment, some of those don't look like squares, but that's because you've got the the half inch seam allowance. That's because we've got the half yeah. inch seam allowance. Because this is the thing, if you aren't um, new to quilting, you always need to think about adding on that um, extra quarter of an inch on each side for the seams. Because you might be tempted to cut that into squares, but then when you find you stitch it, then Ex they're rectangles. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But even so, it still joins, this one it still does, joins yes. okay with the seam allowance. So we've got our, we've, we've cut this off, okay, and then all we are going to do... Ooh. Is turn this one up. Oh, top and tailing. Okay. And again, it's still your rail fence. It's just a different effect. But you have to remember that these are now bias edges. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so you've what, got what do we a bit of stretch. That? So because you've got your warp and your weft okay. with your fabrics, and because on how we've joined it, you will see. You've got all of that stretch there now. Right. So you've got this side, especially as you can see. Yes. I'm doing it's myself quite a springy, isn't I'm it? doing yeah. myself a misjustice justice here because I'm gonna have to join this now <laughs> and I've stretched it. So because this is now on the bias, you've just got to be a little bit careful because we've okay. cut it and we are rejoining. Right. So okay. you can actually see where I've stretched it. Do you see where it's it's almost like a little bit changed, of a pucker, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's changed shape a little bit. But we'll work with it, it's fine. So, because we have ironed our sides, um, our seams to all the same way down. Can you tell I'm really tired? Oh, bless you. I cannot get my words <laughs> out at all. all the words, but just not I have left, in the right order. Yeah, I have left them all at the NEC. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is, because all our seams are cut, are pressed, going the same direction, when we've now cut this and tipped it up the other way, Everything is going to line up beautifully, okay. and I will show you. So we're going to place this onto here. And so you will see our seam on this one is going down. Our seam on this one is going up. And you're going to butt them together, and they're going to have a little hug. Okay? okay. They're having Aww. a little hug little and a hug. little kiss, and we're just going to pin those together. Because I would never try and join this back up without pinning them okay I mean I know we say oh we can do it and it's fine but you need to pin them because they are um, they need to line up because if they don't because they're plain fabrics as well they will stand out like my missing nail that somebody emailed me after the six o'clock show and that. noticed that I, um, I have the most immaculate nails always and then packing up 82 sewing machines last night killed one. Oh, um, right. well, if that's the only casualty. So thank you well. so much for noticing and thank you to the lovely lady that said that she lives in Huntington. Oh, Huntington, yeah. And that she would have replaced it by tomorrow for me. <laughs> and that is really, really kind of you. I wondered what the reference was to the, the glue earlier on. Now yes, I know why. Yes, now you know. <laughs> so I have got it. I've just but you are lovely. At least so you saved you. it. That's the key thing. Well, if you've got it, it's because it's there. gel, so they've come off in one piece, which is amazing. <laughs> now, very, very quickly, can I just draw your attention to Autumn Hughes? Now, technically, it's sold out. So what does that mean? It means that if it's in your basket, then good news, you can still get hold of it, but you need to be checking your basket out. Now, if for some reason you don't complete your purchase on this one, it will fall back into our stock allocation, which means I can let people know. So people that have missed out on it will have a second opportunity to get hold of it. That's why if you've got it and you want it, you need to be checking your baskets out now. So if you're wanting to get hold of it, check your basket out. That's the one thing with that one. But we do still have your 40 strip rolls. So don't be too disheartened if you have missed out on it because you have got the ability for you to get four strips of each of those 10 colours for a phenomenal price of um, £30. And nine. Oh, naturally, that's a one-day special, isn't it? We'll bring the details up. It's not far off. It's pretty much the same price, to be honest. But um, with this one, the details popping up on your screen. So you're looking at £31.99. But rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone of that one as well. So, yeah, um, it is a considered purchase if you're going for both of them. But if you've missed out on the one, then that might be your alternative to get hold of it. So, uh, yeah, just to let you know with regards to that one. So that's our first casualty, potentially, of the one-day special. Mm. How are you getting on over there, Sasha? So I've just joined this one together. Oh, 
So I've just got to sort out this seam because I caught it earlier. So I'm just making sure that goes down that way. So everything is lining up beautifully. So, and then we will do the next one. And I think for the next one, let's go this way. And again, we are just gonna pin those. So this is your block two on a variation of rail fence. So by tomorrow afternoon, you should have five variations of rail fence. Mm -hmm. Mm. and um, a very quick jelly roll rug demonstration with the jelly roll wadding as well if you've got that Look because we cannot it. not do that oh we've got a lovely email in have we lovely natalie and i believe you know natalie i do um, know natalie so, natalie said uh, so lovely to see you um on um, air again have bought more fabric and she's kind of done the emojis the one that does that and then the, the laughing with tears face as well you're a bad influence of the capital um let oh sorry exclamation mark not capital letters even bigger bad influence when there's a raffle oh i'm not going to ask <laughs> about that one um see you soon um dot 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 31 days and that's from natalie yes 31 days she does like to frighten me does our nap oh is that the countdown it's the countdown <gasps> Ooh, we exciting. are on countdown 31 days now we were talking earlier about the prize oh, I and see. i was saying that anyone comes to um jenny's weekend retreats i am terrible for a raffle oh, I, see. I love a raffle okay i am like the price is right <laughs> I get my number, say it's 296, and I am like, yes, it's Sasha from Weymouth. <laughs> and I am, doesn't matter even if it's the very last, you know those prizes that are always left on the table at the end? Oh, when people have Nobody choice. wants. The ones that people say, I'll oh, put it back in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care. I just love a raffle. So, yeah, so Natalie has been there and seen how I am on a raffle. So you look when it comes to a lucky winner when it comes to raffle? no not particularly I'm, I'm but hopeless not particularly but everyone always feels so bad because i get so excited that Aww. they then go up and get me the gift oh it's great <laughs> it is great so we have done two of our blocks and this is what i was saying by playing around how you choose to do it you can do a one inch cut, you can do a two inch cut, you can do a three inch cut. Okay. But yes, like you were saying earlier, you are then changing the shape of the, squ the square because now it is not a square, it is a rectangle. So you want to be looking at joining in, um, joining together, maybe with some sashings if you wanted to, which we can do. So let's have a look at a different coloured sashing as well. So if I wanted to add a sashing to this in between, and this is what I was saying, that these strips, because they are plain fabric, it, it's so great because you can add sashings, you can add um, borders, all using these strip sets. So I'm just going to pop this one on here and really, really quickly, again, just show you, I've just decided to put a sashing in between just to break up those pinks because we don't want the pinks together. And because they are um, plain fabrics, you don't have to worry about them being um, wrong side, right side. So I'm just going to straighten this edge. Bit of that. Yeah, I must say so quickly. Do, do you know? Because I think that this block, the rail fence block itself, is so underrated. Yeah. It really is. But if you just play, and it's a nice one as well. Oh, see, look, see how tired I am. Oh, have you got a flap there? See how tired I oh, am. Can we not turn that into like a pencil pocket or something like it that? It will be absolutely fine <laughs> because we all make mistakes. So oh, I will cut this off. Bless you. But this is what I was just trying to say. It's 
so quick, so easy, the rail fence block. So if we've got people who are watching who may be a company quilters, they may have created some fabulous They wouldn't make a mistake like I do. I'm sure they would do. But say if they're teaching somebody, um, maybe a younger member of the family, because when you look at these bright tones, I know my daughter, my Phoebe, would love the colours that we're looking at here. So yep. they're kind of exciting colours that maybe um, a novice quilter, a younger quilter, might like to get involved with. The first block that I did with the um, young adults that I work with is rail fence oh, after okay. squares. Yes. After squares because it is such an effective block. Yeah. It really is. And I think it's one of those instant gratification ones, isn't it? It's one that people will look at and straight away they'll be proud of what they've achieved with these. Now we are grows. running out of time during this hour. Shall I give everybody a little bit of an update on some of these? While I unpick my mistake. Uh, no. Last time it was because I... How many times do we not leave a hole open? Oh, that's easily done. It's oh. easily done. Now, I'm going to give you some updates, um, and I'm going to also mention the 40 strip rolls as well. So just to let you know what's on the screen. So on the screen at the top here, we've got your details of your one-day special. So this is if you wanted to get hold of your 20 strips and your half-metre pieces. Those are the details that you need. We are bringing the details up at the bottom of the screen. So if you want to go for your larger strip rolls, we have got those available. I would show you the one with this one, but it has sold out. And I would show you the one with the next one but that one has sold out as well but um, you larger strip rolls I'll show you those as we come to them so don't worry about it because there's no point in me telling you this one because you can't get it anyway but you can get your one day special now this particular one is you're not quite white perfect if you're wanting to pad out your fabrics I was talking earlier on with regards to this one so consider using it alongside other fabrics that you've got it extends the usability of other things that you've got potentially within your stash so that's why I would consider getting hold of this particular one but it's your first option with your one day special not quite white next one that we've got we've missed we've lost that one as your 40 strip and we've lost the 40 strip of your taste the rainbow as well we have still got it available as your one day special and of course you can double up on these if you're wanting to it's important that you know that approaching 40 percent of the stock of this one has gone though and again you're going to get your 10 strips there two different two colors two strips of each of the 10 colors should i say giving you 20 strips in total and then four of them being picked out for your half meter pieces as you can see there so that one is your taste the rainbow 40 strips are not available in either of those, but we have got them in the Mermaid Shore. So Mermaid Shore, it's your 20 strip option, is with your one day special, and you're going to get your four half metres, but approaching a third of the stock has gone of that particular one. However, if you are wanting to go for more of those colours or alongside them, then please do consider getting hold of your 40 strip roll as well. If you decide to go for your one day special and your 40 strip roll, you're actually paying, I think it was £30 and around 50 pence, £31.48 pence for you to actually go for these if you're spreading the cost over two payments so it's worth considering isn't it especially if you're thinking of going for that one by itself because you're actually paying less for that first payment so um in your 40 strip of your mermaid short approaching 40 uh, sorry approaching 20 percent of the stock 40 strips 20 percent lots of 20s and 40s going on in this hour um, next one we've got for you is your darling clementine and this is lovely you've got those gorgeous almost citrus tones with this going right the way through to that deep red lovely christmas red there and a fabulous kind of peachy tone in that one as well this one again is available as your one day special with your 20 strips and again if you want your larger strip roll then you can get hold of that one same um, kind of naming of that one so darling clementine again but using the details at the bottom of the screen for that particular one but then we go more pastel tone with the next bundle and this is called powder room now with your powder room you've got your gorgeous pastel tones coming through but again you've got some quite deep tones with this one as you work your way through very much berry tones and very much is going to work with the next one that i'll share with you in a few moments as well so powder room again 20 strips along with your half meters they are as a bundle as you want a special and equally so if you want in your 40 strips then you can get hold of those with the details at the bottom of your screen or you can go for one of each if you so choose it's all about choice isn't it all about having the opportunity to choose now your earthy greens now this has been a popular one um, again don't forget if you did go for your autumn uh, hues early on which i haven't mentioned as a 40 strip have i because we sold out of that one as the one day special so the one day special the autumn hues have we got this as a 40 strip still well, we do have it still. So that one, if you missed out on your one day special with your autumn hues, you can get it as your 40 strip, but rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone. The reason I mention that is it does work well alongside these earthy tones that we've got here as well. So that's why it's a consideration. 
but earth tones is your one day special if you're wanting that one three quarters of the stock has gone and we have got your earth tones as your 40 strips as well so if you did want to get those as well you could do and again add them all into your basket spread the cost over two payments if you so choose to but over 40 percent of the stock has gone of your larger strip roll as well so those so far so good Melon salad, lovely pastel tones with this one. Again, you've got your 20 strips. You've also got your 40 strips available if you're wanting to go for those. Your 20 strip comes with your half meters as part of your one day special, but then your 40 strips, the details are at the bottom of your screen. Beautiful pastel tones with those, but then we're getting deeper, deeper with your berry tones. And these ones, are your wild berry tones. So again, your purples, your gorgeous berry tones coming through this. I love that. It's almost like a chocolate box purple. With this one, one day special, you've got your 20 strips, you've got your half meter pieces there as you can see um, that particular one approaching 40 percent of the stock has gone and then you've got that's your wonder special but if you're wanting your 40 strips we have got that one still available as well and it's a nice one to extend the usability um, also approaching 40 percent of the stock now i don't know whether that's because you're going for both i don't know but any of these that you're going for just to let you know when the stock has gone that's it so these ones that are selling out we're not going to be coming back to you and said oh yes we've got more of them they've sold out we've checked so yeah take advantage of what we've got while we've got it peacock this is a lovely set because you've got your turquoises in here you've got that gorgeous blue in there and of course that fabulous purple coming through um, as a one day special you've got your 20 strips and your half meters and you've also got it available as your 40 strips as well and the details are at the bottom of your screen if you want in your 40 strips so that is that particular one that is your peacock waterfall another beautiful one again if you like your blues you like your navy then you've got both of those featuring within here so waterfall again 20 strips available and also your 40 strips if you're wanting those as your larger strip roll at the bottom of your screen as well for those 044002 incidentally the details for your one day special then you've got oh this is a fabulous one your birds of paradise really happy colors these so again your 20 strip roll if you're wanting these ones again you've got those gorgeous red tones those Berry, uh, not berry tones, it's almost like a citrusy tone there. Warm oranges coming through, really pretty designs. And again, four of those half meters with your one day special. Equally so, if you want your 40 strips where you've got four repeats of these ones, this is proving to be a popular one and over 40% of the stock has gone of this one. So if you like the look of that one, then the details at the bottom of your screen, 696509. And the last one that I need to tell you about is your lavender fields. And it's a beautiful one. Again, if you've got some little ditzy prints and things like that then I think this would be a lovely one to use um, alongside things you've already got so your one day special you're going to get your 20 strips with your four half meters but again we have got your 40 strip roll if you're wanting to go for that one and it's the same name with this one your lilac field not your lilac fields your lavender fields and the details are at the bottom of your screen now it's important for me to get all of those in because if you are watching on the nighttime repeats this show is repeated throughout the, um, the night so we wanted to make sure that you knew everything that we've got on the show so the details at the top there for your one day special, your 20 strips with your half meters and the details at the bottom there if you want in your larger strip rolls. How are you getting on over there, my dear? So I've put the sashings in the crate Wonderful. later, which is really, really good. It does help, doesn't it? <laughs> so again, it's just breaking up those colors. It's just breaking up those patterns. And, you know, they're strips. They don't. So easy, it's, yeah. They're so easy. They are so fun, you know, just because they're plain. But. It doesn't matter. You've got an abundance of colour yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And by going for more than one of the sets, you've, you know, you've got those two metres of fabric you're getting with them as well. But they're brilliant. I mean, they're fabulous as well. I mean, two and a half inch strips, perfect if you're wanting to do things like applique as well. Sometimes you might have small pieces of applique, little hearts, petals of flowers Petal and things vines, like that. Things, yeah. anything like that. You don't that. necessarily want to break into a large piece of fabric. So having the strip rolls, they're perfect. Exactly. And if you're somebody... I mean, I hate having to do, if I'm doing Celtic, anything like that, and I'm having to cut fabric to go, I cheat. I tend to use... What about strips. things like binding? What about things like if Perfect. you're doing stained glass? Can you use these with those Perfect. as well? Perfect. So how long have we got? Ooh, Seconds. Just over a minute. So binding, two and a half inch strips is how I do my binding. I would then fold this in half. I would attach to my edge and then I would fold over. I mean, you're not having to cut. You're not having to cut. So you would join your fabric strips together, 
with your triangle. I'll show you tomorrow, actually. Ooh, we'll do a fabulous. binding tomorrow. That would be really yeah. good, actually. So, yeah, again, it's ready. It's there. And you've got the Lovely. right colours that are matching what's actually in your quilt. Fabulous. Sasha, thank you so much. Please go back to the hotel and get some sleep. That's going to be lovely. <laughs> is that you telling me? It is, yeah. You've been officially told now. I'm officially going to get told. some sleep. But thank you so much for all your efforts during the One Day Special Shows. We'll see you tomorrow, OK? Thank you. Oh, it's been brilliant. Back here, um, bright and early, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning. Say it quietly for her. I'll say it quietly for you. Um, but, but so yeah, take advantage of that one day special while you've got the ch chance. We've lost some of the options. We've lost some of those. We've lost some of the 40 strips as well. So you need to be placing your orders. I'll see you soon. Oh, now, looking forward to the next hour, nine o'clock in the evening. We have got craft along courses, and tonight is live embroidery, and I will be joining in. So make sure you grab a cuppa and then join us straight after the break. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Well, hello there and welcome. Welcome to something that's been quite... It's going to be quite special, actually, because we are kicking off um, a series of craft alongs. I know lots of you have been involved with these already, but we've kind of got a period that uh, we're going to be seeing every Saturday night... Uh, sorry, every Saturday. Every night at 9pm, the opportunity for you to potentially try a brand new craft that you've never thought of before, but an incredibly affordable price. Now, I'm going to get involved because I've got my kit here. I know lots of you will be sat at home with your kits already because you've pre-ordered them, which is brilliant. But if you've not, then you can still get involved and watch the show on repeat and you've got the details on the screen there for your project that you're going to be creating over the next three weeks and our tutor for the next three weeks is the fabulous Hayley Smith. It's me again. You know, Hi. Yeah. And I have to say, you've been giving us some We don't really need any help with this one though, do oh, no, you? So that... you can, you, you know, you can just crack on but uh, for the guys at home who do need a bit more help, this is all about slow crafting. It's about taking it really, really slow and going through everything step by step. If anybody's getting lost, either ring the call centre or email in we'll stop we'll go back a few steps and then we'll we'll start all over again so okay. it's all about taking it step by step and crafting kind of in real time Love it. now 
with things like these, all of these kind of sewing projects, they do take a little bit longer, so you will be going away with homework. Oh, okay. But um, I'll let you show uh, everybody we'll what the project we're making is. little projects. Now, Hayley will talk us around the kit and everything that you're getting in a few moments, but ultimately this is what you're going to create. And as Hayley quite rightly said, not necessarily all in just the craft along hours, although you will be creating a lot there. You will have homework, which you explained to me isn't scary homework. It's kind of learning things during the class no, that you're going so to have another go at a later stage. Stage. While you're turning that round, you can see that the, the kind of sides are repeated. So you've got the one side with the kind of sprigs of flowers on there and the butterfly. And if you turn that 180 degrees, you've got another version of that. Okay. So what we've done with this one is, um, Steph kindly stitched this one up for me, and she's put um, in different versions on every single side. If you want to repeat them, so yours is kind of matching on the opposite sides, okay. then you absolutely can. This is just showing you as many variations as we can chuck at you. I love it. There you go. Uh, now, if you've not got involved already and you're wanting to get started, then the details are on your screen there. You can get hold of your kit. I've got my chair, I've got my kit, I've got my scissors, I've got a little hoop as well. So I'm going to settle myself down. I know, um, Kirsty, are you all right, Kirsty, there in the gallery? You got your <laughs> kit ready? This is, well, because this is our litmus test now, because um, some of the producers craft, some of them don't craft. But if we give them a kit and they can't keep up, then we know the likelihood is you guys at home can't keep up. So they tell us to stop so and start like again. A pace runner. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. It's all good. I'm going to settle so, myself down. Hopefully I won't oh, fall off steady. the chair. Oh, taking the <laughs> counters. That's just a good start, here. isn't it? <laughs> there's, there's a little break on there. You might want to hit that little break. Oh. There you go. We're there all we go. good now. Hopefully okay. I won't fall off so, now. <laughs> in your box, you will have your uh, instructions, which uh, there's two pages of stitches, and then your back page is how to put the box together. So the way that we're going to do this is the first week we are going to take, let me just grab the fabric panel, let me show you that as well. First week we are going to take the fabric panel and we are going to go through one of these uh, panels. So we're going to do the one that's here, the one with the little kind of, um, kind of almost like little, little Christmas trees, little sad after Christmas Christmas trees. Uh, we're going to do those and the little bullion butterflies as well. So we'll complete, hopefully, complete one side, and then the other side you'll be doing as homework. Next week, we'll go through this one here, which will allow you to do your kind of spider's web wheel stitches, and that will also allow you to finish off the lid, which is over here, and very similar pattern to it. Okay. So that's week number two, and then week number three, we're gonna kind of compose this all into a box. Now, any more, slightly more experienced uh, sewers that have gone for this will notice that you've got two panels that are exactly the same. So you've got a cross here, which is gonna be a lining, and then another cross here, which is gonna be the outer. If you're sneaky, and you have an extra piece of fabric, you can potentially make yourself two boxes ah, okay. out of this if you have an additional piece of fabric. So the first thing I would do with this is actually give it a bit of an iron and press any of the creases out from when it got to you, because obviously we have to fold it to get it through the post. That's a good point. And, and also just make sure you check your fabric because the needle for your kit is usually kind of, um, kind of held into your fabric somewhere. Okay. okay. So once you've got all of those things, we are going to have a look at the flosses. You've got um, four, five, six different flosses in here. Um, some of you have got this darker purple, some of you have got black in there. And it's, you know, it's entirely up to you um, if you want to swap those out or move them around. If you've got other threads, absolutely can. I know we've got a little kit on the show, which is uh, the hoop the same size as this, and then a whole rainbow of different threads. So if you want to do this in a different colour, Absolutely you can if you've got threads at home, flosses at home, then away you go. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take some of the floss that we're going to use in here. And as you can see, on the stitching of the sample that haley has got, the uh, stitches are quite small, they're quite delicate. So to get that, we're actually going to start splitting some of the threads down. So we will... Do you want me to pass this little box over to you? It, Would that it help? might be an idea. Is, is it throwable? I think so. I don't want to damage it in the process. I, well, actually, Perfect. I was going to leave that one with you because all the spare, the spare, I'll tell you what, I'll throw you, I'll throw you the spare one okay. back so you don't have I, to split any. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. 
<laughs> okay, so there's the little box, and you can see on here, you've got some really kind of fine, delicate little stitches on there. And the way that that's done is just by splitting those threads down. So by splitting the threads down, what I mean is, I've taken a length of the embroidery floss from the red one, and any of the strands that you've got will actually be a six-stranded cotton. So if I just pull this apart so you can see a little bit more clearly you've got one two three four five six strands within there okay, okay. so um i would recommend probably starting out with three and three so at least you kind of feel like you're getting some progress um, and also that means you get twice as much for your money out of the stranded cotton that you've got so to split this you really just want to kind of keep pulling it apart. But what you will, you'll find will happen is if you don't hold the bottom of it, see how it's kind of curling up on yes, itself? Yeah. So you either need to hold the bottom and do a little bit at a time, or I know this looks terrible, but I find this the easiest way to do it. Hold. Okay. Well, not only with two. And separate it And just that way. pull it straight out. Okay. Now, should I be doing that with the red thread the same? Is uh, that the... Uh, which one? Well, which, whichever colour you want your butterfly. Okay. Oh, let's, I think I'm so going to go let's, purple. Oh. Right. Yeah, let's, let's see the butterfly first, because I think the bullion knot is the one that people usually find most challenging. So okay. let's, get the, let's get the scary bit in inverted commas out of the way, because okay. this one's, um, one's going to be fine. So the amount that I pulled out of that um, kind of skein of floss there was, I just pulled it once. Now, if you're very careful and you pull it quite gently, what you'll find is it will come out from that skein without disturbing. Oh. Okay. those two uh, paper bands and then I've kind of used two lengths okay and I think that's kind of enough if you're starting off especially with um, a stitch that is a little bit more complex like a bullion knot because you can do lots of wrapping lots of winding and you don't want a huge great long piece running away with you okay so I'm going to thread up my needle and then we will crack on so we've got six strands and I need to, to yes, divide so got it into six strands two sets and we're going to split it into two sets of three. So okay. the other set of three, you're just going to pop to one side and then you can use that ready for your, your next piece. So once we've got three strands of our floss on our needle, we are ready to go. Now I'm going to put this in a hoop um, just to hold it still for the camera. It's not essential that you have a hoop for this. Okay. It's just helpful for the camera if we do. So we are going to go for this one here. Probably should have Do you know the what? These nice little four, because we've got the little bundle on again. We, we had it for the um, stitchinary nice. craft it's along. It's a nice little hoop, this one. And it's a really nice little, it's a good one for kind of on the go, because yes. it's a nice little one. And I, th I don't know if I'm tightening that or loosening it off. I can't work it out. Oh, no, that's loose. That's tight. Okay, so let's just pull that in there a bit more because I kind of loosened it back off. And we want this nice and tight as well. So are we talking tight okay. as a drum or uh, as tight as you can possibly make it? As tight as you can make it. It doesn't need to be absolutely drum tight. Okay. Because this is a, a quilting cotton weighed fabric, if you kind of pull it too tight, you can sometimes stretch this out a bit. Okay. Yeah, that's the bit that, you, <laughs> exactly what you've just struggled with there. When you're separating them, I know it looked dreadful, but do just kind of hold it in your teeth to keep the tension on it. Because if you keep the tension on it when you're pulling it apart, that's what stops it kind of raveling okay. onto itself. Okay. And it, it okay. looks dreadful, but it, it works. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take it. Okay. So to get um to start this off now there are lots of lovely techniques um of kind of hiding your knots and things but for the in the interest of getting going and getting started off we're just going to go with a scruffy knot is what okay like so i'm it. okay to tie a knot yeah absolutely because i was nearly there oh, yeah, and then yeah. i suddenly thought so, oh the way we were doing our, our kind of scruffy <laughs> knots is i've just kind of wrapped it around my finger and then i'm just going to roll it back and forth roll it off my finger and then just tighten it up with a fingernail and that's going to give me and not an attractive, but a practical knot which will not pull through. You won't through see it anyway because it's on the underside, I'm guessing. Exactly, exactly. And you've got a bit of cardboard on there holding it into a box. So nobody's going to see it. <laughs> I just about get it done. And, you know, when you get more advanced than this, you'll, you'll come up with all sorts of fancy ways to hide your knots and what have you. It's not important right now. Okay. Okay. So we are going to start with our butterfly and we are going to be doing bullion knots. So we're going to come from the body end. Pick one of those grey lines. Okay. 
Right. Want... Let me just get my hoop in. Okay. I'm right on the edge of my fabric, so maybe I'm best off going for the now, other look, one. One other thing I do need to mention as well is don't cut your fabric. Yes, it's that's really tempting, tempting to, do, yeah. to see it and then cut them all out and away you go. You okay. absolutely don't want to do that. You want to do all your embroidery while it's one solid piece. And I must admit, and I did then... turn the screw the wrong way and it fell out of my, my hoop. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, we'll bear with. So we'll I am, bear with. <laughs> I'm playing catch up at the moment. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you don't cut those bits out before you start. Make sure you've embroidered everything first and then cut them out later. That's why we're doing kind of the lessons in this order that we're stitching everything on first and then we're going to assemble the box. Okay, right, I think I'm okay. ready. So we've got it uh, in a, a hoop just for camera purposes but you don't have to and um, if you do want little hoops we do have them on the show. So we're going to go from the back up to the front and, and then where pull it. in the butterfly we I've through. started at the body because okay. we're going to go out to the edge there. Okay. And so then, is that kind of like the shoulder of the butterfly? Yes, I've yeah. gone I've gone to that top shoulder where that first kind of yeah. grey line is just yeah. there. Now the needle is quite a light quite, grey line it's actually. It's quite um, a kind of a blunt it. tip with the, the needle, isn't it? So yes, is that, it is. Is that specifically for this style um, of work? Yes, because it's going to, hopefully it's not going to split your threads and things. Ah, and you okay. will be able to push it through your, I'm just going to tilt this back towards me a little bit so hopefully you can see oh, those yes, lines see a little bit there. better. Perfect. So, We've come up there on what you would call the shoulder of the butterfly then, and then we're going to come back down at the end of that line right on the tip, but we're not going to pull all of this through. Okay. We are going to leave ourselves a kind of medium-sized loop. Okay. Right. I, I don't know how I quantify medium-sized loop. But it just... would be, I don't know, 20 pence piece, 50 pence piece? Yeah. 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 Go on then, let's do it by coin size. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to, let's go with the 10 pence. Okay. Let's go with the 10 pence. Okay, <laughs> and then we're going to come back up where we first started on the shoulder of that butterfly. Okay, exactly gonna, the same hole? If you can, exactly the same hole, okay. great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just get it as close as you can. Okay. And then we're going to pop it up, but we're not going to bring it all of the way through. Right. We're just going to bring a little bit of that uh, floss through because okay. what we want to do now is just pull this back a little bit so we've made our loop a little bit larger okay. and then we're going to start wrapping that thread that made that little kind of C shape. We're going to start wrapping that. And this is the end that's closest to the shoulder. That's correct. And um, because we've... The normal rule of thumb is if you're using a um, full width skein, so this one here that's still got the six strands on mm -hmm. then you're looking at about um each turn is equivalent to about a millimeter right okay so we've got half the amount of strands therefore we're going to go half the distance okay so each turn that we put on is roughly equivalent to half a millimeter okay so if we look at that first um gray line that we're trying to cover in here mm -hmm. we just get a little pointy needle here so this one here, we're probably looking at roughly about a centimetre. Okay. So I'd probably say about 20 turns okay. is going to do that. So, so far I've got two. So I've got to do 20. <laughs> you know, not all at once. Oh, I okay. would say do about six or eight. Okay. I might go quiet while I'm counting. Okay. Six or eight. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to be trying to get my fingers out the way so I can see what I'm doing here. And then we're going to slide it down and okay. off the bottom of that eye. Now you need to keep your fingers kind of held on that stitch that you're taking off just so you keep the tension on it and it doesn't kind of all unravel on you. And then so we'll do kind another of you're half holding a dozen. the spiral. Yeah, you're holding that spiral of thread that slides down there. Okay. Slide it off and then so you don't want to wrap it too tightly? No, you want to be fairly, not so loose that it, it's going to be really baggy, but tight enough that you're going to get a nice kind of form on that. And when you get to the stage where you've got enough on there, you're going to use, I'm um, right-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand just to keep the tension on there. And I'm going to hold it with my kind of forefinger there. No, not forefinger. What's that finger? Pointy finger. My <laughs> index. index finger? Okay, index, index yeah. finger. <laughs> and then with my forefinger, I'm going to just slide the rest of that down. Keep sliding, keep sliding, keep sliding until my needle comes completely out of that spiral. 
We're going to then pull. We're going to do this two or three times, so don't worry if you're lost. Um, we're going to keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, and then all of a sudden it'll start taking up that excess thread that's at the back there. Oh, and we oh just yeah, keep pulling and pulling and pulling yeah. and pulling. It's almost like you're threading a, a, a bead on there or something. Almost. It? It's, yeah. like a, it's like a, a, a bead that you've made from floss. Now, this at the minute is a little bit baggy and all over the place. So yeah. to rectify that, if you just kind of slide it up and down a couple of times, that should get rid of any kind of bagginess. Okay. And then you just pull it tighter and tighter and tighter. And you've created your first bullion knot. Okay, now mine looks a little skinnier than yours. Does it matter? Uh, no, yours is probably uh, less baggy than mine. Oh, I okay. probably could have done with pulling mine a touch more tighter. Than anything. <laughs> I could have done with pulling mine a touch tighter. And it, while it's like that, you can still kind of, you know, move it up and down a little just bit tease and it. just tease it and adjust it so that when you pull it tight, you get a nice kind of straight effect on it and it's a little bit more even okay so once you've completed that knot what you're going to do is you're going to go back down the same hole at the end of that um knot so obviously we came we started beside the shoulder and then we went down at the tip we came back up through the shoulder we're going to go back down through the tip okay. that is our first bullion knot so what i'll do okay I will repeat the pro. I'll do the same thing again. I won't do it right next to it because I think it'll be easier to see if it's a little bit further away. Okay. Now, if I was going to continue sewing these, then on the back, you'll just have that one straight line. And if you are going to start kind of moving about, it's definitely worth tucking your thread under those stitches that you've okay, created. Kind of weaving it back to the start Yeah, point. because then you're not going to have kind of big spans coming across. Right. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to start on the opposite shoulder. Okay. Ooh. We're going to come up. Up at the shoulder. Okay. And then you're going to come back down on the tip. And we're going to leave a nice big loop. We'll leave a bigger loop this time. The only reason I, I brought it down to that kind of 10 pence size in the first place is just to keep the majority of that thread on the back I've kind of and hooked out it over of the way. My thumb. I don't know if that's yeah. any help to anybody. That was more by accident than anything, actually. Right. So <laughs> we're going to come back up and just make sure you get the eye of the needle out and just as little thread as possible. Okay, yeah. Okay, so out, eye of the needle's out and there's as little thread as possible there. Okay. Now, one of the other things I do want to show, I'm just going to quickly flip this over so you can see, is I have, um, you want enough thread here, single thread here, that you've got plenty to, to wrap. And you right. want as little kind of doubled over thread as possible because really when you pull it all through, you don't want it to be wrapped around that double thread for long and you want it all to go on that single thread because okay. if you've got too much double thread, you'll just end up kind of taffling yourself up and getting a knot that you won't be able to, to get off the needle. So we're going to go again. We're going to, I'm going to pull this through a little bit more. Now, the more you pull this through, the baggier your stitch will become. So when you okay. did yours and it was a little bit smaller than mine, it's probably because you had your needle a little bit closer. I I've always have a tight tension on everything to, that I do, so that's yeah. probably something to do with it. Okay, so we're going to wrap it round okay. and we're going to do another 20. So I'm going to do three or four at a time and just slide them down and then slide them down and then slide them down. Keep going. I think I need one more. I've lost count. I'm doing in batches of five because <laughs> it's easy for me to count. <laughs> and then we're going to slide them all off that needle. You just Oops. see me sliding them down there and then keep sliding, keep sliding. And then when we're about to take the last one off, I'm going to move it so I can keep the tension on from this side. And then just pull that through. And keep, you see, it's difficult because I've got to keep my thumbnail on that point there where that tension is because that's what's going to stop it from unravelling and becoming baggy. Okay. So you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. And then I've got my thumb in this gap here as well just keeping that straight so it doesn't get itself knotted up while i'm pulling and you just keep 
pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until you get it so it's standing up like that. And then just again, keep that tension on, pull it flat, and that's your second one. And then to complete it, you're going back in through that same point where you started to complete your second knot. So what we might do now is um, for those ones who want to do something that's a, you know, a tiny step on, what I think we'll do is we'll continue with the bullion knot and I will do another two or three of these because it is a hard, you know, it's I've not the easiest. I've never done one of these before. They can't, you, you can't it's not the fingers easiest everywhere. of stitches, mm -hmm. but once you master it, it's a really brilliant one for, for texture. Okay. So we're going to do a couple more, but just for those who are a little bit more advanced and want to try something slightly different, I'm going to take uh, two strands in the red, let me just grab this a second. There you go. Two strands in the red, and I've got one of these little purple ones. So we're going to go just the one off of there. I know it doesn't look great, but it works. <laughs> and it doesn't tangle up. That's, the, that's kind of the beauty of it. And if you're going to create almost your own and um, blended or variegated thread. This is a really nice way to do it. So let me just grab a needle. And I'm taking those two red bits and the one purple bit and threading them all through the same needle. And then just giving it a couple of little strokes of my fingernail just to kind of line everything up together. Then we're going to put another little scruffy knot in the bottom here. As long as the knots aren't too big and lumpy, then you'll get away with leaving them. It's when they're kind of really solid, you'll, you'll, you'll struggle. So I'm going to come into the next one along. We're going to start in the same position. We're going to start from the center and come up from there. We're just going to do exactly the same bullion knot again. The only difference this time is I've made my own kind of combined thread. And by adding and changing one strand at a time, it will kind of graduate your colours as you go. So if you want to take that next step on, this is a, a nice way to do it. So we're going to go up. We're going to go back down. So start beside the body, go out towards that outer edge, and then we're going to come back down. Oh, hang on, I've still got, just bear with, I've still got my red one attached. So I want to tie that off. So we showed you this the last time when we did the stitchinary one, but I definitely think it's worth showing again. So we've gone under there, we've got a little loop, and I'm going to cut off this thread. And then instead of just trying to tie a knot to that piece of thread, I'm actually just splitting these out. So I've got one thread on the other side and then tying them in a double knot this way. And this will do two things, give you a much more solid anchor point, and two, it will make you a much flatter knot on the back. So we'll just trim that away. So that's secured and that's out of the way because I, when you're pulling this amount of thread back and forth and you're kind of uh, having to hold the tension on the needle and everything else, you don't really want bits on the back that are gonna get tangled up in it. So there's my loop. We're going to come back up in that same position on the front and bring the needle through, bring that eye of the needle through and then just as little as we possibly can of that thread. So we've just got a tiny, tiny bit there and then we are going to wrap. So this one's a little bit longer. Uh, so I'd probably say about 25 roughly we're going to need on this. So hang on, one, two, three four, five, and slide them down, one, two, three, four, five, I hope somebody's counting, because uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at counting, 20, one, two, three, four, five, 25, okay, so then we're going to take those, and we're going to, holding onto the needle at the top, just with the thumb and forefinger there, just to make sure they don't go anywhere, we're just going to slide these down, and then I can slide a bit more of that needle through as we go to keep the tension on those threads and slide. And then once they're all onto the thread, we're going to pull the needle 
take away all of that excess floss let it slide through until we get it upright once it's upright you can kind of let go of it a little bit because you'll be able to kind of pull it flat as you go see I'm a little bit baggy on this end so what we're going to do is just just move it back and forth and you can use the needle to do this if you want just to can you see it's just kind of moving in those bits at the bottom there that were a little bit baggy and just by sliding it back and forth you can even some of those baggy bits out so you've got a baggy bit down the bottom here and there we go and then once you're happy with it it's it's difficult to do this with keeping the tension but keeping my fingers out of the way and then just pull that tight and can you see you've got your next one in there and because I've used two colours can you see you get the odd flecks of the purple running through there so it's a really nice way to graduate your colours down now if yours I've probably done a couple too many on there because can you see how this one's kind of um, wiggling about a bit and is kind of bowing out a little bit if yours is doing that and you think yours is a little bit long then rather than take it out if you just pop a little stitch up with the same thread about halfway down and then pop it back down go over the top of your stitch and back down the same hole it will disappear into it and allow you to pin that in place and keep it straight okay. so it's just a couching what's called a couching stitch but that will just help you to keep your um, bullion knots straight do you know what we're going to do one more because uh, I've got two more stitches to do still but I think this if you can crack this one this is your it's the most difficult stitch in the the whole thing and if we get this one out of the way then you've got you've got the lot sorted and it's always one I can go back over next week if anybody emails in and they're struggling so okay. one more time we've come up in the middle and then we're going to go down on that outer edge leaving it a loop and then we're going to come back up in the same place that we started and just bring through the eye of the needle and a little floss 